Virginia Immortals. Good afternoon to you, Seth Cantor, joined by mentor to Division I quarterbacks, Travis Meyer. And Travis, we're set up for a fantastic afternoon of football here today. Absolutely, Seth. Thank, thank you very much. Um, you know, I'm really excited to see this today. And I think we're, uh, we're going to see some exciting football, and, and it'll, it'll be interesting to see how these guys, uh, how they hit and, and how fast these guys really are. Well, there are some changes as compared to what you customarily see with, let's say, college football and the NFL. And with that said, let's take a look at the field. First and foremost, it's a narrower field, even though it is 100 yards. How does that change the game? Well, I think it, it makes the game a lot faster, especially in terms of the uh, reads for the quarterbacks and the, the difference in play calling. It, it definitely um, makes a big difference in, in how you approach the game. And with that said, there are a number of different rules that you might not be accustomed to seeing. Let's start with the seven-on-seven -seven full contact. The quarterback has four eligible targets, two down linemen. We talked about the narrower field. Now, there's no kicking in this game. One-point conversion from the five-yard line after a touchdown, Travis, or a two-point conversion from the 10-yard line. That, that's going to be fun to see. I, I, I don't know if it's harder from the 10-yard line or, or easier uh, with, with that extra field space. You do have four 15-minute quarters, two-minute warning, just like the NFL. The end of the second and fourth quarter. The clock stops or incomplete passes or out of bounds during the two-minute warning only. And of course, one of the most important parts of the game, there's no kickoff. It's a three-on-one throw-off. Yeah, and, and I think that's really about safety. That, that's a, uh, a part of the game where a lot of guys get hurt. And on top of that, you know, we do speak about the offense here so much today. However, you have some tremendous defensive talent in this league, Travis, and this is a hard-hitting brand of football. Yes, it is. It, uh, it is fun to see these guys hit. From the tape I've seen, it, it is a lot of fun to watch. Now, the fact that these guys aren't wearing any pads, how does that change the nature of the hits? Well, I think uh, even when you look at these hits that we're seeing now, they uh, the, the defensive players are sort of moving their head away from um, having the crown of the helmet when they would normally have a helmet on, uh, leading right at the offensive player. Now they, they shy away from that a little bit, and, and I think that ultimately makes it safer overall. Here's the run, no gain. In fact, maybe a little bit of a loss, about a two-yard loss on the play. Who's right there? Big Mo Ramadan. Teams throughout the country. On a second down at 11, Gross flips it near side, caught first down and more into New Jersey Chiefs territory. Down and 10, Immortals in Chiefs territory. Pull it over the middle, caught first down and more. Pushing inside the 20, down to the 15-yard line, and now the Immortals are within striking distance. You see it again, Seth, it's the uh, same, same pass game where you, you, you're you looking just for quick passes and uh, you can see him pump fake out to the right, actually, and then throw back left. Not at all. Second down and goal from the six. The Immortals look to strike first. Pump fake. Flags coming in. Gross tries to flip it off, goes down. Another loss brought back at the nine. A three-yard loss, and we'll see what Kendall Wright, today's lead official, has to say about this one. Uh, maybe. I think... Uh... I think it tightens up the uh, field down here to give them a, a third and, and uh, short. He hate me running all over the place, being chased. This is dangerous. He's back at the 25. Throws it. Caught near the sideline. Let's see. Is it a touchdown? Nope. About a yard shy of the end zone. A terrific play. And actually Gross coming in and making the catch. And there's a man down at the 25. That's one of those plays those defensive backs hate. It's a uh, look at the unorthodox style that uh, he pretty much stood there uh, st and just stood straight up in the pocket. But I think this was his plan all along. Let's scramble and try and find somebody. And he did. That's a big risk running back that far. Absolutely. That'd be immortal saying that the ball hit the pylon. Let's see. Did it? Nope. Little short. They're saying they were in as Gross reached for the pylon. But here to say he was about three yards shy. Two minute warning at the end of the second quarter and the conclusion of the fourth quarter as well. Way to go. We'll see this explosive Chiefs offense. Here's the handoff. It's Mayweather met with contact, fighting through pressure. Gets across the 10 out to the 11 yard line. A gain of eight. We get our first look at Willie Mayweather. Well, that's what those squats in the weight room get you. Powerful up the middle, hard to take down. See, he keeps back. the feet moving. You also see uh, the Immortals trying to tackle him up high and instead of wrapping up low. No score, opening quarter. Pass 
out near the sideline. Let's see, it was low to the ground. Is it complete? Yes, it is, as DeBry Tavares makes the catch. That was uh, just a comeback route, he, uh, or, or, or a stop route. He, he did turn, receiver did turn inside, but really well timed by the quarterback, Vargas. Alex Vargas for 2015 A7FL MVP. Here's Mayweather. He has a terrific burst of speed through the line, driven back, but they'll mark his forward progress. Gets up to the 15-yard line. Many, many years we approach the three-minute mark. Vargas in the end zone, fires it. Hits off, he hate me. With the interception inside the 20, down to the 18-yard line. And the Immortals get the ball back with terrific field position. Gross takes the snap, has time, lobs it, he hate me, catches it in the end zone, touchdown! And the Immortals, looking for their first championship, take a 6-0 lead. Down by he hate me. Thomas, outside the 20, he could run, outside the 25, near the 30-yard line. So Sean King Street Thomas, backup quarterback for this New Jersey team with the nifty footwork, moves the chains, first down. The opening quarter, Gross the pump fake, he can run inside the 20, down to the 15, run out of bounds near the 10 yard line. Very close to a first down, he was run out. Gross, under pressure, let's see if he can get out of it, slings it sideline, catch made, inside the 15, down to the 10, near the five, pushing towards the end zone, let's see, is it a touchdown? Yes it is! And the Immortals take a 12 nothing lead. Here comes the pressure. Gross slings it sideline. Catch made 14 nothing game. Nice play by Justin Zener. Another, um, but that you know that was unprecedented. And uh, no, the throw off. The Chiefs get the ball. Easy Wingate taking it across the 30. Has a burst of speed out near the 40 yard line. A oh, good field position to start for the Chiefs, and there's a flag on the play, so let's see what. Where the receiving team can elect to end the ball, throw it off again. Shifty move out near the sideline as Tavares, the running back, gets a considerable gain on first down with 45 seconds left. Being down one touchdown in the first half, that's, uh, that's easy to come back from. Mayweather stuffed, however, he keeps going near the 30. He's terrific at the point of attack. He gets hit and he just keeps those legs moving. It's usually good for an ex a couple of extra yards. Second down and five, early second quarter. Mayweather hit, tries to keep those legs moving, changes direction to the 20 yard line near the 15, being dragged from behind. He won't go down. Mayweather forced out of bounds inside the 15. It looked like he wasn't going to get much, but again, hit at the point of attack, kept the legs moving. and gets a first down. You got to wonder what the adjustment is here for some of these players who are used to playing real football and, and, and um, you know, they're used to hitting guys hard with their shoulders up up high and then the rest of them coming and piling in. You can't do that in this game. You really need to learn to form tackle and wrap up low and it doesn't seem that they did that. I mean, you can see that they're trying to twist with them up top but you, you got you to wrap up. Trailing 14 nothing. early moments, second quarter at Palisades Credit Union Park. Pump fake and a sack. Terrific pressure up front and a loss for the Chiefs. And not much Vargas could do here. These guys are right in and, and there was no one to throw to right away. I mean, he did have a receiver crossing, but uh, you could see there on the replay, Vargas, I think, uh, could see that his receiver wasn't looking for the ball when he wanted him to. If they pin Pennsylvania deep. Here's pressure up front. Bomb down the middle of the field towards the sideline, deflected, incomplete. And the Immortals get the ball back, and Pennsylvania will start off with terrific field position. And once again, who's in the middle of that? He hate me for the Immortals. Like Taylor got a piece of it too. I don't know if Vargas stuck with that play completely because he barely even dropped, and, and his receivers were all going deep. Uh, he, he was about to take off running, so I don't know if that was designed that way, where he has the option to throw it downfield, or you know if he just sort of gave up on the play and, and went to take off running right away. No, no chop blocking, which is blocking below the waist. That's a 15-yard penalty 
from the line of scrimmage as the play on first down. Not much for the Immortals with about nine minutes remaining in the opening half. Immortals 14, Chiefs nothing. Inside nine minutes in the opening half. Gross forced out. Wobbler, catch made at the 35-yard line. All right, get near the 40. Changing direction now. And the ball loose on the ground. Who's going to get it? New Jersey says they have it. And the call is yes, the Chiefs do. Here's the pitch. King Street Thomas back in the game. Floater near the sideline is caught at the 20 yard line. Making his way down the sideline. James Big White DeMille inside the five and the ball actually pitched back as he was going down and it's a touchdown. For the New Jersey Chiefs, incredible awareness, great offensive play and the Chiefs are on the board. They trail 14-6. Now, you got to think if that happens in the NFL, you might get cut <laughs> um, the next day if you're not a big-time player, but you would never see that in, in the NFL for sure. That was a fun play to watch. He did keep his feet in bounds. Tosses it back to the big guy. That was Jose Plains. And Gets yeah. into the end zone. He'll, he'll be telling his kids about that one someday. <laughs> so, oh, Thomas, the signal caller, being pressured. Long way to go for one point. Braces out near the sideline. Thomas pump fake near the goal line. He's in. And it's a 14-7 game. Sean King Street Thomas with the nifty moves. At his height, he's able to pick up a lot of, a lot of yardage uh, pretty easily. Incredible play there by the New Jersey Chiefs right there. They had an awesome lateral back from the tight end to one of their linemen who fumbles in for the end zone. Really a good drive for the Chiefs there. They fell back for a while against Pennsylvania. In general, I think the Chiefs need to stick to the run game. Their passing game has been on and off. When they do play action, they make some great throws, some great uh, some patterns there. Pennsylvania is going to get the ball back here. Let's see what they can do with the ball. Back to you and Seth Travis. Now Sia Gross goes by Woog. Flips it deep down the right sideline into traffic. And the catch made at the 40. What an impressive play. He hate me. Has been terrific for this Pennsylvania team. However, a flag comes in. Yeah, he was held up right here, too. And, and uh, I think that's a, the right call on the penalty. But great throw and catch. Great name and, and a great football player. He, he really is everywhere. And, um, now that, that was also a, a difficult catch. He, he caught it over his shoulder with two hands, no basket catch, and, and um, you know, I, I think he uh, he's probably going to do some bigger things in this game. Already has an interception, a touchdown reception, has been involved in breaking up a couple of plays. I saw him serving at the snack bar too earlier. <laughs> Does it all, Renaissance man. Gross flings it over the middle, in stride. He hate me, can't hang on, he does! Looks like the ball would come loose. He's headed for the end zone. Touchdown. Oh, the Immortals, he hate me with his second touchdown of the game. And the Immortals take a 27 lead, unless they would say that he was down by contact. Let's see. Let's take like a look. They may be calling him down, down here. A little fake toss. You know, just a, a, a simple post pattern over the middle. And he did catch that. Wow, what an amazing play. That's great concentration. If you're going to say that he was down and was touched, get another look at Gross. You know, that was oh, still a great play by the defender. It just fell right into his hands. Another terrific play by He Hate Me. Not much of a gain on first down, and the big guys for the Chiefs coming up front and blowing that play up very, very quickly. And a little trash talk after the fact, too, as Charlie Irvin goes down. Now you can see a little change in the defense there. The, the Immortals keep going over the middle and, and, and attacking on those post patterns, and they put a safety in the middle of the field that time. But they did a good job of uh, st stuffing the run up front. Isaac Negron with the tackle. Fast moving second quarter, 14-7 Pennsylvania with the lead, try to make it a two score game in the 2017 American Sevens Football League Championship. Here comes the pressure, Gross, dumps it over the middle, catch made at the 20 yard line, inside the 20 down to the 19, a vicious hit. However, ball reeled in by Nick Davis, the tight end. We've seen him involved on a couple of plays and a nice game there. 
Gotta wonder if he even felt that hit, <laughs> despite how, how hard of a hit it was. However, Pennsylvania now can make it a two score game with 316 remaining. Run on first down, down to the 10 yard line. Chugging his way forward was Irvin. We get to the three minute mark in Pennsylvania driving. I think on both sides of the ball at this point, the Immortals are owning the line of scrimmage. And, and you know, that that is definitely one of the keys to this game. The, the D lineman in a, in a a quick game like this and a, a field as short as it is, it, they're critically important. If they can keep the quarterback in the pocket um, and, and make him make decisions downfield and not let him scramble and make plays, then you know you, you have a chance of winning a game. But, but you know, you've seen a lot of the passes that the Immortals have, have completed where he, he's gross has broken the pocket and, and made something happen. Massa had the tackle first down and 10 from the 11. Gross has plenty of time. Ramadan in pursuit as Gross goes down just outside the five yard line. Looked like his knee was down between the seven and the eight. See, case in point there, he, he, he had plenty of time to throw. The, his linemen are doing a great job of blocking for him and just didn't have anybody open on that one. But I, I mean, it, it's all good football and, and there's some innovative play calling here and, and also some standard play calling and, and football is football. and. and and we're definitely seeing that here. Second and seven from the eight. Option, flip out to Irvin. Near the five, doesn't have much. Another gang tackle, Big Mo Ramadan. And there among others, as that play blown dead quickly. And this is a league that has been well received by well-known NFL names. Leonard Marshall, former New York Giants defender. Another name that has endorsed this league, Kyle Turley. And when you have names like that, giving a league like this credibility, you have to pay attention. Well, it's... An interesting concept to, to sort of go back to the roots of football, where you um, you, know, you you have form tackling and 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 it's not about the these big hits where they're 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 just launching their bodies. It it, it requires skill on defense, and, and and while it might seem innovative, I mean it's really going back to those roots of football. Third down and seven from the eight. Gross with time in the pocket. Pump fake, slings it near the goal line, pushing forward near the corner of the end zone, unable to get there for the Immortals. Gross did a great job there, keeping his eyes downfield. He, he's got a little bit of pressure there, but but you know keeps his feet moving and sliding off away from the pressure a little bit. And he was looking for his primary target in the back of the end zone, and then uh, you know found a secondary target underneath. Nick Davis needed seven. He got seven right near the pylon, driving Stevenson down, and that's going to be a first and goal. Primarily a baseball field. Gross leaps over the goal line. There's a penalty on the play. No signal yet. It was thrown in the backfield. Don't see any signal for a touchdown just yet. As we await the call. Gross broke the plane, so they'll go for a one-point conversion from the five-yard line. Gross being chased out near the sideline, scanning the field behind the back pass. Here the goal line, the ball looked like it hit the ground. He hate me trying to sell it to the official, however. No dice, and the score is 20 to seven. With that said, we'll step aside here at Palisades Credit Union Park, the A7FL Championship, the Immortals, and the New Jersey Chiefs on 11 Sports. On a first down, actually a second down and two. Catch made across the 50. It's a first down for the Chiefs. To the 46 yard line. We'll see, maybe it's the 45. However, the Chiefs keep the chains moving with a minute four remaining in the first half. Good for a first down. Williams fires, pants incomplete, intended. Williams out of the shotgun on a first down, second down and 10, excuse me. Forced out of the pocket, airs it out. Deep, 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 deep. Has an end touchdown. And the Chiefs back in the game. Terrific catch in stride. Terry Rowland with the reception. And it's a 20 to 13 game. Well, you know, again, it, it's that it's the same thing. And the keys to this game, that D line, if you can get to that quarterback, disrupt his throwing 
um, make him move his feet, but keep him in the pocket, it makes it very difficult for him. But when that quarterback can, can scramble and buy a little more time, find somebody open downfield when the secondary breaks down, that's when those big plays happen. You saw that there, and, and he found him. That, that's, that was a, a big play at the right time. Williams forced out of the pocket. Throws it into the end zone, it's caught. Two point conversion is good. And it's a 20 to 15 game. That's a big drive by the New Jersey Chiefs as James Big White to Mild, the tight end reels it in. It's a smart play call. They, they roll him a little right. Not, I don't know if it's designed, but he, he knows that that defender's coming and he throws back to the left. On a third down and 10, Gross. Slings it, sideline, catch made, and that's going to be an Immortals first down. That's exactly what they needed. And who makes the catch? Again, he hate me with the reception with 31 seconds left. Yep, well-timed and, and another comeback route. Just, you know, especially with a guy that's as fast as he is. You know, he's got that deep threat down, threat down the sideline, and all he has to do is stop at 10 yards, and as long as the quarterback throws it on time, as he did, it's a pretty easy completion. Stevenson. Drained him out of bounds. Oh, it's a first and 10. From the 42. Pennsylvania, 2015 lead. Open this game if you're just joining us with a 14 nothing spurt. Gross being chased out of the pocket. Has to get it off. Low pass. Did he hate me? Reel it in. The play not blown dead. Changing direction. Going near the sideline across midfield. He's forced out of bounds. Again by Stevenson. He's incredibly athletic. He hate me. He certainly is. You see, Gross is athletic too. I mean, he, for a big guy, he is able to avoid that pressure. And, and it's where a lot of their big plays have come from. He hate me also with a long wingspan, able to keep the ball off the ground. It's another first down. And that all but takes away any chance for the Immortals. Give up the ball to the Chiefs. Even though it is a five-point game and the Chiefs are back in it. He hate me lined up to the right side. Two on the left. Sidearm pass. He hate me with the reception again. Burst of speed into the secondary. Near the 20. Tries to stay up but goes back down. Still a terrific play. Reception of about 28 yards. He hate me. The burst of speed. Yards after the catch. Clock running. Did Gross get the playoff? He throws the ball into the end zone. It's caught by Zener. However, that should be the end of the half. Now the Immortals say they have a touchdown. The Chiefs saying no. And the signal is touchdown. There's going to be a conversation down at the 10-yard line. But the difference in rules here with the quarterback not having to get the snap from the center I don't know if that throws a wrinkle into this because it's just the quarterback that needs to start it, and they were set. Hey, the Chiefs weren't ready to go. Yeah, and it looked like the Immortals were, and, and they were set. The only question would be whether or not the, the refs had put the ball into play. Looked like the play came off with about one second on the clock. It was awfully close. See if we get a review here. They are permitted inside the two-minute warning. The Immortals are, are going to want to get right on the ball and, and get it snapped, and, and they weren't ready. You can't assume. You know, I mean, they're looking at the clock. You can see the D-lineman looking at the clock when, when the ball is being snapped. So the question would be, did the play get off on time? From here... I can imagine that's the only thing that they would have to de determine here. It's... You know, whether that clock ran down. And it comes uh, off the board. Yeah, so I would guess that that, that was because the uh, clock ran down. Without the helmets. Here's the second half throw off. It bounces near the sideline taken by the Chiefs. Easy Wingate forced out of bounds in New Jersey. Down by five to start the second half. Gets the ball an opportunity to take the lead. Chiefs get the ball to start the second half. King Street back in at quarterback. Should be an entertaining second half. You could not draw it up any better for a championship game. Big game on first down. 
dump off Mayweather in the flat down the right sideline taken off out towards midfield Mayweather to the 45 to the 40 pushing the pile forward Mayweather out near the 30 yard line is taken down and a flag comes in or even if a ball popped loose it wasn't a flag there's some physical contact there with Mayweather his biggest play of the day and that ball was stripped out of there uh, I don't know if he the ball did come loose. It was ripped out, and Pennsylvania gets the ball yeah. back, so Mayweather couldn't hang on. That came out at the last second. It was literally ripped right out of his hands. Take a look, just as New Jersey. That's been the theme of the day for them. That ball was stone cold, ripped right out of his hands by Sean Primer of the Immortals. So New Jersey was driving, however, the Immortals get the ball back. And now it looks like Mayweather, a big player for this New Jersey team, is down, being helped off the field. Alcia Gross from the shotgun. Has time, floats it, sideline, catch made, near midfield, past midfield. Who? He Hately does it again at a first down for the Pennsylvania Immortals. Well, I mean, how, how do you stop this guy? He, he's a deep threat because he's got speed, and he has very good route running ability. He, he's got good skill. He, he stops on a dime and, and he's in the right place and, and Gross finds him again. The Pennsylvania Immortals pump fakes. Thought we might have an option. Gross chased out of the pocket. He's also fleet of foot. Tries to keep his legs up. Hits his man on the sideline. Bumping and grinding his way forward. Moving in towards the red zone. For the Immortals, a big catch. And to the 21 yard line. So important to contain the quarterback, but you know this looked like a uh, a fake run almost, and or a fake uh, uh, QB draw, and, and he dropped back and, and scrambled a little bit and found the receiver. He's very good at that, um, being able to make a play after scrambling. Jeremy Hill, the tight end, a 17-yard gain. Pick up by you, Travis, as it's a first down and 10. 11-13 remaining in the third. Gross, keeper, crosses the 25 to the 20, out near the sideline, delivers the stiff arm, and he's out of bounds at a first down for the Immortals. Gave the stiff arm to Robert Massa. Well, football's a team game, and, and you you need to have everybody working together on every play, and, and, and the, the offensive linemen um, for the Immortals, for sure, are, are doing a heck of a job today. Gross being chased, forced out of the pocket, shovel pass incomplete. Well, the pressure came in from Steve Knight, the middle linebacker for the Jersey Chiefs, breaks up a second down. Make sure that these guys uh, get their uh, due here. Quick catch at the 10 yard line, ball loose, yep, and I the Chiefs recover. I think that ball was stripped right out of the air from uh, at, before the Immortals player even came down. Delon Stevenson comes down with the ball. So, the Immortals turn it over and the Chiefs get it back. Oh, he stripped it as, it, as he came down, uh, got twisted around. That's, that's a great defensive play right there. The reason why we're trying to figure out the Chiefs quarterback situation is because Juan Williams is listed as a cornerback. As soon as we get that sorted out, we'll let you know. Clock running, 8.54 remaining in the third quarter. As the Chiefs back out on the field. So an opportunity there for Pennsylvania to make it a two-score game, but unable to do it. And now the Chiefs get the ball, an opportunity to retake the lead after they turned it over deep in Immortals territory the last time down. But no heat. Did it. They all think they're right. Pass over the middle. Caught in stride, 15-yard line. 16-yard line for the New Jersey Chiefs. Tavares with the reception. It's simple football, a little slant route. And, and I think that's what the Chiefs need to do here. Just keep it simple and, and complete what's being given to you. Makes it a third down, about six. Quick slant over the middle and the catch made. Now to the 24-yard line. Right, a push and drive forward Terry Rowland. Gross with time, 
gets it off as he was going down. How he did that, I don't know. Not much of a gain there, but could have been a lot worse on the first down of 20. Found his nearest man. Looked like his tight end, Jeremy Hill. Down at 11 for the Immortals, a 2015 lead. As we approach the five minute mark, pass out to the left sideline. Irvin, trying to get by his defender, changes direction back to the middle of the field once again and thrown down. No contact after the play. It's getting a little chippy down there right now. Players have to be separated as a flag is down. Isaac Negron trying to be the peacemaker out there for the New Jersey Chiefs. Let's take another look. Say this, one of the things that I'm learning about this league. Plays out near the sideline. These guys are fearless. They have no inclination to run out of bounds. They want to get back to the middle of the field and get as many yards as they can, even if it means taking a shot. Definitely more of a chippy pace to this second half. More physical. Defenses have tightened up. Gross from the gun. Mortals trying to make it a two-score game out near midfield. Pump fake. Gross being chased out near the sideline. The big guy tucks and takes it himself, and he's run out of bounds. Right near the bench. Got to look out down there. As King Street Thomas on the stop for the New Jersey Chiefs. Gross, three-step drop, forced out of the pocket, floats it down the field, pass deflected, incomplete. Tended for Nick Davis, his tight end. Boy, he had he had a wide, <laughs> wide open receiver downfield. Um, you know, backside of the play, but um, something we've seen from Gross all game is that he he. He does a great job of keeping his eyes downfield. I'm surprised he didn't find him. A lot of dirt on that jersey for Nick Davis. He's had a few weeks worth of work in this game. Going one on one right there. With the big guy for the New Jersey Chiefs, Steve Knight, the middle linebacker. Gross again with the pressure coming. Again, no blitz restrictions on the defense. The pass is seen. No call made yet. The Immortals saying that it's a catch. The officials conferring. And it is a catch. Pass complete. First down. Again, they had it Zayner. They had or Zayner. They had him down the sideline. Again, absolutely wide open in the same spot. And he's almost been used as a decoy today. Mm. Uh, if, if somebody on the Immortals will pick up on that, um, you know, there's a good chance we're going to see him catch a touchdown pass today. Here, late in the third. Gross, under duress, being chased. Wobbler in intercepted by the Chiefs. Grabbed by Sean King Street Thomas. Tosses it back as he was about to go down. Now it's Tavares. Tavares has a lane, middle of the field after the pick. He's headed towards the end zone. It's a foot race out near the sideline. Tavares reeled in just inside the 10 yard line. And a flag comes in, two flags come in. Oh, we said that a Pennsylvania score would change the tone of the game. However, a pick for the New Jersey Chiefs and now they're closing in on a score. This is the first big mis mistake of the game here for Gross. You know, he, he's falling back, tries to find his receiver, overthrows him right to a defender. These are the mistakes that turn a game in an instant. It's the same spot where the jersey is. Here's the handoff. Mayweather out near the goal line. Does he cross? Is he in? Touchdown, and the Chiefs take the lead. 21-20, the Chiefs lead the Immortals. That's what's great about football. It can turn in an instant, and all of a sudden, uh, got the Chiefs. Came right back into this game, and now they're up. First lead of the game for the Chiefs, who trip 14-0 to start, and now have a 21-20 lead. Well, they'll go for one. Again, there's no kicking in this game, so regardless of what happens, Pennsylvania on the next touchdown or on the next possession can take the lead, so the field goal will take it out of the equation. 
Right, and you definitely see that in the NFL that they would go for two here. Here's the end around. And the point goes through for New Jersey. But a penalty on the field as... Should, should have been offsides on the defense and, and saw them freeze after it again and, and uh, they sort of let the play happen. More football. Ivy League football finds a new Saturday home right here on 11 Sports. Well, the throw off to start the fourth quarter after the touchdown, giving the Chiefs the lead. It's picked up at the 17-yard line, and that's where the Immortals will start. 15 minutes on the clock, fourth quarter, to decide the 2017 A7 FL title. Gross being forced out of the pocket, takes it himself. He can run. Flag comes in at the 29-yard line as Gross is run down. We'll see what this flag is. Spotted at the 22. Gross looking downfield. Deep, 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 deep. One-on-one -on -one coverage. He hate me, reels it in. He's headed for the end zone. Looks to be it, or did he step out? Let's see. Let's see a definitive call. But there's a flag on the field. Yes. Oh, did they get him for a push off? Take a look. He took off from the end zone. We didn't see the officials make that call. Let's get another look. Yep. That must be what it is. Yep, you could see him extend his left hand right there just before the catch. I mean, it was a great catch but you could see him extend just before it, and, and that's what allowed him to make it. Gross forced out of the pocket, being chased, dragged down at the 10-yard line. Well, coming in, delivering the hit, Isaac Negron. Well, Chiefs did a great job on that. They, they had what, you know, effectively are spies on the right side of their D-line, and, and the rush came from the other side, and they managed to contain Gross. Is that he hate me back there? Yeah, it looks yes. like it is. He's going to take the snap, try to get out of traffic. He can move. He hate me. One of the best athletes on the field. Out to the 25, near the 30, pushed out of bounds. Three minutes in, fourth quarter at Palisades Credit Union Park. So he hate me now, the quarterback. Gross lines up as a receiver. He hate me on the keeper, outside near the sideline, wrapped up, driven, out of bounds. Takes a loss, and that brings up a fourth down. A set like that where you're going to put him back there once. You know, put him back there once, fine, but not twice. Bring your quarterback back in, let him control the game for you. Loss of six, and that was Dwan Williams with the stop for the New Jersey Chiefs. And six makes it an eight-point game. They get a conversion, one point or two points. It makes it a two-score game as Mayweather out near the sideline on first down. These teams both out of a North Division in the A7FL. Here's the handoff to the far left side. Flag comes in. Out past midfield for the New Jersey Chiefs with Stevenson. Stevenson changing direction inside the 40, down inside the 35 to the 34-yard line. Athletic play by Dulan Stevenson. The flank came in. Yep, and they got him with a hold. Yep. Came out right away on the far sideline. So that comes back. Mayweather turns the corner, stays in bounds, shy of the 30, tackled at the 29 yard line. Keep that ball on the ground. Want to risk an interception indeed. Sure. Vargas back pedals, throws it. Catch made, reeled in by Easy Wingate, deep into Immortals territory, and a big first down for New Jersey. That's a great job by Vargas. He's he's backing up, throwing this, trying to stay out of, uh, stay away from the pressure, and he delivers that ball right on the money. Dragged down by He Hate Me, El Vargas, moving the Chiefs downfield inside 10 minutes remaining. Yeah, he did, a, he did a great job with his feet there. I'm impressed by that play. Floater out near the sideline. Catch me. First down and more. Walking that tightrope, headed to the end zone. It's a touchdown. However, the Immortals saying that Robert Massa stepped out of bounds. 
However, the signal on the field is touchdown. And if that stands, which we expect it would, it would be a 28-20 game. I don't see it. Here. For the conversion. Oh, good. It stays a one-score game. As Easy Wingate can't get it in. Hands it off. It's Irvin. Has a seam out near the sideline being chased. Forcing the pile forward. Driven down at the 33. Maybe getting to the 32. Calling the signals. In the pocket. Airs it out. End zone. Left side. Deflected and broken up. Intended for Justin Zeter. Broken up right down near the end zone. Looks like Tavares got a hand on it. That brings up a second down. 20. Gross. Finds a seam. Out near the sideline. Has a first down. Flank comes in. He's run out of bounds at the 20-yard line by King Street Thomas. And so it's a first down. Gross takes the snap. Floats it in the flat. Catch made. He hate me. Again. Yeah. He's been all over the place today for the Immortals. You can see the Chiefs. They're really concerned about him going deep. And, and that allows him to just stop. He, he runs 10, 15 yards sometimes. Just turns, stops, and... and as long as you're on the same page with your quarterback, that's an easy completion. Gross, looking downfield, throws it into the end zone. Caught. Touchdown. And it's 28-26. And now a two-point conversion will tie it. Now that's something you saw from him in the first half, where he was able to get out of the pocket, roll a little bit, find an open receiver, and, and he is very good at, at sliding or even moving on the run and making completions. Tyran Taylor with the reception, right into traffic, threaded the needle beautifully. Yep. As Robert Massa on the coverage. So this sets up a two-point conversion from the 10-yard line for the tie with 3.12 remaining. Big play here. Not necessarily over if the Immortals don't get it, however. No. They want to tie it now. 3-12 left. Gross takes the snap, forced out of the pocket. Looking, looking. Near the sideline, floats it. Ball batted, and it's incomplete. And it stays a two-point game. New Jersey holds the lead with 3-12 left. It's going to slip right out and go straight up in the air like it did. Well, let's do it again as the Chiefs get the ball back up, too. That's a clean throw. Takes a high bounce. And a terrific tackle at the 25-yard line. As Easy Wingate reeled it in. Set down by Paul Wilson for the Immortals. And the Chiefs get the ball back of 28-26. It's a second down and 10. Vargas Wobbler to the sideline. Caught by Terry Rowland. Shy of the first down. And a conservative pass play and, and high percentage throw. I think that's the right call there. Makes it a third down and four. Vargas into the flat. Mayweather makes the catch, has a first down. And it slides outside the 45 to the 46, and that moves the sticks. It's impressive about this, the fact that they were down 14-0 at the start of the game and had a terrific second half, only holding Pennsylvania to six points in the final 30 minutes. Yep, they got back to their game in the second half, and, and um, of course, which was helped by a couple of big plays. And, and it's, it's amazing in, in football how fast the game can turn. Well, congratulations to the New Jersey Chiefs. Travis finishing a perfect season. 10 and 0, the Immortals end their year at 8 and 2. As we'll take a break here at Palisades Credit Union Park, we'll come back with the trophy presentation as New Jersey a comeback win, 28-26 to win the 2017 A7FL. Back after this at Palisades Credit Union Park. We got Shannon Kerkusis. He's going to present the trophy to the quarterback. We have Alex Vargas. Congratulations. Thanks, guys. This is right here. This is for my teammates. They deserve it. This was for you, fellas. Got no worries. You know, I'm proud of my team. We did it. We had a hell of a season. And that's it. Can't say much. We got what we wanted, the hardware. Well, the New Jersey Chiefs, the 2017 A7FL champions, winning 
26. Thank you to pass along our producer, Jeff Estella, Bob Brown as well. Jim Houston here at Palisades Credit Union Park. Mike Mahoney, too, for Casey Cochran. On the field, Travis Meyer. This is Seth Cantor saying thank you so much for tuning in to the A7FL Championship on 11 Sports. The winners, the New Jersey Chiefs. Have a great evening. Well, we've seen them in action we, so we far have this not, season. We have not disparaged the Nightcrawlers no, as much no. as maybe we've disparaged the Force, but we're going to find out right now as and we get the three-on-one throw Here we go. It'll be Marquise Williams returning it now for the Nightcrawlers. It's an untimed down, so this does not affect the clock, and he is not wasting out any bounds, time. Though. He's out of bounds and running exactly on the sideline. All right, I'm going to I'm gonna give him 93 speed, but I'm going to give him about 22 awareness here because he ran go. himself right out of bounds, which is okay. Yeah. No, nah, he they was looking at the end zone, and good for him. Him, but for the numbers this is my first chance to actually watch mark bagway live yeah and well we've seen him before but it's the first time seeing him in a big spot against outside competition three on out. the rush the snap two on the line bagway the over the middle Great complete ball. and Great that catch. one will get dropped down around the 44 yard line that, that reception and, and by number even, 34 even that, three wide receiver set two on the line empty backfield for mark bagway the snap fakes the screen. There's that Not pressure again. Not a lot again. of time. He's responsible for one. He just hustled the hell out of it. And he, he throws this it. one deep down. Field caught oh at the five and brings God. it down one Tampa handed. is here to play football. Tampa that is one. here to play football. Rico Brown with oh the reception. That was an absolutely magical play in the backfield he, for Mark Bagway to find the time. Up. And he throws the ball this is the 50 yards in the air. Bagway. And he look, says, when you... Excuse me. Oh, my God. You saw the slide? Like Iverson in the All-Star game, just finding the lane, and D'ing him up, and dropping a if, dime. If I'm being honest, that's what I said right before the game started. After I seen the highlight, he's still looking to throw the ball here. That, that and makes a, him And the snap to throw, and that one will be caught. That was touchdown. touchdown. Wow. Tampa. That is a statement. Rare Breed is the Baltimore champions. And Tampa just scored on their first opening drive. Ray Chalk with wow. the reception, putting them up 6-0. And they're, they're, moving, they're operating so fast that our camera crew can't even Did, get ready for the touchdown. Patterson, Here it is. You hurry up. Let's it take is. a look again on the yeah, replay. That was. Oh, wow. Quick and that's a touch pass, guys. Quick so. drop back, cut to the right. And this is a completely different offense than we're going to see at the 4 o'clock game. And some of you who just joined, who were watching the game before that from the Vegas Force, hard-running game and now an opportunity for Marcellus Pack to right the ship on an untimed down. Gets past oh one defender. Gosh. He's got the sideline, but will be brought down and brought Mark out of play around the 50. Bagway is fast. He is well, way fast. This is a Gotti Ward fight. This is going to be a back and forth between two precise offenses. But what we're going to see is... Maestros. is First and ten, the snap, the handoff. Cuts up field. That's oh, Omari God. Thomas. And Omari He's Thomas met at the line. stopped at the line. Somebody's mouthpiece even flew out. He's met at the line. That's a statement. And then on the other side of the ball, Rokeem Chaney is probably the best play caller in the A7FL right. this year. Yeah. So you see a run play that doesn't go anywhere. Ball almost came but out you're too. also going to see a lot more balance from this rare breed team, right. which may open up the play because action. That, so that maybe in play, these first yeah. couple drives, these flash plays might make a difference, but you see another run here. And a flag on the play, but the big man avoiding the tackle pushes what, the pile what, stay. And bounds and takes down the big man number 23. For and the as first fast down. as Tampa looks, they're going to have to step up to a big man like that and bring him down because I saw a couple business decisions on that play. <laughs> Two guys with precision, with skill, and with drive. Bagway and just relying on that run again. The humble beast trying to push the pile, but the Tampa defense catching an eye on it that time, and it will be second down. Interesting back set to the right of the quarterback, Rokeem Chaney. Two wide receivers set, and they'll play action. OG Buck so throws cold. it. Ooh, Ooh, and off the chest. Looking wow. for a flag. Will not get one. That was That's intended for Anthony defense. Diaz. That's great defense. So it'll be fourth and seven. Empty backfield quads, and There's then one in motion. The Pat well, Money seven. cuts through, gets, the, gets first the first down. Oh, got ourselves a game. The snap. The screen and OG Buck will just keep it. Goes downfield and brought down emphatically, but gets the work done. And that is why he is an MVP caliber player. It was a win for the rare breed, and then they get on the field and they're starting to pound them with some easy runs. The snap. The toss. Rocket screen. And oh. Buck comes loose, but he holds My on to it. Goodness. Blown yeah, up. 
That Again. is great film work from the Tampa Nightcrawlers. When you see the offensive line for the rare breed go downfield and Ant Mo is that at is the top good. of your screen, that's a rocket screen. You check, see check it out. the blockers see the are in front of him. There. There's one man to miss, and he, oh and he reads goodness. the blocker. And wow, that's a, that's Look, a that's very a good read. catch. Yeah, that's, that that's a very good catch because good that could have been a fumble for six. Yeah. And it'll be second and nine, one yard gain by Anthony Diaz, aka Ant Mo. The play action once again feigning that screen. OG Buck has with he, time has to cut through, has, goes downtown, oh, and will go out of play around the nine yard line. Those men on and look, the line. safety drop back. The big, big bodies. the number big four. man, number thirty-four. Number and they stand up to it. Number four, Bailey. I, I don't. He's a player to watch on that defense. That, so see, he's made he, all the plays so it's far. Play action, second and goal, and they'll just hand it off again to the big man. He'll push the pile and get into the end I zone. Like those. Touchdown, Baltimore. Yes, sir, We've got a I like contest. Those. Well, that's Marquise Williams. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, hundred to one. Because it's not happening. Marquise Williams throws this one deep, and here we go. Williams looking to make something happen again. Hus, 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 hus. Cuts to the sideline. Peels and gets driven out of play. <laughs> that, that man right there is, Terrell, is called the freight train. <laughs> Terrell Burks. And the reason he's called the freight train is not because of he's a locomotive. It's because when you meet him, it's going to be a collision, some kind of crash, and, and someone's getting hurt. And so his arms get out there, and he says, no, boy. Go to the sideline, sit down. You're not scoring today. It'll be it. first and 10 for the Tampa Nightcrawlers. 446 left to go. Mark Bagway with four wide receivers, two on the line. The snap. Bagway will immediately have to hus hus his way out of it this is. one. Every has time. time. Throws Every time. it off the hands Ooh, and out of he play. Has to catch that. Second and 10 to snap. Excuse and Bagway me. will just keep this one. He'll That's cut down sideline and bounces off wow. of his defender like That's, a pinball and, and will collapse at the 40. Like that was like smart, it. actually. I like yeah. it. I like it. I like it. And remember, the, the night crawlers got the ball to start the game, and there's a flag on the play. Darian Langston setting up to the right of Bagway. So all speed. Screen, and that one caught by Chalk. Wow. And a little bit of a, a surprise special there. And it's a moderate gain. And Getting blown up a little bit. I believe that was freight train, but it will be second down. And it'll be second and three. Seven yard gain on that one. Four. Split out. Thrown over in the middle of the wow. chalk. Chalk will catch this so one. Great. Changes oh direction. Hits it with the hustle. Oh. Lateral back ball is loose. And Ball's this one is ground. Still on the ground. It's looking like a rare breed. And Baltimore will walk away with Everybody it. I say. Freight Tra train. Tried, train. Tried to make it pretty. Tried a little too hard, guys, to play A7FL football. And... That it's man, there, don't man. use your game breaker now, young man. <laughs> don't use your game breaker now, but a turnover. The rare breed come in his zone. That's why the slant's wide open. Just lets him inside. And then he goes for the extra yardage. Yes, and he Hussles. had that lane there. there. It's all this and, extra. And what, what right we've here. seen so and far, there's guys. There's the lateral, and that's probably designed. And then both of the... Drop. Playing. It's not oh. drop. drop. But what we've seen, that. guys, is that the Nightcrawlers right now look like they might be a little bit more skilled. But the rare breed, guys, is is definitely a little bit more physical. Now we can see how this evolves as the game goes on. But I mean, after are, are after we a, call that a physical, he 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 tried to like the ball was said, on the ground, Rod, and there was there backwards. was four he didn't guys. Have to lateral that. There was four guys in the vicinity for the Nightcrawlers to get down. And if Cam Newton is going to get lambasted for not going for a fumble in the Super Bowl in the Elite Eight of the A7FL, if you don't get that fumble on the ground. It's, it's part I, I just, will. I just don't Rob. think it's a rare breed force turnover. Well, I we'll think see. it's a mistake. Two running backs set loaded on the line. They'll hand off. Pack cuts up speed. field. Oh, and Pac-Man wow. will get to the 25-yard line. Watch yep. the pressure off the edge. The handoff. Cutting to the outside. Run right at Mark Bagway. And the ball almost gets stripped out, but taken out of play. And a great move there by Marquise Williams. And that's smart quarterback play. Calling a run play to the opposing quarterback. Loading the box again. We'll cut to the right That's side. That's Marcellus four. Pack. Right there, four, but he time. is denied from getting the first down. They will, nope. They're they going to give him they're they're forward, forward progress. progress on that because they're letting these two teams fight, and that's a first down. Nice. And if you know if you know anything, Champion has a ring to it, and our friends at Herf Jones are looking to bring that to you. Go to HerfJones.com for more information. That's wow. HerfJones.com. First and ten. And the handoff, mm. and that'll be OG uh, Buck uh, handing that one up and getting brought again. down. I'm telling you. Most of the stops are going to be made by this gentleman right here. Yeah, he's, he's sideline to sideline. guys. This rare breed offense and this Tampa Nightcrawler defense are having very intense conversations with one another. The handoff, and that's again the Marcellus pass. Who's that Pack. again with the tackle? Who's that? Who is again, that? Again, Davis with the Davis tackle. Davis is going to be defensive player of the game. 
So doing? now they're just trying to get back into it, and one lucky fumble has given them a big opportunity. Play action. OG Buck with time. Throws it down. Failed. Caught. And that one will get down the sideline. That's Beefy. Beefy holding on to the ball. Almost That's lateraled it to Tony Toe Tap. But the most important thing is they held the ball, but there will be a flag, a and this one might be brought back. I'm not sure. Oh. They might be calling yeah, offensive it's... pass interference because there's a 265-pound wow. man <laughs> running full speed against a 145-pound corner, and I, I don't know if it was before. fair or not. Oh, Ooh, and yeah. I don't know what happened. Maybe I see. Look at that. That right side is wide open. Here comes the pressure, but they'll swap it. Play action. And OG Buck will throw this one deep down. Failed into the end Touchdown. zone. OG Touchdown, Bucks Baltimore. Brain. That's yes, Tony Totap, it looks like. And that's a triple move. He goes for the corner, post, brain. comeback. Come on, Tony. And if you, you don't see it on the screen there, but the corner just gets lost in coverage. Appearances for Marlon, Tony Totap, Anderson. Play action, in trouble, trying to make this happen. Pack money, gets stopped. Will he be driven home? No. That's it. And they're not getting these conversions. Matt and that's Corey. the, that's the most the important story. part of this game. And one conversion turns the tide on this one. And with 11.57 left to go, Baltimore has the, re has the lead. But we've seen the speed of this Tampa team. If they're able to pull it together, this one's going to be close and contentious. On the other side of this one, we're going to see if Marquise Williams can make his way into the end zone. Will we see some huss husses or will we see someone get stopped? It's 12 to 6, Baltimore in the lead here on Stadium. That's Two on the line, first and 10, 11, 44, and counting. No offense, Wolverine, he'll kill me. Cover. Set into the slot, Freeman being taken out of this one immediately. From foot. deep, intercepted the by Anthony Diaz. First mistake. And Mo. Second mistake. Nah, not, not back ways. Back not back to back ways, plays, back to back turnovers. Back so we were talking about it in the break because, you know, my guy to my left here has fallen in love with this Nightcrawlers team because of how like flashy them. they look. And like they do them. look like they have that explosiveness. But when you rush a quarterback and you force him to throw off his back foot and before he wants to, there's a miscommunication. And that's why he's going deep. His receivers turn it into a break route. And Ant Mo is capitalizing with an interception and a turnover for the rare breed, and taking full control of the momentum I'm, in this I'm game. First and 10 for the rare breed, the handoff. And that is another Four big again. stop by David. Ooh, trying to get the ball out there. He's going to have, like, 15 tackles by the time. One of them, Marcellus Pack, and the play action in trouble. Mm. Here comes pressure. First big pressure play of the day, and Cheney will get out of play, and it'll be third down. It'll be third and 12. You see the lineup and there. And OG Buck says, I, I can... I can play the two-man line game myself. And look at number 17. He's coming in and big pressure caught, but this one I again, a moderate dangerous. gain. I think that's dangerous. That was dangerous, and it is that rocket screen. It's yeah. a safe play. It's not um, that safe. It's, it, <laughs> it's, we've in seen theory, a lot of turnovers this year on that screen. Right. In theory, it's a safe play, but. Right. In this league, it's not that safe. I feel like number Looks four, like they're staying on the field. And they will go for it on fourth and eight uh, with a is, lot of time this left. This is bold. I think this is bold. I think they're trying to break the back of this team right uh, now. Yeah, this is and bold. look at the expression on Buck's face. He has not changed a bit. This Rock is bold. fames the screen in trouble. That's working too Shaney much. Shaney will cut downfield, and he will get the first down, and will get out of play at the 41. Be second and 10. Another handoff to the big man, number mm. 34. Ooh, almost gets the ball. Cross. I like, listen, I like Davis, man. Davis playing. He is, I like Davis, man. He is certainly making Look it to the top him. of the list as, as, oh, as yeah. linebackers to be respected in this oh, league. Oh, for sure. He's reading the plays well. Come on, He's Johnson. Get out of the, get out of the screen Johnson, with your out, step up on Very third and fourth down. Play down. action. In trouble. Cheney throws this one deep Aunt down. Mo. Failed. Oh. And out of his hands. And Mo can't reach. get it. Just out of, he got he to die for that. You think he got to die for that? Mark, he he, wouldn't, that, that he wouldn't have caught it because it's, it's up and away. Here the Nightcrawlers do. They get momentum back too. Because yeah, these are risky calls. And Cheney. Uh, big block, block there, and, and he's he got the, the opening again. Oh, Davis with the crossing it. I'm telling you, oh, he might have set down. And he might have sent Rohit Shaney into last, you know, couple he weeks. He might have hit one of his guys too against the Gators. He's My just having flashbacks goodness. to the Abyssinia Stadium. That oh, is, man. that is how you stop a play on fourth down. I told you we were going to be calling Davis's name all day. We're going to take a brief time Ooh. out here, I but on fourth and yeah. eight. If you're in Atlanta, if you're in Detroit, if you are anywhere around the Damn. world and you want to be an A7FL owner, this is the energy we want to bring to every market across the country. If you want to be a part of this, go to a7fl.com slash owners. What a day so far.
from Davis, Darius Davis, on Dave. both sides of the ball, primarily on defense, gentlemen. Oh, you saw him on the sideline there. You know you hit somebody hard when you put ice on the back of your net. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be first and 10 here for we Mark Bagway. Now. Two straight turnovers on back-to-back -back plays for the ball for the Tampa Nightcrawlers with Interesting. 545 Interesting, they go with the three-man line here. They made the adjustment. Yeah. This is what this game is about. Great blocks. And Bagway. He's still making people miss. Throws it. Land it fly. That'll be a reception. A first Ooh, down and Johnson. Johnson. These guys, these guys want to turn it into a foot race when they catch it. It's not, it's not going to be easy to take these guys down. They're not falling off first contact. One tight end, two wide receivers. Bagway with no, not a lot of time. He might have to get on his bicycle, and he does. He gets the first wow. down and more. That's Screaming to the sideline, Mark Bagway getting the first down and brings it deep into Baltimore territory. Will be called out of play at the 22 first down. And I like how aggressive the defensive ends from the Rare Breed are coming after Mark Bagway, that which is what dangerous. forced the interception. But if you're gonna get beat at that edge and you give him the edge, then you're gonna open yourselves up for easy 40 yard runs like that. And Have they gonna... even handed the ball off once? And that one's a Excuse quick me. toss to 23. Us. And a little bit of defensive holding by yeah. Beefy, okay. but that Good one will get the job Wolverine. done. I, I expect Wolverine to make that tackle. Gain of about seven on the play, and it will be second and three. Nine. Oh, my. And, and when we're talking about Mark Bagway, the snap on second and three, Bagway will throw this one over the great middle. Throw. Touchdown! Wow. Great read, great throw. Yeah, Touchdown, he steps Tampa. up into the pocket, and, and off his off balance, flicks it out there to the wide open receiver. And if that he's going to be able to con continually to do that now, all this, down the, the, and, the, the field, we're going to have a really high scoring game, guys. And this is begs the question, guys, after this drive, after this resolve, after giving it up on back to back drives, where does this put Mark Bagway in the conversation with the top quarterbacks oh, in the league? I here he goes. Off Corey. I want to pick back off Corey. I want to off Corey. And I'm going to tell you why. When he was describing Huff, I mean Huff, Buck, he said Buck was Huff-esque. Bagway is Sterry-esque. That puts him, honestly, if we're going top four quarterbacks, Bagway might have to be up there after performance Well, like this. I'll ask you guys, if you just put it based on, on paper and what we've seen so far, who's got the better team around them? It's, I don't think it's the Nightcrawlers have the better, best team around him, and they've basically every single play asked him to make the play for them. Going for two points here. Bagway throws this one. Call off there! And they're not including including these conversions! Oh, off the chest! Oh, Sir. that one has to hurt. He owes some push-ups. Including, guys, that. including ah. that extra point where Mark Bagway does what he needs to do. He does what he needs to do, but the team isn't. So, again, Sterry has the best team around him, but Bagway, Bagway's nice, man. So it'll be Marcellus Pack, one of the most dangerous returners in all of pro football. And he will go it off a dead ball whistle. He will get it to the 45 before he is met with any kind of traction. And Marcellus Pack off the dead that run with a, a great return. And will get it to the and 20. And now he's going to the track. Setting in on two way players. What it is, is, is I don't know if, if the three on one for the Nightcrawlers have to face a guy with that yeah. level speed, of acceleration. Right. And a lot of guys, they do the, the hesitation move before they pick a side or the other. It'll be first and 10, Rakeem Chaney loading up on the line and he'll hand it off to Pack. They're and Pack will cut to the outside, try to finish what he started, but they're brought asking, down at the 16. They're asking Pack for a lot right now. I think they should give Pack a break. Well, and they're asking. To just connect on those passes. And they will hand it off again to Marcellus Pack, slips through to the defender, Ooh. and will get Ooh, okay, to the 11 yard line. Okay, Pack with the stiffy. Might have been enough. Pause. And a three man line, big pressure. Play action. Yeah. In trouble is Buck. Buck oh, brought wow. down at the 20. A 10 yard wow. loss. Yeah, that's Diego um, Rivera, double D, who's normally a safety. He's playing the edge rusher, similar to the way wow. that the, the, the rare breed made a defensive adjustment. Gets in there for the sack. That that okie doke move can only work five times in a yeah, row. He's not, he didn't fall for the um, the, sixth, this time. the sixth time. And, it's a, the and a great wrap tackle too by the defender. Right, great tackle. Just coming right in, and also that big play wrap tackle. That's the thing about the A7FL. Tackling technique is it, one of the most oh important God, things. Super important. The trio. Yeah. Up. The ball up, oh, trying to go for the feint on the draw. Oh my God. Thrown Jump up. Ball. Touchdown, Ant Baltimore. That's hard. Let's go, Ant Mo. Let's go, Antmo. Anthony Diaz making it look pretty, doing a little bit of a dance, and will take the lead, and it will be 18 to 12. If he doesn't but, make that catch. He, we can't look at him as yeah. a decent receiver. Well, he's, guess what? He's the, going in. He's getting his car keys, and he's going home. Right. He and the ball placement, because it, it wasn't his zone defense, but he's throwing the ball 
uh, Buck is in between two defenders, puts the ball up for his tall receiver, and if he doesn't come down with it, then he maybe he's not only losing that, that ball, but he's losing the trust in his quarterback. And just a great throw. Pop fly, downfield, in double coverage. If, if Bagway's half a second later, he gets the intercept. He gets the swap. And they will have four. Looks like they'll be rushing three. Here comes the contain, though. And another Same sack guard. by Same number sack. nine. So, that was so, a Madden zone so blitz if I've ever seen say, one. Against elite teams, we can't get conversions, right? Because that's yeah. what it's looking like. And those conversions are going to – the first team that scores and gets the conversion, that's that might the be advantage. the team that wins. And you can see Rico Brown just pacing, ready for it. This one thrown, and this one will make the requisite distance. That will bounce at the 23, and sometimes the bounce will help. Gets past Freeman, but will meet him on the other side and brought down emphatically with a tackle. He believed in his speed. Yeah. <laughs> it, you know, he's not worried about it. All contact. They're talking about their like stock it. picks. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I like tech Tesla's, stocks. Tesla's, Tesla's on the way Tesla. back down. Maybe that's what time Netflix to go in. Netflix is dropping, man. Netflix is dropping. By the dip. No, do By not. the dip. Do not go back in on Netflix. You want and that bang. And about there's... to do commercials on Netflix. That's going to be not a good <laughs> oh, look. And Wolverine knows that. Wolverine uh, tells me about a stock. So anyway, and, first and 10. And freight train on that one, too. Uh, uh, when you see those two guys coming at you. No, like, does that make it 24-18 if they don't make those mistakes? Bagway cuts down field, goes to the 44, and will be out of play, and the clock will stop. Hey, Matt, if they don't make them those mistakes so far, they're perfect. Yeah. And watch the, watch the matchup here between Williams and the defender. Ooh. And a big throw! That was a complete hey, pass. Like, no flag! It's, it's, they're blowing oh, the they're whistle, blowing the even whistle. though... It, that's close because if they, if they go on the replay there, that's, that's, a, that's a rare form of athleticism to throw the ball while he's it. in the air. But the they thing is, is that because the whistle was blown, and the reaction from the defense is that they stop moving. So right. that's going to be the chess match that we see from the defensive ends. It'll be second and 14. The ball thrown deep downfield. Caught and wow. out of bounds. What a play. Okay, that right, gets now, fast. He just cooked back. Now I'm jealous. That gets fast. No, 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 stop. Because he if you can back. run. Stop. If you could run the way that Mark Bagway has shown he could run and then drop a dime on a fade just like that on time, I'm jealous. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> just Look at his fault. Look, Look at his fault. Ha. Oh, oh, that's pretty. Good. He could have caught that with. Pack. He could have caught that. In oversized pants, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just stretch the waistband out. That would have dropped right into the basket. That's a perfect throw. And if you're going to score on a, on a one-minute drive, that's how you're going to do it. And uh, official Treacy, these commentators say anything annoying. Well, thank you. Uh, thank and then a so quick much. play to Johnson, number 69. And it'll be we, second down. We can't fan out on Baltimore, right? we got to call a fair game. We, and these night crawlers, if you guys are watching this game and you don't think the night crawlers have stepped up and shown that they're a team that can compete, on a high level, they're giving the Baltimore champions a game. And, out of, and it'll be second and five. He just he just challenged Ant Moe to line yep. up against him, too. Oh, baby. Spread offense here. The snap. Waiting for it. Thrown. Beautiful play. Excuse Keeps me. it in play. Bye, Cuts bye, through bye. some side. Excuse Takes me. this one to the house. Come on. Touch we say anything. Tampa. We say anything. Tampa's really like that. We don't say anything. Don't be mad because your team... Is, your team don't look as hot as they looked before. Rob, you're taking too much time to respond to somebody that's the <laughs> official Tracy, and if her name's Tracy, she spelled it wrong. <laughs> and it will be a touchdown wow. for Let's take a look at this play again. Wow. Pressure collapsing. Then that beautiful ball this. keeps it in bounds, hush. does not touch the line. Hush, hush. Excuse me. And oh, bye look bye. who's got And look who got cut. Pack, I told you they asked asking and Pat to do too much. Step by step on that play, that's el amazing elusiveness. Throwing off your back mm. foot. Throwing with anticipation, throwing with throwing power, throwing with accuracy, and, and an amazing play this? by the wide receiver right on the time now, to make the this, is this is the most important game play of the game right now. Okay, this is the it. most important play of the game because this will give Tampa so their first lead since the first quarter. Freight Absolutely. Train. I'm watching Freight Train. Freight Train has to show watch, some eliteness here. Watch the edge. Not a lot of time. Bagway. Matt. Get, can and I call it or can I call it? Loose. Can what I play? call it or can I call it? Can you gotta watch it. Freight Train, man. Can you call it? That's a grown man come saying, on, come man. on, bro. You're not going to get away with this on yeah, me. And he's saying a lot of stock picks right now. Yeah. Wow. A lot of stock they're, picks. They're, they're trying to figure out if they should go to the Arby's down the road here in Wilmington. <laughs> it's one of the old school they, Arby's. They as, as well as the offensives <laughs> have shown out scoring the touchdowns. Oh, my God. Both of game. these defense deserve credit because they've stood up right after big momentum changing plays. And stop. And Stop on, every man. single one of these this opportunities. Is a great game. And that's impressed. a huge play yeah, by the I mean, You know what? This is what A7FL football is all about. Right. 
this right here, these two towns, these two cities trying to put on for each other and a sign Look of respect. The respect. I love it. And yeah, the, I love the it. respect after a man just ripped his jersey over his face. <laughs> and this will be a dead ball snap from the 25. And, and as quick as the Nightcrawler scored. I can't watch. Better watch. Gets watch. to the 50. Meets with the Huss, but the big man trying to oh, push him out, and he'll get out around the 36. Return. That's a great return. And, and untimed, with 25 seconds left on the clock, the best way that you can set your offense up to score is to get them within throwing range of the end zone. Are they going with the Maryland Special? Because ammo is at the bottom of your screen on the sideline. Yep. And there's the Maryland yep. Special. Oh, it pays oh, off, dear. but they keep him and then bring him down, but that one will Gets go out, out of, of play. Oh, that's not ammo. That's not ammo. No, that is, is. Uh, number, 80, number 88. Maybe he's going to do it on second down. The snap, and here comes the pressure. Got OG time. Buck. That's Cheney. plenty of time. Rolls out. We'll throw this one, and that one wow. will be dropped. That is, when you run back and forth like that, all of a sudden the zone zones actually close downfield because everybody's back there. So the pinpoint accuracy in which he put the ball there, even though it was a tough catch, Dorsey almost comes up with it. Right. Second and ten, three on the line, and here comes the pressure. Oh, the snap and immediately, but Buck. Oh, beefy! Beefy! beefy. Oh, my oh, my get his feet in. Don't get his feet in. It's close. On. It's close. And oh, it will. It goodness. looks like it'll be third down. I, did, he, did he get it? Did he get it? I don't know. We gotta look at that. No, they're not moving the chains. It will be third ah, down. Ah, that's. Ugh, man. But we're gonna Come see on, Aunt Mo at the bottom of your screen. That's gonna be the matchup I'm looking at right now. See but... The snap, and here comes the pressure again. Rolls out his Cheney in oh, a flag. They're calling holding. They're calling a hold. They're calling a hold. Keep playing, young man. Keep okay. And they're okay, gonna. Right, and there's the whistle. Was... Yeah. And if they call the hold there. Hold. And I think that's they're the gonna. That's gonna. That's seen. gonna reset, and we're gonna have third. They're gonna decline it, so it'll be the end of the half. Because when when Buck saw that it was a holding, it's he declined. wasn't gonna put. He wasn't gonna put it in the air. Even if you score, then it's, you know, and, and Tampa then can, has to make a stop here. This is the difference between potentially a tie, a lead, and a potential 12-point lead with that untimed down at the start of the second half. And Cheney throws this one deep, tipped up, and that one will be out of play. And this will be the way we end our first half. And after one of the most dynamic first halves in recent memory, this is why you watch the A7FL. We're going to walk into halftime with this game tied 18-18. to -18, And not a, not a score we would have expected walking into halftime. Here we go. And here we go, and it will be... Pack Money returning this one for Baltimore. Oh. And he gets eaten by the turf okay. monster in number okay. three with the tackle. Okay. And he'll be brought down around the 26. Next to Pack Money. Down Davis. And they'll hand Down it off to Davis. Pack Money. Davis trying to give chase. Cut back by Pack Money. Back, Block bro. set by Cheney, but he can't get to the first and down marker. He actually makes the tackle. He makes the play. He makes the play even as he missed. There's overuse. Pack looks tired. We're going to go back to that when the Nightcrawlers have the ball. Second and three, and here comes the pressure again. Cheney throws this one deep down field, and that will be out of reach. So uh, Pack doesn't make that catch usually. And there's definitely a three on the on, on the scale in front of those numbers. And big st trying to get the stop, Ooh. trying to make sure he doesn't get to the 39. Wow. And with impunity, that ball, that Tampa defense, that Tampa front line. That's a big stop. Davis wasn't even involved. That was a big stop. Take out the punt, really, at all, uh, and to it'll begin be with. Fourth and one. He'll get the first down. He'll get to the 40 and almost <laughs> loses the ball on that one. And a tackle by number one, that's Marquise Williams. Fourth and one. I mean, the odds are in your favor on offense, especially are, when you've been kind of owning the line of scrimmage on those those fourth downs. You know first game, and like ten. I know the game. And the snap, and then the it's handoff of the third straight play, that, and stop. well, that's a lot of that's a lot of rare breed guys doing the old not block anybody, turn around and watch the play uh, thing. Would you Trips to the top of the screen, second and eleven. And the blitz, and we're going to see if the Vegas Force can keep this kind of Whoop. energy. And OG oh, Buck, block. oh no, almost Davis. gets stripped, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. but brought down at the Listen. forty-four. It's third and six, but it's definitely still four-down territory. Oh, certainly. And here comes the pressure. Davis trying to get around the defender. This Let's ball thrown fly. deep down field and almost intercepted, out of the Tony reach of both that. players. And does OG Buck just try to pinpoint this one? Does he try to coffin corner this throw? Yeah, coffin corner it. Get, put these guys in the worst field position you could possibly put them in. Well, for Mark Bagway, 99 yards may not be enough. And this one thrown deep downfield. And this With one is caught. One? Oh, he's bold. 
He's bold. And now trying to cut through. Hus Hus hits him with the Husk. It's oh. past the first defender. Hus Usually Hus that's Hus the hard part. Gets down the sideline and will. Hus oh, Hus stays oh, in oh, bounds. Oh, no. Comes Hus to the sideline. Gets Hus through the defender. And Marquise getting a little tired. Throwing up the one finger <laughs> Running salute. Out of gas. He, and he'll his get number to the 35. Is one, and he was just letting everybody at home know which number. Is not only on the back of his jersey, but on he his hand. He should have went all the way, man. Uh, yeah. And it will be first and 10, three wide receiver set, two on the line. Bagway in trouble. Bagway will throw this over the middle. That's, Reception that's and gets to the first down marker, gets uh, to the 46. Freight Train's Freight just train. looking to punch Freight somebody. Train. All right, blow that whistle, blow the whistle, blow the whistle. Yeah, he's Come not on. backing down. Back in the box. Play action, Bagway. He'll run, he'll keep this one, and he will go downfield, and he will keep going, cuts oh through, my. slipped, oh, and they will they caught, wow. call I didn't it see it. What? I didn't see it. Mark Bagway's thinking about six. Mike Davis versus Freight Train on the line right now. And you see big oh, si shoot, number 16, the big man. That's Mr. Biggs to Quan Filia. Set up to the right, one wide receiver set. Two wide receiver set, pardon me. Bagway in trouble, Bagway throws it! Ooh, out of the hands, and there's a pass Whoa. interference call. Hold on a Hold second, on. wait a second. Pardon me, from the three-yard line, Bagway set up the seven, the snap. Bagway in trouble. Ooh. Bagway rolls out, caught off okay, the hands. Okay. He would have scored if he takes it in. It's, it's, it's a good quarterback play to throw it to your receiver, keep him involved. That was intended Brown. for Rico Brown. Hi, Brown. Michael Childs. But second and goal. Clock breaking down here, 524. And here comes Freeman, throw tipped oh, and drop oh. down. Heads up play by Davis. Wow. And guess Davis why that happened? That down. They took Wolverine from the side he was on, put him on the opposite side, created a mismatch. Yeah, but he just went full steam. But number 17 for Rare Breed, Quill Lane, makes a great play to tip it. He should have let Freight Train get up there and, and high point it because if you watch the replay that, here, both of them are, once both the ball's them. tipped, Rare Breed's playing defense against Rare Breed because Freight Train's going to grab that. Yeah, yeah Pop, Freight ooh. Train grabs that. We are back here live. It's the A7FL playoffs win or go home season. And it's on the play attempt. Bagway cuts in, gets into the end zone, touchdown! And, and that's all he needed, guys, just to run it in. And like, like Matt's been screaming all day, he can just walk it in. Two, three yards, five yards. He gets whatever he wants when he wants it. We're seeing fans debate whether or not Mark Bagway He's is at the same level Sterry. as Sterry Codrington or Quattro Huffin. Oh, my. And oh, my. There's and, and there's the in. first conversion. They will count in. it. And is that he went for two? And they will one. count it one, one. and one it will one. now be a 25-18 game, a seven-point game. And what up? So, so the argument is, Bagway is on an average team. That's what that's, that's what people in the chat are saying. That if, is your argument. That's what I've been that's saying. It. So you're telling me if Bagway has a Just BIC level look at team, that. that's amazing. He was able wow. to stop Freight Train and Mr. Beefy dead in their tracks, stop on a dime, oh stop my. on a button, not even a dime, like stopping Plus, on a pit, the edge of a pin. Excuse me. Hits him with the B button, gets inside, gets over, and he's already in there he when the ball in. gets stripped. So that is seven points. The first time <laughs> we've seen someone convert today on an extra point. And he's tired. Yeah. And he launches this one deep to... Pack money. Marcellus Pack, who's had three touchdowns in three game of the week appearances Dangerous. so far this season, off of the special teams, no almost loses the ball. One. Pack's tired. Yeah, and Pack that's is a, tired. That that's just a good open field back tackle because what happens is on the three on one is when that first guy mits, misses, then it's two on one, and that's when guys take advantage. Sue boy, exactly. They're all tired. Who wants it more? And 404 left to play here after a six minute drive to start okay, the first, Buck, ha the okay, second Buck. half. That's Buck. Pack. Oh, oh Marcellus Pack on the pie. QB keeper. You know, and, and strategy where you're gonna you're and, gonna make them cover the quarterback from and the run. The Wolverine yeah. being met by a buzzsaw. That's a first down. That's an attitude run. He's not the most natural running back, but he's certainly a punisher out there, and he gets the first. It looks like. Actually, still going. Yeah, he is. And, and Lott, Pack is slowing down. Lot Smith has been playing some heavy heavy minutes today too. And Th that's, ball comes loose. Right. Characteristic of Pack. No, Come absolutely on. not. So Ike Johnson's in the chat telling me this is what Pack does. You guys are hurting Pack. He has to take a break. This is not. This this isn't the answer. Well, at some point, Roheem Cheney has to take 
break the mold from game manager and become playmaker and start delivering the ball downfield with open pass. With two minutes left to play in There's 17 minutes. There's a mismatch. Number nine is going to burn his defense. Bagway, that's Bagway that was on number nine. And the ball thrown deep, and that one will be incomplete intended for Ant Mo Anthony I meant on the, Diaz. I meant on the defensive line for the Nightcrawlers. Oh, number man. nine has been owning that right tackle position, and you can just see the size differential. It's crazy. Well, we've got to you count bias. your chickens before they hatch, and there's the handoff to the Wolverine on third and 12 in the third, and he almost gets depanced I, on that play, and another big play. A solo tackle by, by, Smith. by Smith. Smith's been cooking all game as yeah, well. Yeah, but on third and 12, guys, you go with a jet counter? No, I mean, I'm sorry. You have to put the ball in the air. Down. You have to get the ball to one of your wide receivers on a timing route. I mean, that's obviously my bias, but this is just not a good play call on third and 12. Lot Smith has had a day on he defense. definitely did, and this is what me and you talked about. This is no back, the, the backyard version of A7 where these guys are playing both sides of This is a young team. These guys can run and sprint. And back imagine and with more seasoning, oh, playing man. different competition, on, being able to continue to build stride for stride, we might see an These guys look tired, yeah. guys. We are back here on Stadium, the A7FL playoffs win or go home season. If you saw UFC 275 last night and you thought you saw some compelling knockouts, we're 15 minutes away from one. A and this one play? brought down. And that one, a big play that there. That was the first run play I've seen all game. Well, they wanted to give their linebacker some, some props for all the tackles that he's made because right. Wolverine got the ball, so they were going to quit pro quo joining me on the call, and it will be second and 12 play action. Bagway keeps his arms low, kind of an oh, Anderson God. Silva move, and gets Davis. open field to throw to number Cuts. four. Cuts through, big block, and he'll wow. try to keep going, but brought down at the 48, wow. and Tampa bringing that energy. Have turned our head sideways like a dog that was showing a card trick. What happens when the force and the BIC play in this thick, soupy atmosphere, it's first gonna, and 10? It's going to even out the teams, I'll tell you that. And the throw Ooh. to... Johnson, number 69, nice, getting the five-yard gain. And I think it'll be because, second down. I think you guys are watching a beautiful stream. You're hearing, our, you're hearing my amazing voice and everyone else. <laughs> um, you guys don't understand how humid it actually is out there. It did rain. Like, the air is thick yeah. out there. So these guys are huffing and we had, puffing. And, we what had you're hearing is, warnings and what you're hearing is Northeast guys complaining about humidity and Florida guys on the field not worrying about do. it whatsoever. So that might be affecting rare breed to a different level. And these yeah. Florida guys are still smiling in this. I'll, and guys, I'll, I'll stop that point right here because what's affecting the rare breed is the absolute clinic that Mark Bagway is putting on as the A7 of L quarterback. Second and four. Tried to go for that Be More special. Bagway throws it over the middle. Intercepted. That is that, Ball that's amazing. That's amazing. Loose. That's amazing. What's going on? And focusing on What's Ant Diaz there, but that play Great interception. Great that interception by Baltimore. Clutch. That one was by that number five, Janon Forrester. Clutch. And guys, as we as we approach the fourth quarter here, Rakeem Chaney, a, a legend in this Ant league, go, getting into Ant Mo, and we'll get about Ooh, nine. Down. Oh, oh. He's still moving, matriculating. Okay, a ball almost came loose there and stopped, all right, all right, stifled. Right. A Luther Campbell-esque tackle there by the Nightcrawlers, and it will be first and ten. I mean, he's He hasn't made a play in a while. He's going to have to make a play now. Three wide receivers set first and ten. Here comes the pressure again on Chaney. Ball thrown As deep downfield. And yeah. overthrowing. Ball is not the answer right now. In motion play action. The to toss to Beefy. Beefy. And Beefy getting caught in the crossway. Stop. Almost getting to ball, the ball stripped out. Ball security. But matriculating the ball downfield. And that jet action shovel pass. It's, it's trying to take advantage of the rush. But, you know, luckily for the Nightcrawlers, that's when they actually kind of played back. We talk about the rare breed. You know, sucking wind. It looks like the Nightcrawlers are, are, are uh, in, in a similar position. The Off second the half. edge, you've got the demolition crew on either side. The toss again, again to Beefy, again. and he'll get it. Ooh, Top. trying to take. Wow. Okay, they're too Beefy. focused on the strip. They're trying to get the turnover here, but too focused on the strip, not focused enough on the tackle, and that will be more than enough to get him the first. Time. When I mean, Beefy's to... running full speed, he, he the two tackles he broke, he probably weighs the same as both of those guys put together. Right, so we have to also check the time, and these guys are not they're not doing anything to slow get the off game me. down at all. Stop no. it. And then 16 comes in, even up the scales. And they're going to go to that play-action jet sweep again. Chaney throws it downfield. Has a wide-open man. Mark Bagway taking a little bit of a breather because he hasn't had one all game. <laughs> and Ant Mo would have had a touchdown if the ball's just thrown right to his chest. Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond, and we're taking a look at the chat. Mark making a great decision to throw! Caught! 
Oh my God! That's bad way. Back way. That's back way. Keeping the lead you by keep, any means necessary. You keep asking for him to do more, Corey. And he's I'm not asking. I'm not asking to do more. I'm just pointing out how much they're asking him to do. And a three deep. Here we go here we go. On the defense, on, and Cheney on, in what trouble got, gets eaten up by the turf monster. Stays upright. He is meeting some oh, ghosts nothing. here, and he is brought down at the 48-yard wow. line. First and an uncomfortable amount. Well, the the bottom of your screen, the Mark Bagway's throwing arm side, which is the easier side for him to run to, is wide open, which is a mistake. And off from the half yard line, deep in his own end zone, thrown and over the middle, and composure. he's got the that's field in front wanted. of him and that's brings it to the wanted. 20. And guess what? That's the answer. That's if you're going to sit in the pocket, when you're able to run 99 yards for a touchdown, you're going to sit in the pocket, find the open receiver in the middle of the field, dump it down, which is, which is sometimes a hard decision for guys that are looking to make a big play do. Just know. He made, he made the play. Two, three seasons from now, when we're talking about Florida's dominance in this league, it'll start from Mark Bagway. Yeah. In I, this playoff game. Just this is, this is the, the potential start of a legacy and here. Pain. Pain. And gets past the Wolverine, cuts yeah, down the sideline, and will get out of play. The clock will still run. He's had, a target. he's had a target game. on his back all game because they've been letting free rushers in. They haven't been blocking well, and he's still managed to find a way to be one of the best quarterback performances we've seen all year. And if you're Baltimore, the snap here, cutting down field, wow. using the B button, yeah. we'll get to the 37. If you're Baltimore, when do you start burning those timeouts? Roster. And the smack talk between these two teams on social media has only paled in comparison to the force in the BIC. That's our 4 o'clock game. Bagway in trouble. Almost oh. intercepted for the third time. He needed that one because I think that, that was a touchdown. Clear. That would have been yeah. touchdown. Janan Forrester almost with that. his second interception of the afternoon. We're back here live, wow. and Mark Bagway having the time of his life. Two minutes away from making his way to the final four in the A7FL. Matt Ryan drawn by Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. And the snap on first and ten after the two-minute warning. And an inner, almost oh a big play to Davis, number four. We'll see. Second and ten. Win, right? Three wide receiver set, Bagway will roll out to his right. Stops, throws over the middle again to 34. He is that ultimate check down wow. for them. And wow. peels off of two defenders, one of the big Freeman, yeah. and gets it to the 35, and the clock will keep oh, running. Oh, no Dance, young man, because guess what? You're putting your team in a position to win, and that's maybe a couple extra moves too many. <laughs> but it's don't, rightfully earned because Don't that, waste your game breaker, son. Look, look at the stop. Look at the... Stop on the check down that he's is. been able to do. He's thrown against the middle of the field, so he's lucky that there's no other player there. Excuse but me, Ant Mo misses the the tackle there Look that would have put motor. them in a good spot. It hasn't no, been it enough hasn't. against Bagway here. That that speed been. Bagway has has neutralized Wolverine. Minute 12. The Rare Breed have oh yet God. to use a timeout. Oh, just a guy. Under oh two minutes, and Bagway will just lightly jog to the 20. Oh He'll fumble God. the ball and get out of play. Man. The only person that's going to uh, stop Mark Bagway today is Mark Bagway. Yeah. If you're Atlanta, you're New Orleans, you're watching this now, imagine getting in this league and being a part of this conversation, right, right, right. bringing this kind of energy to the A7FL timeout finally called. Wow. And wow, Tampa. Nightcrawlers feeling good wow. about themselves. You Guys, know what? When still, you fly there in, are still crooked numbers yeah, on know, the clock. I when know. you fly in, you could feel good about yourself, but maybe wait wow. until it's 0 0 because the yeah. rare breed, Things if happen, anything, man. there's a lot of men out there, and they're not going to get disrespected without at least a pound of flesh. What happens if there's a fumble and pack takes it? They're to still six calling right pass plays. Yeah, they're, they're brave. Maybe. 52 seconds left to play, and the handoff to the big man, number 17, and he will go sideline to sideline, and that will go listen, out of play. Listen. The Nightcrawlers are are daring the rare breed to, to take the ball away from them. Four o'clock, the Vegas force flying across three time zones for the right. second time in as many weeks playing the number one seed Trenton BIC on neutral ground. Scary. What's going to happen? We're going to find out at the top of the hour on stadium and internationally on fight. Four wide receivers set, and Bagway wow. will just run with it. He'll be button. He'll keep the ball, and that will keep the clock going, and that will burn the last time out, nice. and it will be fourth down. This game might be out of reach. And the throw on the sideline, and they can't get the first down. So Baltimore will get the ball with 38 seconds left to play, and they will have and to make goes. it work. And, who, who, and somewhere who? Ike Johnson just mumbled something incoherently because the Baltimore <laughs> Red Breed absolutely have life in this game. And Wolverine is Hulk mode right now. Nightcrawlers run the ball. Rare Breed don't even have an opportunity. So this is a mistake by the Nightcrawlers offense to give the Rare Breed a chance. Now, it may not matter, and they may have the swagger on defense to make it so it's not even a big deal. 
I, but I when you're about to get on a plane and you're either going to win or lose, as it's, just, it's definitely set up for the double pass. Because yeah, watch that. The throw over the middle. Pack money! Pack money! Run it down the sideline! There it is! He's going to do it! Try to Let's run go, it out! Let's go, Pat! Let's go! 25! 15! 10! Touchdown, Baltimore! Let's go! Big Rob said it. Respect the game. It'll respect you back. Thank you. Let's go! My crawlers do not respect the rare breed, and the rare breed right now show that wow. they have absolutely zero wow. respect for the night crawlers. And right now, they're an extra point away from either tying wow. or winning this game. They're going to go du maybe double Wait, pass what? again. And now, oh, 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 Mansell! Mansell! Mansell using his legs! He's in trouble! This Throws is the game! Baltimore takes what? the lead! Hold on! Tony Tonk Tap makes Let's his presence known. Tap. Taps both toes in. That's why he's got his name, guys. Wow! And, but this is an untimed down, and, and there's a... Man. And this man's got speed. He catches it at the oh, 20. Oh. And oh. oh! 30 seconds, first and 15. Chalk, chalk. Thrown over the middle again same, same and hits it over to That's number two. Brown, He'll Brown. cut down field. He'll get Hold to the, the 46. Man. Right? Yes. The, You've seen the commercial. The snap. Not rushing. Bagway with time. And Mark Bagway will wow. cut straight down Wilmington You're and find old. himself to the 30. Look for Rico Brown. And look at the top of your screen. You got one more player at the bottom. The snap. Two. Uh, and there's Rico Brown. Rico cuts up field. He tries to make it down to the five. He Rico stays Brown. up. Look at Rico oh, Brown. Wow. And there's no to way. The touch. There's no way. And they there's walk no it way. Off. There's, there's a penalty flag, a flag on the field because the backwards pass was really close to being forward. And if it's oh, a. Oh, my. They had God. the timeout. Listen, they had the timeout. If he goes down there, they call a timeout. They have oh, another play. My God. This could be a runoff. And Tampa's gonna go oh, home man. with as sour a taste as you can have in your mouth. Oh. Watch for the Wolverine with the Not season on the line. Bagway in trouble, what? throws this one, and it's off the ball, and Baltimore moves on to the final four! Wow! Yeah. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. Came here to prove it, I'm ready to do it, I can't be afraid now Put me on the stage now, I'm ready to rage now I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out My time, my time, none of you people can tell me to stop This time, like the last time, you better get ready to race in the It starts with the dreams They're so real The feeling of being back on the field The roar of the crowd that energy of being back on the sideline. Tonight, two teams go from those dreams to the reality of being 60 minutes away from making history as Ace of NFL champions. With both the Tampa Nightcrawlers and Las Vegas Insomniacs infused with the DNA of the glass and grass era, they look to be the first not hailing from the Northeast, where this game was born and evolved from a town beef to a nationwide league to hold the A7 title. Nearly a year removed from being denied by those Northeast gatekeepers, each team looks to turn those dreams into reality for them and a nightmare for their opponents. Tonight, they look to break the scoreboard and the internet. Tonight, they show the world what real football is. No pads, no helmets, no brakes, all gas. This is the A7FL Championship. Nine years ago, on fields of glass and grass. Teams from PA, Baltimore, and New Jersey battled to get their hands on one of these. In that time, we've had a lot of firsts, but nothing as big as this. The first team to come out of the West and into the chip, and the first time an A7FL champion looks to win out in the East and in the West. What about the East? First time a team not from the Northeast is in the chip. And for the first time, we see two undefeated teams face off with 25K on the line. Here's another first. I'm tired of talking. It's time to prove who runs this league. It's time to prove who's great and who's a six pack of ass. It's time to crown a damn champion. This is the A7FL Championship, and it starts now.
on chain. The chain on chain got some shaking big. He's got a stiff arm. What a stiff arm. What a stiff arm. He's still up. My man, the chain on chain. That's the play they needed. B.I.C. Here's the pitch. King Street Thomas back in the game. Floater near the sideline is caught at the 20 yard line. Making his way down the sideline. James Big White to Mile. Inside the five, and the ball actually pitched back as he was going down, and it's a touchdown. Jamel Mason, he could do it. Oh, wow! 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 I can't believe it. A storybook ended. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it, sir. I can't believe it. And they're in trouble here. That one's picked up. Reception. Yusuf Riddick. Yusuf Riddick breaking off. He's got nothing but the grass in front of him. Inside the five. Touchdown, Pennsylvania. Yusuf Riddick making me eat my words. Who needs the Philly shell with a PA knockout? Another anti hand hard body. 76 speed. My man, 76 speed. 76 speed. 76 speed. And that's a touchdown. Hard body. Oh, wait. Can he do it? Hey! Hey! <laughs> the top of the screen, one at the bottom, three man line, two man line, not a lot of time. Moon will go, Carter me, Huff will go for it. Huff at the 20, the 15, the 10, loses the ball, the five, tosses it back, touchdown, Patterson! And the counter punch here by the Patterson U. Ice cream truck on the first and 10, they give him the first down. The handoff to the ice cream truck. And he will plow down through your hands. Ball the ball's out! 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 Big move! 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 I think both of these teams and can go both kill. ways. Whoever gets the, the first three-on-one return, they have a chance of scoring points without taking any time off the clock, almost like if there was a spot in a touchdown. So it'll be interesting call. if they want to defer or go for Somniacs has taking deferred. the They've return. Their options to the second half. And they're going they to their will defense. Receive. Please put your back the to the goal. Crawlers, and they give the Nightcrawlers the ball first. They're giving BME keys. The opportunity to light the lamp on an Ooh, untimed down. Man. And if this is your first time watching the A7FL, we will have a three-on-one throw-off. What does that mean? That means three runners, one returner, trying to create chaos on an untimed down and stop the other man from putting six on the board, Corey Hammond. It's not just the throw, Rob. It's the coverage. And what we've seen is the newer divisions sometimes struggle at this because it's hard to practice. It's hard to replicate, and I'm not sure if the Insomniacs have faced a, a, a type of guy with the speed and acceleration BME that Keese. BME Keese has, because I mean, even the they'll, Watchmen, they'll who you, we respect, they'll give you Savion, got smoked. they'll give you a few guys from the West that, that do have some similar speed, of course, but I don't. maybe the Florida speed might just be too much, but we're, we're here to find out, guys. And it will be Quincy Burt's. Throwing it off here for the A7FL Championship. And we will see an opportunity here to see potentially the first championship of the afternoon scored. Matt Ryan joined alongside big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. I drunk my tea this morning, so I'm hus hus ready. I promise you that. And so is BME Keese. You ready for a championship? Here it is. He caught it. And Hold it's picked now. up by the returner. Hus, hus. Hits Ooh. him with the hus. Don't uh -oh. Steve gets past the defender. Uh -oh. He finds the side. Uh -oh. He finds the line. Uh -oh. Cuts through to the defender uh -oh. again. Slices. Hey, Joe, Dices and Quincy Burke wow. brings it down at the 43. And ladies and gentlemen, it's electric in here. And on one untimed down, you can already feel how different this game is going to be, how different the level of competition is going to be, and the bright lights are bringing out the best in both of these squads. Shout out to all of the effort from the return guy and the return coverage team because we almost got one of the most <laughs> exciting plays. And we haven't barely. even ticked off barely 10 seconds of this game. And there and the they go. There they go. Down here in Bullhead City. The battle at Bullhead has begun, and it will be Mark Bagway starting under center for the AJ Nightcrawlers. AJ McQuaid at right 
end. Watch A.J. McQuaid, he's number 30. On the chest he is he's ready, ready for this game. Four wide receiver set. The snap. Bagway will toss it back. Logo. That's the Logo Davis. Logo Davis five. launches it downfield. Logo oh, Davis caught at the 16 yard line. You were wondering when Rico Brown would make a huge play. You didn't have to wait very long. Rico Brown had 300 plus yards in the wow. Eastern Championship, and he started the game off exactly the way he started this championship off yeah. with a great. Head top catch on a pass from Logo Davis. Zero Welcome hesitation. Welcome to the A7FL. Here comes the play. We're about to start the next play. And we will see Bagway in the shotgun. Three on the line now, so that means only three wide receivers for Bagway. But watch out for Logo Davis at the top of your screen. And BMA Key's tight coverage. McQuaid on the line. The snap. Pressure, on Pressure immediately. Bagway will get on his bicycle. McQuaid. Oh, Bagway wow. will be brought down at the 22. McQuaid. And there's McQuaid. First time today getting a sack on Bagway. We were promised that's what to expect. I saw the 4-5 speed, but you see the tenacity and the ferocity. But here's this the isn't question. flag. Here's this the is question. tackle. Let's can, go. Can he do that for 60 minutes? And that's the only question I'll Guys, ever Guys, this is the most supercharged opening two minutes we've had this season, if not in league history. I have goosebumps, and we're not even at, at 11 minutes left. We've only had a couple of offensive and plays a, and a return, and you can already see how high to intensity and high stress every play is going to be for both of these rosters looking for their first championship. So it'll be second and 13, 12 minutes and counting here. And there it is, just that fast. Adjustments have been made just that fast. And we'll have a new quarterback in. And that's Flutie that tosses it back to Bagway. Bagway back to Flutie. Flutie, Hus Flutie now gets to the sideline, and he darts ahead to the past the initial the line to scrimmage and a flag on the field. Ooh, personal foul on, on the, the defense, defense, it looks personal like. Personal foul, yes. roughing Listen. the passer. Hit to the face. Anything the like that is going to hurt. First down. With a game, in a game of this magnitude, any of those mistakes are going to hurt. And I know our stat guys are starting to, are going to start counting up the penalty flags. And, and a shout out to David Soberman, our official statistician to our left. Alex Soberman, our producer to our right. Cole Gardella on graphics. Zach Morgan to TD. Shout out to Ryan DePaul, Mel Carey, and Peanut on the cameras. And that's a little bit of a different type of penalty. It's not one of those mental mistakes. That's just the intensity ramping up, and he went too hard. First down, though. And the snap. Bagway will throw. Caught. Ooh, caught by Logo. That's logo. Man. Logo. David. Touchdown. Touchdown. Nightcrawlers. And, and Corey, Matt, did that look too easy? Too easy. As did soon as he caught it, easy? we all knew that it was going to be a touchdown. Logo Davis is not your typical quarterback. He's not your typical wide receiver. He's not your typical human being. And I talked As soon as to, he got in his hands, it was an easy six for the night crawlers. And I talked to some of the Vegas guys on the other side of the ball, and I said, guys, you understand how much pressure you're putting on McQuaid right now by asking him to be able to stop Bagway every chance he gets. The camera is on him. They're focused on him because he's the guy and that as, has to do it. And he has to be. And and he's going to be on Bagway's Ooh, left. With the little block. But listen, these championship points are going to be huge. Crucial. They're going for two from the ten. And if they can continue to convert these, they put a lot of pressure on the Insomniac's offense to not only score but keep up in the championship points. The snap, uh -oh. Bagway will uh -oh. roll out to his fun. right. He'll throw the end zone, and that's caught oh, on no. the hand. Logo drops it. Quick six. And a great drive from the Nightcrawlers. And Don't go not, anywhere. Fly. Here we go. Here and we here go. goes Trey Robinson Ooh. on the three-on-one attempt. Got it. Robinson will slip past one defender. Oh. Ball gets knocked loose, though. Ooh. And the Nightcrawlers setting the tone, and the Insomniacs will start at the 22. And take a look. Scooter Hamilton jogging onto that field. The big burly fella. I cannot wait to see Scooter Hamilton live to show us what he can really do in front of the team like of this caliber. I'm excited, guys. And that was Quinton Burst with a great play. It's funny. The Q is the special team standout for the Insomniacs made the tackle. Q, yeah, Q special team teams. standout for the Nightcrawlers make the tackle. And here's Scooter Hamilton, RTC. Oh, and the Insomniacs look to start on offense. Matt, Matt Kenny in the middle. The handoff to RTC. And he, and he immediately, immediately met at the line. Now, the battle in the trenches is what we talked about. Because the game plan for the Insomniacs is clear. It's the same thing the Watchmen did. Run, 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 pound, pound, pound. We're bigger than them. 
but now you have to actually do it. If that's going to be the Insomniac's DNA mm -hmm. is to be able to dominate there, that's not a good sign on first and ten, bringing up second and seven. They got to get blocks on these guys, and it looks like they put Munchie, a really good blocker in his own right, into the box to help out RTC. The snap and the handoff. And another stop almost immediately, and the ball came out, but I'm pretty sure he was down. I'm looking for Scooter to now make the adjustment, big fella. I'm looking for Scooter to make the adjustment, and now he runs it. And it will be third down. Yeah. And I know this is not how they wanted to start. But it is a manageable third down. Of and course, if the Insomniacs get five yards here, which seems like it's reasonable, if Scooter then they runs can it. keep the ball moving. If so, look, you don't love a two and a three and a four-yard gain like that, but if that's who the Insomniacs are, they can the set snap, up the third down. And they'll try it again. And running right into him. That's Deontay Henderson. That's what we want. A hit to stop the first, and, and he didn't fall. So but RTC it's fourth down, and they will go really for it. That action. We're really throwing back to, to old-time football based on what the Insomniacs do. They go with the toss. They have the matchup that they've been talking about all week. RTC, Deontay Henderson, one of the best running backs, one of the best linebackers in take the look, league. Take a look at the hit. And take a look at the hit. Fourth and four. And they're not respecting the game right now. They're saying they can go get it. Look at that hit. Great hit. And it will be fourth and, and three. The toss back to RTC. RTC will get the first down and get near the 39. And we will move on here. It'll be first and 10 for the Insomniacs. What they didn't do on third down, they do on fourth. They seal the edge. They give RTC enough room to get the first without even being touched. And you could see the determination in the running back for the Insomniacs. He's ready to tote the ball all game long. Now that's a lot of time and a lot of energy for a first down. But it also shortens the game and keeps their offense off the field. Play Here's action. Scooter. Why Hamilton not let it fly? Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Out of reach! Oh, oh, oh. Scooter with the flick of the wrist. That was a phenomenal throw. Yeah. Just a little talk too about much speed all time for the Nightcrawlers. Let's talk about David Clark. Wow. He is him. You saw him get the separation. Even though it was double coverage, he had a man. He, both of the, those men beat. And if Scooter just throws it an inch short, maybe, that's a touchdown. But that shot, guys, is going to open up the game for the run. I kind of give Scooter credit because if he throws it under, those Tampa boys are going to snag that thing and go home with Might it. even be a pick six, absolutely. Right. And it's Trey Robinson in the backfield giving RTC a little bit of a breather. Donye Lyons, the wide receiver at the top of the screen. The snap, the toss back. That's to Trey Robinson. Uh -oh. Robinson cuts through the defender, okay. gets to the 44, Mark, and it will be third down. Mark Bagway I, with the tackle. Good I really rapper. love the design of that play. They went speed option, but they actually pulled the tight end to give Trey a lead blocker. He's able to cut inside, and on second and 10, he gets seven yards to make it once again third and manageable. And the time is being chewed up, and this is their second third down we've seen on this drive. Let's see if they can convert it this time. Robinson set up. Scoop. Oh, Hamilton hold on. Finds a way in there and, and he, will get the first ooh, down and a little more. I couldn't wait to see a real Scooter Hamilton ooh, step ooh, up ooh, and truck with all that size, all that strength. He goes speed option, Let's bounces go. right off the defender, fights for the yardage, and it's going to be interesting to see if it's fourth and inches or first and ten. First down. It's but first based down. on the effort and the energy that he's bringing to this game, he converts the first down, and the Insomniacs are moving exactly the way they wanted to, short and steady. The toss to RTC. Oh RTC finds Ooh. a seam, drives through the defender, and gets to the 41. And there's a flag on the play. And Matt Kenny leading the way to make sure RTC can get all the chunks he can get. And it's the same thing we saw when they went against the Watchmen. They are not the greatest run-stopping team. Personal foul, illegal, and as much low tackle, as number zero on the defense. 15-yard penalty will be added to the end of the run. Mm. As out. much as they sold out in the earlier downs to set up two- and three-yard runs, you see it starting to open up. That physicality the Insomniacs are bringing, even this early, is already starting to take a toll, at least on this drive. 7.22 left in the first quarter. Matt Ryan joined alongside Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. You see the size difference in the trenches. That's going to be the chess match when these two team, these two units are on the field. Two wide receivers set, three on the line. The snap, 
The quick screen. That's over to Shufford. One. Shufford will get to the 21, and that will be second down. Corey, what do you think about that play call? I think it's great to get your quarterback a chance to see the ball in the air out of his hands, caught by a receiver. Because look, five yards isn't the pass play that you're always going to go for, but it gives your quarterback confidence. He starts to get in a little bit of rhythm, and that near miss that he threw to David Clark, a couple of those quick, easy throws, he's going to gear in, gauge where he's throwing the ball, and get him those passes completed later on in the game. Snap, handoff. RTC. RTC finds the lane. Great he tackle. runs right into a tackle and brought down was, by number 23. Now that's a great run, great tackle, and we're seeing some really good football right now. The Insomniacs are being very methodical that's with Demetrius the way they're calling West. the plays, and they're definitely using their size and their run knowledge to their advantage. And what they've done is we're already with only six minutes left in the first. As quick as Tampa scored, they've been off the field for what seems like 20 minutes. Hamilton will throw to the end zone to Clark. Oh! Will they give it to him? Touchdown! Oh! It's on the axe! It's him. David Clark is him. Scooter Hamilton gives him an opportunity to be him. And it's 6 6. Tie ball game. Six minutes left in the game. Up top, chicken boxing. They wasted no time. Scooter is looking like one of the best quarterbacks in this league against actual competition now. We can't even say that anymore. Scooter is poised, he's collective, his play calling is clean, and it's working. Look how much time he has in that pocket to let it fly. But it's him making it, and here's the championship point with Robinson. Trey Robinson. Will drive in there, and he will get and in he there. Got it. And he the Insomniacs will take the it. one point lead. Right now, it is a gunfight in Ballhead City. Who's going to be the faster draw, or who's going to have more in the ammunition chamber? We'll find out in a moment. It's the A7FL Championship. Stay where you are. If you're joining us live on Fox 5.2, caffeine around the world internationally on the zone, and obviously on a record-breaking day on A7FL.TV. Trying to break the internet now is the returner, Ooh. and he's brought down. Ball comes loose, but they'll whistle They're it down. They're calling him down. They're calling him down. Hold on now. What, what we've seen is both of these teams are the ruling is standing the player was down before the ball eye. they're looking at each other and both of them are sizing each First other up. Down, both teams know that they're facing a real opponent today maybe their first real opponent for both of these teams all season and guys we have the uh, challenge we have a replay and we'll see it here and we'll see whether or not the ball came out or he was down. Ooh, that that's is really tough close. That's close. I don't know if that's conclusive that's or not, guys. He's wrapped up. He can't make any forward progress, but that's very close. But credit to the coverage team from the Insomniacs. You see the, the you turf getting kicked up. You see how. Ooh, oh, let's see oh, here. The Wait ball. for the knee. Oh, no. Oh, that's hard to tell. That's really hard to tell. That's not that's conclusive tough. or not. Hold on now. Not That's that tough. this home crowd in Arizona, Vegas faithful, is biased by any means, by any cheering. Means. Let's see how quick Mark Bagway and company were able to make these adjustments that we were talking about. And that was BME Keese on the controversial return. And play will continue, 6.01 left to go. The snap, Bagway will roll out to his right. And Bagway to will the get outside. down the, the sideline and he'll uh -oh. get around the 40 more than the first down and for the night crawlers. And, and remember, and remember, Corey, I said it early. Yes, it was cool that McQuaid caught him the first time. But can you do it again and again and again and again? Yes. He's going to test you. And what they do is you see the scheme. They go with two offensive linemen. The Insomniacs are rushing three. So Mark Bagway knows from the immediate snap of the ball that he's, he's going to have to escape at some point. Right, you right. don't even see any of those guys block, and he's still somehow able to break contain. Now, if the Insomniacs make the adjustment that they don't rush as quickly, then they're going to give – Bagway time, which is what they cannot do. And let's take a look at the key players for this offense. We've got Mark Bagway. We've got Logo Davis, BME Keese, Brown, and Deontay Henderson making up the key players for the Tampa Nightcrawlers. And, and we'll see Logo Davis familiar. in a quarterback. Mark Bagway immediately caught and off the hands it of the receiver. And that was a very, that was accidental. Well, and that was also an <laughs> ineligible receiver. Right. It's almost like he forgot that this is not flag. Him, or, or that he forgot that he was on offense. Right. He's and there's the flag. The, it's illegal touching probably right. because he's not an eligible receiver. But that's just kind of the intensity that we see. I think we're pretty clear that Mark Bagway's not. Illegal touching know, of a forward pass on the offense. 
That's a five-yard penalty. With it comes a loss of down. Second down. And now you see Henderson lined up on McQuay Jr. And let's see what let's see what they'll do here in this battle. And that's Rico Brown in motion. Brown off the snap. Uh -oh. Bagway Pressure. rolls out. Bagway will throw. That's uh -oh. caught by uh -oh. BME uh -oh. Keys. Uh -oh. BME, BME Keys, Keys find the sideline. He cuts and changes uh -oh. time zones and run out of play at the 44. I'm just gonna say I've watched a lot of A7FO football oh, in my <laughs> long tenure, oh, doing a lot of things for this league. That's a lot of speed coming across. That's a lot of action in that quick screen type of play. It was almost dangerous for BMA Keys, for sure. but you can see the intensity. And here's. And if you're wondering why the clock keeps running after he ran out of bounds, BME Keys, the, in the A7FL, the clock continues to run except under two minutes when a player goes out of bounds or a play is incomplete. It's also seven on seven aside. You see that we start at the hash mark and go to the sideline. Shout out to our field ops team for setting that up for us today in Bullhead City. The snap by Bagway. BME Keys Bagway that's right in. in trouble. Ooh. Caught off the hands of Keys. Oh, Keith. flag on that play. Come on now, fellas. And I'm, Eventually, I'm not lie, one of those units, tired. whether it's the, whoever the quarterback is, Logo, Bagway, Keys, and that D-line, whoever tires first might be the we're one looking at, at, at the other look. scoring on that play. Look. Slight double tight wing back situation. Right on A.J. McQuaid, and that's what I'm looking for right now. Snap. And, ooh, Bagway in trouble. Me, sir. Bagway will roll out. Uh, He'll go to the line of scrimmage. He'll just off. keep it. Mark Great Bagway block. will go down the oh. sideline and run out of play and get the first down. And that's and, how dangerous it was. Tone Smith almost has the play in the backfield. And when you're talking about Mark Bagway, if you say almost and it's not almost a completion, it means that you almost did a great thing that led to a really, really terrible thing. Now it's basically first and goal for the Nightcrawlers. It's right at the 10. So first and goal for the Nightcrawlers because Tone Smith almost did something. And CJ <laughs> Smith watching us on A7FL.TV. Long time, long time saying, SMH, late hit. This ain't NFL Blitz. And in the heat of the moment, guys, the championship game, keeping their composure yeah. is going to be... I can't seeing what we can him. do. I can't blame him. The speed of the game is just, you got a guy like BME Keese who's such a sure thing when he catches yep. the ball. He thought he had the ball. And we'll and see here, Bagway. First and goal. Minute nine left to play. The snap. Oh, that's Bagway a will run. roll out. He will uh -oh. find himself in trouble. Bagway will run towards the end zone and run out of play inside the 15, maybe <laughs> around the 12-yard line, and the clock will continue to run. <laughs> Matt, I gave Corey a look just now. And I know he read my mind. Because Mark Bagway gave the dead leg three times in a row until it finally worked. He gets the edge. That is how dangerous this young man is when he's at the quarterback position because I would say nine out of ten guys in that same situation are either sacked or throw the ball away. He turns it into a positive play, and it'll bring up second and goal from the nine. And now I'm telling A.J. McQuaid is exhausted, and guess who comes to the line? RTC first quarter I expected a little bit more jabs but we've seen nothing but haymakers <laughs> nothing but absolute devastating haymakers from both of these teams and it will be f second and goal seven seconds left to go on the clock Ooh. snap Bagway oh throws it to the end zone and incomplete intended for logo Davis and it will be third down and the collective pressure isn't there yet but Mark Bagway a lot of times is gonna make that throw guys a lot of times, Logo Davis is going to make that catch. One quarter down, 15 minutes gone by, 45 minutes left to go in this championship fight. Who will be walking out A7FL champion? Bagway looking to take the lead when we return. It's the A7FL championship. Get live, get loud. We'll be back. And it'll be Logo at quarterback with Bagway behind him. Snap, Davis uh -oh. will run. He'll and get Davis. inside. Touchdown, that is his Tampa. Ah, and that is his second touchdown of the day. And when he decides that he wants to break that goal line, it looks like there's no one on the Insomniac's defense that can stop him. We were loving the way that Mark Bagway has played quarterback all season, but it's Logo Davis right now that looks like he's taking over this game. It looks like a very And as we are in the replay here, let's go to Anthony Alvarez, who is down on the field. Anthony, what do you got for us? We'll do it after the return here, after the... They, and the Insomniacs decided to go for one. Here's Bagway. Bagway again will get it. Goes for the attempt. Blocked! Slotted, and that will be a dead ball! 
Wow. And that's Gianni Breland, it and looks like, making a huge play to stop the two-pointer. It's, it's Logo Davis set to throw off on this three-on-one. And he lets that thing fly. Hold on. It's out of the back of the end zone. Wait a second. It's in the end zone. It's uh -oh. still returnable. Uh -oh. He'll return it from inside oh, the goal line wow. and tripped up, that and they will have a long 90-plus yard sojourn that, to take the lead back. That closing speed is absurd. And that's Quinton Burse again who, you know, whether it was a fumble or not, he was the one who made the tackle on the first return, pulled it out, didn't count. That time make a shoestring tackle on a return. Danye Lyons had a lot of green in front of him, and it wasn't. The, the color of the Tampa Bay Nightcrawler jersey. I was once on Friday night for like about seven seconds. And you, you ran, see you the ran key a five players too, Matt. For the Insomniacs, Scott Hamilton, McQuaig coming on the defensive end, RTC Wilkerson, Kenny Mack on the offensive line, and there's RTC, Danye Lines, the returner. Oh, oh wow. But a man. moderate gain there, and it's also incremental, building right. up, building up, building up, and then finding that one defensive weakness. It's We've a, seen a the Nightcrawlers. Right up to this point, find ways to make adjustments on the defense. RTC. But right now, Tampa, Tampa scoring twice, we both get it twice. RTC was able to really calmly find the hole because his guy, those guys up front are getting a very nice push. But just now, Henderson was able to sneak in from the back and actually make the play. And it I, looks like it's a great stop because it wasn't a long run. That's going to that's gonna maybe ruin what they're doing on the offensive side. Tight end right. Second and five. Man in motion. Toss back to RTC. Wilkerson bounces yeah. off the defender and will get past the 20. We'll get the first down. Oh, man. You and gotta there wrap he up. is. You Rob, gotta wrap Rob, up. Does the running game like this accumulate on a defense if it's this consistent? It 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 can, but the offensive line and that running back have to be able to maintain this intensity Absolutely. for 64 But minutes. I'll tell you this, as a blocker, when you see your running back, oh, back truck up. somebody, oh, I'm up. you have that extra energy, I'm, don't I'm re, you? I'm rejuiced. I'm retooled. And they will fake uh -oh. it. Hamilton will throw this one. Beautiful Ooh. throw, but out of reach of the receiver. Gentilly had it in his hands. It was really good coverage. Let's be it honest. Was. It That's was. the exact place he needs to throw the ball. It was going to be a tough catch. But it looks like Scooter's dialed in. But as they used to say on the old BIC teams of the early, the mid-2010s, stone hands, my man. You got to catch that. Listen, I think I speak for all of us. Even though we want to, we can't talk about Jersey anymore. No, this, is a, no. this is an, this this is an international era. league. Freezing. Freezing. This is Vegas, Tampa. I love Jersey, but let's see what Vegas can do. And Hamilton will toss it to RTC. RTC oh. will find a seed. RTC gets past the defender. Oh. RTC gets to the 50, oh. to the 45. Oh. And it takes two to bring him down. RTC oh. running on time. First down, it's on the axe. That's a great play call from Scooter. He knows that if he goes with the option, that he's going to get it to the man that needs the ball. And yes, the Insomniacs want five yards, but they will absolutely take a home run that jobs uh, at the crowd and gets the offensive line right back in this game. Kenny Mack can't wait to block on the first down. The momentum of this game is swinging like a pendulum, and it's getting faster and faster I'm sweating and more faster. now calling this game than I did all season playing. <laughs> we'll see it again here on the replay. Just such a finding that way, getting past Got one, two, up. count him. Flag, In flag, that's a tackle. <laughs> there right it is. There. Getting through his own blocker, getting through Davik Clark. Oh, and here we go again. Hamilton Scooter. immediately in trouble. Hamilton will throw. Got oh. the hands. Mark Bagway will and deny anyone now. from scoring on him. Scotty Tuhati warned us earlier about their closing speed of those mm -hmm. DBs from the Nightcrawlers. And we just saw it there. That was a dangerous throw. And it, and it looked like you had an open guy. It was almost if Mark Bagway baited him. He looked angry after letting up that big <laughs> run play. <laughs> right. That's how he can affect the defenses by making an interception. But I love the play call. It was a speed option RPO. The A7FL has, has evolved in front of our eyes. And we are Scooter. witnessing the next stage of that evolution. Oh, Scooter oh. Hamilton. Living up to that old fork, that he, fork he was kind of, He was kind of met. He was kind of met there. And guess who it was? Of course. Deontay. Deontay Henderson is going to make his presence known. But I know for a fact that even though Scooter felt that, he also delivered a blow, a blow right back. The size that our, uh, Scooter Hamilton brings to the quarterback position and the willingness to run up the gut is going to be huge and let's as talk we go about deeper into this game. How and phenomenal that offensive blocking has been. 
And the hashtag pray for Corey movement going into the YouTube chat. The handoff, that's time to Trey Robinson. Robinson will get to the 30, and there's some Ooh. flags on the play. Another physical run, but we'll see what the call uh -oh. is. And in front of a home crowd, the energy is electric, and we'll see here again on the replay. Robinson. Oh, and oh, he grabbed him by the collar. Trying to see what, what that call is. Not sure what the call is. We're going to see how it's me? ruled. Well, two fouls on the play. One on each team. Oh, so the Personal foul. Illegal low tackle on the defense. After the play is over, unsportsmanlike conduct on red. Those penalties nah. do not offset. We're going 15 that way. We're coming back 15 this so, way. Oh, We're going to have a first and 10 he low the bridge yard them. line. He low Bagway. bridged them. From Bagway. Bagway low bridged them. And then we'll be live here. Two wide receivers set, three on the line. RTC set up Ooh. to the left of Scooter Ooh. Hamilton. Hamilton and will find his way out whoa, and blast whoa, himself whoa. to the 35. That play is whistled dead, but Scooter Hamilton setting the tone. Whether What's they get moved on? back or not, that's a huge play. The result of the play means nothing because it was whistled dead. But when Scooter kept running and had guys bouncing off of him, you saw the Insomniacs light up. You saw Scooter's face light up. And it just shows you the, the, the you contrasting good, styles of this game. For the snap, outside, defense. Five-yard penalty, still Offsides for Sides on the defense, so that's five yards back. And right now the pressure might be oh. getting to Tampa just a little too bit, a little too much. That's a nimble man in that pocket getting away. We've seen Mark Bagway do that for a long time. Oh, he we haven't seen man. Scooter do that yet. And you see the Nightcrawlers going to the sideline with some substitutions because they're probably getting worn down. RTC. The handoff, RTC! Oh, uh -oh. Shooking people out of their shoes and getting close to Matt the 20, Kenny. not getting the first down, though. Matt Kenny is making a case for maybe one of the best linemen we've seen in this league. He I is moving <laughs> young men out of the way. Yeah, and the young man that he did was the guy that we talk about defensively for the Nightcrawlers all the time. And if you can get... If you can get hands on Deontay Henderson and get him out of the way for RTC, you got a chance. Only a three-yard gain, but second and two is a really dangerous situation for the Nightcrawlers. Getting that big push from behind the line, but we'll see Hamilton here on second and two. Throws it to the side. There's there a flag is. on the play. Good Brought down. That caught by number, ele number 11, Eric Schufford. And Sean Flynn with the tackle. Holding. Offense. Ten-yard penalty. Still second down. Tight end left. And we see two wide receivers. You see David Clark at the bottom of your screen. It looks like Stone Stevenson at the top. The toss to Trey Robinson. Robinson will get some polite yards, and he'll move her past the initial line of scrimmage. And we'll get to around the 27, and it will be second. It'll be third down. We don't have any kicking in the A7FL, so if they get four yards, four yards, if they can continue hey, to execute, listen, this is exactly where they want to be. My high school and, coach would be smiling right now. And we will have the chance to vote on the A7 They're NFL swank. MVP. And that's Brendan Ooh. Swank. Billy Hoyle not able to make the catch. Yikes. And it will be fourth down. And what do you, Corey, what do you do here? What's the smartest thing to do here? Look how close you are. It doesn't matter if you make it, if you don't. What, what do you do here, Corey? Well, you have to go for it. With what we've seen from Scooter, he is a run threat if you leave him wide open. There is pressure in his face, and he has to throw those timing routes on time. But I would love to see David Clark run a stop route right at the sticks and convert the first down on a timing route. And look how crazy momentum is. Tampa is winning, but I promise you it doesn't feel like that in the building. And look at the cushion that Mark Bagway's given. That stop route's right there. And then you see the throw caught. Oh. And that's Trey Robinson! Oh. 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 Did I, say, did I say stop at the sticks? Yeah, you definitely did. But you got to make the tackle because a stop at the sticks turns into a just the same as a go route if you can't make the tackle. And that's a great conversion from a great player in Munchie. Let's see what Trey Robinson can, Trey Robinson point, can do on the conversion. One point conversion from the five yard line. You can see that defense there uh -oh. of the Insomniacs. It's handoff to Robinson. Robinson oh goodness. will get in there. Oh my and it goodness. is now. 13, 14 to 12. Those two points on those two conversions from Trey Robinson were not only tough yardage, but they were so important. And I, t I s and when we come back, we'll get Big Rob's thoughts, and we'll also get a look at the field. 14 to 12, Tampa looking to respond. But mama, there goes that man, Scooter Hamilton, putting in an MVP caliber case. We'll be back after this. Mama, watch that man.
from Anderson Automotive Fieldhouse. The throw thrown by Burtz. And here comes an opportunity for the Nightcrawlers. Uh -oh. Hus Rico Brown. Hus Hus Rico tackle. Brown brought down at the 27. Great what tackle. a play there. Wow. Uh, pardon me, that was Dante Perkins on the return. That was a that's great That's Steve tackle. Cannon who, he's trying to hide in that, that shysty, but that's a shysty, perfect form tackle. Guys, we saw arena football in this, in this arena just yesterday, and when you have pads on, you can get away with throwing your helmet or shoulder. That was a beautiful tackle. Everyone's safe, everyone's down, and it brings up Mark Bagway once again to see how he can answer. Bagway with Davis in the slot. The snap, the quick screen, he'll fake oh it. Bagway will roll jumping. out to his left. Bagway no, throws it to Logo Davis. Logo Davis, Logo Logo Davis. Davis. Oh, has nothing but the end zone in front of him. Oh, they got the guardrail set up for him. He will crash into him like Dave Matthews in 94. Tampa, one play out of scrimmage. Take the lead back. That's a way to answer. And you see what Mark Bagway does to the defender, Tone Smith, who has the, the responsibility of making sure he doesn't run the ball. Well, he kept him from running the ball, but he didn't keep him from throwing a touchdown pass. And Logo Davis has now scored three times three in this touchdowns. first half. What in the world are we seeing? What kind of performance are we seeing from Logo Davis today to record his third touchdown? And is that as good or as effective as having them return the ball? Because that was one play after the return. That means the offense has to come back and look at the pump fake. Stop jumping, young man. My God, he's in the sky. And I don't know who was supposed to cover Logo here. This was just nasty work. And the this, Night too, Crawl is very important. They have missed every single one. This one gives them a little bit of cushion. And here's once again a two-point attempt from the 10 for the Nightcrawlers. Looking to make this a six-point okay. lead. That's Bagway throws it and off the hand, and for the third one. time, and it looks like there's an injury on the field. Will the Insomniacs find a way to answer back? It's the national championship. Well, it's not hard for Logo. The and snap, Hamilton! Oh, oh, David Clark didn't see it! He gotta go get that. He well, the incompletion, the speed option for only one yard, this is the worst third down situation they've been in, and this is right. not a spot on the field that you should go for it on fourth down. Oh my, met immediately, but can he bring him down? And the whistle is blown. They will Henderson not give gets him that. there, and they are forced to punt. Corey, Corey, I don't Corey, love wait. Corey, Corey, we talked about this, Corey. Back and forth, back and forth, three and out. Get the ball back. What happens? Can they maintain this? Three wide receiver set, two on the line. Bagway. Looking Part of the four wide McQuaid. receiver set. You see AJ Logo McQuaid Davis set up, at, set up in oh. the slot. Oh, in slipped. trouble. ball. Bagway stays upright. Bye bye. Oh, Bagway will uh -oh. get the first down and run out of bounds at the 42. And, and that's Chris McWilliams. He's known as Mouth. He was talking all the spice, the Lot J Taco spice rack last night to directly to the man that just shook him off like he weighed uh, uh, what. 12 pounds? 12 pounds. Unhand me, sir. Please. You got to make that tackle if you're going to talk you all have, that stuff. This is the championship. You can't leave anything on the field. And again, the pressure that was put on A.J. McQuaid to contain this man and young Mark Bagway, yes, that first sack was amazing. But can you do it again, A.J.? Back to live action. The snap uh -oh. in trouble. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Chris. Bagway. Uh -oh, Chris. Huss. Excuse me. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mark Bagway showing why he's an uh -oh. MVP candidate. And again, matriculating the ball downfield with his That's legs. That's a mismatch. They have to address that. I love Chris McWilliams. Most of the times he's in a defensive end. You see how athletic he is to keep it close. But Mark Bagway is him. And that is not the guy that you need to try to stop him. First and 10 after the two-minute warning, the snap. Bagway will roll out to his right. Mark Bagway will Excuse once again me, for the third Ooh, straight play careful. go down the field. And I said they made an adjustment. They changed the personnel, but it's the exact same result. They have to fix that edge, especially on the right side, because Mark Bagway is righty. He's going to want to go that side. He's going to want to attack that guy. Now, what and guess what? It's A.J. McQuaig on the left side, the blind side, but with a running quarterback that's ready to scramble immediately because there's only two blockers and three rushers. If he's going to always go right, your best guy 
is going to have to be that left there defensive end. There is no more best guy because all those guys are tired of chasing the rabbit. Well, right now They're we talk tired. about the special teams guy, Q, Burtz. He's now the Mc guy that has to stop Mc Bagway on the right side. Quag off the field. Watch number 13. That's Q Burst. Easy. Huss. Excuse Throw me. over to Burst. Huss. And he will get oh, to around going. the 15, inside the 10, pardon me. I don't know. I think, Munch, I think Munchie might owe somebody 100 bucks because he missed that rep. <laughs> 100 ball is not going to always work out for you. Uh -oh, Rushing four. Keese will get the ball. BME Keese! BME oh. Keese will get inside the 10. I was expecting a little And rust. that's Gianni Breland who was put in a bad position because the motion forces Hold him to now. chase. Flag Makes it a great open field tackle, but we'll see, we'll see what the flag is. Personal foul on the offense, number nine. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. First down. And that'll be huge. That's Deontay Henderson who is really in the game on offense to make sure he finds somebody to crack back and hit hard. And Maybe he did so, but he did so illegally, and that, that great play that would have converted the first down now pushes them back into a really bad situation with only 122 left in the half. And we have seen Mark Bagway many times do many a great thing in long yardage situations. Oh it's pass number 44. Uh -oh. Cuts to the sideline. Bagway. Bagway will get inside uh -oh. and get near the initial great line play. of scrimmage. Tone Smith gets caught in the worst situation an A7-0 linebacker probably could ever get caught in. Stuck in the middle of the field, having the open field tackle Mark Bagway run at full speed when he was flat-footed. So he loses that battle, but Donye Lyons makes sure it's not a touchdown and makes a great tackle. Are they asking Please Mark the clock. Bagway the clock to beat running. them Player with was his legs? Start the clock. Thank you. They're not allowing him time to throw. Are they saying, hey, beat us with your legs? But he's earning it by creating yeah. it. Bagway throws to the end zone. How did that happen? How did that oh, happen? Davis. How did it happen? What? That's what we come to expect, basically. If, okay. you're, if you're looking at Tampa Bay on offense, okay. it's going to be Logo Davis that scores. Four? And you hear the crowd immediately silence after that touchdown. What are we watching? Four touchdowns from Logo Davis, who I said in an interview with him, who was rel who relatively unknown prior to this season. And we see that in their mentality, and now they're up by 10, trying to go up by 11. Low, that's BME Keese. Keese will toss it back to Bagway. Bagway in trouble. Oh, and then, oh my goodness. Rico Brown go. converts the one point. That. I can't, I don't know how to translate to say anything other than this is insane. That's wow. the catch from Logo Davis beating his defender just so effortlessly getting past number 40. And if you look at the Insomniac sideline, this is gonna be the crucial moment. I don't wanna say I told you so, but why not let it fly? The throw, and that will be returned by Donye Lyons. Donye Lyons will get to the 20. Donye Lyons making one man miss, makes the other miss, and gets out of the sideline. And it's Logo Davis again. Wow. He's been by far the most important player, and we love talking about Mark Bagway, and he's obviously shown why I he's him. I don't think we need to talk about Mark Bagway after a four-touchdown performance in a with first the jersey half. number four in the first half. I, I haven't seen this before. It doesn't really hurt them on the clock because nah, the clock stops. Right. But if they get an incompletion, then it brings up third and one. They have to go and eventually get the first down so they can't just keep throwing it and getting incomplete. Snap. 32 seconds left to go. The oh throw goodness. off the timeout. Oh my off the hands of the Slap receiver. No flag. Season. Phenomenal defense by Nightcrawlers. The clock will stop Time after operator, the incompletion. Please reset the game clock to 27 seconds. Thank David you. Clark had an opportunity to make a... a Momentum changing play. Scooter sees that he has the one on one coverage and puts the ball in the right spot for David Clark to make that big play. But it was the night crawlers on the one on one situation that are able to Please knock it down. Reset the game clock to 27 and I would seconds. love to talk to the guys Thank that you. are from the other side of the ball when we had the conversation and I told them, they said, Oh, they're going to run the ball. They're going to run. I said, Bro, no one said they're not. No one said that Simon Axe are not going to score. But exactly what I explained to everyone last night is exactly what's playing out in front of the us. The A7FL with less guys, seven on seven, means it's basically a one on one league, especially that deep. The Insomniacs have to win those one on ones to win the game. The Matt Kenny with the phenomenal block. Hamilton. Look at Matt Hamilton Ooh. throws it, caught. <laughs> and here's it. <laughs> that answered
Hearts are back. And Josh. guess what, guys? After this, they're going to get the ball in half. That's Josh dangerous. Brown wow. with the catch, with the touchdown, making it a five-point game. And I can feel the goosebumps right now, gentlemen. That's a guy at wide receiver that we really haven't seen. And in one of the biggest moments of their season, Scooter says, do the job, man. That's a post corner. He throws oh. it on time. He's so wide open that he has plenty of time to make a man miss. And look at this. Credit the Hus defense defender oh. after getting the hust for oh getting that goodness. there and trying to play. That, that looks was like BMA Keys that almost Keese, stopped him. Yeah. Keys tried to get the stop. It looked like it was Flutie number two. And what a play by you Brown. You gotta score there because you can't allow it to be a hypothetical situation where you do that and don't score. But Trey looks to make the conversion. And now uh, Trey Robinson on the extra point, trying to make this a uh -oh. one-score game, and he's wow. denied at the and line. That's their first championship point that they missed. And with, Hopefully it doesn't come back to bite them. And we have 15.8 seconds left, and the most exciting oh play in God. football left to go. It is 25 to 20 at the half, Rob. So wait, was it a bad idea to score that fast and give them 15 seconds no, still? No, you have to take the points because is it guaranteed that they score on the one when they, they just got come stopped man. on the extra point from the five? Come on absolutely now. Absolutely not. This crowd is going to be absolutely silent. Burtz will throw a dart. That's caught inside the five. Okay, hold on now. Huss. Remember, this is an untimed round. Burtz gets past him. Huss. Huss. Looting. Oh, my goodness. Huss. 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 Oh, Drives okay. through and... That is phenomenal field position to start this high-powered oh, offense. The most important thing is that he made the tackle. Whether he starts at the 50 or starts at the 20, I think the Tampa Bay Nightcrawlers have just as easy an opportunity to score. I agree. Oh, I've been to five Watch championships. This. Look at this Huss. 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 But phenomenal way to stay on your feet, young man. Oh, my goodness. Number eight doing a – he calls himself the real oh deal. Goodness. He showed that by staying upright after that. Shouts to Q for that second effort. And he could have gave up. Steve Cannon. He could have gave up. And you can up. say what you want on first impressions looking at him in the shysty, but he's made every play that he's had to on special teams. And now here comes Logo Davis with Bagway in the backfield. They'll toss it back to Bagway. Bagway – being oh pursued. Mark Bagway. Oh, oh, and he lost it in the lights, but it will be second down, and they get eight seconds left. And I'm telling you, that's still a lot of time. But I'll say this. In the Watchmen game, the last time we saw this Nightcrawler's team, he did, throw did you yeah, see yeah. Bagway miss passes like that? Bagway at the top of your screen. BME Keese and, and is the it running out. back. The, right, the left defensive end for the Insomniacs is, is Breland. The oh throw, and there's Bagway. Bagway. Mark Bagway will get the first down. Oh, my God. He should have went out of bounds. Ball comes the loose, and it gets out of bounds. bounds before the clock expired. So we'll see where they Ooh. mark it and they see if there's any time. time left. Hey, Matt. I don't know. It is. That's halftime. Oh. Well, there's some, there's some, con, there's some oh, conversing oh. on the sideline. Bagway trying to tell the officials that they had some time yeah. left. I, I don't know. What do you do there, Matt? I, we'll, I would fight for it. Big Rob Fabian's not here, but we also have another big personality and a big person joining us here, former NFL coach Mike Tice. Coach Tice, thank you so much for being here. What's your first A7 NFL championship experience been like so far? A lot of energy, a lot of energy, uh, a lot of physicality, uh, not enough passing by the Las, Las Vegas team. they got to make some plays in the uh, passing game in order to stay in this game. I think Tampa Bay has more speed. Uh, the quarterback we were just talking about it off Mark Bagway, yeah. Mark, he's the best athlete on the field and, and unless Las Vegas can stay in their pass rush lanes he's going to give them hell in the second half watching this for the first time and hearing Mike Tyson are you wondering you want to get in on the action you want to have some fun you want to be an owner of the A7FL go to a7fl.com slash owners that's a7fl.com slash owners to get that information once again the information is a7fl.com slash owners whether you're in Dallas Houston Atlanta or all points in between it's time for you to join the A7FL. Indianapolis joining us in 2024, Matt, uh, Corey Hammond and Rob Fabian. Yeah, Indy, Indy is in. I feel like Mike Tice is in. And I want to I want to just <laughs> shout out to the comments because you guys know me. Most of our fans, if you don't know hey me, guys, you Corey's just got introduced. Talking. Corey's still talking. Sorry. I couldn't contain myself. Oh it was my. Mike Tice. Donnie Lyons. Lyons. Okay, hold on now. On the three-on-one attempt. Tries to get past. Breakdown. Whoa. 
This three-on-one coverage team that oh has been stifling wow. them so far today, and they will start at the 15-yard line. Not a great return, Corey. Not a Not great return. Not a great return. return. A lot of times, Donye Lyons is going to get that to get that edge on somebody. He but guess who me. it was? It was Rico Brown and BME Keys. BME you see Keys, the athleticism. Mike Tice seen me. it. You at home has seen it. They're right where they want to be in this game. And Tampa has dropped the ball on the championship points. They left six points on the board. Score should be 31 to 20 at least. But, hey, championship points are championship points for a reason. Mike Tice wants them to go more play action. But there you go with the dive Ooh. early to RTC on first down. And they stopped them. The crowd is quiet. You can hear a pin drop in here. I think they're getting reacclimated, but that... <laughs> It's a long way to go for the Insomniacs. It's quiet. It's extremely quiet. Because this is a huge drive. Because if you're the Insomniacs right now, you have to keep the momentum you got at the end of that half. Sometimes you lose that momentum when it gets to halftime. But a quick stop here from the Nightcrawlers will put the momentum surely on Tampa's side. Hamilton hands off to RTC. RTC bounces to the outside, and he will be dragged. Deontay is getting his name called, and he's, he's, he's here for it. But I love the fight you see from RTC, but it's even a more impressive fight from the Tampa Nightcrawlers defense, who in the, in the Eastern Championship on plays like that, Amari Thomas was really getting whatever he wanted. Now, eventually they were down by two scores, so we, did, we saw the Watchmen kind of abandon the run game. The Insomniacs are sticking with it. And again, it's going to be third and five, so not great runs, but this is manageable. Here. The handoff, oh the toss my. to Wilkerson. Wilkerson oh, and he's with a little bit of the help, but down. nothing doing there. There that man is, Deontay Henderson that's the with the tackle. That's the second time on third down they go on a toss when they should have went with some kind of pass play to give them a real option. But I see them on the field on fourth and ten. One stop. They got two. Come on, guys. We talked about this. These guys score every drive. Another score here from the Nightcrawlers. And it might be very tough for the Insomniacs to even muster up the courage to come back. Well, here's Q. He's got to make sure he executes by getting it out of bounds. And, and he, he does the job. Did. Phenomenal he throw does, by Q. And we'll see the Insomniacs back on defense. The main thing, he said it three times when I wasn't talking, which was very rare in that halftime. The defensive line has to contain Bagway. <laughs> good try. Yeah, good luck. Let's First look at, and let's ten. Look like AJ. There's Logo. Right. Logo. Logo Davis oh. will fall That's and get tough. the first down. See Davis in the slot. Bagway will Again. throw it immediately to him. Oh, to my goodness. How can my, you stop oh, this team? He hustles him with the ball high. Touchdown, Tampa. And we saw Burst already make some special teams. Plays, but we talk about adjustments. We talk about Man. adjustments, and they do the exact Man. same play call. It looks exactly the same, but I know for a fact that Logo Davis went in the huddle and was like, let's do it again, be ready for the pitch. And guys, they make the adjustment, they execute, and they make such a huge play against the Insomniacs that the momentum is gone. The life is out of this building, and the home crowd rooting for this team from Las Vegas. I hate, feeling really stressed out. I truly hate to say, no, I don't. I told you so. And this game's not over, guys. I'm not saying leave because Insomniac's lost. But I knew this right here is exactly the situation they would be in. Yes, first half, it looks close. But the adjustments that they make on the fly are too quick for the other team not to pay attention and to. But this it's is really still where only a nine-point game. They need to get it to a... Pardon me, 11 point thing. Excuse me. They need to make it a two score game. Oh, excuse me. And Mark Bagway oh scoring goodness. championship points yeah. for the first time today for the Nightcrawlers. Making it a 12 point lead. You can follow us across social media. The Nightcrawlers looking to break the internet and break history as becoming the first team from Florida to win the A7FL championship. Their path has got the Insomniac staring them down. We'll be back. Just some sign of love and respect during the commercial break. It got a little intense. The Tampa Nightcrawlers throw-off team were talking spicy and getting the ire of this crowd. It felt like I was at a Catalyst Wrestling show, gentlemen. 
and a three-on-one throw-off, and that will be Donye Lyons. He has been stifled by this return team so far this afternoon. He finds a lane. He tries to get past Bagway. Donye Lyons chased down by some solid athletes. Number 25 finally getting them at the 32-yard line. That's a great line. stop, man. That's a great stop. That's their best return so far, but it's really not that great because when you really break it down, the 50 is really the target for a good, great return. But credit Donye Lines for making the improvement, but even more so Mark Bagway forcing him back to the other side. The snap, and RTC again trying to go back to what worked incrementally on the first drive. And Matt Kenny not able to get that push that I was talking about. He got at him a little bit, but you can't stay there dancing were, with Henderson at all. But it's second and nine. It's the snap. There it is, a little bit of pressure. The throw, Ooh. caught, and that will be... A catch, catch from Scooter to Shufford, and that was the first touchdown of the game for the Insomniacs. That link up works, but we haven't seen it much in the first half. But that's going to be there all game because, one, those two guys are in sync all the time. They've been playing football with each other for nearly a decade. But that timing route with the cushion that the Nightcrawlers have given them, Scooter's getting the time. They have to take advantage of that because it will open up the run if they open it up with the pass game. Two wide receiver set. Hamilton oh throws this one deep downfield and out of reach and of David Clark, and it will be third, second down. That might have been the first time we saw Scooter under some actual pressure, and he overthrows his receiver. He should have dove for that one that was pretty close to him. Yeah. But when he goes on the go route, he's open. Scooter's going to have to take advantage of that and hit those, not just once, but probably consistently in the second half. Second and ten, the snap. Hamilton. Oh my goodness! In trouble and brought there it down. Is. There it is. I don't. I don't know if one of the Dobermans. Don't listen. Somebody tell me if he's been sacked this year. Yeah, that would be a great question, and I think the answer to it would be no. Because a lot of times the way that they run offense, they run maybe what six, seven, eight pass plays with him in because they a mostly run the ball. B they're up by, what, 70 by, by, by the third much. quarter? It's what now I've they're said. down by 12. This is it's the exact position that the Watchmen were in. Basically, it seemed like incessantly, it's what I said. all Eastern Conference Championship, the two scores, they have to answer because this game could get really ugly really quickly if they get stopped here smooth, on third and long. Smooth at the bottom of your screen. RTC kind of playing a oh Kurt Mosey-style line. Tight end, the throw, Wait. and in the dirt, and it will be fourth down, and that is the second straight drive. In this half, the Insomniacs have been stifled on the on th in three straight plays. The one thing that we have over them is physicality, so we're trying to go with the run game as much as possible. But what we're also not doing is catching passes like you just saw right there. We've had four wide open drops that we where we haven't been able to execute the ball, and what has been working is the run. They're now keying on, and we've not done any play action, but Derek, no misdirection, but not Derek, at all. On fourth and seventeen, can you, you even don't go for can it? Can you even take the dump out? The dump down to the tight end, Schwank, who I have not seen once, uh, even against Vegas competition, convert a 20-yard catch like that. And on 4th and 17, with a little bit of pressure, unfortunately, Scooter doesn't throw a ball long enough. But even so, he finds an open man, but he can't convert. And it brings the Nightcrawlers back on offense with the Insomniacs in the position, for maybe for the first time all season, where they absolutely have to get a stop. I've been saying it for three days straight. You have been. I have this exact scenario. Well, Corey, you asked the question and kept talking as usual. McQuaid, but McQuaid. <laughs> what, logo. Hold what on. I'm seeing. Hold on. Boom. Uh, so what I'm seeing is th that Schwank actually did have a lane and they had something set up as a screen that likely could have gotten the first down. But the second pass to Schwank in a row, he's dropped. Yeah. I don't know why that's happening. He's normally super sure-handed, but who has been converting those is Munchie, so I don't know why they're not going to him. Because they're playing an actual team for the first time in – uh -oh. The entire season. Don't let Rob go in his bag, Insomniacs. No Answer. They Answer. Here's Logo. Logo. Bagway. Oh, oh my, my Lord. goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're playing a team who understands what it takes to play four quarters of football, period. It doesn't even matter the style. 
they're not going to go, listen, they're not going to doubt themselves because they go down. They're going to adjust, and they're adjusting fast. The Insomniacs thought running the ball for four quarters straight was going to work. Hasn't even worked in the second half. Have you half. ever seen you somebody? You have to adjust, and if the Insomniacs don't adjust after this potential Tampa touchdown, they might as well pack it up. Well, well the they're certainly not going to pack it up, but you see here on the replay, I don't. I think Mark Bagway is. Is this is confirmed a simulation? Look at the pass from Logo Davis. <laughs> One this is a dart. That's moving quickly. Uh -oh. Before the snap, timeout. Insomniac. Smart. First timeout. charge. Timeout of the half. And that's almost like a basketball time. Here's the replay again. Take a look at this. Mark Bagway is a simulation. It's, it's like real. in Madden when you throw the ball and then it just miraculously like glues to a player's hands. And look how much pressure. Are we watching a Madden game? But look how much pressure is on McQuaid Look at McQuay this absolute right bullet. Look how much pressure is on No McQuay. one catches this one-handed. It just glues Excuse to his me, hands. Sir. And he's able to Whoops. stay on his feet after Boom. getting hit. And McQuaid has to chase. You no wonder tired. Mike Tice was so impressed with Mark Bagway. And let's be clear. A, a first half that was subpar compared to what we see him do last week. <laughs> An NFL veteran head coach, a, a, a longtime player in the NFL, said, yeah, Mark Bagway's him. Vegas in trouble here on first <laughs> down. And maybe Matt. the best 384 defensive. yards of total offense oh on the day for the night goodness. crawl. I'm not excited. I just wish they heed my warnings. Oh, oh. Keeps oh. The play alive. And there's. Huss. Excuse me. Oh. Brought down. That's Flutie. And now, the listen, Vegas is throwing everything but the kitchen sink at them at this point. Everyone's out there trying their best to contain this team and slow them down. 12 points, and mind you, they let up six points. There's six points that they could have had off of the championship points that they did not get. Second and eight, it's BMA Keys to starts, tosses back to Bagway. Bagway bye. will throw, oh, caught, bye, touchdown. Bye. And they throw a flag. Hold on now. Hold and that on. is Rico Brown on the reception. Maybe Another not a touchdown. And A.J. McQuaig says it's going to be holding. Oh. And so does the ref. Holding. Offense. Number 77. That's exactly what the Insomniacs need. Spot. A little help. A little help <laughs> from above. Thank you very much. Thank you. And let's be honest. It was easy for some of the times that the Nightcrawler scored. It was a lot of work for the Insomniacs to get that 20. And they've been struggling in the second half. But that holding call may give them life again. And after the penalty, it will be tossed back to Bagway. Excuse me, Q. In trouble, but Bye -bye. Bagway finds a way out of it. Mark Bagway Ooh. gets to you inside the, the 15 at the 11. And there's a flag on the play. Now, Munchie, who made the tackle low, did wrap, but you can't tackle low when someone is already tackling high. It is a dangerous play. Now, you got to respect the effort because you don't know, based on all the things we've seen from Mark Bagway, and yes, he's dancing, and yes, he deserves to. Who am I to t stop him? Personal foul, no hit on the defense. Half the distance to the goal, automatic first down. And just to be clear, and the you the crowd are, not happy about that low hit call. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be happy either. And just to be clear, you are allowed to tackle a guy low, especially a guy as shifty as Mark Bagway is. You saw him make everybody miss. You got to do your best job. But when he's being brought down up high, you can't also yeah, tackle can't, down low. You cannot high low in this league. So no. it, it, it's, it's a situation where it was a first down anyway. They don't lose much, but they absolutely need to make a stop here on first and goal. And it, with 5.15 left to go, 32 to 20, your score. Ooh. The toss. Uh -oh. hus, hus. That's Keese. Keese. Oh! oh. 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 Phenomenal now, interception and great run by Q to give his offense, who is well rested, a chance to score. This is the first time in two games that we've seen the Nightcrawlers not you convert a series. They're playing with that. their food. They're playing with their food. This is dumb. 
This is just bad football. They're great at football. BMA Keese is a great human and a great player. That's just a terrible decision. And now the uh -oh. snap to the end zone. Oh, off the hand. Secure it. I love the shot to the end zone and the change of momentum. It's exactly what they needed, but Scooter needs to throw that. It's the same play that they scored on earlier. Needs to throw that just a little bit more inside. Gives this guy a chance because that's an absolute touchdown if he throws it catchable. Second Go and right goal. back to him. They it's hand off to Trey, Trey. Robinson. Trey oh, Robinson drives through run. defenders. And when great you run. need a play made in Vegas, a lot of times you go to Trey Robinson. You know, Chaos had excuses when they had their guys playing before their game. <laughs> Trey, Trey has zero Trey, excuses. Trey's not going to make any excuses for this game. He's going to give everything he has. They are pressing David Clark again. Scott, you got to go Ooh. up top to him. They nope. hand off again. Oh, and my goodness. Just... Henderson and RTC going at it. Wow. And you can see them, John and Jack, and two players who are walking in as potential MVP candidates. Right now, a 12-point lead for Tampa, 240 left to so, go. So, so wait, I know all the Vegas guys are saying, I told you he was great, Rob. Q is amazing. Guys, you're right. Q is amazing. You got it. That might have been He's him. the most absurd play <laughs> it was in A7FL championship history. And last year, the game ended on the one Yard oh, yeah. line. That was a tough one. They needed it. They needed that. We it said was it. desperation time. But we said it, it was GG's. We said they had Q to turn over here. Gives them life. Scooter's got to convert. Fourth down after it goes the interception. Away if get this. The handoff. Nope. Hamilton. A bit of pressure. Looks to throw to the end zone. Flag. No. Oh, he catches it. Wait a he is There's a flag. Takes it one score game. There's a flag, guys. Relax. What is Hold the flag? On. It's a flag on defense. Okay. Rob, don't tell me to relax. It's a touchdown. We got a game again. No, we don't. <laughs> don't you dare, And Rob. it looks like, uh, according to uh, Will Franklin, holding, holding, holding on the defense, defense the touchdown That's will stand. Decline. And it is now Jumping a one-score game. Touchdown. After Q changes this game, the Nightcrawlers can't even cheat and stop them at this point, Rob. <laughs> You guys should see Rob's face. <laughs> Got to hit the game shark on that one. The cartridge went in. The cartridge went out. Turned it on like the old N64. And there he is, David Clark. He is him. That's a phenomenal catch. Him making it a six-point game. That's a phenomenal game. catch. But that's an even better throw because what we said about Scott Hamilton on the last drive, he's never faced pressure. Guess what? He's got pressure in his face. Fourth down. He throws a touchdown to bring his team back within six. His Championship offensive points. line. The only Vegas has only converted championship points Ooh. once, and there it is again. Oh. Got it. He got it. Did he, he got it? it. He got it. That's smooth, making the smooth play, and we'll it's take no the time good. out here. Oh. They'll call it incomplete. That's not good. But based on the, we'll take a break. That's a controversial call in a game of controversy. We'll see what happens after this. It's the A7FL championship. Trey Robinson was considered a difference maker heading into this game. He's made some great plays, but David Clark, he is him. And he made that play to make it 32-26, a one-score game. But now it's time for an untimed down, and that will bounce inside the 15. Uh -oh. That's a loose Huss, ball, but Huss. it's picked up, and that will be dragged great out of play. Coverage. You feel the crowd, great you feel coverage. the momentum, but guess what? As great as things are going right now, the snap by Bagway, the crowd on its feet. The crowd rolling inside the field house. And again! With his second straight interception! He's just playing the wrong position. Oh my god. He was just playing the wrong position, Rob. Oh my god. Q again? Let's look at the replay. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand corrected. Q is him. Wow. He's all. He's not just him. He's A-L-L all. What oh a play. Just right placement. Bad wow. way feeling the pressure. And Derek Duncan is asking if you can hear it from the crowd. Look, he's pointing at me. He wants me to know. <laughs> and I feel like I owe Q an apology. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and and Scott McCork oh. will get live on the sideline. And, and it is now gentlemen. a tight game. We have Vegas has fought game. their way back. There's something about this building. The last time we had a game here, it was one of the most electrifying games. Now, fall doesn't count, but we saw it. Wow. This is the first time 
I think we can obviously say that Tampa has been in this position because even when we saw them against and here, the Rams, and here's the touchdown. Here's the touchdown. Here's the touchdown. What did Mike Tyson? Bang! Say? Bang! Wow! Wow! Another head top. Eric suffered with that. What did Mike Tyson say? For Vegas to win, they have to pass the ball. Their last two touchdowns have been up top chicken box touchdowns. Here's Trey Robinson on the one pointer. And now trying to go Mike Trey Trump. Robinson oh. lateral to the back. And that will be a dead ball. That's a dead ball. And with a minute 18 left to play, the Tampa Nightcrawlers may have given up the goat here. The Vegas Insomniacs told you not to sleep on them. And guess what they did? Quincy Burks with an MVP caliber performance. We'll be back on the other side. A minute 18 left in the third. You can hear the building, you can see the teams, but on this three-on-one, the ex most exciting play in all of football, it could all go away for the Insomniacs because it's BME Keese, I believe. They're set to return it, maybe and, for a touchdown. And that ball will bounce. BME Keese will pick it up. He is a dangerous returner. Keese will get through and he is brought down at the 31. A solid return though. Good tackle. Oh, Trey. Trey, flag on the field. That's unnecessary, guys. Trey is excited with what he did. Great tackle. And you got to love the football stuff. Come on. But after the whistle, you can't give the opponent 15 yards. It wasn't even one of those attitude hits that makes a it difference. Wasn't. No, it was a good it tackle. It was kind of the bonehead Come play. On. And as great of a player as Trey is, you got to reel him in on a play like that, guy. But they need to maintain composure because the one thing you still need to do is contain Mark Bagway for another full quarter in a minute 13. First and 10, Bagway with the ball in his hands. First and back. 10, the snap. Bagway in trouble. Uh -oh. Mark Bagway uh -oh. will ski himself uh -oh. to the 40, mm. and he will get out of bounds at the 38. It'll be first down. He makes the clock it will so stop. easy there, but he doesn't throw it. The clock will continue. And, and a weird situation on the sideline, but what you saw there on the first down play is Mark Bagway makes everybody miss, finds a seam, gets the easy yards. Yeah, I think that was his attempt to quiet the crowd, and it We'll worked. take a brief timeout, and when we return, we'll talk with an NFL alumni watching the game. We've got a brief injury timeout. It's 32 to 32, 58 seconds left. It's the A7FL Championship. We'll be back on the other side with Marlon Greenwood right here on A7FL.TV and Caffeine. We are back live. Marlon Greenwood, NFL alumni here with us. Mr. Greenwood, what's your first A7FL championship experience been like? You know, it's been, it, it's just been excellent. You know, I, this is my first game ever. And uh, it's, it's my privilege to be watching Las Vegas, being president of the NFL alumni Las Vegas chapter and ruined for them. We have a tie game now. And uh, we just had two big plays on defense that really turned the game around. And as a, as a member of the NFL alumni, seeing these players looking to strive to that level of athleticism, that level of greatness, what are you seeing from these athletes here after that five-yard gain? It will be second and five. Love your answer after this play as we see Bagway frustrated behind center. And there will be a flag on the play. Mr. Greenwood, your thoughts? You know, I, I think at any level, you know, you see these guys, they have the hunger. The you know, they're playing hard. Eight men lined uh, up it, it on the offense. It doesn't matter if they, the they're in pad or not in pad. That they, you can see that the intensity that each team is playing with, uh, they're trying to win. And they're out there having fun. And they're doing a tremendous job. And, you know, they can, they can play, continue to uh, play the game and go on to a higher level than that they want you know what I'm saying? And as this is your first time watching this style of play, what do you think about it? Would you play something like this? Those you know, definitely growing up, I didn't start playing football till 11th grade in high school, but when we were in Jamaica and my father got a, a football, which was like the football here, I played soccer there. Right. We used to play this out there in the, in the backyard, <laughs> right. tackle football without the, without the helmet. So um, right now I wouldn't play. <laughs> <laughs> Smart call, Mark, but it's much safer. But much safer. The, the, the way we play is much safer. It's a lot more engaging and exciting. Obviously, everyone's an NFL fan. I, myself, yeah. a Raider fan. Yeah. So big, big ups to that. But we look here as these guys matriculate. I don't mean to put you on the First spot, foul, sir. On the yeah. As we head into the fourth quarter, do you think Vegas is going to find a way to pull out the victory? 15 yard penalty for you the know, previous They've been spot. doing so far. Second they had down. two big plays on, on our defense. That is the end of the third quarter. That is the end of the third quarter. I'm going for Vegas. Like I said, I'm from Vegas. 
I'm president of the NFL Alumni of Las Vegas chapter, and I got the rule for Vegas. <laughs> Greenwood showing out for Las Vegas. 15 minutes left. It's a tied game. Final chapters written after this. It's the A7 NFL Championship. Let's crown a champion, fourth quarter. Matt Ryan, back to you. Thank you, Anthony Alvarez. Top of the fourth quarter. Bagway off the snap. He evades uh -oh. Trey Robinson. Mark Bagway uh -oh. making his way down Broadway. Uh -oh. Looking to reclaim the lead. Uh -oh. Skiing down the slopes like he's on Lake Mead <laughs> out of play. On second and 36. And he quiets Mark Bagway the, shortens the field. And quiets the crowd once again, Matt, with no hesitation. But he might have just gassed himself on that run. Oh, I, I'm not. I, I, Look, the chat's going to be very surprised. with the, I'm speechless. First of all, I've never seen that type of an electric play look so easy for a quarterback. But the way that he went down, I don't know if it was a troll or if he's tired or if he's got he's something tired. to look at. We're going to find out who the hymns are in this fourth oh, quarter. Throw in the end zone. Go, ah, low Davis. go, David. My goodness. Low go, oh, David. Oh, no. Come on. Driven right oh, into the – oh, no. Now he gets the touchdown. That's his fifth on the day. Not necessarily not what, the way they wanted to. No, not the way you well, wanted to. They, they do – before the play's over, it's Mark Bagway to Logo Davis. That sounds familiar. Yeah. And if you're voting for MVP, you're probably going to yeah, put Logo probably, Davis number one. He's got five touchdowns. Five touchdowns in the championship And in the third game. quarter, we really didn't hear from him. You're home just like me and the Omegas. These are the two best teams in the league, and they're proving it right now. Let's see what the fourth quarter does in this, uh, this championship point. on the one-point conversion. Time, need to make the championship points happen. Bagway looking to will oh, it on no. his own, and he oh, gets no. in there. Too much time. Makes it 39-32. Got that extra point on the 39-32, but here we go with the throw-off. Donye Lyons. We'll cut to the uh -oh. 25. Donye Lyons oh. gets past the defender. Oh, whoa, Ball comes whoa. out, but they'll whistle him out of play. Okay. They'll whistle okay. him out at the 39, okay. Okay. so it'll be first and 10 in Somniac. And Bagway right now is getting a much-needed rest, and, and but the Davin body is language is that right he's now. hammering the Gatorade meter. Rob, you don't agree with me, but I think that's going to be no, a big thing as this fourth quarter wears on. I agree. His Gatorade me meter is definitely blinking. It's all the insomniac. snap, and there's so a handoff to RTC trying oh, to run and gang again. Oh, oh. RTC! Justifying! This is his quarter. They've wanted to do this all game. They, this collective running game has added up to this. Dave Soberman, happy birthday. He's been telling me that RTC's already over 100 yards. He just got over 100. He's probably going to get even more he because that type of play is what the run. Insomniacs want, and it's going to set up play action, especially if Mark Bagway can't cover David Clark. He just, who, he just got over 100 with that Shout run. out to everybody at home. Especially G Heard in the OTT. <laughs> Hopefully everybody's enjoying their vacation as we are here live in Bullhead City. 39-32. Play action. Hamilton throws That's to the end zone. Out of the reach of David Clark. Looking for a call as the audience. Uh, but no Flutie going to skate on that one. No, nah, it, it, it's not a flag. Nah. It's just the ball is just a little bit out of reach. He has to do that, though. I no, respect but, but the Scooter throw. has to hit one of those. He, but, He's but, missed how many? Five? Um, you, now, you're not going to hit every one of them. But, but you're dealing with speed it on speed, speed, hip to hip. If Scooter tries to drop it too into that pocket, that guy is on his hip, bro. Yeah, but, but all of the corners that are in right now are losing the size matchup to David Clark. So if you underthrow it a little bit, what does it become? A jump ball. That's exactly where you have to place it. Here's RTC. And hand off to oh, RTC again. Block. RTC Get will off. push out to the outside. RTC is oh. let Moody hold on to him. Tried to flake him off there, Corey. First down in Somnia. You see it's flagged for them. <laughs> it's flagged for them. They're pulling him down. But RTC is going to make this quarter his. You see that both of the big players the big time players for these teams are stepping up in this fourth quarter. Number 17, Dr. Q we, have, we have a player Oose. down on the field. That's number 19. Oos is actually making the key block here to keep RTC untouched. And a little Sean bit of a Flynn. tug on the jersey, but oh, Oos falls on him. Sean Flynn being helped to the sideline, but RTC at the 25. I wish they let me hold like that when I was playing <laughs> with no flags. That would be fun. This is fun. This is very fun. Tight coverage at the top of your screen, but they hand it off to Trey. Trey they hand off to Trey Robinson. Robinson will in. bounce to the outside and immediately wrapped up in that tangle. There's Deontay Henderson again. The intensity level of this game has not decreased Really, at any moment, the only thing that we've seen is that the crowd is silenced when the Nightcrawlers make that answer play, which is huge. As it gets really quiet It's really here. quiet. I can hear myself think. 
for the first time in a for while. First time. Second and eight. Credit the Insomniacs. They have stuck to the run game. A lot of times when you get down, a lot of times when you're under pressure, you just start throwing it every play. for bringing Look life back to the Insomniacs. Absolutely. Q is him. The snap. Oh my. Hamilton Presser. in trouble and brought one. down. Wow. That's shit. What? Second time this year. That's number 45 bringing him down. Wow, man. That's a big play. And he's his big shoes to fill based on the jersey he's wearing. Just pay attention to the pressure. They might be going back to that defense they had. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. The and toss to RTC. RTC, RTC, oh, RTC oh, dragged oh, down. Phenomenal tackle. That is a one-on-one -on -one situation that most times RTC is going to win. That's D West with the tackle. And again, they went back to the defense that was helping them earlier. RTC. Action, that was Marcus Richardson on the tackle. RTC slightly whiffed on the block to stay open, but they were able to cover and corral him so he wouldn't convert that third and long. I know we said we wouldn't mention Jersey. That's, that, that's the play that BIC and Courage won a championship with. Credit the great open field tackle, but on fourth yeah, and seven, sure. look at the cushion on the corners. That O-line has those, to do it those, right here. Those stop routes are there. This is the O-line's job right here. Come on, O-line. Snap. Come on, O-line. Scooter Hamilton on fourth down the call by Schumper. But did he make it? It's going to be close. I don't know. They gave it to him at the 14 yard. Oh, get him to the 14 yard line. And with 9 12 left to go in the fourth. When, when the corners give the cushion like that, an uh, experienced quarterback with great accuracy and timing is going to find his favorite target. And a guy like Munchie, very consistently, on the third and five and the third and nine that I was criticizing the Insomniacs, that's what I was looking for. Right. And on fourth down, your quarterback needs to make a play, and he has so far. Brings up second and medium, and at the top of your screen, you got space, but the bottom, it's press coverage. Ooh. Snap, Hamilton oh, will throw the end zone and a flag on the that's play. A nasty and Scooter flag. Hamilton wow. trying to be the A7 NFL Championship MVP. Scan the QR code now for your chance to vote on the A7 NFL. Look for speed option here. Speed option? Scooter Hamilton! Speed option? Tart gets it in there! Touchdown! It's on the X! Scooter! Now, just to be clear, that is a speed option. He just, took the, <laughs> he just took the seam that he saw immediately. Scooter hasn't shown that he's a great runner this entire season because he hasn't had to. But when his team needs him the most, He'll get it he done. steps up and brings this game to within one. And here are the championship points that I'm telling you are more important sometimes than the touchdowns. I don't let's make, let's see them. if he can make the play. Uh -oh. Snap in the uh -oh. handoff. That uh -oh. is Trey Robinson. Robinson wow. will be drove out of play, and they will make it a 39-38 game. I it's tough, wrong. but it's not the end of the world. They still have to make a stop regardless. Brown will take that return. That will bounce. That's a live ball, and that's picked up inside the 15. Rico Brown. Oh, he almost lost the ball. Almost gets the ball knocked out, Ooh. and they'll whistle it dead. And that, that Insomniac's return team. Phenomenal Steve stop. Steve Cannon on special teams. Yeah, he's been cooking, Looks man. like he should be on the sideline. But every single time he's been in, he's made he's the play by either forcing the cutback, stopping him, or actually making the tackle. He almost ripped the ball out that time. There's Q. There's the legend himself. Q is on that line. The Bagway stopper so far. Bagway fakes it. On Q. first down. Oh, and, wow. and they touch him. Hugh Burt sets and it up, and there's A.J. McClay. He, sta he started off the game with a sack, and now he's trying to close it out with under seven and a half but minutes. But the play made my Q, and it looks like he's going to be down after making the play. And I can't I can't be mad at Q. If Q is not able to return, which I hope he is, he got right he's back up. giving it his all this game. Bagway will face down. There's Mouth Williams, and then McClay. And Shuffle, oh. and again, the Insomniac's defense brings down Bagway and now Mick Williams getting a little, getting his dance on, but it's a little too early. Uh -oh. And when you're down one point, we've seen that happen before, Corey. Won't, it may not end well. Yeah, but they've, uh -oh. they've found a way to figure out how to contain Mark Bagway just a little bit on first and second down. Adjustments, baby. But as great as it's been, when the, when the Nightcrawlers get what they want, they average more than the yards that they need. If Mark Bagway breaks contain, it doesn't matter if it's third and three or third and 80, he likely can convert the first down. So as great as first and second down have been, they have to come up big again on third and maybe even fourth. Bagway in motion, Logan with the ball. Bagway, they'll set it up that flag style. 
Bagley will throw a dart. That's caught. Oh my lord. And he cuts it aside. Oh my god. god. He's got the save. He's got the save. He's got the whole field in front of him. Q bursts again with the burst of speed. Ending like midnight club in the knob. Making the lead 45 38. Third and what? Forever? Third and it doesn't they matter. Make the adjustment. Logo goes to quarterback, Bagway goes in motion, and when they do that, what they're doing is they're giving, giving themselves them space. They're changing the attack point for the defensive line, and then they lose coverage great on block the receivers. Here. Wow. Phenomenal what a great block. block down the field. And you just see every single Nightcrawler has the type of speed to take it, whether it's third and three or third and 80. They can operate. I would go. I would go to force a two points, a, a watch, two score game. But watch Logo Davis right there in the slot, three man line. Here comes the pressure on a drive where he's been sacked twice. Bagway oh my will toss it the over to the big man, number Ooh. eight, and that's Tyree McCants. Oh, Ooh, jinx! You owe me a drink after the game, my friend. With 6:19 <laughs> left to go, it's 46:38. We are live here. On caffeine, a7fl.tv, shout out to the chat. I know you love my shirt and you love my personality, so I'm <laughs> glad y'all are here. First and the Ooh. opportunity here on the return. That's Trey Robinson returning from deep in his own end zone. Trey oh. Robinson Ooh. plows to a defender, but is brought down at the 23 first down. It's Muscle an attitude man. play. It didn't, look like, it didn't look like he was going to score, but he wanted the sauce. He gives the sauce, and it's first down. They have to do this twice. But the usual suspects for the Insomniacs have showed up in today's game. Very RTC, much, very Munchie, true. David Clark, Scott Scoots, Hamilton. Yeah, Scooter, yeah. Who is going to make the difference in the fourth quarter? First and ten. RTC? There's a handoff to RTC. Ooh. Follows his blocks a little bit. Gets a gain of about two. The Insomniacs have been working for it. But they have not backed down not one second in this game. Here's Scooter. Blocking by Oos. Oh, throw, man. and that's in the dirt. Intended for Shuffer. You were on that 50-yard line with yeah. the chip last night. And now one of these two teams are going to walk out of it in 440 and counting. Let's check out Big Oos and Kenny Mack on the line. And there's RTC. RTC finds Ooh. the seam. And and oh, whoa. And that whoa. is a risky play. Looks like whoa. he stopped before the first down, but what is the penalty? Looks like it's Lot Smith. Like it might be a horse collar. That's a questionable call. See what it's on. Where's Might be on the offense. First of foul. Hands to the face. Oh. Defense number nine. Ooh, 15 yard okay. penalty. Call. Yeah, I can He'll see be added that. to the end I of the run. First down. And here he is back in that statue formation. His scooter. Hamilton throws it to Devin Clark. Oh, Clark, it was on Mark Bagway. Give him a little bit of time. He's going to throw a dime. <coughs> he, and he, Bagway, saw, he saw the break. When, when you look at that play, he saw the break. And Bagway, just being a little too tired, didn't think he would get called upon. But right now, if you're the insomniac, so you're going for two. Oh, man. And they will go for two. Yikes. Hamilton to tie the game. Scooter oh. Hamilton. Scooter oh, Hamilton in trouble. He'll throw it. And intercepted. Wow. Dead ball play, but with two points separating them, Corey Ham and Rob Fabian. Ooh. 201 yards, six touchdowns, Ooh. has been sacked twice. And it's Davick Clark, him, who has been the difference maker at the wide receiver position when it's not Munchie. Oh, that's and not here's a, a three on one. And what's interesting is, is now, now because of how valuable Q is on defense, he's not the throw-off guy. Q was tired, man. And there will be a throw caught inside the 10. And it's an opportunity for Keese to get something going. And he's brought down at the 35, another yardage, solid game. Yardage. What do you do here? Do you chew clock? Or do have you the go for the gusto? Have the Nightcrawlers ever just chewed clock? But they have IQ enough to chew clock. Absolutely. But they also have IQ enough to know that if they score and put pressure, right now they sit at two. If they score eight, that's ten. If they score seven, that's nine. They can go up two scores right now if they score and get the extra point. Bagway. Pressured by McWilliams. McWilliams will send him oh, over. Bagway oh. in trouble. Uh -oh. McWilliams still on the pursuit. Caught oh. near the sideline. 
And they will get Just near the initial line of scrimmage, and that's Keese on the catch. That's a lot of pressure, man. That's a lot Mark of pressure. Mark Bagway has a lot of yards rushing in this game, but what isn't accounted for is likely the mile that he's run back and forth all over this, this field, whether it's on defense and coverage, whether it's at, at quarterback trying to find a seam. His conditioning level is elite, but it's being tested here in the fourth quarter. Third and five. The snap on third and five. Bagway throws. Oh, oh, no, oh, but he gets eaten up by the turf, turf monster. monster. Matt, you want me a drink? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> but even when Bagway can't affect the game because he's running out of gas, maybe in the run aspect, he still finds a wide open receiver. And the defense is scrambling, doing everything they can, keeping him from running for 80 yards. But he's elite. Period. First and ten from the 43. Bagway pursued by McWilliams. McWilliams is evaded. Boy. And there's a catch. Oh. The ball out. And it looks like the inside man the has gone in. And the inside man oh. is coming with the body. Oh. Goodness. 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 And he walks it off. But there's 207 left. And it's a two point game, and they're on the wrong side of that equation, Corey. Wow. Uh, legend. All it takes. Dairy. All it takes is. And you the see the McQuaig family there in the crowd. You see the Insomniac fans. The wow. previous play is being challenged. That the and runner was under down two, by it is contact. Over the two before minute mark, so this out. will be challenged by same. Tampa. At the end of this game, no fans will be allowed on the field, but Corey Hammond will be allowed on the field as he presents the A7FL Championship to the winning team. We will be live with you until we crown a champion as we get closer and closer to 10 p.m. Eastern in the Eastern Standard Time Zone. It feels like high noon here in Bullhead City. RTC will take the sweep. Big RTC oof. will be met, and there's a flag on the play, and it looks like the Insomniacs That's may not. get to move up a little bit. They're going to call hands to the face. They're going to call hands to the face. That's what he's looking for. He's not really looking for the holding. He's looking for the incidental hands to the face. Hands to the face. Defense. Hands to the face. 15-yard penalty. And that 15-yard penalty down. gives him the first down. And I know, the chat, I know the chat is going crazy, saying the refs are bailing out. That's going to be rough. The Nightcrawlers have given up 115 yards oh. on penalties today. Hamilton going to oh. oh. Intercepted. Oh. Ball comes oh loose. My God. And it's incomplete. He's down. They're going to rule it an interception because That's an it was down. What the, am I watching? What game is this? Is it's the, under oh two no. minutes. To, oh, no, it's incomplete. He incomplete. He didn't complete the call. just talked about it. This game was so close that it could even be a call. Wow. I don't even know what to say because I'm not even sure exactly what happened. He's down. No, he was fumbling. He's he was bobbling it the whole He's time. Let's look back at the replay because Results. as he was rolling, it was a great Hold on, hold on. Catch. He's Catch? trying to rip Catch? it out on right my now. back, and now I let it go. I'm on my back. And it will okay. stay as an incomplete pass. Okay. As called as that was, Night we made have sure we no made more the best the right call. The decision the right that we game. could with the information Night we have. And let's be honest, timeout. we may they be talking about that call for 10 for years if the, nah. the Insomniacs <laughs> are able to pull this off. The Ball snap, Hamilton will throw. It's caught. And they will. that's Shuffer, and they'll get to... The forty, the thirty-seven. You may not be impressed by a a four-yard hook and a six-yard run after the catch, but they're going to give him a first down because Munchie what? has been able to make that play no. over and over again. And not only does he get the no. first down, he, he made the out first down bounds. marker. He, he did not get the, the first down. The marker was past the thirty. Was he behind got the thirty-five. Right before, Rob, but it's okay. Tampa is no, showing. no, no. I'm, it might be, but my unbiased is showing too. <laughs> I like what I'm seeing from the Insomniacs. That offensive the Insomniacs line is not calling We didn't get to pick these games because no, it's so we crazy didn't. in here this today. Here's another they quick throw off the screen. David oh. Clark will Wait. get to the 35. Tackle from Bagway. And it will be second down, second and eight. Tick, tick, tick. Ticked. Oh my god. Are goodness. they running? Are they running the oh. clock down to walk it hey, off? I don't think you I can sit down. I can't. I can't sit down. Ryan, I'm with, Rob, I'm I'm with you. Do. I'm with you, Rob. Down. I can't sit Pumps down. The snap. Pumps Hold away. Play. Hold on. Hamilton. Hold on. Too much time. And he takes off. He's running. Hamilton He's will running. Take oh, my God. And he oh, my God. And he gets to the sideline. Oh, my God. I can't sit down. Tyree uh -huh. McCants doing his Deontay Henderson impression. Now, the good part of that play is Scooter got out of bounds. Did he? 
but he fell in, inbounds. In, in a play where most human beings are going to get bowled over by the 260-pound quarterback. <laughs> I can't sit Stewart down. just got knocked into next year. Yeah, that might He's not He's already roll playing roll. fall brawl I Vegas can't. football That's after terrible. that hit. That's Third terrible. and about four. The snap. 47 seconds left. Hamilton on third down, uh -oh. throws it deep. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh, and he cannot oh, come oh, down with yeah. the interception. No, 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 no. I'm leaving, down. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. What? Rob has walked off the concourse. What in the world is this game? Scooter goes up. Oh, look at these oh, stats. Goodness. Look at the stats. The biggest stat line in, 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 a, in a stat line of enormous stat, enormous stat, mm -hmm. enormous stat. Three Look at that three. Turnovers. Look at that three. And Tampa still has the lead. Quincy Can you imagine Burks. that? Fourth and four. This is the highest pressure situation that the Nightcrawlers uh. defense has ever made. And if you told me that the Nightcrawlers had to make a stop on fourth and four to win a championship, I wouldn't really believe you because it's been their offense that's been asked. Hold but it's their on, defense on. right now that they need. Hold on. And RTC that they're facing. Fourth and four. Season undefeated championship oh, on the line no. to toss to RTC. He RTC! Gets it. Oh, he's RTC gets it to the end zone! The end zone oh, no. Take the lead! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Moon beating the Immortals. He oh. hurts himself. On the My biggest run of the season, God. they just scored 50 points. They just got the first down. They just got a touchdown, but there's still 35 seconds left in this game. RTC oh Wilkerson, the guy who's rush. been talking the and most, he just caught right about standing here, up, right there. Oh, he his got calf. that cramp. It's his calf. calf. And is that Rico? Oh God! The Nightcrawlers promised a return touchdown. Oh my God! Now. Caught at the 19. That's Rico An Brown. opportunity for Rico Brown. Rico Brown spins out. Rico Brown keeps the ball. The ball, ball, ball comes loose. Oh my, oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my God. 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 Oh, my that tackle is huge because the clock big. is running. There's 28 Definitely seconds big. and ticking. Nightcrawlers run to the line. Uh-oh. The snap by Bagway. Bagway will throw it across his that body, caught and out of play. 12 seconds left. The composure beautiful. of Mark Bagway is oh. so elite. We don't need to talk about it because with everything going crazy around him, he rolls out, fires a pass to the sideline, and stops the clock by throwing the perfect pass at the perfect time. There's 12.9 seconds left. They have one timeout, and they absolutely can still win this game. RTC Wilkerson today, 23 rushes, 167 Beautiful. yards, one touchdown. Hold on now. Season on the line, 12 seconds, one timeout. Oh, there's a bad mismatch here. There's Bagway a bad mismatch here. He's next to Keys. The snap, the is open. The throw to oh, Keese okay. and it's underthrown. Okay. Okay. Incomplete, wow, okay. the clock will stop. Okay. That'll be reset okay. back to 10 a seconds. A lot of room okay. in front of him, he Rob. Did. He did. And that's a dangerous man. And also, room. half the scary. reason we're yelling is because we're excited. And it's so loud in we here. We can't hear ourselves think or talk up here. Wow. It is blazing hot in the desert. Oh, and we have nothing left to save, just like both of these teams. This is the last game of the season. This is the last eight seconds of 2023-87. We're going to give it our all. They're giving it their all. Just sit tight and watch great football. Eight seconds left. Logo Davis is back on the field. Logo Davis back on the field with his chance. Rico Brown. Rico Brown, and he'll get out of play with six seconds left. But flag on the field flag. on the defense. That's not going to help. That's not going to help at all. Outside. On the defense. Offside. The penalty is declined. Oh, I don't want Second that down. to be what cost them the game. Nah, me but neither. at this point, I don't know. The last five minutes has been the most insane five minutes that I've ever seen in the A7FL. Five seconds Five seconds. Insomniacs need to stop Mark Bagway, Logo Davis, BMA Keys, Rico Brown, and the Nightcrawlers. Just enjoy the game. Second and five. An undefeated season for either team in the balance. Oh and my Somniacs God. need a stop. And $25,000 on the line. Way. Here's Davis. Is that the Logo or Davis? Pass? Logo Davis! And it's so good! 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 It's so 
Insomniacs, wow. Wow. Insomniacs, wow. Scooter, Q, RTC. Fellas, you can be nothing but proud. This was well deserved. No one on the planet watching this game will feel like you would, you didn't earn this. This was a hard earned win. I am nothing but proud of you, even though I doubted your win in this game. Congrats to you guys. Two seasons ago, Donnie Bunak had a dream. The dream was unfulfilled in year one. Before year two, his life was taken away from him. And now a city has new life. This city has a new champion. And we're not sleeping tonight because the insomniacs are the kings of the A7FL. When we return here from Bullhead, it will be the trophy presentation of the A7FL championship. We will be back in a moment. The insomniacs will lead the way, but this is a new era in the A7FL. The Las Vegas insomniacs are them. They're them. If you are watching the A7FL for the first time, if this is your first time experiencing this type of football, all we ask you to do is give us five minutes, like Mike Tomlin said at the start of our season. Right here, right now, in front of thousands, if not millions of people around the world, I'm going to walk backwards because I'm not going to blow out my mic. But to the point, this is the A7FL. These are our A7FL champions, the Insomniacs. We will be back with you in March. This is the A7FL, and from the Anderson Automotive Fieldhouse, we say good night and congrats to the champs. Sin City runs the A7. We will see you in Season 10. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like. Follow and share on our Facebook page at A7FL TV. Seven days removed from their biggest game to date of the 2023 season, the undefeated Patterson U's odds of a fifth straight championship appearance are better than ever. Can Carlos Croslin or Kareem Moon's quarterback play in dynamic group of veterans continue this pace to the playoffs? Or can a Baltimore Watchman team end the U's run off what may be the best collection of Maryland talent in the league's history? It's the Watchmen in the UNR Game of the Week as we count down to throw off. Yeah. I'm ready to play now, put me in the game now I came here to prove it, I'm ready to do it, I can't be afraid now Put me on the stage now, I'm ready to rage now I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out It's time for the games of the week as we count down to throw off the Patterson U look to remain undefeated and hold on to their stake in more Watchmen. I'm Matt Ryan and in just a moment I'll be joined by a big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond as we will call all the action this afternoon from the Jersey Shore. But before we get into that, we need to tell you what is the A7FL? Well, the A7FL is seven on seven football. No helmets, no pads, but all action and if you're the first time you're joining us here today, well, you're going to be in for one hell of a treat. And it's also no kicking, no punting here in the A7FL. Instead, we have the three-on-one throw off the most exciting play in all of pro football and one and two-point conversions from the five and ten-yard line, respectively. And we've got 26 teams battling for a shot at the A7FL Championship this July in Bullhead City, Arizona, right outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, just an hour down the road from Sin City. And we're excited to see what happens when we bring the chip out there. And one of these two teams looking to make their case to represent the Eastern Conference in this game. And let's take a look at how we got here, first and foremost, for the Baltimore Watchmen. Bucked up, Rokeem Chaney, OG Buck, 330 yards against the BIC in Week 2. And with line items, the offensive line allowed six sacks on Chaney in Week 2. They're going to need to be persistent against a very voracious Patterson U defense in just a few moments' time. And extra seasoning, they outscored their opponents so far in wins, in their two wins, 103 
to 13. They're going to need to find some way to get that same kind of energy against a voracious Patterson U team. And speaking of them, here's how we got here for the U. The U are back. The win over the BIC has made a case for them to be the best team, not only in the Eastern Conference, but in the entire A7FL. And QB option. They have Carlos Pablo Croslin and Kareen Moon both having a case to start today after their performance against the Trenton BIC. And burn the film. Ryan Shamar talked to us on the 3-on-1 podcast, and he said we're going to see a much different look today or different things from this Patterson U offense than what we saw against the BIC a week ago. It will be interesting no matter what. And speaking of Ryan Shamar, let's go back in the time machine. Let's pull up some receipts about Ryan Shamar playing the Watchmen. styles make fights how do you feel hearing that matchup wise a lot of people are feeling and because you know i talk to a lot of the guys in the league a lot of people are feeling that the watchmen are a better matchup for you guys than bic was because they're watching bic film and think we're going to play the watchman like bic which is stupid but the people that they just look at film and say oh they're going to do this to us no we can do a plethora of things i mean there were a lot of guys missing from that BIC game that didn't play like Mims, like Kells Gallimore, like a Rashad Knight, like other players. Like we had at least 10 players that didn't play that game and seven of them are skilled guys. So it's like the way we just played this game, you would be a fool to think we're going to play the next game the exact same way. But I mean, by all means. Watch the BIC game as much as you want and feel like you got to figure it out as much as you want. And I mean, and I'd be a dummy to tell you that we're not going to do some of the things in the BIC game that, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But at the same time, to really give somebody the blueprint and say, hey, this is exactly how we're going to play you and think it's going to be the same thing. You're a fool. But uh, I saw John Gauls, and here's the three-on-one throw -up. The U will start the game with the ball. It's Deion McDaniel on the three-on-one return. Baltimore in the black of the U, orange numbers and letters, and we'll get to the 31 before he'll be stopped by Ricardo Freeman and company. It will be first down for the U. The handoff, that's a cut inside, will bounce inside. You get brought down at the 33. Halfway decent game to start things off, and that was hard body Marcus McKinney on the carry. Underrated in this game is the, the personnel that the U use on the offensive line. We talked about it last week. The offensive line for the U was elite. With different personnel, let's see how they do against this Watchman front. Oh, Croslin will keep he it. He'll cut happen. to the side, uh, cut down field, pardon me, get to the 41, and that will be enough for a first down. Definitely a huge mistake on whatever exchange or play action they were trying to do, but somehow Pablo still gets up there and does the work. In motion, the hands off to Snags. Baltimore, Baltimore crime. He'll have to cut around. Is That's that a good decision and, or a terrible one. And. And, and what we're going to notice and what I've spoken about with a lot of um, high-ranking officials in this league, a lot of captains, a lot of teams outside of these two, that was Quentin Bragg, by the way, yeah. former New Jersey player. Former Savage player. Yeah, so. Um, and Moon will be under center. It'll be second and 24 after a huge loss of down. Oh. Thrown deep down. Field swatted oh. and intercepted. Welcome to Baltimore, 7-11 on the back of the jersey, making it happen, and it will be first and 10 for the Watchmen, and the U starting off off the wrong foot. Normally Yikes. in this league, when you see 7-11, it's a reference to being always open. I but that time, right he, there. that time he closed up the Dakari Mims fade route and gets the interception and a turnover early in this game. It'll be there first and 15 after the penalty. John Gauss Jr. under center. Ooh, Goss blocking. will throw this one. He whips it down. Fail! And oh. out of the reach of the receiver looking for a pass interference call. And I, if I'm not mistaken, that's Tony Totak. That is, is not? Marlon Anderson. Yeah, and I, listen, that is not a guy you want wide open in the back behind your um, cornerback or safety. There's a Super Saiyan in the slot. You know he's getting some. 
the snap. Goss will throw it, and that's Ooh. out of, off the hands of the receiver, off the hand, pardon me. Looks like beefy. And looking, looking for a flag there. Looks said like someone was holding on his jersey. Yeah, unfortunately for beefy, anything inside those five yards is, is free game. There's nothing that's going to be called right there. So he has to actually get off the ball faster than that. Antoine Matthews, the Super Saiyan at the bottom of your screen. Four on the line. Gauls Jr. on second down. We'll throw it to the Super oh, Saiyan. Matthews, hustle. Uh -oh. Matthews showing off hustle, the skills, hustle. trying to go oh. over 9,000. Picked up and then will be brought down. And it's always on a slant or a hook, always, right? Always, bro, always. I've seen him score touchdowns that are like 60 yards and he just gets up normal. It's when he gets the, me the meaningful middle play that he goes absolutely Bonkers. full 9,000. Yeah. And when you see the, the coverage that Deion Davis had on Chris Matthews there, he gave him the hook. So John Gauls is a, a traditional passer with the ability to run. He got past Deion McDaniel too on that one. And, and Amir Morris, J-Rock got hand kicked on that the play. The snap, the throw down to the tight end. Oh no! Ball oh comes my. loose and who comes up with I, it? It looks like Baltimore oh, has it. Kells Gallimore, if he was just a little heavier, gets that. Devontae Carter has been ejected from the Insomniacs game. We'll have more on that as that continues to play. The snap by Gauze Jr. Here he is. And he's, he's skiing for. down the slope, gets the first down oh and more and goodness. brought down at the 24. Gets dragged. And, and if John Gauze is going to have that part of his game available every single game that he's a starter, the Watchmen offense are going to be one of the tougher offenses to beat because he is a very good thrower of the football. But when he can look downfield and just take the second option, which is him running for 15 yards, how do you defend that? We were talking I mean, about Huff last year. I mean, I mean if last Amir game. Morris is the spy, I think he's playing too far up. And again, Dion missed it too. And he, listen, Fletch gets dragged for five full yards. And if, you, if you're a newer fan to this league, the Sterry Codrington before Sterry was John Gauss Jr. First down for Gauss Jr. Matthews in motion. Gauss will keep it and he'll off. fall. He'll eat the turf monster, be eaten up by the turf monster after a game of three. It'll be second down and number 24 getting in on the tackle. He'll be credited with it. Kenneth, Kit Paul Mills is uh, on the back well, of the jersey. And, so, and, and somebody's wearing uh, Isaac's uh, old jersey, the, old jersey the, <laughs> the, the, the silverbacks jersey. And when John Gauss sees a, 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 a a, a big, huge man right there. That's Aote. It's, it's, it's a problem. Aote wearing number 52 today. Joining up on the line. He knows better than to take on Aote, another Baltimore native, to like that with his frame. It'll be second and eight. Gain of two after that last play by Gauze. The snap three wide receiver set. Fletch Gauze will pancake. throw. That's to Matthews. Ooh, and a big tackle from the right side. Aaron Morris is on it, 24 to 24. And Matthews. you see the poise there from Gauze. He steps up in the pocket. He waits for the crossing route to clear the, the middle defender. I mean, he had a and lot then of just time. delivers a perfect ball. Fletch, Fletch got pancaked to, to the moon. Like, it was bad. It was pretty bad. One wide receiver, two on the line, two behind the quarterback. Oh, with the Hand ball. off to Bone. Bone. Oh, my goodness. Pushes to the 13 yard line. Amir Morris gets sent to the shadow run on that truck stick. Get up to talk about. Amir Morris can literally do almost every single thing you ask a football player Everything. to do on the field, except for tackle the 300 pound man hey, easily that's do? running full speed. That's just hard to ask anyone to do. He did get him, he did rev get him the out of bounds. engine here. That's David Dinkins. Play action to throw over oh. the. Trying to get the over the back there. I'm not going to lie to you. Let the boys play right, but that definitely looked like a little bit of interference. That's Goss. That was, yeah, three was Amari Thomas. He was standing in front of him. That's how skinny John oh, Goss wow. is sometimes. Goss will roll out to his right on third and nine. Ooh, we'll throw that's that ball. Batted batted. If that's not Boss, of course, of course. Of course Markeith Williamson on the SWAT. And it's final in Vegas, your final score, 54 to 14. The Insomniacs over the Kryptonite. Yeah, let's, we can dead that conversation. That, so there's no question now who, who the number one team Coming is. out of this game, yeah. if, the, if, the, if the Watchmen get the win, the Insomniacs may be the number one, number one team. Number one team in the league. Uh, it's, gonna, it's insane, but that's, 
what might happen. But or, once again, let me ask you a hypothetical. Or will the three-on-one podcast to just troll everyone out in Vegas just leave them at two? That's insane. That would be so <laughs> That's about insane. I would do. That it. would be so foul. But again, um, once the you again, this game is about matchups and adjustments. Right here, they adjust. They put Dot Boss on the line. He can jump with the best of them. Swatted the pass. Might have saved the touchdown right there. Who knows? But it'll bring up fourth and a must. You can't kick field goals in the A7FL, so on fourth down, you got to go. Comes Gosh, the boss with pressure. throws it, Ooh. and that one is Ooh. incomplete. That looked a little spooky. Dion. Snap. There we go. The handoff. Dion with the hus. That's a pretty good north-south run there. He gets a couple moves and gets about nine yards, really close to the first down. It's going to be interesting for me, and maybe not for you, Rob, because we talk about this all the time, <laughs> but for, for how they use the quarterbacks in this game. You saw Carlos come out, and you saw him have that good run. Now, I don't know if it, after that good run, he, he re-aggravated what was bothering him last right, week, right, and that's right, why right. moves back in. Because it looked like he did what he was, you know, supposed to supposed do. to do on that play, right. especially because it looked like the running back made a mistake. Right. But having the fact that you have Moon to come in and be the other guy just in case, he's in a good spot. Snap, hands it off, pushes Ooh. to the 29-yard line. That's Mayweather. That's Mayweather. Willie Easterling on the carry, and it will be second down. Opportunity for the U to score. Play action to throw. throw. Caught. Uh -oh. Cuts uh -oh. to the uh -oh. sideline. Cut. And we'll dance out of play, and that will be a first down. And that's Takari Mims on the catch. This is why he's a top player in the league. Now, the U can, if they blow out, they can take the uh, points, and they do play next week. First 10. Snap, handoff, pushed up forward, and that one will get a gain of about a yard, Very and it will be second down. But in the chat right now, love for the lineman. Gotta love it. That's uh, always thick boy season here in the A7FL. Look at the pressure coming from the Watchman. The snap, Moon, not a lot of time. He lets it fly. Throws it, intercepted. Oh, um, this is not a team you can play with like that when it comes to throwing the ball up. Looking for open. a whistle, play still live, and the dot boss will get the tackle. Yeah, this team is very ball hockey, and if and the ball's hanging out too long in the air, they're going to go get it. Who's, who's these Quick decisions? screen on first down. This one oh, thrown by Gauss uh, Jr. and yes. out of play. That was definitely Buck. No, they, they, they okie doke you. Yeah, they okie doke you, Matt. They put yeah. Buck in there, and Buck does his, his, his patented. There's Aunt Bo talking something. Every, every skill position player for Washington has some kind of colorful headband. Chaney now in at quarterback. Jet Hands motion up, counter, what? Runs Brother, right into his defender on that one. How much of Buck's playbook have you watched or been proven to? Because I mean, you really do call a lot of his plays. Horstradamus. I remember watching the Rare Breed U game. That Pac Money jet motion gave the U defensive line fits because if they honored it and they spread out, then Buck would go with the counter. And if they didn't honor it, Pack money would get the edge. So you see here comes on the jet motion. Here's this is almost the way that the, the Vegas runs it with the RTC type right, of jet right, counter. Right. That was just a great tackle by J-Rock at that point. And it'll bring up third down. That's Ant Mo at the bottom of your screen, the taller receiver on Kells Gallimore. No wait, anticipating the snap. Shaney will roll out to his left. He'll cut to the sideline. Yeah, he he'll get the first, the first down, and he'll run out of play near the 50. He'll be where he marks him out. Say what you want about that pump fake. It's Watch. effective. It works. It he uses works. it 15 to 20 times a game, and at, at, at least once a play, it feels like somewhere, some, some, maybe even on the sideline, somebody's jumping at that fake. Watchman driving off of their second turnover from the U, and a slight That's gain of about three. Slow, uh, but again, it's um, it's, it's Kells Gallimore versus Ant Mo. That's a great matchup. I'd, I'd love to see how that pans out. Vegas. The snap, the throw off the screen. Ant Mo rocket screen. Ant Mo gets Ooh. pushed to the 49. And Rob, what's that quote from Vegas? 56 to 14. We beat them like a redheaded stepchild. Third and four. Ball on the 49. Cheney under. Cheney under center, the snap. Cheney feeling the pressure, thrown over the middle and incomplete. That's good coverage by Amir Morris. Um, Kels Gallimore was up on the line, I guess. A slight QB spy, maybe he tried to blitz then drop back. I'm not. He said that's Buck's play. Two wide receivers set. Running Tight back set to the Dakari left. Mims. Do a play action up top. 
the handoff cuts to the sideline. Willie Easterling! Willie Easterling treating it! Like it's a Mayweather fight, gets a huge gain, rips out over 20 yards, and will be brought down at what seems to be the 48-yard line. And that's a touchdown saving tackle by Sly Boogie there. Which, which again, that's what Sly Boogie does. That He's that guy to save those plays, spy the QBs. Sly Boogie is fast enough to keep up with your quickest QB, and also he's tough enough to make these quality hits on guys like Mayweather, who people usually avoid like the play. Watch Sly's read here. He reads it, he misses it because of the block from Marcel Bates. And it's still, far, yeah, great block from Marcel Bates, but he's still fast enough. And Deshaun opens up the block oh, on yeah, the sure. That's a great, That's a great block. block. Yeah, these guys are blocking. Things in motion. Back to the Mayweather. Off. Tough run up the middle. Very the middle. tough. A clean five. I mean, yeah, he picked him up, but he already got the yards he needed. Whoever wins this game is going to win this game, even if it's close. Right. Again Snap. with Mayweather. The handoff again from Easterling, and my goodness, what a and tackle. like I said, Sly is definitely tough enough to meet these guys in the hole and drop a guy like Mayweather, who, again, most people avoid tackling head up. Mayweather is like a freight train, no pun intended. You know, yeah. present players excluded when it comes to. And speaking of the freight train, that was a QB choice option. They leave. Freight Train unblocked, so Moon is reading the defensive end. Right. Freight Train has to honor Moon running the ball. He definitely does. But it was Sly's ability to get off the block and make the contact on that play that he's able to tackle the defense, the, the, the running back that he should have been blocked. that's why he's there. That's exactly why he's there. Because Sly can make, Sly gave me the fits when we played him a few years ago. Yeah, when he plays defensive end, he's impossible to block. Where That's where he is right now. The snap. Moon throws, Great caught. Great throw, Hus. Mims with the first down. Mims getting the first down, 5.04 left to play. Nothing, nothing, your score at 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll be bringing you our final game of the week for today. The Vegas Hunters will be taking on the Vegas Pit Bosses. And also in New Jersey, we'll have the BIC taking on the Boston Omegas. And I heard BIC has a surprise for us. Hopefully we can check in every, you know, every other clip just to see what they got <laughs> going on. There could be some surprises for the Omegas, according to First the, the conversation I'm having Snap. with the Okay, Moon takes lead. off. And that will run to the 36-yard line, and it will be second down. He's definitely a stud in there, in the middle, going one-on-one -on -one with Burton. The snap, Moon rolls out to his takes left. Off. He'll cut down the sideline, and he will be brought down hard on the Watchman sideline by number five. That's uh, Nani Forrester there. I don't see the negative on his jersey, but he usually is negative five. Is that money? Yeah. yeah, somehow. I, I get the negative one from uh, Neon Neon. Dion. Dion, yeah. I don't get the negative five. I don't get the negative five. I wish I knew. Yeah, really. Uh, but time ticking down here. 334 left to play. In the half. In the first. In the half. The snap by Moon trying to put the first six on the board this afternoon. Burton. In trouble, evades okay, a defender. Evades. Burton, Kareem Moon cutting one. down, and he'll fall down at the 28-yard line and now, make it second down. Burton has to do a way better job at blocking that middle because Nick Mays flew in there like a bat out of hell and came straight after Moon. And it'll be a snap here for Croslin on fourth down. Drop Croslin back. in trouble, intercepted. Intercepted by Sly, and that's what makes him so dangerous. Sylvester Washington on the INT Sly will change oh, no. direction to toss back oh, loose no. ball. The Baltimore ball. will keep it. it back. Cuts through, finds oh, a way goodness. in the sideline, and will Great be brought tackle. down by number 76 at the 40-yard line. Whew. Uh, another and that's INT. maybe conditions you maybe don't make. Let's watch his footwork here. He's off his back foot, throws on a jump, oh, and yeah, that's why that's he bad, can't yeah. do it. So. We've seen Carlos Claus Crosland drive the ball 70 yards down the field through the wind. The, the receivers they have out there, it, these are the moments that Tony Totap does something, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they are. So and trip to the bottom of the screen. Bone is in at tight end. The snap. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Gauss will throw this. He'll do it to uh, the check down. Get the first down and more. And runs out of play at the 44. Play. That's number five. That's nice. number nine. That's, That's number Dinkins. Nine. Same look, there's Dinkins in motion on the jet. The hand of the quick screen, the and Matthews. They, oh, they corral it very quick. Kells Gallimore and Craig Pitts were on that. They had their eyes on that from the jump, and it will be second down. And the snap 
God, John we'll throw this to the sideline, wide the open. Ball, Who say? was that? Who was that? I just mentioned Bye, that. bye. What are we doing not covering Tony Totap ever? Marlon Anderson and know. everybody from Baltimore celebrating. It's a it check. is. It's Tony Totap. We already said your name, Tony. Oh. Go. Wow. Oh. Ooh. And now in the first half, first touchdown of the game, Ooh. only up 6 nothing. That is. Yikes. That is definitely a statement. Yikes. That's but fun. let's look at the replay here. You can't you can't not cover him. And Dion is just sitting there. Cal's Gallimore and Dion have a miscommunication. No one knows who's covering Tony Tony Totap. And the, fans, fans were wondering when they ran the first quick screen to on this exact same look, right? They were wondering why did they run that quick screen? It didn't get any why. yards. They set up that play for two plays later. Means that you have a lot of confidence on your defense because the one point, the two the points are the difference in a tire ball game. And he's going to have to run this one 25 yards. He'll evade the defender yeah, and it'll be down. brought down. Amir Morris, he's one of those guys. Amir Morris is very dangerous. In 2018, the championship run for the Gators and, and John Gauze, he gets that in there. Will the U of the Watchmen represent the Eastern Conference? We're going to find out on the path to the playoffs. Championship July 23rd. For more information, go to a7fl.com. And that one thrown to the back of the end zone. Freight train with the bomb. It's That's interesting, if you see crazy. Sly Washington, number 14, he's playing in like a, the position of a D-tackle, but he's the snap. spying it's, the quarterback. It's, it's a fake, the yeah. Throw, oh, intercepted! Oh, no. Yeah, this isn't it, this isn't it. The fourth interception of the afternoon, and oh, the Baltimore my God. Watchmen no. putting their shoulder in it! Oh, my goodness. That's DK Butcher. He just ran moon over. And the reason he's named DK is because of the physique that is close to an NFL player. And right there, he shows that he spent enough time in the gym to give a wake-up call to the U and offensive threw, player. And much like another DK, threw a barrel yeah. at the Patterson U offense. Absolutely, and, Donkey Kong. And, and it's honestly what I just said. Oh, my goodness, here we go again. And, and it's too Here it comes the whip! Oh. And, it's, and then again, makes me feel if, yeah, it's in my feels. Look like at uh. Marcus Cole celebrating. But, yeah, you, you got to give him that. Shout out to Moon for going in there to stop the touchdown. But... Again, as a quarterback, you're looking back there. The Watchmen will win. Animals are number one, but guess what? The animals have the U a and the IC tough three game in, slide. In, in successive weeks. The snap. They, oh, they Throws can't afford to the, the score end here. zone. Oh, he dropped, he dropped, he dropped, no he dropped, incompletion. He dropped, he dropped, he dropped, no. He dropped it. Why is he yelling at him? It touched your hands, my boy. Nah, listen, the hardest pass sometimes to throw is, is the, the guy. He's so wide open that you don't know. When a defender's there on a receiver, you throw away from the defender, you keep it in the catch radius. When you see a guy by himself, you just try not to panic, and, and he misses there. The problem here, though, is if they score here with 16 seconds, again, they, and they get, get the, the ball. ball back, which would mean we've seen two scores in under a minute for them to get the ball back and bring this high-powered offense right back out. But the other thing, too, is we Ooh, talked yeah, about no, it in last, ball, in last game when we were talking about the buzz, and it was a Mark Diggs and a Lenny Manziel situation, another Baltimore team using two quarterbacks. This John Gauss, the last time he was on this field, threw an easy touchdown pass to a wide-open guy. Right. Yes, that is a hard thing to do that Buck just missed, and Buck is a very good quarterback. But why take out the hot hand? Because this is what they're doing. And it, right. I guess, they might I trust guess they're going to live and die with it. 20. I guess they're going to live and they're die They're going to live it. and die with who, you know, whose turn the is it. The snap on third down. I don't think they were supposed Buck to go back the on the throw. Bone. There's Bone. Oh, my. Oh, Bone oh my. crushing them. Looking for and them to call a timeout here. And And there's a flag on the play, so the clock will stop. And taking a look in Las Vegas, it's 14 to nothing. Force over the gold right now. That's, That's in get. the, I believe, the first quarter. Now he's five. I'm a narc. Sorry, the Maryland. snap uh -oh. in Ooh. trouble. Uh -oh. Thrown in and almost oh. intercepted. Ooh. Off the hands of Dion Davis. Second and three. Three seconds left to go. The watchman up three to not uh, of six to nothing. The snap. Last play of the half. He's gonna have to bring it in, and, and he does. He Touchdown, watchman. He scores at the buzzer. This is tough. This is very tough because. The U has not, they haven't been here. They hit him with the dirty dancing, Rob. I know, I've seen it. it. Oh, my goodness. The time of my life. So both quarterbacks score against the U today. And it's time for the three-on-one throw-off. It will be thrown by Deion Davis, and he will throw That's a, a nice high-arcing ball that will land at the 15-yard line. Ooh. Hus Gets into the 30. Great husk. Ooh, and bringing him down is Deion Davis. Ball on the 35. 
The handoff. Marcel and Bates with the, ooh, nice. He's always good for these long, long arm stretch tackles. That was Omari Thomas calling himself the crown prince this season. 25-year-old getting to the 35, and it will be second down. You Looks like they marked it. him at the 36. And it will be second and seven, gain of three on the first play of the drive. <clears throat> and it's like the reverse of what we saw last week. They're oversized on that watchman line. The snap and with time. Ooh, Ooh dips through the defender. Hussing his Ooh. opponents out of their shoes and stopped at the 47. J-Rock eats a blizzock. Oh, my goodness. To, to that team. Take a look. Take a look. Excuse me, sir. It's right under. Cuts to right right uh, under. Just low bridges, Amir two Morris defenders. Morris gets hussed, and J-Rock just gets leveled by b right here. My goodness. Locks everywhere. If he cuts outside, it's if he paint. goes around yeah, number three paint. and then cuts back inside, he might have had it's that. Paint. First and ten. Nick and Mays as running back, which is a very interesting. Stop Nick, behind the line. It'll Nick, be second down. Nick Mays, to me, was always more of a threat at the tight end position. I, I, I don't know what it is that they have him at the running back position. I feel like they have more athletes that can play that position. But, hey, you know, it's, it's, it's your offense, not mine. They We've seen it snow. Strong. We've seen it rain. We've had almost hurricane-like conditions to snap on second and 12. And there he go. Oh, and my John goodness. Gauss Jr. will go right there down he Broadway. Is. He'll cut to the left, and he will run out of play at the 28-yard line. And honestly, John doesn't look like he missed a step. And maybe that taking that full season off last year is what he needed to recoup and go back to the player he was. And we see it here again. Yeah, this is what John Goss was always doing. Quick little, huh, hezzy, and that's it. This is this is his style of play. This is what made the Gators and most of these Baltimore teams that featured him a threat. John Goss was always this kind of guy. So to see him back in this rare form, it's it's actually a little refreshing. And, and it's good to see this team fulfill that promise because it is a very – Seeing the Eastern Conference stronger than ever is right. insane. The throw wow. caught over the middle. Oh, the sheds the tackler, bye Beefy. Bye. Did he get it? Did he get it? Did he step out? Did he get it or did he step out? And oh. it looks like they will call, they call him, him out, out of play of at the two. There's no way you expect Great this, blocks. Look how much time he has. Unhand and me, it, Kenny. And in Vegas, it is 34 to nothing gold down to the four. So the force hmm. battling back here. And they will oh, wow. go. Bone at the quarterback. Sorry, they have three quarterbacks. They're, I apologize. They're unselfish inside the 10. And oh, Bone. Bone meets Burton. And Bone is still on his feet. Bone still moving, still J grinding. Who was that, J-Rock? Jarvis Rogers in on the tackle. Oh, and it wow. will be second down. They'll mark him at the one. And they're just trying to get a quick score and being so close. I mean, after 84 votes in the chat, it said 55%. Or the picking U, the U. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's starting to change a little bit. In that everybody but bone on the line formation, the snap, <laughs> the handoff, and stopped again at the door by this U defense. Yeah, you were doing a great job stopping them here. It's very important that they do. But look at what the watchmen are doing, Rob. Huge. Oh, this matters more than almost any other game on the schedule, and bone and drives it in. Watch this. Touchdown. Cutting straight to the bone. Watchmen up three scores. And a few guys messaged me from the Watchmen this week and messaged me pounce on, watch this. Uh, they honestly did, and I see why. I mean, they, these guys look shocked. I mean, right now, I, for one. I can honestly say I've never been on the U when they've lost yeah. like this since 2019. Not necessarily what you want to see. At all, nah. Not from not from and, and heading and if you're Quattrell huffing in the animals right now, you are licking your chops oh, seeing yeah. this. The one point attempt and it's in there. And again, it's to Tony Tone tap, Marlon Anderson. He's not he's not a guy you want to see back there. Honestly, he's really not. This is one It's the toughest it's, conference it to win. It's it the is. toughest division in the A seven FL to win in. The, it you, is. we see it in every game. These guys are getting manhandled. And this one will be caught at the one-yard line. Dion might have the spark. Neon, Dion oh, McDaniel gets through one defender, gets Ooh. through another, but will make a business decision and go out at the 30. Free train slapped the floor. <laughs> he broke the turf with that. Yeah, he definitely did. He created a sonic boom or did some sort of E-Honda stuff. And I'm with 7.59 left to go in the third, the Patterson U will get the ball for the first time in the second half. 
playing the linebacker, kind of a pseudo safety, the handoff, and immediately yeah. the pile forms and, and a gain of about two. And Don't that's the, to the catch. 32. Without the Miller brothers there to help facilitate that push, it's a stalemate, maybe two, three yards on the carry. There's no – the U's offensive line cannot bully this defensive line without the help of the Miller brothers. And it is really showing – what they're what we saw yeah. from them last year without those two offensive, like solid offensive linemen, it, it it shows the weakness in the U right now. To John Webster asking, did the U is this the hangover from last week's win? No. On second and eight, huh, pardon oh, me, Kareen oh. Moon huff huffing and getting brought down. And they contained him the whole time, yeah. which is again, it's it's not much he can do in it's, that situation. It's he like a four-man spy because yeah. they know that Moon can beat them on the legs and they got to force him to pass. The U loses today. What? How do I stop the Insomniacs from being number one? The snap. Moon throws to the sideline, caught by Smoke. Patrick Pat Coburn, Coburn at the 41 in the third quarter. Matt Ryan joined by Big Rob Fabian. We're live from Asbury Park, New Jersey in Asbury Park Stadium, throw off the screen. That's over to number oh, four. Ski, ski. Ski Johnson hits the slopes and will get to around the Give 45. Him a little husk. There's definitely a flag on the play, if I'm not mistaken. And it's on up. the watchman. Which is something they can't afford right no. now. But again, the clock is ticking. And they and the you have to score uh, cover 19 points. And the goal just got inside the end zone. Touchdown for them. The snap. Moon oh, in uniform, trouble, right? rolls out to his right. Not boss wide open. Cuts Moon through the seam. Off. Moon will cut to the sideline. The, the lateral Mims back Huss. to Mims, and they will only get an extra yard or two off of that. They'll get to the 35, and it will be second down. Moon with Snag Sosa to his left, who's not played a lot in the second half. Ooh, oh, and that might be why. Oh. Met at the line by his former teammates. Stopped and brought down. And that's Deshaun Johnson actually getting – Missing a, a very wicked block. Like, Beefy seems like he slid under him to get that. And, again, that was just very uncharacteristic for Deshaun, but who who knows what's going on. It, it, he has to cover a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys there, man. I, I don't know. It'll be third and three. And Beefy is talking. Now you see the pressure coming off of the edge. Watch for Angelo Lewis Jr. He's set up. That is a pseudo tight end. And he there will we block. Go. Better blocking, better blocking. Rolls out to better his right. Blocking. That's Kareen Moon. Moon gets to the 20. Oh, no, that's a flag. That is a and flag. He is, hurt. Yeah. he is clutching at his knee. For sure is a flag. You Listen, in this league, you cannot dive at a player's legs without the intention of wrapping. Thank God Moon is walking off. Yeah on his own strength, but you cannot do that. That is 1,000% of flag. Oh. Ball the 27, the throw to the oh. end zone. How oh. did he catch that ball? Whoa. How did he catch that ball? Dakari Mims with the head tap. This is why he's hot, Rob. Oh that is why he's goodness. hot. First down, you. Woo. All right, the you starting to wake up, guys, because he has to have possession, right? So let's see. Okay. We're still seeing. There's the cat. Oh. Okay. Uh, no, no yeah, got he it. Caught it. Yeah, Mims he got it. it. Mims got it. it. That's definitely a reception for Mims. An interesting choice on the challenge, Moon. Oh, wow. To the oh, end yeah, zone. Flag. Caught. Oh, he caught it anyway. Touchdown, oh, my goodness. Patterson. I, I think Mims found, found his son. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Oh, he held him the whole way. And I guess, you know, you can't keep up the bravado for four quarters straight. Mims has found his, he's found the one. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> And off the snap, off the dead ball whistle, he'll get to the 50. He'll cut inside. He'll plow through a tackler that snags Sosa. And solid field position for the watchman with 2.08 left to play. The snap from Cheney, the handoff. Cuts to the outside and is great immediately bouncing. brought down. Definitely a lot of great bouncing, but couldn't get it done. And it will be second and 10, trying to crack through. Is this Patterson new defense? I don't think anyone. Listen, you are probably the greatest prognosticator ever if you're telling me you knew <laughs> the Watchmen would be up 19-6 to six right before the fourth quarter. There's no way you would have known that. And right now, this U sideline has to be a little more excited, a little more amped up. They have to be. They have to wake up a little bit. 
do, do you think that it took them a while to adjust, or was it just a little bit of persistence? It's it's hard to adjust to a team that you're going against that's always changing it up. I don't I don't see what they they have to adjust to. They that D line's not getting any pressure. Watch number ten. Oh wow, they're lining up. Very familiar. This looks very familiar. Yeah. The snap, pressure, in trouble. There's a flag on the field. Oh, surf with the missed tackle. Throw and, and incomplete. Might have been on the play. That was intended, I believe, for number nine. One of the Davids. Yes. David and or David. And it will be second down unless the snap. In trouble. Yep. The throw caught. Yes. Has to get the first down. He will get to there. He'll get to the 20. Oh, He'll stay up right to the 19. And that'll be the end of our third quarter. Wow. 45 minutes of football down. Another 15 remain. And the Patterson U this are on the outside good. looking in. They are down 19 to 6. Yeah, this is not good. They haven't been able to stop either one of these quarterbacks after that run from the end of the second quarter. They haven't even been able to slow them down roughly. And Buck's just marching right now. <laughs> First and 10 on the 20 yard line. The handoff and they will not get more than a yard on that play. They can't afford any stupid mistakes. No fumbles, nothing, nothing like that here. They can't afford it because again, I'm, I'm being very clear. They're being very clear. The, these guys scored twice in under a minute because of a turnover and interception and stuff like that. The U still has the ability with, this is a lot of time for them to score, but if you're letting the, if you're letting these guys keep the ball for this long, you're, you're in trouble. They can't run the clock out this much. You can't allow it. You have to force a turnover. You have to do, you have to be big game mode right now. This is a playoff implication game. This throws, this throws the standings in a frenzy after this if the Watchmen come up with this W. And it will be second and 10. 1330 left to go. Ooh. Ooh. There's Buck, Buck with that deceptive it. speed. Buck will there get inside to the My one yard goodness. line. First My down, but a flag goodness. on the field. Feeling like they were at the top of the league. Definitely drops them right back down. And it's a testament to how good these teams are out in the Northeast. Yeah. There is no clear cut number one anymore amongst the big three. Watchman, U and BIC, there is none. There's no clear cut number one. There is none. And we can argue that all day till we're blue in the face, but all three of them beat each other. According to what's going on right now. So I, Are the animals the number one team in your opinion? Honestly, yes. They're undefeated and you know, things happen, but Four and O Silk City Animals is a weird sentence to say. Four and O Silk City Animals. And on second and twenty, they try to run the ball again, Rob. And I mean, we know what they're doing. Buck's a smart guy, but this is what Buck does. And again, this Buck and Ace thing is working out way better than I think anyone. And I, I did get tired of the narrative, especially Corey was trying to spin that. Oh, they haven't gotten it together yet. I've never felt that way. The snap. Ooh, Buck ooh. again throws it to ooh, the end zone. Ant Mo, come on, Ant Mo, let me see it, bro. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Park Heights strut. I needed that. I needed to see that. I needed to see that. Oh, great job, Ant Mo, with that Hashtag touchdown. Hashtag watch this touchdown, Baltimore. Woo, and it is again is a three-score lead for news. the Watchmen. This is bad news for the. Wow. Call this one Marvin Barnes because it is bad news and it is another six points for the Watchmen. Yeah, this is bad. Hashtag watch this. They, I got messages all week. Hashtag watch this, watch this, watch this. Oof. We are watching. We are watching. We are watching the Indeed. Baltimore Watchmen become quite possibly the next big dog in the Eastern Conference. I, this phone call that we're going to have about the national top 10 is going to be ridiculous. I'm going to take an Advil prior just to be prepared. We'll take a look at the replay after this extra point try. Oh, okay. The throw, and that will be incomplete on there the interception, go. but it's 25 to 6. Right, and, and where I would usually complain about them not getting the championship points, and here we go right back to it. And little Ant Moe. 
Oh no, this is Bucks run. Yeah, my this is the No, yeah. this is the throw. Oh, that it's is the, the throw. My goodness, they defense. They just let it let him go. This it's been the story with the U all game. They they kind they kind of stopped playing. Is it miscommunication? It is. There's a strut. There's a strut. Listen. Listen, they got to put that I love your girl beat right there while he's doing the strut. Chuck Johnson said it best. Styles make fights. And we said 100%. that on the 3 on podcast. Talk to me, big fella. And it is 25 to 6. Watchman in the lead. <laughs> Did he say hi, Matt? I think so. I think he said hi, Matt. Hello. Yeah, I mean, I, I love how Dion McDaniels runs it. I would de At this point, 12 minutes left. I'm definitely putting Mims back there. Oh my, he let that thing That's go. That's a rocket caught inside the 10. It is. But Huss. Neon McDaniel Huss. will get to the He'll 44. Get there. He, he, he does great runs. 43, pardon me. Does great runs. I, I'm, I'm not taking that away, but for sure, for sure, for sure. We're blessed to be with you. I'm Matt Ryan, joined alongside Big Rob Fabian. Your score 25 to 6. We're in the fourth quarter, 12.08 left to play. Now, the money man says something very unique that this is just a bad game. But BIC can say that for last week. The yep. Watchmen can say that for the week they lost to BIC. These are the three best teams in the nation. Is this the worst we've seen the Patterson U? This season? Of, yeah. Yes, 100%. 100%. There's no question that this is the worst. But again, styles make fights. And they just might not have the answer for the Watchmen, but have the answer for BIC. Quick screen, oh, and that man. one completely evaporates, yeah, and they're stopped at the line of scrimmage. Tillman got down there fast. Man. He got down there real fast. It'll be second and 10, with 11.50 and counting left. I mean, four INTs isn't pretty, nope. and Croslin is back in. I don't know if he's just having a conversation or he's hurt. He can't. Yeah, he's just giving some type of play advice because if he's hurt, he has to go. But, I mean, that's a lot of pressure on Moon right now. I mean, but this is Moon we're talking about. He knows the game, too. He has to step up, and we're looking at a flag. flag. on the play, and it looks like it might Probably be. Delay a game. Yeah, delay game on the offense. Yikes. So that'll the make it a harder actually road. falling apart here. But can we be honest here? What does this what does this loss actually do for the year? In retrospect, yeah, in retrospect, this loss doesn't do anything except makes them now net points matter more than you think. Oh yeah, net points. This is a net point ba yep. battle now. If the you only walk out of this game with six or twelve points. Yeah, it's a it's a net point nightmare. The moon will throw this one. That will be the pack Coburn. Hus Coburn. Will get stopped around the 43 yard line and it will be third down. Slide. And again, I, if I'm a quarterback, this is a nightmare for me to look at all these six foot DBs that can run and tackle. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm running the ball. Yeah, and Thomas Ratliff it probably put it the best. It's like I said earlier BIC is better than, better than the Watchmen. The Watchmen are better than the U, and the U are better than BIC. What does that leave us? Moon on the run. Oof. Huss, Moon in Huss, trouble Huss, and will be dragged out of play. See if they give him the first down. And it's just it just doesn't seem like they have the energy that they need to secure a win here. Yeah. And that's what I'm I'm starting to notice. Time is ticking. There's no real sense of urgency. It doesn't look like they have anything really planned out or figured out. And I I can't really attribute it to anything but the missing pieces. And, and an injured Carlos Crosley. And with 9.48 left to play. It's on it's on Kareem Moon and this Patterson U offense to go three more yards on fourth down. Oh my, they're sending the house. Moon in trouble, has to throw, Why throws not deep. Let it fly. Ooh, Ooh, and knocked out. Looking for a call. And that one will be a huge stop yeah, D, by the Watchmen. DK, It'll be first and ten. DK, DK Butcher on the stop. He did not want to be a head tap. He did not want to be head tap at all. Wow, wow, wow. And and just like that, the Watchmen throw a complete wrench in the standings. Just like that, for fun. For fun. And there he is, the Wolverine. The Ricardo guy. Freeman. The guy never had fun blocking. 
And it will be first and 10 for the Watchmen. 9.27. As the BIC players load in for this easy win, according to them. Is anything easy in this league anymore? Uh, apparently when you play against Corey Hammond. That's, oh. that's a, <laughs> I feel so yeah, bad because he's not here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Corey. I'm sorry. We love you. We love you. Running behind 76 is a great idea, but when three people are coming, you know, from the side, behind them, it's it's not really, they have Patrick Colburn on defense. That is, and That's, he's coming off the edge. Right. And they have John Goss Jr. back in, and a flag timeout called by Patterson. That'll be their second charge timeout. And, it, and it's, it's just, what, what do you say is stopping their defense from doing what their defense did last week? Or is it more of the offense doing so much that the defense didn't have to do as much? Is this U team with a loss going against a 4-0 Animals team mentally going to be there to deal with them if they're missing the Miller brothers? If they're, but It's a lot. Can the, can the U keep pace with the Animals? Yeah, that's the, can that's, they keep that's pace? The, it's the speed. It's really that question. Can they keep pace with Huff? And a flag, and it's false start on the offense. They'll go five yards back. It'll be first and 15 on the 40, 40, 46 yard line. Pardon me, 44 yard line. And at this point, with nine minutes left, you're up 25 to six. You can afford a few mistakes. These guys are vets. Like when, when we were talking about the Nightcrawlers versus, um, I always forget the Rare name, Breed. Rare Breed. The Nightcrawlers versus Rare Breed. The Nightcrawlers weren't used to this style of game anyway, and being up by whatever they were up by, they thought it was safe. They were dancing. Where these guys here, the Watchmen, they don't feel safe with 25 to six. They know they're winning, but they're not gonna do anything to jeopardize this W. 9.01 left to play, first and 15. John Gauss Jr. behind center. Hands it off. Plays Jay Rock with the missed tackle. Craig Pitts and Marcel Bates with the cleanup. Gain of about two, uh, pardon me, one on the play. They'll put it at the 47. It'll be second and 14 after the rush. And it's not as if they're not getting there, but I mean, at this point, yeah, he's drawing with, you know, JY is drawing with the sideline. He has to get back in the game. I was never the one to talk to a team when I'm losing. Yeah. I, I talk, but man, when I'm losing, it's, it's not much to say. You know, it's, it's, it's not much to say. And right now, the Watchmen are really showing how did J-Rock with the missed tackle. Craig Pitts comes up, followed by Marcel Bates. It's a rough. That is, it's. It's, it's a rough road ahead. It, it is, it, it is. That, that you see the clock just winding down. Wind. Throw over the oh middle, my. caught, and he that one will be dropped. He it. He had no possession? No, he probably never secured it. Yeah. In uh, in Covington, in pardon me, in Columbus, it's 38 to seven. Still the heist in the lead. Nice. In Las Vegas, it's 54 to six. The force with an emphatic lead on the goal. Because right now, what the Watchmen is showing me and everyone in this league is that you have to watch film for them twice. Yeah. You have to prepare for two completely different offenses and have the right personnel for both, which is what I think the ultimate form of that 2QB system turns into. I had a conversation, conversation with Jonathan Kills who thought him and Corey Hammond can have the same style of double dual head QB where one guy is running all crazy and the other guy isn't. Snap. Oh my. In oh trouble. My. Buck Woo. will keep it and roll oh, around and, and brought down behind the 50 yard line. Surprised he got caught. And look at the size of that offensive line. Man, oh man. Talk about beef. No pause, I don't know what I said. But talk about beef. These guys are getting bullied and it's not, I don't think that's something that you was used to whatsoever. And with fourth and 13 on the horizon, 6.43 left to play. It oh, Routing. And I that's mean, at the half, 54 to six. The force lost last week, correct? To yes, they lost to the Insomniacs. Yeah, they're, this is this is the, the anger from that comeback, game. Yeah, it's comeback season Yeah, it's the anger from that game. D 
Deion McDaniels again. I mean, at the, I mean, at this point, yeah, I get it, but I'm I'm looking for Mims back there. And we're live here. It'll be fourth. It'll be a three-on-one throw-off. The money man says that he was also lacking speed. And we haven't seen that running game that was so, so vital to them. They throw the ball inbounds, an interesting choice. Ooh, Spins uh -oh, out of uh -oh. it, gets two defenders. Unhand me, sir. Shakes him. Sorry, Shakes Rokeen. down the sideline. Sorry, Mr. Cheney. And here comes Hold a on. chance Come for on the U to get Hang. back on the board. Uh-oh. Bye-bye. Deion McDaniel lighting up the neon sign. Baltimore. Baltimore crime. Making it a two-score game. Hey, oh. hey, hey. Hitting that the park strut. strut. Yes. Wow. And it was a that's a big mistake on the rare breeds. Um keeping that ball team. in bounds. For what? You you're showing off, you're trying to be cute because you're up. Same mistake the night crawlers did against you, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Why would you do that? Because Dion is is dangerous. Uh oh. You see that Huss. replay. Excuse me, sir. Here it comes right here. This is the one that killed him. Unhand Wait. me, sir. This is not flag. And it's uh, and he accidentally Excuse sets me. himself a pick. Right. Here it come. Here it come. Rokeem Cheney, you don't have the speed, sir. Bye bye. He put on the Jets. He's seen this one. Freight train comes back and he stays. Oh, yeah, he stays clean. Yeah, he stays clean. He stays clean. Excuse me. Yeah, he, he he had goal in mind the whole time. They'll and just like two, that, 25 the, to 12, if the But use, the watchman get the ball back. Right, but if the U's offense was able to produce <coughs> I don't I don't I don't know. The U's offense has to be able to do something. Twenty five to twelve, your score six forty three left to play. Ooh, neutral zone. And they will get the foul. Move up five yards, oh, wow. and it will be two a two-point attempt from the five. Mm -hmm. A dream come true. I mean, it, it, that's a great spot. I, I kind of wish that would have happened in third quarter. Yeah. It, if you're if you're on the U sideline, you're wishing that break came a lot sooner. A lot but you'll sooner. take the breaks where you can get them. Of course, because again, this is about if you're going to take this loss, it's ha this is about net points now. And they oh, will great get another block. flag, and they and will there get was in a there. Hold. It was a hold. It was definitely a hold. Now, do you decline it, or do you make him go for it again? We're back at the ten. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what do you do? You just make him go for it again. They're going at the ten again. Tajon Webster saying the game's not over yet. Just saying the money man. It's saying, not. Saying four ints. Those ints, you know, that's a reason why. That's the reason why they use. Yeah, that INTs are destroying them. And again, it's them DBs. Those DBs are vicious. Those DBs are vicious. And again, we're talking guys that are, again, this has to be a nightmare for a guy like Corey Hammond, any quarterback, to really have to deal with that. Look at the, look at the size of these guys back there. Oh, oh, the pressure, the pressure. In he, trouble. Ooh, ooh. Brought down. And they bring him down. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, what, what can you say to the watchman here except impressive play and impressive setup? Yeah. The two-quarterback system with a healthy John Goss and a, a Buck. Buck doesn't look like he broke a sweat. John Goss doesn't look like he broke a sweat. Their D-line is getting pressure. Burton didn't move his feet. That, that And this was these were the problems that they had last year. These, exa these were the exact problems that they had last year. And the oh, he got him by the glove. Wow, way to stay with it. These aren't the problems that they had last week, let alone last year. So, yeah. 25 to 12, your score. And the Watchmen getting the ball back. And the Watchmen haven't really been turning it over either. We'll have. 7 o'clock game for you in just about an hour's time. That one's caught at the 15. Uh -oh. Does he have an answer? Uh-oh. Oh. Cuts, cuts try to cut back yeah. around, but Snacks, Snacks on the tackle. 
And again, you got to think about what this game means to a guy like Snags, to guys like Opie, Aote. Like, this game means a lot. This is bragging rights. They got to go back up that road and deal with everybody that they just played and yep. lost to. They got to go back up that road and deal with that. And this could be a matchup in the playoffs. Oh, like, for sure. One of these teams are the BIC. Right now, that. honestly, right now, I cannot sit here and honestly tell you between those three teams who's better. I can't. It's hard. I can't. Like, it, it's not. The BIC get the de facto one because they're the defending champions. Right, but even then. But each of these lost. teams have a win on another. Or, yeah, they just beat each other and they just lost. And this was the worst. When we spoke last week on the phone for the hours that we spoke last week <laughs> on the phone, this was the worst case scenario here. The worst case scenario was letting the Watchmen actually slide in and bump the U off from their undefeated season. The snap and there's the handoff. And there's the run. J-Rock first to get there, followed by Kels Gallimore. That's the thing with J-Rock. He's usually the first one there, probably gets off the block quicker than a lot of guys, especially with I didn't I don't think J-Rock's that fast. Yeah. But somehow, some way, with his shiftiness and his knowledge of the game, he's able to get off these blocks and actually get there. And usually was one of the first people to make the play, or at least slow the play down. He needs to tell me his lock trick, because I don't know how his hair grew that fast. <laughs> right, listen, he got something, something. He's got that oil. Well, for real, listen. Arguably. There it is, he's the right throw there. Lead. Caught down the oh, sideline. Baltimore special. Hits him with that's, the husk, gets to oh, the 40, sly, changes that's times. Oh, my and that's Sylvester Washington and brought down caught. at the 11. They'll mark him down at the 13, maybe wow. the 14, and it'll be first down Baltimore. And that's not something that you needed whatsoever. That that right there, you could put a fork in them, they're done. They're done. Right now, it's, it's really trying to keep the net points as low as possible. This might be the worst of Patterson you have played through 60 minutes I have to, I have since to agree. 2021. I have to agree. They just don't look motivated right now. I, I couldn't tell you what it is. Ryan Shamar is there. He he doesn't look too thrilled either. Like They just got caught. Yeah. They just got that right Huss. hook to the mouth. Huss. And that's not that's not them. Like This is not who they were last week at all. But, hey, things happen. It's matchups. It's speed. It's just Indeed. having that ability to – consistency 25 to 12 your score time winding down here in our fourth quarter the toss to the left side he'll be met he'll bounce ooh, he'll cut in he and just a, bounced it through there but a big tackle by Kells Gallimore it's, it's kind of like I, I hate to say it but I, I called the snow tribe out on it before but you kind of looks like they're giving up they kind of look like they're giving up they might have vacated the game here in that sense. And you, and you don't want to say that and you don't want to think you that. don't because every, everyone's going to hate, oh, we never quit. Okay, cool. But that's not what it looks like. It, it just it every, just may be exhaustion. Yeah, guys they've look been, tired they've too. They've been running around trying to stop this offense. I mean, look look at it. Look at the size of the offensive line. Look at the size of these behemoths. Yeah. What, what am I going to tell a dude who's 150 pounds Going against three 300 pounders. Eat some crab cakes. Come on, McChickens, they're only a dollar. Well, not anymore. Not they're anymore. Way, yeah, inflation. inflation. <laughs> Buck in Buck. trouble. Oh, rolls no. to his right. Made he a miss. Touchdown, Baltimore. Yeah, Watch this. this. Pound, pound sign. Watch this. This is bad. This that is was, bad. I believe Dinkins or Dawkins on the touchdown. I mean, and, and Ratliff, I understand that. I understand that. Giving us Ashante Worthy is that dangerous of a player that he can give an edge over all three he's, teams. He's what him and Qua, and and Quattro Huffin are the argument yeah. for the MVP. Easily. And Easily. Sterry Codrington right in that argument too because he's been so consistent. Offensive. Yeah. Yeah, I, and that's why I think if anything, it's the same discussion we had last year. Yeah. I think Sterry Codrington is probably the front runner for offensive player of the year. But as far as most valuable player. Ashante Worthy got iced out. Sterry Codgerson had a good game last week. He did. Ashante got iced out. He did. And what happened? They lost. And that's where I feel like an MVP, that's what that means. Like, if that player is not playing, the team that he's not playing for might do bad. That's why the Huff, the Huffings, and the Huffers, whatever we call them, the Huffables. Oh, my goodness. And going for the one-point attempt, and he will take a business decision. 
and he will get right in the face I would too. of number 10, and that is Rashad Knight. AKA Surf. Oh, they are they are riding a wave here, are the Baltimore Watch, and they're up 31 to 12 here in the fourth quarter. The Watchmen are, listen, pound sign, watch this. They really came here to make a statement. They did not come here to lay down. They said they were not gonna come to Asbury twice in one year and lose. And man, oh man, do I feel that. And right now, when I say the top, the top five has been shaken up and not stirred. And this let's is, talk about next week. My goodness. The Ghosts are gonna play the Nightcrawlers. The Ghosts won today? The Ghosts won today in overtime. It's okay. the Animals oh, and wow. you. The Watchmen will take on the Buzz. The and we got the Heist the playing the Chaos. The Sick with it playing the Kryptonite. Oh, wow. A Ooh. lot of games will play off implications next week on A7FL.TV. This? We got another one. Mims? Yeah, that's Mims. Dakari Mims will catch it. He'll bring that's, it to the... Oh, and he loses oh. the ball! And he'll and get... he got it right back. He comes down at the 26. He hus hus himself. Hussed himself out his shoes, and it will be first and 10 for the Patterson. And he's usually very dangerous on those three-on-ones, man. He's, he's, a, he's a dangerous guy. If I'm the U, I run the clock out. I allow the time to go, keep my guys here. Go back to the drawing board. We have a couple tough games, not one, one more tough game next week, yeah. and then we're skating until the playoffs. Keep ourselves, you know, loss free and we can keep it pushing. But right now, oh my goodness, I I don't envy what we have to do when it comes to the, making these national numbers. I don't envy how this playoff seating's gonna suss no, out. No, it's going to be bad. This this is what I kept saying. If there any guys that were on the Renegades that were talking to me, the Watchmen win today, everything I said to you today is null and void. The snap. Throws okay. this one deep down field, out of ah. reach of the receiver, it'll be second down. And who was covering him there? Was that Sly? Yes, it was. It was Sly. Sylvester Washington got beaten stride for stride. It will be second and ten with 3.09 left to play in the fourth quarter. It's like you said, I, I wouldn't envy anyone. I mean, the Northeast is 100% shaken up. It's all that, – that Northeast setup is all net points at this point. If, it, if you're not undefeated, you're not number one. Number two, net points. Yeah, and right now – when it comes to net points, we'll figure that out in between games, but getting brought down at the 40-yard line. And that is number nine. Dakari Mims. Dakari Mims on the wrist. He, he's honestly the answer for them. Dot Boss has been a non-fact in this game, which, again, it's it's pretty much a shocker. Off it's, the it's special. Ken, Kenny Prelude. Kenny oh, Prelude man. showing Ooh. some speed on first down. Well, flag, on flag on the play. They're saying that he did not wrap. I thought he had an arm out at least, so we'll find out on the replay. And again, they're, they're taking the loss in stride. It's, you know, I don't see anybody arguing with anyone. This is how champions play. All, all the take, Watchmen You take did. the loss. You yeah, you take it and keep it pushing. That's what BIC did last week. That's what the Watchmen did in week two. That's what the you have to do this week. And the flag stays, and they are actually moving They yards. are matriculating the ball to the 34-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Which, at this point, Matt, they need to score here. They just need. for the net point situation. Like, they really need and it. And make use of that two-minute warning and that timeout. If they can score in the next 20 seconds. Oof. The snap. Oh, oh, oh. The throw to the end oh. zone. Out of reach. And that one will take us to the two-minute warning, and now, as we head to the under two-minute mark, this is where the clock will stop on incompletions and when the plays go out of bounds. So the offensive mindset will have to change a little bit Indeed. for the Patterson U to make most of the clock that's it's, left in this game. If you're running the ball, get ready to run it out of bounds. If you're passing the ball, get ready to pass it. And that also kind of helps the watchman in, like, setting up the parameters. They're going to have to right. force the ball to the middle of the field, force the defenders to the middle of the field. Will they be able to do that? We'll find out. Right now it's first and ten. Two minutes exactly left to play. Let's see what they got. Dakari Mims on an island by himself. Oh, wow. Jumped. He jumped. He yeah, he, he hopped, skipped, and jumped it to make it first and five. The ball will now be placed. inside the 30-yard line. 
And again, right now, with the net point battle being up, these three teams, because you cannot go head to head, you cannot go record with these three teams, it's really about BIC is going to end up coming end up coming out on top between these these teams. The snap, oh my, pressure, oh my, oh my. throws this one to the end zone. Dakari Caught, Mims. touchdown, Patterson. Dakari Mims, that is why he is a hot commodity. Honestly. Putting six on the board, making it 31-18. I mean, you, you want to ask yourself why they kind of weren't doing this all game with Dakari Mims? He's the answer. Yeah. In that in that aspect, he's the answer. No matter who you put on him, it's a mismatch. He's going to outrun him. They'll go for two here with a minute 53 left to play. To bring the score to 20 to 31. And with a minute 53 left, the Washington will get the ball back and more than likely just run the rest of the clock now. Wouldn't you, Matt? Um, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you? I'd be getting Google Maps up right now. <laughs> Get ready to go home. The snap. The throw. And Mims they again. will. Oh, oh my, go my goodness. Oh and my there's God. a flag. Yeah, he's on Instagram. He's definitely on Instagram. That That's an IG post right there. That's tough. That's tough. Head, head tap. That's tough. Morally, that's a moral victory yeah. right there. That's a head tap. Scoreboard indeed. I agree. I agree, scoreboard. That's always my response. But man, oh man, morally, that hurt. <laughs> but look at Ace Boogie, John yeah. Goss Jr. That, that hurt. That hurt. Let's see the replay <laughs> yeah, that hurt. Oh, yeah, he held oh, him the he, whole way. Oh, wow. Ooh. He held yeah, him nah. and caught the ball. That's tough. Nah, that's tough, yeah. The you, can't, you, can't, you can't flaunt a head top uh -uh. like that. Yeah, nah. You, when listen. you you collar and elbow tie up a guy. I mean, this, the score doesn't look as ugly as it did, you know. Five minutes ago? Yeah, it, does, it doesn't look. Some morale boost at the very bad, least. And that sure. is a high arcing ball that will reach the 25. Oh. That's knocked loose. Oh. And, that, and they hold on to it. That was Nick May. Oh, pardon me, that's number nine. Number nine, David. I just know that his name for sure is David. I can't One be wrong David about David or that. David. Yeah, David or David, it's definitely David. That would have been, I mean, with a minute of 53, Dakari Mims doing you dirty like this. If the U was to get the ball back here with and put up another out, six yeah. to eight points, that looks good. And they can that, also try to do that at least one more time. Right. I mean, if they can get, I mean, I mean what, what, what are these guys, what are the watch we're going to do here? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are they Survive in advance. Yeah. It's a smart thing to do. That's what earn, the, that's earn the, the three spot. That's the championship thing. Dude. Three spot? Oh. In the Eastern Conference. You think so, Matt? No, Matt. In, the, in the Eastern no, in Conference. No, in the Northeast. In the Northeast. Well, in terms three? of, well, uh, by record, like if if the BIC win today, they're in the Wish two they spot. Will. You think Watchmen so? Watchmen will be right on well, in terms of net points. It, it, net points is what, yeah, BIC is going to be there in the net points for yeah. sure. And they would have win over the, the Watchmen. U. Yeah, yeah. That puts them at three. Yeah. That puts the U at four. My goodness. These, oh, I've never seen two. And if the drop playoffs like started that. today, the animals. It would be the B. It would be the. It would be the U taking on, I believe the, the Renegades. Oh hit. my goodness! Big breaking off a big run here, and keeping the ball inbounds. The clock will continue to run. Big chunk yardage. And I wonder if the U burned their last time out. No, uh, the clock will run. I wouldn't if I was them. I wouldn't for them. And indeed, the money man. The U definitely has to die for that, especially when it's a, a nasty net point battle like this, where it's all head to head. It, it, it's like BIC is going to get the clear event. And Marcel Bates hopping around. It looks like he got hurt. Yeah, he might have. He might have injured his ankle or his knee there. That's an athletic big fella. I watched him do a backflip. All right, at that <laughs> size, it's it's not a joke. You ever tried doing a backflip at 350? Once. Yeah, not I. No. I barely want to get up out the chair. Let alone do a backflip. They'll help him off the field. Matt Ryan drawn by Big Rob Fabian. And with a minute 16 left, the Baltimore Watchmen will secure, at the very least, a playoff berth. So they did use that timeout? No, they still have that time. That was just an injury timeout. Oh, wow. 
OG and he'll Bucks. cut to the outside, and OG Buck will take the tumble they and said, get to the 49. They said OG Buck runs a 5-9. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that's hilarious. They said he runs a 5-9. Well, that's nine. what Snag said on yeah, our podcast. Yeah, he did. He definitely That was the said name of an episode of our podcast. 5-9. Well, <laughs> Buck runs a 5-9. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he looked, I mean, I, I don't know. He seems kind of fast to me. His game speed, honestly, is pretty fast. Fast enough. Yeah. He gets the yards he needs. He, he has a few rushes, and he actually did he not score on a rush? If I'm not mistaken, so. he definitely did. But it's a pacing game with having to deal with two quarterbacks of this caliber. It's definitely a pacing game. And this is game. They're letting the clock run out. I mean, yeah. They might even take the penalty. If I was them, I'd probably start lining up at the 50s, victory formation, you know, things of that nature. This is pretty much it. And they will give them the five yards. Stop the clock, and it's a very... It's unnecessary. Yeah. So if I'm the ref, so yeah, you know, we, we can just pack this up here. They'll move up five yards. Nothing to see here except a lot of work for me, Matt, and Corey. Yeah. When we get home, because, <laughs> man, insomnia... Oh, I'm going straight to bed. Oh, yeah, I'm going to bed. Yeah, for sure. Don't text me about nothing. Get out of my inbox and Wolverine with the run. And the Wolverine will keep it inbounds, and that is it. The Baltimore Watchmen defeat the Patterson U and give them their first loss wow. of the 2023 season. They will walk out with the win 31 to 20, making wow, both teams wow, wow. three and one. And it is gonna be an interesting day on Monday morning when we take a look at the playoff rankings. This Sunday, it's this coming time. Sunday, wow, wow, wow. it's moving day in the A7FL. The Watchmen with the 31 to 20 win and Rob, your final thoughts on this game? Couldn't have told me it would have ended like this. Would have thought it would have been much closer. But the Watchmen came to make a statement, and they made it. The statement has been made. The Northeast is going to get very, very interesting. The road to Ohio gets a little murkier for everybody. But in 45 minutes' time, we will be bringing you our final game of the weekend. And we'll take a look at stats. And Rob, your your thoughts on what the BI um, on what the U can do next. I mean right now, ice up, heal up. Forget about the loss, it happened, but now all three top teams have a loss. So it's not like you're in bad standing. It's not like it changes much but the number in front of you. You've, you've been the underdog for a full season before. This doesn't this doesn't make or break the U, just like it didn't make or break BIC, just like it didn't make or break the Watchmen. Yeah. Everybody has a loss. Let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. No one's going to be undefeated at the end of this year. Do and you, I think you, so nobody in the A7 Nobody in the A7 Nobody in the Northeast will yeah. be undefeated this year. Because right we'll now the chaos... The, the animals, the night crawlers, the night crawlers, the and the insomniacs are undefeated. Right, and I know how important being undefeated is, but when you're in a very competitive division, and all the beasts face each other, yeah, it, it's very hard to remain undefeated. And when you do, it's a pat on the back and it's a good job. But if you don't leave with that chip at the end of the year, that undefeated ask, you know, you know which Patriots I'm saying to ask, ask them, yeah. the 07 Patriots. Being undefeated means absolutely nothing if you don't leave with that ring at the end of the day. So, I mean, you 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 can do what you can, but it's just not it's not it. Forget about the loss; it happened. But now all three top teams have a loss, so it's not like you're in bad standing. It's not like it changes much, but the number in front of you. You've you've been the underdog for a full season before. This doesn't this doesn't make or break the U, just like it didn't make or break BIC, just like it didn't make or break the Watchmen. Yeah. Everybody has a loss. Let's keep it pushing. Let's keep it pushing. No one's gonna be undefeated at the end of this year. Do and you, I think you, so nobody in the A7 FL. Nobody in the A7. Nobody in the Northeast will yeah. be undefeated this year. Because right we'll now the chaos, the the animals, the night crawlers, the night crawlers, the and the insomniacs are undefeated. Right. And. I know how important being undefeated is, but when you're in a very competitive division and all the beasts face each other, yeah. it, it's very hard to remain undefeated. And when you do, it's a pat on the back and it's a good job, but if you don't leave 
with that chip at the end of the year, that undefeated ask, you know, you know which Patriots I'm saying to ask. Ask them. Yeah. The 07 Patriots. Being undefeated means absolutely nothing if you don't leave with that ring at the end of the day. So the Animals are the only team in the Northeast that still undefeated. undefeated. We'll see what they do against the U next week, but we'll take a brief time out. We're going to play some music for you. We'll be back at the top of the hour with live action here on A7FL.TV. For Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond, I'm Matt Ryan. We'll be back in a moment. Stay right where you are. We're back at the top of the hour. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like, follow, and share on our Facebook page at A7FL.TV. here today in Asbury Park. Hello everyone, welcome to the A7FL National Championship. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Jack Bartek and Corey Hammond. And gentlemen, the game that we've been waiting for, the rematch, the biggest rematch in A7FL history is about to go down. The excitement here today in Asbury Park is palpable. It looks like Deion Davis will be throwing this one off and the A7FL Championship has begun. Worthy will get the ball at the 15 yard line. Worthy trying to find an option, cuts through one defender, can't hold on to him. Here comes an opportunity for a shot, D. Worthy. Worthy going down the sideline, staying upright, and will get into Patterson U territory. A great run back. I'll tell you what, one thing Worthy does so well is he picks apart the first defender and makes it a two-on-one. He did it right there. The only thing that saved the touchdown was the fact that he was going up against maybe his shadow in the three-on-one <laughs> throw of Quattro or Kareem Silky Smooth Moon who chased yeah, him Yeah, of the guys in this league, there's probably maybe four or five guys that make the play that Moon just made. For Sterry Codrington Jr., the ball placed on the 46-yard line. And the defense is stacking against the run allowing for one-on-one -on -one coverage. They're basically saying if, the, if BIC is going to win today, Sterry Codrington's going to have to make one, two, maybe three big plays with his arm. And Carl Meisner said he and his team broke down the tape. They're going to look to run the ball today. They're going to look to run the rock. It's going to be hard against that front, guys. Five oh, guys on the line of scrimmage. You see Ashanti Worthy at the bottom of your screen. In the slot there is Kaysan Campbell. And 35 seconds. 14.35 left to go. There's the toss to Mosey. Courage, Mosey pushing up field. Cuts through one defender, gets the first down, gets caught in the turf. Some Tried of these to keep amazing going. players have only been stopped by that worm we keep talking about, guys. <laughs> they go with a speed option away from the Twins. Like it or not, guys, that's a Corey Hammond call. You'll see me run because <laughs> I'm always going for the pitch. But and the with that personnel, Sterry Codrington at the edge, got to honor it. And Courage almost scores a touchdown on the first play from scrimmage. And going into the hurry up, Jack setting those twins on the opposite side of the field. They're now at the top of your screen. And now Codrington conferring with the, the legend, Mosey. Three-man line here. First and ten, ball on the 31. Codrington will hand it off to Mosey, and Mosey will be stopped, and they will lose a yard there. And that running game, they were trying to test that defense, and, well, they might have gotten a 65 on that one. Second and 11, 13.08 left to go here in the first quarter. Codrington under center. Playing with the ball might be a pass. He called that one, Corey, and here comes the pressure from the defense. Codrington will throw it. Caught! No! And that one will drop, and it will be third down. The attempted pass there to Ashante Worthy. Worthy covered hard on that one, Jack. This is a really fine play by Codrington, getting out of the pocket under pressure. And one of the things that U does is bring these athletes on the rush, so it's harder to get away from them. A great throw from Codrington and a ball you won't see Worthy drop a lot. When and you play a team like the U, you do have to have that internal clock as a quarterback and get the ball out quick. But you saw the coverage. 
This is going to be a little bit different than playing the Los Angeles Aces guys in which <laughs> Kaysan Campbell was by himself in the end zone for touchdowns. That's tight coverage from the U and a great throw from Codrington. That's a rare drop we see from the playmaker Ashanti Worthy, but he's used to getting the ball in open space. Yep. And you see Carnell Wachter joining the BIC offense wearing J3 today. And Mosey will be set up to the right. And here, and a bl if it's not a blitz, it's a welcoming committee. Courage is a great Codrington. runner. He's also a great blocker and a receiver. And Codrington on the run, having to stay upright, will not get far. Almost got horse collared there by number three. Like the quick decision from Codrington, but on third and 11, although they probably knew they were going for it here, he could have held on to it just a bit longer. But getting six, seven yards against the U on third and 11 isn't too bad, but it brings up a fourth and five and a great testament to what we're going to see here. Two teams that are so close in competition level, and on fourth and five early on in this game, we already have a really crucial down. And that was Mims and the dot boss, of course, getting the stop on that one. Fourth and five here. And now an opportunity for Codrington. Codrington, the pocket breaks down like a marriage, and that one will be incomplete. And the U's defense holds firm here and gets the turnover. Yeah, I want to go back to that third down. Codrington, a lot of times this year, we've seen him break that third down run as you check out the replay here on fourth down. And I'll, I'll talk about it a lot of things. A lot of times this season, he's broken a third down run like that for a touchdown. Yeah. But when the U sends Craig Pitts, the dot boss, and that athletic defensive line at you you just can't slip away like he's been able to do so often and on the fourth down play guys he's got the free rusher and he might have had somebody on time with a with a route when you run a timing pattern the most open someone will be is, is as they break when he gets the happy feet that's when the coverage got tighter and first and ten in the and that's a cup just says screw it it's that it's that same play we saw last week the, for, the blanket. For the aces. Yeah, the bleep it. The ble running the bleep it there on first well, hey, down. When you got legs like Huff, you go with the fake quick screen left, and it almost looked like a designed quarterback power right. And here they're, they're in the hurry up already, and trying to take advantage of the quick snaps. And it'll be second and four here. It's big smoke at the bottom of your screen. Trying to get him offside to play action. In trouble. Huff will launch this one deep. Where's it going up and off the hands and almost intercepted and almost picked up a great play there by Ashante Wur. I believe that was Abdul Shabazz. Yeah, Abdul Island. Now, that's a great matchup. I would take that as a quarterback one on one, but it's Demar with the with the quick pressure forces a late throw. Huff can throw it out of the building, but he's still got to keep it close. And I don't know. That's Ooh. just that's just a a, a missed time ball by both. And of course, the cornerback's going to get up and act like he made a great play. I think <laughs> I think Big Smoke gets up and thinks that could have been a huge play yep. for us. But it'll be third and five, and the dot boss will call will acknowledge himself as an eligible receiver. D train in the backfield. Try to bring him down, guys. Rolling out to his right, Huff will just go on his bicycle. We'll get to the first down marker, and we don't know if they'll give it to him. Jack's giving it to him. I don't know. That's close kind of messed up yeah. the timing on that deep play, which gave Abdul a chance. And then 24 at the bottom of your screen, we talk about old, that's Shamar old school Hullet. And he's quicker, quicker than you could ever imagine. And Huff will just take this and get the first down and a bit more and will be brought down at the 41 yard line. And he's gonna need here also for, helps. he's gonna need some Biohemp on that one. Biohemp Plus, one of the great sponsors here in the A7FL special formula that can only help, that can help you and your pets. For 20% off your first order, use the promo code A7FLBiohempPlus.com. And here comes the D train, and he's gonna need some Biohemp Plus because he just got taken off the tracks here by the BIC defense. Only way to stop a load like D train, guys, is to stop him before he gets going. That's a team effort there. Ken Stansberry in the middle with the red hat on, just so you can notice him on TV. Second and 11 here after the loss of one. The ice cream truck set up to the right of Huffin. Two wide receivers. I believe that's uh, Debray Tavares at the top of your screen, or that's J-Rock Rodriguez, and lost in the turf was number one, the dot boss, not able to come up with that one. Yes, yeah, still the only thing that's been able to stop the U offense so far has been that turf monster. You should see this one just floated out of the reach of the dot boss. And that hold up, the chain actually broke. The <laughs> stick, the first down marker broke, and they hardly even had it fixed before Patterson U ended up moving the chains. <laughs> yeah, and guys, it, if, you're, if you're BIC right now, you're, you're 
mouth is watering. That was a touch pass from Huff that looked like he almost had the yips. Guys, have we seen Huff miss passes we like that? Rarely. No. And it looked like the dot boss was trying to get a line on it. And it looked like it might have come out too early. Big smoke at the bottom of your screen. Three wide receivers set on third and 11. Not a lot of time. Huff it. Gets rid of this one. This one thrown deep downfield. Can he get to it? No, it's five yards away. That one intended for Adrian Rodriguez. And Rodriguez will not be able to pick that one up. And it will be fourth down. What an effort from both defenses here in the first drive for each team. Yeah, and I need to see the replay. I didn't catch who it was, but a huge defensive rush forced... Uh, it looked like at the, at the but, left edge was number 13, yeah, Quan. Yeah. That's actually Courage's brother, right? Wow. And but. let's take a look at this. We talked about how great these defenses are, but let's talk about the fact that these offenses, so far the U, have given up no turnovers. The BIC, only two. And playing opponents like the Gators, and Ashanti Worthy now looking to put one up on the board here on the return. Looking for an option is Worthy. Oh, boy. An MVP candidate. Not able to make an MVP caliber run, but setting them up good. And that tackle brought down by Quattro Huffin. And that is a huge tackle by Huff because they over-pursued him on the far edge there. And he only had one man to beat in Huff to and get to that sideline. You've been saying it the past uh, two times we've had games, so the past three weeks, but two, two weeks with games, uh. that we've had all, all playoffs as well. And we see Starry Cotrington here on first and ten, and you see that big... Big, big man, Mo Ramadan, go spread, anchoring Courage the line. Tight end. And you got three t three wide receivers. Quarterbacks to combine 0 for 5 to start this one. Two of the leading MVP candidates, I would say, so far off to a slow start. With 6.20 left to go, it'll be first and 10. Codrington with time, but Free here play. comes Ramadan, and there's a flag on the field. Good catch there, Jack. Gets the first down and more. Cutting through, Sterry Codrington on his bicycle. Slip slides, takes it to the house, and the BIC, if they're not the one with the flag, will be on the board first. And it, if that that's not a bicycle, Mac, that is definitely a motorcycle or at least a moped. <laughs> because once Sterry Codrington gets open field against any team, he's deadly. But even against an athletic team like the U, you saw some of the guys shocked to see how quick his third, fourth, and then fifth gear is right here. Bam. And then all of a sudden, I saw DeBray Tavares, number three, like, oh, my goodness, how am I going to catch that man? And he does it. Let's see what the call is. And I think, guys. It was offside. It was an so offside. That's free play. A rare quarterback deciding to go deep on the run on the free play. You know, slow guy like me, I'm chucking it deep. <laughs> Sterry said, guys, hold up. I got and, this. And a rare mental lapse from the U, not only the offsides, but facilitating a situation for Codrington to get on his motorcycle. His motorcycle, as Pete Seeger used to say, shout out to David Isaacs. And that getting the first score of the game here, I don't think any of us expected the BIC to be the no. first ones. They might have been the, the first to score in the, in the, the divisional championship, weren't they, guys? I believe so. So, look, Sterry did, I think, the same thing. And, and the U talked to me. They said they want Sterry to throw the ball. Well, guess what? you got to force him to throw. Yeah. If you're going to give him running lanes, he's going to take advantage of them. And the one-point conversion attempt, that ball swatted away. And, and that's the type of coverage you're going to see all day. Neon, Dion, all over Lewis on the conversion. And, guys, the conversions will also be huge. When it came down to it, Sterry Codrington knows how to play this game. And it will be Kareen Moon returning this one here, and this one will bounce into the end zone and out of play. That was a big, lucky bounce yeah. for BIC. If yeah. it goes out of bounds... Another absolutely awesome playmaker in this league, Kareem Moon, gets the running start. And you know what, folks? If you're loving this game, we want to know. How can you let us know? You can follow us across social media. The A7FL is on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Corey's favorite, the TikTok machine. And you can follow us there. You get highlights, scores, and more from us here at the A7FL. First and 10. And there's the handoff going up field. Big opportunity here. That is number 28, Stephen Jones Jr. Jones Jr. running down the sideline and getting about 35 yards on that one, breaking him off a piece of that BIC defense riding the ship here. That was reminiscent of last week when he slapped somebody in the face with <laughs> one, of, one of the best stiff arms we've seen all year. But look, you're going to have to stop the run. And BIC... They're all feeling themselves. Great touchdown. Well, the U is not going away early, and they're not and stopping. And Jones Jr. getting the ball. <laughs> Jones getting it again on the hurry up. Moving so fast, we can't even talk about how great the last play was. Yeah, they didn't even set up the sticks. We don't even know what down it is. I believe it's second down, and that one will be set up 
with Huffin. Looks like Marcus McKinney, hard body in the backfield. Set, guys. They have four guys ready to block in the front. J-Rock playing tight end on the other side. And that line is bunched up. You got J-Rock, but they will keep it. Huff will launch this one to Rodriguez, and that one will go out of play. Tried to tried to run an okie doke on that one, Corey. And that's Joel Jumpman Rivera over the five foot seven. If we're being, you know, generous to Abdul Shabazz, a well thrown ball in bounds by the MVP of the league. That might be a jump ball touchdown to the Jumpman, but yeah. brings up second down. And an odd an opportunity here to uh, invest in some scoring. And you want to invest in the A7FL, invest in the future of football, do what everybody else is doing. Go to a7fl.com slash invest. And hard body will get the ball, and he will meet a hard wall of blue and white getting the stop there. A big play by this BIC defense. That's Kenneth Tippett, Rentum Spoons, and Ken Stansberry making the play on the defensive line. That's the big man running off the field right there. He needs a breather. A and Ronald stop. Clerk will come in with the Haitian flag. And, and coming out of the timeout, you think everything's going great for the U. One big ball downfield, and now it's fourth down before you know it. Well, they have to convert a third, third and down, 11. The one thing you don't want to do is give Huff an easy running lane. Right now, he's struggling. Force him to pass. And look at the pressure, and there's the screen. The first completed pass of the day, and it will only get about four yards, and it will be fourth and seven. Great coverage. Yeah, great, on great the screen. And that one Almost was a the scared Johnson. call from the U offense. They have the playmakers to run just a timing pattern. And I, guys, obviously, I'm so used to it. But they go with a quick screen with not much room, and it'll bring a fourth and eight. And that was the first pass of the day. Fourth and seven. 312 left to go. And Huff will keep it. Huff will get on his bicycle. Away. He'll get the first down and more. He's going to try to one-up Codrington, and he will. Takes it to the house, throws up the peace sign, and this game is tied, but we have a flag on the field. This one might be walked back. Nope, offside, and this one's going to stop. Wow. Quattro Huffman as he went to the end zone. Look at Daryl Stevenson a running down there. His medicine with a peace sign. Going tit for tat here, offside. Basically, stereo plays, gentlemen, leading to that score in Huff. Down. Huff throwing it, uh, there it is, that, that phrase again. He's here to win a championship, and... Huff Huffin. His name's Quattrell. Yes, but he's Huff. His nickname is, is Huff. He's Huff Huffin. He's huffing and puffing his way to the end zone, and it's tied 6-6 six to six here with 3.03 left to go in the first quarter. Before we went on the air, we were trying to figure out how this game was going to break down, what this was going to be, and... Great punching and counter punching. Corey, you said it was going to be a feeling out process before these teams found themselves to break it open. And it looks like they might have been found. Well, it. both teams are, are, are getting what they thought they might get and then not stopping the quarterback running the ball, which is going to be huge in this game for both teams. Luck in the ice cream truck on either side of Kareem Moon. And you got number two, Adrian Rodriguez, on the bottom of your screen. And there's the, hand, oh, the option. Moon will toss this one behind the back. And that one will get nothing but a stop there. And a big play there by the Ron Clark. talking about how they mastered the conversions with their option game, calling out that BIC was stopped running option as well. They completely just blew this play. Yeah. It, and Daryl Luck is supposed to go for a fake there and a choice option, leaving Moon with nothing to do but just try. He's had two returns that were about a fingernail away from being six, so... Like you said, a little bit of an interesting strategy. And Huff back at the throw-off. And Huff throwing this one to the former two-time MVP. He'll return that at the five-yard line. Riddick looking for an option, trying to get around, gets through one defender, keeps his pants, and runs right down the sideline. Nothing but Matt Riddick gets tripped up by number nine, Kareen Moon, saving his bacon there and getting this play, stopping it from being 12 to six. But what a return from Matt Riddick. If Take Moon a look here. clipped his fingernails this morning, he would have missed that tackle. <laughs> you see those guys do that hesitation, but if you can make the first man miss, you got a chance. There it is. And just just the Achilles heel there, guys. Caught him on the back of that cleat, making the stop there, and it will be first and ten for the U, looking for back-to-back -back scoring drives here on the back of Sterry Codrington, and there you see. We found the his weakness, guys. Moon needs weaknesses, <laughs> his heel. Just a spectacular job by Moon, staying home on the back end of that, and then the effort, not giving up on the play to chase him down. That you is championship the, you football You see the fifth right gear 
Matt Riddick has. He went from zero to 60 yep. as that quick as a car. My goodness. Umar Lewis now on the field, along with Ashanti Worthy at the bottom of your screen. You see, and then you see on the top of your screen, Case that's Case on Campbell. Campbell. And Courage at tight end, which is Enough. such a, an unselfish move by him. Four man line. One person playing very, very up close, and that in motion now is number three. That's Ashanti Worthy. The snap, and that ball bounced off the ground, and it will be incomplete. Both oh. of these quarterbacks, guys, they have the yips a, a yeah. little bit early only, on. I believe, Jack, only one completion made yeah. so and far it was today. That screen from Huff. And on a quick screen, guys. So, yeah. so it, you know, we're not talking about, you know, something that these guys can't do in their sleep, but you see Sterry. He's had pressure all day. He, yeah. he gets the snap, and on a quick screen, he could just step and throw. No worries there. He starts to, to retreat, and because his feet are moving back, throws the ball in the dirt. Looks and like everyone's tightening him up a little bit. We had a Not one first Ashanti quarter, Worthy out drop. Process, guys. And Worthy set in the slot next to Campbell. Umar Lewis set in the slot on the following on the other side, bottom of your screen. Codrington with 132 left to play in the first. Here comes the pressure. Here comes Mo Ramadan. Ramadan putting pressure, and here goes Codrington. Codrington gets through one defender, stays up, spins out, and the tackle by Joshua McWilliams will stop another six being put on the board, but they will move the chains, and it will be first down. When you can do this, this is great. But if you were able to see the, the camera downfield, when Kaysan Campbell, who's one of the best route runners in this league, came in on the in route over the middle of the field, he was wide open with a head of steam. And if you could find him, because there was plenty of time for Codrington, those ru the rush for the U is getting through, but they don't have their speed rushers in right now. And Codrington almost going into beast mode. And speaking of beast mode, I want to shout out our friends over at Zoombang, protective gear for not only our players on the field, but our military and also our doctors and nurses. Go to zoombang.com for more info. And here comes a zoom bang moment right now. Big play here by the BIC. And he's gonna need some of that. Umar Lewis needs some of that zoom bang protection running right into that U defense. And you gotta see how this offense is gonna shake out. Riddick at the top of your screen. You see Ashanti Worthy at the bottom. In the shotgun, in motion is Worthy. There's a toss over to Courage Mosey. Mosey getting caught, getting covered, getting smothered like it's Waffle House. And a big play there by number 15, Antoine Wilson. Chill out, Duke. Chilling this BIC run game. They try to go with an inside reverse look. Nothing doing for the BIC run game, who, which has been effective today, but not on second and two. Bring up third and four. Yeah, and Patterson, you was the kings of the trickery, so... You're going to try and run something against them. You better have something well-designed in that triple option. I mean, the, the U runs that better than anybody. So, And Craig Pitts gassing him up there on the line, the patient care tech for the Patterson U. And a big, big opportunity here to stop the BIC third and four, beginning early portion of this second quarter. And folks, do note that the clock does run. And then when we get to the two-minute warning, it will stop on plays that break down. But this is a running clock here in the 8-7 FL. Ball is up to Riddick, and this one will float up and out of play, and it will be fourth down. And uh, once again, there's only been one completed pass here so far today. Corey, when you're in this position, you have all of this on the line, $10,000 on the line. How much pressure right now is a guy like Codrington feeling? And a guy who's been in this position before in Quattro Huffin, a this is his third straight championship game. What is this, you know, what is the feeling right now well, that for these first quarterbacks? Quarter, you're, feeling, you're, you're feeling it out. You're, you're getting used to the adrenaline. You know, sometimes you'll see that, that miss deep like you just saw there from Codrington to Meet Meet, who's pretty much had his guy beat. But you even had Kaysan Campbell in the slot one-on-one -on -one for the slant. He has him again here. But fourth and four, he's got a eat those nerves and deliver the ball. And the snap, Codrington throws this one. This one will be complete to Kaysan Campbell. Campbell with a little help from Riddick will get the first down and more. And that ball will go out around the 13 yard line. And that's a timing route from Kaysan Campbell, wide open. And you see Codrington plants his foot, delivers the ball. If he does that against this U team, they'll be successful in the air. And that's the first real pass play we've seen today. That footwork from Campbell is just deadly. He knows how to shake and bake and get loose. Only got him a couple extra yards there, but I guarantee you he'll have another play like that 
and he'll get more than just that handful of yards. And you now see Deion Stevenson, the man with the money bags on his jersey, giving Riddick no room to think, no space whatsoever. But you see Kaysan Campbell, a lot of room to grow there. You could probably see Corey, if he ran a slant pattern right now, it would be over, but there's the handoff to Mosey. Mosey cuts back, cuts through the line. Mo Ramadan will stop, not stop him. But there's a big stop there by Stevenson, a battle of OGs there between Mo Ramadan and uh, Courage Mosey. He had a great stop, even though we're not gonna give him credit for the tackle. That's a big man trying to get over there, but he does. <laughs> and he doesn't finish the play, but he makes it. And guys, Early on in this game, fourth downs, guys, are when both of these teams are striking. So the defenses on first, second, and third are up to the challenge. But that fourth down, because there's no soccer in this game, guys, no kicker, no punter, you know, got it for running here. And yeah. it's been interesting to see on the money down, the quarterbacks have found a way to get it done. And you know why there's no kicking here in the A7FL? Have you ever found a great kicker? growing up no kicking is a rarity and also we want to see these teams earn the points the a7 fl is an exciting style of football every time you cross that line or put points on the board you have to earn it and it'll be second and six and here comes codrington trying to put points on the board will get stifled and taken down and it will be looks like it will be a first down getting the ball near around the five yard line we'll see where the ball is placed Corey, what are we seeing here well, they just go with the quarterback run. They got a stacked backfield, which when you have a quarterback that can run, means you got two lead blockers. Credit SJ on the grown man tackle, yeah, but hit. the offensive line just opened up a huge hole in the middle. And when you only need four yards and you get four and a half, it'll bring up first and goal. Prime position for BIC to try to punch it in. But guys, that's this is one of the toughest spots to score on the field. Everybody thinks that you're gonna run not enough space for a, a pass to get wide open. So it's just as hard on the offense right here as it is going to be for the defense. It'll be first and goal, and there's a timeout on the play. But before I get to your question, everybody here in the A7FL, we're building. This year has been the biggest year in the history of the A7FL. 2022 is going to be even bigger. We'll let you know how at halftime. We want you to be a part of it. How can you do that? Head on over to A7FL.com slash invest to invest in the future of football. Yeah, the timeout, a, a chance to talk things over for Patterson U and get a stop that could potentially change the entire momentum of this ball game, especially with that defensive front. It is a big possibility. And it will be first and goal. 10.04 left to go here. Codrington hands it off to Mosey. Mosey trying to pound the rock and is denied. And, and there you go, right there. This is the toughest place to operate on the field. Like Corey said, the throwing lanes get much smaller. You try and go on the ground. But Patterson, you is so big up front that you are going to have a very hard time just trying to punch it through that defensive line. That's why the timeout was so important. And Codrington looking for an option here. The oh, and the toss to toss that was to risky, Worthy. Guys, they go with the option, which could have worked, but the the relationship between running back and quarterback wasn't there. If Sterry cuts it in here, he actually might have a seam. Oh. But credit Courage somehow grabs the ball because. Yeah, that could have been have pick it. six. Dion, Dion almost took that one and almost could have taken Not it to the house. Not even a pass could have been a pick six. Third down, look at the size of the defense there for Courage Mosey. Finds a lane to put another one on the board. And the BIC sticking to the game plan, rushing and putting the rock where it needs to be. And beautiful run there by Mosey. I don't know what it is with that ascot thing going on, but <laughs> you could stop Courage once. Maybe twice, but what he's saying is, he got you, you can't stop me three times. Give me my touchdown. Two-point conversion of the day and uh, a championship-level opportunity here for the BIC. B Codrington on his bicycle, trying to cut inside. We'll stay upright, but we'll be denied at the line. And a big play there by Deion Stevenson and number 15, Antoine Wilson. I mean, it's a heck of a run by Codrington getting out of the pocket and making a play, getting right to the goal line, but... Patterson U is just so strong, so athletic. They're able to keep up with him and just stop him at the last possible second. Yeah, and it was great coverage, guys, because if he had a man wide open in the end zone because the coverage broke down, that's two points. But because the coverage was so great, Codrington has to eat the ball and run. Patterson has not been scored on more than twice, I believe, at almost any point this season. They have been a stout defense, but right here, the running game has been a huge, huge, huge thing. Only one completed pass for either team so far. Kareem Moon will get the ball around the 26-yard line. 
Moon cutting up towards the sideline, trying to find a way. Stiff arm spinning out and around was not able to get out of that one and will blow out like a tire around the 35 yard line. Relentless cover by Quan and Jaheed Myers. That's going to be an underrated part of this game, guys, is how the three on one defenses do against these electric returners. But credit Quan on the, on the play and DeMar throwing it off. And and take a look at this Trenton BIC defense last week. Bullet with two interceptions. And he, along with Jaheed Myers, were some of the 11 players missing. And it'll be not going to be missing this play here. Big handoff upfield, cutting down. And another run by Daryl Hardluck, breaking it open, getting the first down. Well, and they go quick yeah. on, the, on the play. We're not even set up as we're still <laughs> talking about it. They go toss left. And not a great design there, but just BIC wasn't ready. Just trying to catch him looking, Jack running the uh, no huddle offense before they even ran the first play of the <laughs> possession. A non hurrying up off the sideline. <laughs> and a penalty, and it looks like a timeout will be called, and a timeout on the BIC, their second timeout, trying to get things set up here, yeah. gentlemen. You know what? It, it, it was my birthday this past week, and you know how I celebrated it? My celebrate? dear friend Stephanie Sotilli bought me a pair of San Diego Shockwave shorts from the A7FL merch store. If you go to a7fl.com slash gear, you can get merch from all of your favorite A7FL teams, and I will tell you this right now, those Shockwave shorts are some of the most comfortable shorts I've ever owned. You can pick those up along with jerseys. I'm going to get my Corey Hammond jersey at the end of the season. You can get yours now at a7fl.com slash gear. Got to get him to sign it. Yeah. Now, the Shockwave shorts, is that just the team name? Or yeah. Or when you buy the shorts, is, does it have, like, some Shockwave protection? Oh, no. It's, it's, well, you got to go to Zoom Bank for that kind of protection. But the green and pink of the San Diego Shockwave, wearing that and loving it. Huff in trouble. Rolls Jump out in. to his right. Throws deep. Caught. Now off the hands. And Huff continuing to go one for here today. That ball intended for old Joel Jumpman Rivera. And this BIC defense has been putting Huff in a now tough corner. Now that's a corner. perfectly thrown ball, a better defensive play by yep. JJ. But a lot of times, Jumpman's going to come down with that. But that was JJ not, not a, This is more of a shot than anything. But his name isn't Handsman; it's Jumpman. So he gets <laughs> up, but he doesn't bring it down. Matt Ryan joined by Corey Hammond and Jack Bartek. Oh. Huff throws this one deep, caught it. This one will go straight to the house. Quatrell Huffin back on his. Touchdown! The BIC tie this. The U tie this one, and Air Jamaica lighting the lamp. Well, that you can blame former U player JJ on that. That's the thing in this league. We say don't blame JJ or blame JJ. He falls for the play action and gets smoked. Well, once Quattro Huffin gets going, I do not want to be on the defensive side of the football. And for BIC, you got to hope that that throw isn't the start of, of a little bit of a run yeah. here for Huff. And that play moved so fast, the other eight made that play. That was Mims on the catch. And Big Smoke in motion. And that will be Kareen Moon under center as he does for every conversion play. It'll be a one-point conversion attempt. And Moon will take this one. And he will take the lead. And running right into Jared, our cameraman, giving him a little bit of love. And it is now 13 to 12, the Patterson U. Jared might have hurt Moon. Look at it. He's got him in the <laughs> jaw. And it will be first and 10 here. Codrington will hand this one off, trying to push up field. But they will get stymied at the line. That's a Baltimore product. product. Dion McDaniel former Army running back in the backfield. Runs a lot like Courage. Maybe not as explosive, but real consistent. But on that play to you, is just too good. And McDaniel getting stopped on that one. It will be first. It will be second down and 10. No uh, no movement there. Oh, second and eighth. They gave him two yards on that one. Some forward progress love. And, and you said it, Corey. BIC's got an answer here. You can't, you cannot expect to win if you're going to let Patterson you pile on. It'll be second and eight here. Two wide receivers, Riddick and Kaysan Campbell. And the handoff to Dion, but the whistle will blow, and it looks like we will uh, move a little back. That's a rare call, guys, from the actual defensive team as Dion somehow flops there. I don't know if that was actually There's a little Dion, slow to get Dion up. crime out there. But let's see what the call is. <laughs> as we await for the call, and they will reset, reset. Yeah, here. Reset. And there's the handoff to Dion. They'll just run that play anyway. Dion pushing through, but there's a whistle on the field, and it looks like there will be a call, a penalty. You see the Le'Veon Bell type yeah, patience from McDaniel. Patient. That that skiing motion that he goes chop, chop, chop. And there's an open running lane. And he's a tough load to bring down, but 
we'll see what the call is. Like jerk to get the offensive line off their game. And there's another handoff to Dion McDaniel pushing through, and we'll get that ball to the 28. That's a tough six yards. And you know what? He's going to need some top level protection, and the only way he can get that level of protection is through Zoom Bang. Marshawn Lynch's beast mode putting together a specialized polymer for not only professional athletes, but for medical and military professionals. For more information, head to zoombang.com. And it will be third down here for the BIC. BIC third was going with the hurry up. Giving the U a little taste of their own medicine. Forcing the U has to call a timeout. And a lot of respect, not a lot of respect for Matt Riddick there playing, and the, they'll drop in coverage. And Dion will call himself an eligible receiver. And Codrington, not, no time, throws this one to the big man. There'll be a whistle, yeah, and that an eligible so receiver play. That's, that's tough because normally that's KWAC. Normally, Carnell Wachter is an eligible receiver. And because he got burnt by the defender, he was wide open for Codrington. But and it looks like it will be thrown off here by Ashante. Pardon me, Duan. And this one will be picked up by Kareem Moon around the 35-yard line. Moon cutting through, gets stopped and stymied, and almost gets the ball taken out. And a big play there by number 13 of the Patterson U, Laquan John. Pardon me, number 13, Devon Burton. Big Burton with the stop. Yeah, that's that's Quan. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I'm looking the three at the three-on-one for BIC has done their job. Kareem Moon may not be as elusive as he was maybe like four or five years ago, but that's still a tough guy to bring down. Yeah. So great job on the three-on-one, but it's more important right now that they bring down the U ball carriers in this drive. One on the line is an eligible receiver. I believe that's the dot boss. And now Huff just going to run with it here on first down. We'll get a gain of about four and taken out of play with 550 left to go and on the half. If you look at the defensive personnel for BIC, they bring in former quarterback CP3 at the defensive end position. It's almost as if they knew if we see CP3 out there at the end, we're going to run right at him. But credit the smaller guy sealing the edge and keeping him from getting a big game. The A7FL Championship live from Asbury Park, New Jersey. You see at the bottom of your screen, I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Corey Hammond and Jack Bartek. There's the handoff, trying to create an opportunity. This BIC defense will stifle, and it's a big play here as Stephen Jones Jr. will be brought back to near the line of scrimmage. Well, pardon me, to the initial line here, and it will be third and about eight. They leave Casey Fennessy the backside D end unblocked, and he's able to scrape down and finish the play. So credit CP3 again. The smaller defender is not getting blocked and sealing the edge, bringing up a third and long. And Jack, if SJ didn't have some quick moves there, it would have been a third and a fourth and a third and eleven. Yeah, this is a big chance here for BIC to get a stop and get the football back unscathed. And they're leaving their corners on islands. No help for JJ or oh Abdul. Boy. This is gonna be I'd be drooling right now as quarterback. <laughs> and in motion. Third and nine. Huff He's with time. Open. Throws a wobbler, and that one will be out of reach for number 19, Joel might be, Rivera. And might be defensive holding from the cornerback because oh I boy. saw hard body number 21 dancing. Usually that means he knows where the penalty was coming from. Oh and, Jack, boy. you were apoplectic on that play. Because uh, it, it, I understand the flag comes out, and they're going to catch a break here and get a first down on, I believe, a holding penalty on it, the defense. But it'll that's remain, a touchdown. It'll, it yeah, will that's... remain third down. It will only be a five. It'll be a oh, significant wow. jump. It'll be a five-yard jump, but it will be third and five. What do they call Joel Rivera comes in motion for the Jet and gets lost as he becomes the second man on the inside for the coverage. And the, the safety who should have picked him up for BIC – Completely oh. goes and that was with off on the rollout, leaving Jumpman, one of the best receivers in this league, wide open. And a shout out to the truck, letting us know that the offsides on the defense, five yard penalty, and big smoke at the top of your screen, joining Jumpman Rivera, Still who's at the bottom. For BIC. And regardless, they had a touchdown if that ball is caught. And Huff will keep this one here, but he's under pressure. Throws this one to Rivera. Rivera trying to get to the oh. first down, and he does. Running down the sideline. Can he stay in bounds? He's he is pulling a Mark Bravaro and brought down at the 14. If he gets tackled on the original opportunity here. It's fourth down. It's fourth down. But guess what? Joel wants it more than Dwan Williams right there. If you try to tackle a man's upper body, even if he's a wide receiver, He's going to run right through you and get the first down. That is a crucial play for the U, who looked like they could be showing some chinks in the armor. But just when you think you have them stopped, guys, 
they make a huge play on a crucial yeah. down. Jumpman, such a hard guy to take down, but got to make that tackle on first contact. Championship level play, and that deserves a championship level ring. Our friends at Herf Jones bringing it to you. HerfJones.com. Reward yourself like a champion in motion. Rodriguez, the toss, looking for the opportunity. Into the corner, nothing doing, and that might be pass interference. No whistle, no flag, well, and it will catchable. be second down. Yeah, I guess they're saying uncatchable because they Abdul's are, they are was... putting six foot plus guys yeah. on Abdul Shabazz all game. And if you put the ball in a catchable spot, Markeith Williamson, dot boss, yeah. is going to moss him. And basically, six of the He's seven like the players train. on the line, the D train pounding it in and gets it to the end zone. The express right to the station. It's a thick boy summer, and it's a it. one possession lead. The D train making this one a 19 to 12 game. And we see D train take some people for a ride. That's a lot of man right there. And when you don't get him stopped before he gets started, it's just a one-way ticket to the end zone, guys. <laughs> yeah, and, and I've said it time and time again. I love watching D-Train run. Of course, he plays for the U, so he's here to win a championship. <laughs> and he, a lot of these guys in this league are finesse. They'll hit you with the moves. D-Train, he's getting the football, and, and he'll tell you at the line of scrimmage, I'm running it right down the middle. Good luck trying to stop me. He did it again right there, and it's six points for Patterson. You have a chance to add to the lead now and make it uh, potentially a two-score game. And at the half, we will revisit all of these highlights and take a look at what's going to be ahead in the second half, but still a lot of football to play in this one. 2.15 in the A7FL. Yeah, Jack, you said it. If they get the two-point conversion here Huge. with no field goals, they're up by two scores, which is a really tough break if you're BIC. And Coburn in the slot. In motion is Rodriguez. Moon, pressure coming. He's going to throw this one, throws it over, cut, tipped up. No, and that one intended for Ski Johnson. I wonder if there's something going on with Moon because there was a lot of open space there, and his, yeah. his go-to guys is running and making people miss with the jukes. And it's a dead clock, so the clock won't run on this return. It doesn't return on throw-offs after touchdowns. So a lot of time there, and they have no timeouts, but they have the two-minute warning here. This is free play for Matt but Riddick guys, to make to something. But guys, to score in a two-minute, what do you have to do as an offense? Got to throw the ball, and that's something. a short to. throw. He's got to get to it. And this one's going to bounce. It's a live ball. Riddick will get it, and he will cut through. He'll get past two defenders. And now Matt Riddick going up against Quattro Huffin. Car Matt Riddick cuts through another one. Hits him with the blip. Hits him with the blap. Money bags is bankrupt. And Meep, Meep takes it to the house. And just like that, this one is a one-point game again. If you're casting Looney Tunes, I don't think you'd ever cast Huff as Coyote. But on this one, the Roadrunner looks him straight in the face and says, I'm scoring, buddy. You can't tap. <laughs> he stop said, me. that's it. He, he uh, I read his lips. He said, that's it. And it was. Because as soon as he had all those guys' backs turned and that much open space, it was nothing but six for Matt Riddick. And that's why he's a two-time MVP, guys, because we thought he was slow playing and going to make a debacle for his team turns it into the easiest touchdown we've seen scored against the U and and we th this has been if it's a you know go in your realm Matt this is a <laughs> boxing match these are two counter punchers just and, rocking them and, each and other we see we saw in that still for a second you could see the exact moment when U fans hearts <laughs> broke and it was to, to quote the Quad City DJs, come on and slam if you want to jam. And Meep Meep certainly slammed it there. Two-point conversion attempt here. Not going for to the take tie. The lead. Worthy behind center. You see Kaysan wow. Campbell at the bottom of your screen. He's a former high school flag. quarterback. And then we got a flag on the play. Wor it's a free, could be a free play. Worthy throws this one wide open. To the quarterback, <laughs> Scary Codrington. <laughs> and this one could be a one-point game in the other direction. The BIC may have taken back the lead. And they did. And they did. And take a look at this play again, Corey. Not a lot of pressure until that There's last few seconds. There's not a lot I can say to break that down. <laughs> That's just an amazing shake and bake type mover and shaker finding a seam and doing something as a quarterback that I could only dream of doing. For both of these teams, it's the end of the line of the 2021 season. And I have an odd feeling Patterson U is not going to want to be disrespected like that. Yeah, and, and just going back to that throw for a second, I said he's got to get up and return that ball. He's got to recover that ball. But 
A little bit of luck getting a bounce right to him. That play could go either way. Could have been a total momentum changer for Patterson U, but it flips the game on its head, giving it back to BIC. Hey. Dwan Williams throws this one off, and now here comes Kareen Moon. Moon cuts through one defender, but gets caught up. Ball comes loose, and he will be taken down at the 36. And uh, not so bad field position for the U, but not where they wanted to be. They wanted to be in that end zone. Jack, MVP of the league, Quatrell Huffin, one of the best quarterbacks we've seen in this league, or maybe of all time. Is he a liability on the three-on-one? You say it all the time, and I don't see it because I can see him throw it out of the, out of the back of the end zone. But that's, that's now, I think, three weeks in a row. The Cobras let up two, yep. or almost two. The A team, who had their <laughs> problems at <laughs> times, but also a return. <laughs> and then now seven. Matt Riddick takes a big one back. And like you said, Matt, this is the most a team has scored against the U all season. This is the first time the U have their back against the wall. Daryl Stevenson blew kisses to make sure that he knew that they knew we left that he was an eligible receiver, and Quattrell Huffin not letting me, you know, just say words, just stifling me there as he stifled the defense getting a, a short game. A lot of game. confidence going out of bounds early. He could have got six or seven more yards maybe if he cuts it upfield, but he wants to keep the time on the clock. Brings up second and about six. And that will be the two-minute warning here. Yeah, that would have been the two-minute anyway. The clock yeah. would have stopped, but... And when you talk about that slow playing it on the throw, it can be a great play here and there, but... They've done it just a little too much to the point where teams are expecting it. And a guy like Matt Riddick, you're not going to pull, pull well, one over. You could do it against teams like the Animals and yeah. maybe even my team, the Renegades. And the handoff to do it against a two-time MVP. And Stephen Jones Jr., after a great first run, how, has how been is this team, guys? Steinberg. How are they going to convert this two-minute drill? Are they going to do it running the ball? Because so far they've been able to get here and there. But, guys, if these teams are going to win either BIC or the U, I think they're going to have to do it in the air. Yeah, and, and we see a timeout here for the U trying to talk it over with a minute and a half to go. They've been great on the ground this year, but their real success has come through the air, throwing the football. That's why Quattrell Huffin is the MVP. The run game, almost the opposite of BIC, the run game opens up through their throwing game and the respect you have to put into the secondary and today it just hasn't been there. Huff has missed a couple of throws. And Receivers have had some mishaps, and it's all piled up. And But there's been no turnovers yet, and Huff on third and eight will throw this one short, get the first down and more, oh. and a big play there by, the, by Ski Johnson. Now he trucks him and gets a little ooh from the crowd. But guys, they have no timeouts. Get out of bounds. Yeah, only picked up an extra three or four yards, they, maybe. They may also just be just trying to make sure that they're the last ones to hold the ball here. Three wide receivers at the top of your screen, one at the bottom, three-man line, two-man line. Not a lot of time. Moon will go. Carter, me, Huff will go for it. Huff at the 20, the 15, the 10, loses the ball at the 5, tosses it back. Touchdown, Patterson. And the counterpunch here by the Patterson U. And a big play there. Who, who gets credit for the touchdown on that one guys I believe that would Ron be clerk is undressed by Huff because they got they come with a three-man rush against a two-man offensive line leaving a former defensive player of the year Ron clerk he has the ball in his hands an MVP caliber caliber day from Matt Riddick one touchdown already on the board and here comes Riddick Riddick will get to about the 40 and we'll wait, and we'll see this defense try to stop him here on the three-on-one. Cuts through one defender. Cuts up the Ooh. sideline. Makes one look foolish. Cuts him again, but won't be able to do anything. And pulling out the Arn Anderson, the big spine buster. And we've got our first little skirmish of the day, and Matt Riddick will walk back to the sideline. Peace being kept there, but Riddick in the DMZ eating the turf yeah, on a big Mims, stop. Number eight. He's already got the touchdown on the deep pass over J.J., Gets embarrassed, wants to do some embarrassment himself. Picks Riddick up, who probably weighs like 120, and tries to go viral, which is his nickname. So no love lost between these two teams. Matt, you've been talking about it all week. This rivalry, it's real. It is. It, it certainly is, and it's palpable. You can feel it in the air. You can feel that level of energy from both of these teams, and you're seeing it in the level of play here. The and Gators game, guys, against BIC was a good game at the end. But it wasn't this hard fought all no. the way through. This is a great game. And we have another half of football, and they've already exceeded the we score from their last. Yeah, seconds left in the half. <laughs> Codrington looking to get back on the board here. They will get the ball. There's a clean pocket. 
Codrington tosses this one, caught, here and here go. comes an opportunity for Kaysan Campbell, and he'll get out of play and stop the clock with 50 seconds. Now, he almost wanted to go against what you should do with a clean pocket there. Sterry Codrington has plenty of time, great protection, and finds his man wide open yeah, downfield. That's going to be there, guys. And, and it seems like Campbell always finds a way to get a pocket of two or three yards against this man, and again right there finding space and a big first down and now you just cut out 25 or so yards of this one minute drill and you're well within reach now at the 27 yard line. Ashanti Worthy back on the field joining Campbell at the wide receiver position. This is just the first half and it's the this is championship level football guys. This is what we've expected from both of these teams walking into today. And this you see is Kel Gallimore at the top of your screen. Gallimore doesn't now have on the defense. shade. It almost looks like Mims is over the top of Worthy. And a ball thrown deep, attempted oh. to Worthy. And Stevenson going with him stride for stride. And if there was just a little less on that ball, he might have been able to catch it. Yeah, and I'll say he missed that throw there, but it, it would have had to have been a perfect throw to fit it in that window. It was an incredibly small window, but still a miss for BIC. And but it was not bad because the clock stops. And, it's yeah, still and, second a, flag. and a flag on the play, and they will move up wow. here. They will move to the 22-yard line and make it second and five. What was the call? Hold I'm not sure what the call, call is, but defense. if I'm going against these corners and I have either Kells or Stevenson, Stevenson's a Division II All-American. I'm taking Kaysan Campbell against Kells Gallimore. Well, and you got Campbell at the top of your screen, Worthy at the bottom of it. And that's well, tight coverage. Anything is wide open if you just throw it on time. And Gallimore just right on him. Codrington... Taking his time, 46 seconds left to go. And here's the snap. Codrington with not a lot of time. He'll have to run, and he'll get a lane to go down, and he will be taken down, and it will be a first up. down. 35 seconds left to go, no timeouts, and they're trying to get something going here. Let's take a look again at the replay, Corey. Well, I was looking at Kaysan Campbell, who had the double move, but that's just Terry Codrington having somebody in his face and doing what he does best. Two wide receivers set, Codrington. Throws this one up in coverage. Oh my God. A Shanti Worthy in coverage, and somehow, some way, it's not a boss anymore. He is not worthy. He is just worthy. This Patterson U defense, and the lead has shifted again. I think a Shanti Worthy was just as surprised as all of you, and we were in the booth that he caught this ball. That's double coverage. That's a bad decision, and that's a great <laughs> man play. That's a man catch Hollywood. that is a madden catch anybody over at ea sports get a shanti worthy to do the motion capture hey, good lord sports center you haven't featured a7fl just yet Dun no it. better time Dun than it. right now a7fl championship on the line that's the best catch i've ever seen i've never seen anything like that david tyree catching something off a helmet guys it's not a moss anymore it's for the gram and Riddick, Riddick looking to go for the gram here. We're trying to get a good line of it. The ball's thrown, caught, oh. brought down, and the one-point conversion makes it a two-point game. The only thing we missed, though, guys, I was looking downfield. Did he throw it behind? No, he back? didn't. He didn't. That's the first attempt and that's, we've seen. And normally. that's the second straight play where Deion Stevenson on the one-on-one, -on -one, you were touting him as a D2 player, blew the assignment on that one, well, gave Case on Campbell too much space. It's tough because when you have Matt Riddick, what are you looking for, guys? You're not looking behind for the, the throw. So they go into his zone, and Campbell just sneaks behind the defense, and almost legendary teams. And the throw, and that one will bounce, and this one, the last time we saw a bounce, we saw an end zone run, and here comes Kareem Moon, but Moon will be stifled with 19 seconds left to go. That's this will be a long road. That's guys. Dwan Williams throwing it. Quan, number 13, just a great tackler. And Jody Myers, who's almost playing safety on these with some speed. And he, he was not. the tackle there. And at least one of those guys, Jody Myers, not there in this 13 14 you won't matchup. You can see Jody Myers on defense or on offense for this team. In 2013, guys, he was my wide receiver for a team known the Warriors. So you always get some kind of anecdote because I've been in the league for so long. <laughs> but with 19 seconds left, this half is far from over. It's, it's, you look at it's, the bottom of your screen, you got a six foot three jump man on a five foot seven Abdul Shabazz, and JJ's man, not no really safety playing help, safety, yeah. so it's this, one on one coverage all the time. And number 79, Daryl Stevenson will make himself known as an eligible well, Juan receiver. Williams drops back to play safety thing. This, Wisely. This ain't a scene, it's an arms race. And Huff, with time, launches this one deep with 13 seconds left to go out of his hands by his fingertips, and that 
was Mims almost getting his second straight touchdown and a big play there that was millimeters away from happening. Let's take a look again. Oh, There's yeah. not a lot of guys that can make this throw, so this isn't really a miss. This is amazing, though, that it's that close. Oh. And he was able to beat Riddick off the break, which is the, even the bigger thing right there after what we've seen Matt Riddick do here today. And his top end speed, so. When the ball's in the air, guys, the, the advantage is always to the receiver because corners can get lost, especially when the ball's traveling 70 yards in the air, as you've seen and from And it up. will be. <clears throat> 10 <laughs> seconds left with no timeouts. This should be the last play, play of the half unless they go for the quick or like a 10 yard out and out of bounds to the sideline. But the thing is, is Huff can almost get it to the end zone from here. And there's the quick out. You call it, Corey, and he'll run up field and he'll get out of play, but he'll get the first down with five seconds left to go. The clock will stop at four. And Gives you a couple more options yeah. with that quick gain of yardage, but a little bit of guts there from Mims as he didn't go straight out of bounds. He almost looked to make one man miss. And, the, and, and we, if you hear yourself below, I'm sorry, Jack, but we've got the armchair officials right beneath us here at Asbury Park Stadium. You might That's be probably able to... Jovito Sams, who <laughs> is probably one of the guys that talks the most for the U, and he never even touches the field. And it will be first and ten, six seconds left to go. With the quick out, you can be guaranteed Huff can reach the end zone now they're going They're going to cross Pat Coburn from the slot on the right side all the way across. He might be wide open. Here we go. Air Jamaica. Oh, this one's oh, aired out. It. Huff has got him. Huff has got him out of his hands. And we will end the half here with this one being 27-25. What a play. What an end of a half. That was insanity. I don't know about you guys, but I need to catch my breath. Yeah, and we're going to do that. We're going to take a brief time out. The score heading into the half, the BIC 27, the Patterson U 25. This is the A7FL Championship on fight. So now you're, you, are, you have a clean slate. It's 30 minutes of football, and you start with a two-point lead. Rather than giving the ball away, trailing by a touchdown already, it, it totally changes the way you look at the start of the second half. Matt, you, you mentioned Daryl Burgess. That's a XFL, AFL. That's a professional football player out there. And he has not seen the field yet today, but we start the second half with Kareen Moon getting the ball. And Moon, once again, stifled by this return team that has been great so far today with limited exception. Yeah, Kareen Moon normally is going to play the return like we've seen Matt Riddick where he'll hesitate make make the guys make the first move and then react this time he's been more straight at him you know head of steam going forward and it might be maybe something's a little off with his game today well the man that's known as Diane Sun trying to get in the head of Kason Campbell there trying to one up the rookie and you know what? If you want to communicate with somebody and you want to be a little nicer, you can get four lines of unlimited data for only 100 bucks a month from our friends over at Cricket Wireless. Cricket Wireless, more free, more fun. And we're having fun here at the A7FL Championship game. It is a schwitz fest in the booth, but it is a score fest on the field. 27-25, your score. If you're just joining us, you have missed one of the best halves of football, the best two minutes of football we've seen all year long. And I don't care what league you uh you, you rep or what team you rep. This has been amazing football Especially here in 20 today. 21. Yeah. I haven't seen anything since the Super Bowl. Yeah. And this one is Super Bowl level play here. The clock has started here at the start of the second half. And here comes a run from Quattro Huffin. Huffin breaks up field. Gets a, almost gets Anaconda choked. Almost got put in the Anaconda vice. But we'll get the first down. And let's take a look. See there on the replay. Casey Fennessy. Daryl Luck on Casey Fennessy. The White Mamba seals the edge. And then Huff. This is, this is going to be what his game has to be if he's going to yeah. miss those long passes. A great start offensively to the second half. And you said it. I want to see how he can turn that into the passing game. And here's the toss here to the big man number four and a slight gain there. Ski and Johnson second is, down. is one of the best blockers downfield on this U team. But they like to keep him involved in the pass game, in the run game. But a great tackle here by J.J. and Dwan cleaning it up. But again, that just doesn't feel like the U to me. Big first down play. I feel like when they smell blood in the water, they punch. And right there, a quick screen it just doesn't feel very Patterson U S. It feels like they, they respect this defense and they're trying to catch them off guard. Rodriguez and smoke at the top of your screen. Number six, I'd that's Daryl Lux the bottom. On that quick screen than ski. Yeah. No offense to number four from the U. And it will be second down. 
Second and seven. Dop Dop. reporting eligible. And there's that screen again, and that is off the hands of Big Smoke, and that will be incomplete, and that will be third down. And it looked catchable, but as quick as that's coming, that's a miss. He yeah. completely missed a an easy throw. And let's take a look at the big, this is the playoff point differential between both teams. Walking into today, plus 117. And they're, the they're U not have, even playing two games. And that, and that accounts for a forfeit. So they've only allowed 36 points over two games. And the BIC over three games have only allowed 70. But that plus 117 to that plus 46 is telling. And the, the U only score, uh, scoring 153 points in two games is ridiculous. And Mo Huff will run with this one. Fantasy can shake it off. Love like try, like lint, oh, and oh. just drops the shoulder in, and it is spicy here in Asbury Park, hitting them with that picante beef, and it is going to be a first down Not for the Patterson Not only does he make U. it look easy, start smiling, but then he delivers the blow at the end, sending bullet to his backside. <laughs> yeah, he hit him with the old tuchus. Not only did he put him down, he put him down on the BIC sideline in their faces. And then you see number 21, hard body. And then there's a whistle blown. Yeah, That's a rare timeout time from, from the slot receiver. I've really never weird. seen that. Quatrell Huff and a guy who's been carrying this U team all year throws that screen again. And here comes a big play. High stepping was Mims. And that was an interesting kind of play there, Corey. I don't know why he decided to go into the high step. Looked like he was just trying to keep the clock running. Let's see this again. Looks like he could have even just exploded to the end zone. But there's Andre Jasper who did just get trucked by Mo uh by Huff. And that could have been a horse collar tackle, too. That If that the referees caught that one, it could have been a horse collar. Well, when it's not called, it's just a touchdown saving tackle. And there's the handoff to hard body. And he it looked like it was supposed to be a keeper there. Falls out of the hands of McKinney. Well, that's and a it'll choice be second option. Down. Huff did have the op option to pull it out of hard body's gut. Some, most of the time, a good option to go to hard body. And that, LJ and Smith would say he's 76 speed now. <laughs> but... And, the, the BIC defense definitely deserves credit, a lot of it, but the U play calling just seems off. Too many screens. I know they like to run those screens, but it, the shots have been so much less than any other game they've And played. I think that's the respect they have for the, They have to keep catch this BIC defense looking. And here comes Quattrell Huffin. Speaking of keeping them looking, he may not get the first down there on second, but he got close, and this one will be... I'll called out at around the seven-yard line. This is a tough defensive matchup because this is a called run. You see Stevenson, number 79, who's actually the, the brother of the other defensive back Stevenson that we've seen earlier today. He's pulling and running hard downhill. So when they spread him out with a trips to the top of the screen spread offense, you have to honor the pass. But then it makes it easy for Quattro Huffin, who's a very good runner himself, to get an easy seven yards, bringing up the third and two. And McKinney will stay in the backfield, and you see Smoke Coburn in the slot, joining him number four, Ski Johnson, at the top of your Looks screen. play action rollout to the right. And wow, just called it. Huff throws this one to the end zone a in a sea of blue and white, and it'll no. be knocked down. I and that could the that's the best. The there is, but if it's p defensive pass interference, what? it's a shame. Yeah. Because BIC oh. should not have even done anything other than catch this ball. That's oh. got to be a pick. That's yeah. a terrible decision oh. by the MVP of this He league. had hard body wide open on the other side of the end zone, too. And it's pass interference on the offense. So this will be wow. third down. They will replay third down. And that is insane here. Well, it'll be interesting. They do. They could accept the penalty and bring up third and long. And, and we're going to see the penalty this here. This hard body's wide open. And, he was. And there it is. And you see the push. The push from number four, Ski Johnson, probably, and number 11, Bullet. Probably now, saved the The throwback yeah. to the running back after play action is the last read. So it, he would have had to go on through his progression. He could yeah. have had to look at Ski Johnson, then to Pat Coburn, then to hard I, body. But the thing was is that he, he should have got at least to the second option. And, Jack, mental mistakes have been the biggest error yeah, so far yeah, for both teams 100%. today. Small little slips of those offsides penalties. These pass interference penalties have yielded to scores and right now the first big offensive penalty of the day for the Patterson U and take a look right there off the edge. Corey's pointing it out to us on the monitor. Take a look at that off the defensive end. Here comes the pressure. Wide and the big shot. Good <laughs> touchdown and the lead changes again. Back and forth forever and ever. The pendulum swings back to the U's way and a big play by Dakari Mims going viral in the 
championship. Yeah, we said before it was a worthy. So is that a worthy right there? Or he just worthy them. He worthy them. He worthy, he worthy them. them. Now, wow. Matt Ryan is one of the best at doing this in the entire, maybe world. Aww. We'll say at least the Northeast. Dakari Mims this whole season has been relatively quiet, guys. That's why you look at the roster and you say Air Jamaica and make the quick mistake that he's probably gonna is getting killed at, you know, still yeah. from that early touchdown. But guess what? We're not going to make the same mistake ever again because Dakari Mims on special teams, he's made his name especially on offense, and even the 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 kind of you know weird touchdown that that was Huff's run. That's three times in the end zone for a guy that at least now, is definitely going He's viral. He's attributed to 18 of the 31 points of Patterson here today and looking to make this a 33-27 game with the Patterson U taking the lead back here on the first drive of the second half. The crowd is at a fever pitch here today in Asbury Park. And now Kareen Moon in trouble, throws this one, caught oh. on a slide, and there it is, Ski Johnson hitting the slopes. Yeah, and how, how does Kareem Moon fall down and still throw. throw a pretty good pass? And take a look at this replay here, slides oh. that throw, it looked like a flag was thrown, oh. but it was a piece of tape, and just Ski Johnson getting himself a sports center moment, and, money. and a championship level moment, trying to win that $10,000, but also the A7FL championship trophy, which has been provided by our friends at Herf Jones. Dakari Mims has had a great game, but without a great throw there, and we've been saying it all day, Jack, right? If you just put the ball on the money, you got the size mismatch, and it's here's the three on one. And Huff is back on the field, and so is Ashanti Worthy. And this one will go out of the end zone, almost hit right, almost hit our cameraman on the field. You're watching these talented players, and you're wondering, where can I get some of that? And look at this, trying to get some of this action. A big play there by number 23, Daryl Verges, the XXFLer. Shout out to Dwayne Johnson. I will be sending you my resume a little bit later on Real to play. Real quick about Daryl Burgess one time, guys. When I played for SBF, which stands for Super Best Friends, you know, the South Park Super Team. Mm -hmm. I played against BIC when they had Daryl Burgess. I threw for seven touchdowns. Daryl Burgess had 11 carries for nine touchdowns and beat us. <laughs> he was tackled once and went out of bounds the other time. And, and LJ Smith at the start of the season talked about Daryl Verges being a player to watch. We have not he's seen He's always him. that guy that comes in in these moments for BIC because Can he's a guy that changer. played with BIC about six, seven years ago and then made a name for himself and even got on a Giants practice squad. And Verges will be set up to the right. Two wide receivers. Ashanti Worthy at the bottom of your screen. Kaysan Campbell with a lot of room in the slot. And Codrington will roll out Ooh. and get dropped. What a, the first sack of the day, and that one right there. Oh boy. The dot boss, of course, with the sack. Take a look at this we one. We talk about getting undressed. That's mm. a literal undressing. He hockeyed him. He dot gave him, he boss. ripped his jersey. Of course. That's a five, that's a five minute major. Game <laughs> misconduct. Not in football, guys. No, you get a pat, you get, that. you get a pat on the back in football. Somewhere out there in ex-New Orleans <laughs> Saints. Dot boss, and a quote from you, sir, on a great play defensively. I want to win a championship. Ball set on the 10-yard line. Codrington in shotgun. Campbell in motion. Riddick back on the field, joining Worthy and Campbell. Three on the line. And here comes the pressure. In rolling into the end zone. Codrington playing a dangerous game. Will get on his bicycle on this one. Stays upright. Throws this one. And that is gone in the hands of Kaysan Campbell. And he's looking for a call there against the man with the Sonic Old uniform. And that was Kel Gallimore. Oh, it's going we're against We're all the in U. the booth here holding our breath at every moment as Terry Codrington's back there. And right oh, now, no. it looks like he's showing his age because he throws it into coverage oh. and is lucky that Kaysan Campbell is able to get his hands on that. It's going to be roughing the quarterback on oh. Patterson U oh, on the wow. back end of that one. Sterry and with such great games eight. in the past couple of games so oh. far. And now getting we'll the star call, which I call it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm, guys, I grew up watching 90s quarterbacks just get just absolutely murdered in the pocket. Let's just see here. And, and Codrington oh. just finding ways out of the zone, finding <laughs> ways to stay upright. We see here a ball is thrown, and yeah, there's that's that tackle. That's late. You yeah, that's. What? Wow. We're looking downfield. That's that was a very a late hit. And a, and a huge yeah. mistake by the U. And now loading up triplets. Campbell leading the way. Riddick in motion. 
There's the screen to Worthy and a shot to Worthy. Trying to break something off and we'll get to the 35 and we'll get uh, possibly the first down and going right at the dot boss. And that smack talk is not stopping from either side even though they're down five here in the third. On third and 20, we were talking about momentum. The BIC have not held it since 2016. The U held it last year, but they want to right the ship and get the win here. But Starry Codrington looking to play spoiler and will get near BI, near U territory, gets the first down, and it continues to get chippy here in Asbury. Somebody said a word that rhymes with a bad word. And they have a chance now to make that big penalty hurt because had it not been for that roughing the passer, it would have been fourth down. BIC would have been throwing off back to the U. Who and the last one play we lead. remember of Codrington would have been that almost panic throw into yep. coverage, yep. hoping the case on Campbell can this bail game, him out. This game could have been essentially over for all intents and purposes if not for that roughing the passer. And, and it will be first and ten. A lot of offsetting nonsense, it yep. seems like. It's getting tenser and tenser on the field. Dakari Mims has had a great game. You see him now at the bottom of your screen covering a Shanti Worthy one-on-one. -on -one. And both of these teams feeling the pressure here. Which one will bend or break first? There's the toss back. Big opportunity here for the BIC. Try to cut that field, but Ooh. that one will not go in a big McDaniel run there. Driving all the way up from Maryland to play for the Trenton BIC. He played with a team called Army, was a rookie of the year candidate himself, and he shows why Carl Meisner gave him the call to make that trip. And a disciplined run there by the BIC, trying to establish a rhythm here, Corey. Yeah, speed option with Sterry Codrington. The defense reacts to the quarterback and allows for the pitch man to get 20-plus yards and another first and 10. Great drive from BIC. Almost all of it, guys, except for that penalty, has been on the ground. And it feels and smells like Christmas here in Asbury Park as both of these teams are looking to California celebrate. California Christmas. Yeah, it's a Cal it's California Christmas time here. The weather is very California. Asking a shout out to our California division, and uh, Christos, one of the investors in the A7FL, the head of one of the heads of our A7FL San Diego division, joining us here today. Shout out to Millard, who is a beast of a player. Yeah. And even though they got owned in that game, showed that he's maybe one of the best players in this league. Yeah. And we may see one of those teams or one of the new divisions playing right here next summer in Asbury Park. The handoff to Ashanti Worthy breaking the tackle and more, trying to get to the 15 and gets and gets a flatliner for his troubles. People pulling out the Chris Canyon playbook. Yeah, J-Rock trying to get a little extra curricular in there. But I love when I see a guy that can cut it back. Just take it right upfield. Great run by Ashanti Worthy. And if you want to be a part of the A7FL and invest in the future of football, if you're loving what you're seeing right now, and how could you not love the football you're seeing right now from both of these teams, you can be a part of that by heading to a7fl.com slash invest. And, and BIC has been spectacular on the ground today, and they've shown it again in this second half. When they can get that ground attack going, they're dangerous. But, Corey, you said something interesting before. One of these teams is going to have to win throwing the football. It's just going to come down to who. Well, if both of these quarterbacks, which they've shown, which is something that I guess is a blind spot for me, are able to run the ball as they have, Jack, unfortunately, maybe not. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> James Sullivan will be a eligible receiver for Sterry Codrington on second and one, 238 left to go. Long drives here in the third quarter, not what we're used to seeing in the first or second quarter. And the handoff to Worthy, he'll get the first down and more. A shot to Worthy will get into the end zone. Did we'll he see step if he's out. That's what I'm trying to see here. And they call it a touchdown. The toes. And this one Tight will be off the sideline and gives a stank face to the And this one will be a reviewable call. Jack, what'd you see? I thought he for sure stepped out of bounds. We don't have the best angle on it, but... Oh, he's out. He is on that line. He is on the line. That is out of play. And well, fans. you can hear some some Patterson fans <laughs> below us have an they, opinion. I think one of them's Hovito Oh, yeah, Sands. he is out of bounds. And I skew offense, and based on my pick earlier today, guys, I'm going to say that he definitely stayed in bounds. <laughs> I'm buying you glasses for Christmas, friend. Well, a, a doctor a long time ago said my left eye is lazy. Maybe that's uh, it. Maybe, but maybe they, it's too lazy the touchdown, to see the, truth the on touchdown that. will stand. That was, a quick, that was a quick. Hey, 
Matt they have chosen, the the you have chosen not to review it. Riddick for the gram, and the BIC will get the lead on a controversial touchdown thrown to Sterry nice. Codrington Sterry Jr. Codrington on the conversion. more catches than completions today? <laughs> well, let's check that stat from John at the stats desk. Jack, we needed a longer time looking at that maybe, but here comes the throw, and, and the here comes the potential answer from the U. And here comes a chance for the Patterson U. Number 28, Stephen Jones Jr. And they're taken down, but a good run. Once again, Quan, I think he has four tackles on those three-on-ones. And I believe this has been the most, or at least the second most points that have been scored on the U so far this oh, season. Oh, by far. It's probably two, double the amount. Two wide receivers set, three on the line. One next, and Daryl Hard, Hard, Mar, pardon me, Marcus McKinney with it. The throw, and a completion trying to make something happen, and Moon... May have gotten close to the first down, but he will not get it. It'll be just about a two-yard gain. Huff has a lot of tools in the weapon bag. Play action is one of them. And great play after the catch by BIC. But he's wide open on that play because the linebackers in the second level of defense have to respect hard body in the run, and Moon's able to just sneak right behind him. And they'll give it to him second and four. And this BIC defense has been really good today. And now Huff will have to throw this one, gets it off, and that one going to number four. That's Ski Johnson, and they will get the first down. Like, and, the, and, and Johnson a little upset with the officials. So is Matt Riddick. They're not saying that was a first down. They're calling a, a little uh, Bravo Sierra on that one. But it looks like it'll be a first down for the U with 114 Huff left to go. Huff is always so close to the line of scrimmage when he releases the ball. Yeah. How is that not a first down? A yeah, I mean, that's clearly a first down. And even though it is a first down. I think what they were saying down, is that Matt Riddick went low on the tackle and didn't go for the wrap, which is an illegal yeah. tackle in this league. But those skinny guys sometimes get oh, away with and that. It, and it guys. looks like they're going for they're moving it up because of that wrap. They're moving it up because they're saying Riddick didn't go for the wrap tackle. And that will be another huge mental lapse, another huge mistake by the BIC. Hidden yards have been huge, guys. One of the biggest plays in this game is that roughing the passer yep, that the yep. U did. And now, and from both of these teams, they've both been pretty disciplined all season long, so maybe that championship game, those nerves starting to show. It's it's that pressure. The, the, discipline, discipline, discipline. You said it best, Jack. These teams need to be locked in, and right now those small little mistakes have cost huge. And play action. Huff in trouble. Throws this one. That's Picked Rob up Fabian. By the, oh, Rob Fabian. That's take Rob it out. Fabian. Getting a gain of one, but a statement play there. The U staying alive on this drive, but the clock continuing the run. Only a gain of one, but realistically, by getting that pass off, completing it, and not taking the sack, it's more like a net gain of about nine or ten. But guys, if there wasn't quick pressure, that viral guy, the yeah, Kari yep. Mims, wide open again on the play action streak. And Big Rob Fabian, what is he here to do? <laughs> Win a championship. He's also there to at least just catch the ball because after he <laughs> caught the ball, he looked to the sideline like he made a huge highlight play just because he <laughs> caught it. Everybody, now, guy everybody who's was pumped. A, 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 for a guy who's thrown a touchdown to Rob Fabian one time, you got to give the big guy credit. <laughs> it is a thick boy summer. And this will probably yeah, be the last. last play, the third. And in motion. That's number four, Ski Johnson. He'll set out wide, and Huff will just run with this one. Ooh. This one will run out the clock, but Quattrell Huffin stopped and stymied at the 30, and that will be the end of a third quarter that has seen as many ups and downs as the end of the first half. They're down one, but they still got 15 minutes left to show that they're the better team. Huff in trouble, throws this to Big Smoke. Smoke with some time, runs downfield, and will step out of bounds at the 21-yard line. And it will be a first down for the B, for the for the Patterson U. Take you a look a at this play here. Fact, real quick: the last two completions have been to former BIC players. Big Rob Fabian won a championship in 2016 with his running mate, Big Smoke Pat Coburn. Both former BIC players on the U right now. Yeah, and surprisingly, the first time we've called Smokey's name all day. And that's got to be salt in the wound there. Two former BIC players setting up for some uh, really good drives so far by the Patterson U. The first, the first half, we saw nothing but quick drives from both of these teams. Not really meticulous, really long drives. You've seen three to four big plays and then a turnover on downs or a touchdown. And now both of these teams eating up clocks, slowing the pace of the game down, really trying to dictate pace. And, Jack, that that's... Not really what you tend to you tend to see from the U. Yeah, and for the U, this is the first time we've seen them trailing going to the fourth quarter all season long, regardless of it being by one point. It's time to see what they're made of. 
And this is the biggest test of the U so far this year. And it came from the team that pushed them to the brink in the New Jersey State Championship game. And the D-Train rumbling and stumbling. And we're getting a decent gain here. A gain of about four. And it will be second down. Guys, the last time Quatrell Huffin in a full game, at least, has looked this human was in 2019 when they lost to the Immortals. And you know what? CP3, the MVP of that game and the MVP of that season has been on both sides of the ball today. And there's a run to the sw a play action pass and Huff will run with it. And there's a flag on the field. That's one of the few guys in this league that can chase Huff from behind. Matt Riddick playing defense. And it will be a replay of second down and it will be a loss of five. Now the U, they are famous for their, we're here to win a championship quotes. But well, as you can see- five. It's gonna be a 10 yard penalty. We got Matt Riddick. Uh, a primarily offensive player out there playing defense. Kaysan Campbell, primarily offensive player out there playing defense. And he's that... here to win a championship, yeah. but get no, make no mistake, BIC is here for the same thing. And is that just showing respect to the power of the U, or are they just admitting that their secondary has been well, been cooked here today? When you have today? great players, guess what? Sometimes great players have to be in in the, in the meaningful moments in a game. And when these guys that they're covering are as good as they are. It helps when you have two of the best wide receivers knowing what they're looking to do. Looking for an option. Huff will get on his bicycle. Quattro Huffin getting to the 15-yard line. And a big play there from Huff, but will not be enough to get the first down. Yeah. It will be third and about five for the defending A7FL champions. And that's where the penalty hurts you. You know, that's a big gain and normally a first down, almost always. But now with the penalty, it sets him up still a third and seven. And granted, it's almost guaranteed to be four down territory at this point for Patterson U. It, it makes life difficult. And third and six, D-Train set up to the right of Huffin. Two wide receivers, one of them Ski Johnson. The throw swatted down! Daryl Burgess. What a play by Daryl Burgess. On defense, this BIC offensive squad playing two-way ball and stifling him there. Connection dropped. And let me tell you, if there was a dome on this building, he might have jumped straight out of it on both sides of the football today. No matter which way the score ends up going, there are some athletes. The ex-New York Giants showing off and showing out here in a limited capacity so far today for the BIC. But with 12.39 left to go and a fourth and six, down one point. You see the dot boss and number 25 showing themselves as to be eligible receivers. Pardon me, that's number 21. That's hard body. That's hard body Marcus, Marcus McKinney. McKinney. Two wide receivers set in time. Good pocket. Huff. Throws this dot one to boss. the dot boss. Dot boss, of course, gets the first down and more and will be taken out of play around the seven. So On you're fourth so sure-handed. You cover, who, you, you cover Big Smoke. You cover Mims, who's been a baller in this game. You cover Moon. You see D-Trains in the backfield. Oh, wait. We forgot that there's a six foot five athletic <laughs> tight end that's going to release after blocking somebody yeah. and creating a great pocket. So not only, look at it. He's blocking one of the best defensive ends, oh. KWAC. KWAC thinks he makes oh, the play on defense him. getting by. And here we go, and there it is. Touchdown, just beating off the break, not letting us get to the replay. And here we go. The lead shifts again. The Patterson U getting it to Jumpman Rivera. Jumpman, he is up to something, and it's a 39-34 game, Jack. I mean, we couldn't even react to it. We barely <laughs> even got to see the play. Well, here course, we go. Here it was into the end zone. Nice replay here. And oh, what a throw Good by boy. Huff. Oh, my goodness. Fitting it in. Such a small window. And that's just, I mean, that is Patterson U at their best. We haven't seen it a lot today. But right there, that two play sequence, that's Patterson U at their best. And just right past oh. Kaysan Campbell, what the a guy. Throw. A guy who's had a tremendous day here today, Jumpman Rivera, featured by NorthJersey.com in a preview for this game today. A guy who's been a part of this league since probably the very beginning, Corey, and a cornerstone of this U offense. Yeah, we talked about Daryl Burgess on the Giants pack squad. Jumpman was on the Jets. Uh, jumping in the Jets right now, jumping to a five-point lead. Two Big point conversion con attempt. Yeah, going for two here. Big smoke at the bottom of your screen in the slot. In trouble, the throw over to SJ. SJ piling through, knocks through Riddick and gets the points on the board and makes this now a 41-34 game. About, we talk about the three-on-one throw off. That was a three-on-one extra point where SJ had the ball with 10 yards to go and three BIC defenders. And SJ wins for the two-point conversion. 
you find out what's in you when it comes out and that's Marshawn Lynch's credo and that's what you get with Zoombang you get high level protection with a specialized polymer you can learn more at zoombang.com and we're zooming to the conclusion of this championship game and the BIC will get the ball back this one bounces over the head of Ashanti Worthy he picks it up cut trying to cut through Five, finds a way around stays upright but will be stopped at the 10 and a great play there by number eight. And, that's Daryl Mims. And listen, you look at it, they're gonna start with the ball on the 10 yard line. Seems like it's really bad, but just the fact that he recovered that football is a positive for BIC. That could have happened that to been Matt Riddick earlier. Yeah. And if it did, it, we wouldn't have that six, maybe exactly. seven points on the board. This is the one you dream about in the fourth quarter. And Codrington will keep this one on first down, cuts through, finds another running lane, will get a mild gain of about five. Maybe a little less than that, and it will be second down. Finish my point. When I dreamed about a drive in the fourth quarter, I was throwing it. Um, <laughs> Stary, Stary, might, Stary might be running it in this drive, but regardless, if he's at the helm and he converts, maybe they go for two? Yeah. Great job by the youth swarming through the football there, too, not letting him break free like he's been so accustomed to. James Sullivan will be an eligible receiver. He's out there to block Matt. I know, but he he called himself as an eligible receiver. I'm just calling the. I'm when he played with me five years ago, he could catch, and he still can't catch. Case He's on, out there to block. Case on Campbell at the bottom of your screen. Ashanti Worthy will set up next to Sterry Codrington. Watch out for Worthy. Fourth quarter time to unlock that weapon. And watch Stansberry on the line for the BIC. Hands it off to Worthy. Worthy will try to cut up field and will get a moderate gain, if anything, getting to the 19, and it will be third down. And it will be third and four. Codrington snaps. Here comes the pressure. Rolling out to his left. Codrington, like oh. Eli against the Pats, throws this one to... Can't throw it to... Oh, and he an tried to throw it to Kaywak, who is an ineligible receiver. Codrington with the biggest mental lapse of the day. The U offense has been very good in the second half. If it was the first half, maybe I'd be okay with throwing it off, but not now. This U offense is firing on all cylinders. And hard body with a big run there, a gain of about six. It's gonna be like the Mets in 86. There better be security around those goalposts. <laughs> big smoke at the top of your screen. Big pressure here, hard body will get the ball, and a Ooh. big run, but stifled. May not have gotten the first down, but keeps oh. the ball moving here, and it will be third down. That's a big hit by the defensive lineman there. Yeah, and hard body's a huge man. He's actually one an extreme athlete that can also himself do a back handspring into a backflip if he scores. The Royal Rooters of but either third team. third and four, huge play for BIC. And the screen faked, Huff in trouble. Quattrell Huffin on his bicycle oh. and will get the first down but gets planted at the 40 and the clock will still run. Interesting hesitation there because Huff certainly had that first down. I think he was looking for the touchdown but he's happy to take the first and it'll be first and 10 as the U feels real comfortable with seven minutes left in this yeah, game. Now, a lot to play, yeah. but, but this is, is what they think nightmare. that they've earned. The clock is your biggest enemy if you're BIC here. It just continues to run down, and not only now, if, if, if Patterson U punches one in, not only do you have to score twice, but you have to stop Patterson U as well. And they rush here. Quattro Huffin moves the ball downfield, and there's a stop by number 26. That's what I was saying before. When they brought in hard body to run the ball, they're almost making it worse for themselves. In the, in the formation they're in, they've had success all day with Huff just back there as the single potential ball carrier because you have to honor the wide receivers with at least one-on-one -on -one coverage. And Huff is able to immediately attack the edge, gain yards, and another easy first down for the U offense. Clavon Radcliffe was with the tackle. It'll be first and 10. The BIC only have one timeout left. And remember, folks, the U have not given up a turnover the entire playoffs. Matt Riddick trying to sneak in there. He's skinny enough, but he's too tall. <laughs> and it will be first and 10. You check that blitz there from Riddick. He'll pitch back. And now Huff in trouble. Throws it, caught oh. one-handed by the Don Boss, of course. And he gets the first down. Are you kidding me? No one that big should be able to make a catch like that. And no one that great at football should be as unselfish as the Dot Boss is. But he just makes plays when his team needs him. And let's give credit to Matt Riddick, who is outweighed there probably by at least 150, maybe 200 pounds total. And he hangs on for the touchdown saving tackle. And but it's you, still first down for the U. And that one looked very hairy there for the Patterson U at a timeout. 
call by the U, I believe. That'll be their second charge timeout, or is that was an official timeout? Yeah, BIC did everything that they needed to do to keep Quattrell Huffman from running on that play. It's and just time will call he back. He does this in. thing sometimes called passing, <laughs> and sometimes he uses this guy called Dot Boss. Of course. Of course. And, and guess what he wants? He wants to win a championship. Not only does he want so. it, but that's what he's here for. <laughs> yeah, and they are six minutes and seven seconds away from their second consecutive championship. The Patterson U in their third straight A7FL championship game. The BIC in their first championship game since 2016, winning their only A7FL title to date. They are looking to right that wrong here today. But historically, the Patterson U have won six times between these two teams. The BIC only two. This is the ninth meeting between these two teams. And history on the toss here. Here to Kareen Moon. But Moon gets stifled oh. and brought down by Kaysan Campbell. So now here you go. A, a big stop on first down. Brings up second and long. 540 to play. This is your opportunity if you're BIC. If you give up another first down here, the odds are looking slimmer and slimmer every play, but this is a chance to really give yourself a good shot yeah, to tie BIC the has a tall task. Not only do they have to stop the U, which has really been tough all season, they have to score on the U, which has been really tough all season, and at minimum, they have to get that one-point conversion. Yeah. I want to see if they have the cojones, if they, if they get six points on the two. board to go for two. Well, and if they get one and or if they get the two, back. they have to get another Play stop. action. Huff throws this one deep into the end zone. Can oh. he come up with it? He holds on to of the course. ball. It's the dot boss, of course. And it is now 47-34. And that rock has just been a little harder to push uphill. And if, if anyone has a Shanti today, it's a Shanti worthy. But let's give an a Shanti to that snag. Ooh. JJ does everything he can to try to get it out of those enormous hands, but they're just too strong, young man. And too strong. A 13-point game, a two-possession game, but yet again, remember, folks, the clock does not run on the three-on-one throw-off. So a lot can happen in the space of that return. We might see it run back, but it all hinges right now yeah. on this one point conversion. It was two minutes, 15 seconds, yeah. guys. It was 13, 12. We ended the half at 27 to 25. So those last two minutes, we still got plenty of ball left to play, guys. Yeah, and, and if BIC wants to win this one, I think we're gonna need to see at least, we're gonna have to see either a throw off return or at least one big play. So, and here comes Kareen Moon. Moon running and not able to get there with five. Oh, oh. oh, the ball comes loose, but the whistle will blow it dead. SJ not able to get that one. And now they take Huff off the field. Huff was out there trying to, it seemed like, throw it out of the back of the end zone, but the wind was pushing against them, so now they take Huff out. And here comes Ashanti Worthy. Worthy will get to the 50. He'll cut through one defender. What a play by Ashanti Worthy. Worthy hits the truck stick and will be taken out of play at the four, the 36. Whoa. And, and he showed off some of the strength there, too, on the tail end of that, just pushing for another three or four yards. And as we take another look, it's not a return for a touchdown. No. But that's another 40 yards that they wouldn't have had and it makes it much more manageable with five minutes to play. You gotta imagine, you gotta give yourself three minutes for a Patterson U drive to get a stop, and then you need to score the ball. So, or, and if on that, or they try to pooch it on that throw off. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on right here with only five minutes left to play, and Jack. That you, that you prediction looking really tight right now, but you never bet against the Trenton BIC. Yeah, no, and we know BIC can put up points in a hurry. We've seen how the throw-offs can play such a huge factor in comebacks with that clock not running. So the game is not over yet, but it, BIC's got to pick it up quick. And it will be first and 10 here, 5.03 left to go. The season and $10,000 hanging in the balance for this Trenton BIC team, down two scores. Jack Bartek and Matt Ryan bringing you the action. We've got Corey Hammond on the field, getting ready to present that A7FL championship trophy. 
And right now, you see Courage Mosey consider calling out that he is an eligible receiver. And you see Ashanti Worthy and Steri Codrington talking things over. Four on the line, including Mosey. Two wide receivers, Kaysan Campbell and Ashanti Worthy at the bottom of your screen. Looks like no safety help. And here comes the pass. An opportunity for Codrington. Codrington in trouble and once again will be stacked and sacked by the Patterson U. Codrington caught up in the spotlight, giving it all he's got, but falling under the might of the Patterson U defense. And Josh McWilliams getting back there. He was the man who took him down along with some help, but if Codrington could have gotten out of that pocket, he had two one-on-ones with Campbell and Worthy. Loss of five to throw to Kaysan Campbell. Campbell cutting across field, cuts under. Kaysan Campbell looking to make himself famous, stays upright, gets to the 30 and will run out of play, but will get himself a first down and more, and it will be 4.02 left to go here in the fourth. And you could tell by the way they're trying to extend these plays how BIC knows how important it is to get a big play touchdown down here, but it's not as easy as it looks with the athletes on this Patterson U defense. And it will be set first and 10. Ball on the third of the 31 yard line. The ball was placed out at the 31. We get a whistle here. And the officials looking like this talk things over, trying to get the clock was running on the big scoreboard, not the official scoreboard on your screen. And we see here again that play by Kaysan Campbell. Campbell showing up and showing out here. The rookie playing like a veteran from your uh, from your alma mater, Montclair State. Yeah, former Red Hawk, and he's been great for them this year. Hasn't been able to do too much today, but Neither of these two teams have been great through the air as they usually are, so. Trying to say, I think that's Umar yeah, Lewis Umar in there. Lewis. Umar Lewis in for Ashanti Worthy. Three wide receivers set. Campbell and Riddick at the bottom of your screen. Codrington will throw this one to Campbell. He'll catch it and go out of bounds with 2.34 left to go, and that will stop the clock. So they get the first, and they keep, oh, it will not stop the, clock, they keep the game alive, which was the most important factor at this time. And now you got to punch it in, which becomes the, the biggest factor. And but you, you Hurry up at, offense. Sorry there, Jack, but the throw to Campbell again. Kaysan Campbell with time, cutting up field. Kaysan Campbell breaking through the line and stopped at the five. And we will go to the two-minute warning here. What a play from Kaysan Campbell. Hey, yeah, huge play from Campbell, but it, it, potentially even bigger tackle there to keep him out of the end zone, force them to use the two-minute warning right here. But a great play by Campbell. He's so shifty. And Patterson, you lucky he didn't find and the that, blue turf right there. And Kel Gallimore with the tackle there, stopping it at the five yard line. Now, pardon me, you. Seven yard lines where the ball will be spotted. Two minutes left to go. 13 point differential between the BIC and the Patterson U. Matt Riddick set up at the top of your screen. Case on Campbell at the bottom. Umar Lewis in the slot. Sterry Codrington with three men on the line and a pressure from this U defense. Switching places is Lewis. He'll be setting up as a pseudo tight end. And Codrington, ball knocked out. The ball's knocked loose. Big pickup and a stop. And that one right there by Air Jamaica lighting it up. It may not be 420, but the U blazing on defense. And, and we have an official whistle back near the original line of scrimmage. I don't know if they're gonna call this one back. Sterry having a conversation with the official. And it is getting contentious here. Air Jamaica with the setup by number nine. That was Kareen Moon setting up the tackle. And Patterson, you can taste it right now. I mean, regardless of if they call that a fumble or not. And they will not call it a fumble. Wow. It looks like they are they're quibbling over where the ball was placed and what the official call is. So a little bit of luck there for BIC, but still now a minute 54 seconds left. Got to punch it in, and the clock is going to be running. And the U furious at that call. Furious at that call. Let's take a look again on the replay. Brought down. Oh. That, ooh, that knee is real close. You could call that a sack either way. A great play by the U and the fate on the side of the BIC here in what you know could arguably be arguably be a three score game that is a two score game with a minute 54 left to go and let's take a look again at this on the replay 
We just don't have. Watch that knee. Why? Oh, oh no. Oh, wow. wow. And that looked like it was out unless, I mean, that would have been the quickest forward progress call I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. So it looks like they might have missed that one, but I don't believe they can challenge at this point in the game. It would and have to be an official it, review. The, the fumble, the knee was not down, but. Clock starts again. Here comes a chance on first and goal. Codrington with time, now under pressure oh. and brought down at the 19. Timeout called and that will be the last lifeline for the BIC. Oh man. And, and it's and just one after another. I mean, Codrington had all day here to throw, but the coverage was there. So it just seems like Patterson U is firing on all cylinders. We knew that BIC could stay with them, but I just felt like Patterson U was going to be able to throw that final blow, and this is it. They are putting on that combo, head, body, head, and finishing BIC in the most crucial moments of the ball game. And with third and goal, ball placed on the 19-yard line, 47 to 34, your score. It could be the last act of a desperate man or the first act of Henry V. We don't know. Right here, right now at 95 seconds left to go. Codrington playing a lot closer. No, he'll step back about five yards. Two sacks for Codrington on this drive on back-to-back -back plays. This BIC line looking to hold. Codrington looking for an option, looking for something, and he may just have to get on his bicycle, but he is looking to throw, throws cross body to the end zone, caught, Matt Riddick, touchdown! Matt Riddick, time is not on their side, but the scoreboard a little friendlier, making this one a 40 to 47 game. And let's take a look at this one. Codrington just looking for something, looking for a sign of life. And instead of running it, the man who has been the rookie sensation for this team, throwing to the two-time MVP, and Matt Riddick keeping the hope alive for the BIC. So a great play there. They punch it in, and, and they take care of the most pressing issue, which is scoring first. But now you look at the clock, a minute and 18 seconds left. If I'm not mistaken, with no timeouts left, they don't, Patterson U doesn't even need a first down. They could kneel out the clock and this one would be over. So it comes down to that three on one throw off. They're gonna need to get some crazy bounce out of that football or a mistake from Patterson U to get it back. But we have seen that happen before. We have. Riddick will be in. A lot, uh, Umar Lewis and Codrington to your right. Top of your screen is Kaysan Campbell. Looking to make this a six point game. Try to tie it with a touchdown, Riddick. Might be trying to do it for the Graham. He is at the 30. He is just scaling all the way back. What Riddick will just run it now, and he will clear himself enough room behind the back and con <laughs> My Kaysan Campbell. What? Oh, just man. what? That is outrageous. How? What? Let's take a look again on the replay. Riddick just on his back foot the entire time, lulling the defense into a false state of secure, security. Big block there on number five, and then just throwing, just finding the time behind the back. Perfect ball. Just a beautifully thrown ball right to Kaysan Campbell, making this a six point game. Patterson U is just a powerhouse, and that's what it came down to. For BIC, I think there's a lot of positives in this and a lot that they can build off of. We said it, they are essentially the up and coming you. They're building off yep. that same blueprint. They have the young talent and you know, with the showing that they've put on this year, maybe they can add more in the off season, but as sharp as normal, but 14 rushes, 180 yards and two touchdowns, and then through the air, 11 of 24, 179 yards, and three touchdowns. So that's him not being sharp, but yeah. still, he was the best player on the field, and the reason that Patterson U is coming out. And I'm here with the 2021 A7FL champions. I'm joined here with presumptive, and let's be honest, he's going to be MVP of this league. We know how unselfish you are, Huff. I had to fight him to get him to stand here. But tell me how this feels after a great season. It felt good after all the doubters said we couldn't do it, but people don't know we ain't lose a game since 2019. 
We number one in the nation. We won't. We with whatever. You guys d came out here and played a tough BIC team. You demolished teams from Baltimore, from Florida. If you played California, I guaranteed you win. What message do you have now that the 2021 championship over here, brought to you by Herf Jones, is going to be handed over to you, going into next year, 2022? We don't have no message. We the champions. And they've been saying it all year, right? They're here to win the championship. And as you can see, the team behind me, they've done it. Congratulations, you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Back to you guys up there. Matt, it has been an absolute pleasure. I want to thank you. I want to thank LJ Smith. I want to thank Corey Hammond, all the teams and the players, the entire production team. It has been an absolute blast and we capped it off with a great national championship game. And at the end of it all, the team that looked to run the table in 2020 ran it again. The A7FL season is over, but we can't wait till 2022. Can the U run it back one more time? Join us and find out. So long from Asbury Park. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like, follow, and share on our Facebook page at A7FL TV. soccer out of the game we're just throwing it and it allows for the dynamic of open field return that you're about to see some of our most viral plays have been from this play and this is the player that's made them so here's a shanti worthy to start the 2023 season we and go. worthy will get the ball he'll come to the 25 he'll come Ain't to the no defenders no grand host. opening grand, grand closing and he is waving bye, everybody bye. down the sideline a shanti worthy starting the bye, season bye. with an exclamation point and a backflip so into the end and if you wanted a statement on opening day, first throw of the year, BIC says we are here. We didn't go anywhere. And just to break down what happens, most of the time on these three-on-one wow. guys, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, a lot of times Ashanti Worthy is going to do that hesitation game. So the Renegades weren't prepared for him to just take off the middle of the field, break the contain, break the tackles, and the easiest score maybe of, of his career so far. But as this BIC wow. team has shown... They're here to potentially pile it on if they <laughs> oh start with no goodness. time off the clock, 6 nothing. And that's the beauty of our game, to start the game as if they gave you a free six points. The Codrington will be set up from the six. It is case on Campbell, top of your screen. Three wide receiver set, the snap, Ooh. coming a little early. Ooh. Throw, caught, oh, and he Ooh. catches it, gets in there. We'll I, see what the I call is. Was in. They and said no. They didn't cross the line. Oh, wow. That'll be close. I don't know if BIC this early is going to waste a, a challenge, but that is points off the board. I wouldn't waste the challenge, but I definitely thought he was in. Now, it, it, there was a hesitation case on Campbell. Didn't catch it on the first, you know, attempt there, but. And maybe that's why they call it. But I do want to want to point something out. The new players on BIC, that's the first time they got on offense. And I watched someone get pushed back because I guess they didn't realize this isn't anything else that they've ever played before. This You're is talking about different. your guy, number 18, right? Oh, 100%. Davis. He definitely got a little shocker there, but well, for, I have a little faith in him. For a guy who's nicknamed to us, and we'll, we'll adjust that, is Gloves. Yeah, I'm sure that blocking that. isn't his number one priority, but uh, <laughs> if he's going to be taking on Dondre Haynes, number 44, uh, for the Renegades at defensive end, he's going he's gonna to have to bring those blocking gloves with that extra padding, Rob. You know all about that. For sure. It's six to nothing here in the early going. Looks like oh. Khalil Green. And we didn't even run any time off the clock oh. yet. It's an untimed down, and Khalil Green <laughs> stepping onto the field for the first time as a renegade. Wow. And we'll get to the 45 yard line. And BIC's kick kickoff team is just too good to like I mean Khalil is great. 
at the kickoff game, but you're dealing with an elite special teams team in this BIC kickoff team. Well, it was interesting to see. They, they went with a line drive throwoff, which allowed for Khalil to get to the 45 even before it really looked like there was any kind of pressure on him. So we'll see how that advances. I mean, the wind is blowing here off this little nice little inlet in beautiful Asbury Park. But it'll be first and ten for the Renegades. And it will be first and ten for the Renegades. The clock will start here in Asbury Park Stadium. And CP is almost unrecognizable without the long hair. CP set up in the shotgun set, set up to the right. They're in a twin set. That's Abe Ilbana in motion. The snap, the handoff to Mike Liberty, and Liberty will get two yards and a cloud of pellets, and it will be second and eight. It's going to be very tough trying to run the ball against KWAC, Dwan Williams, Verardi, and Ole. I can't even believe I'm saying that, but Ole, that front four is disgusting. I yeah, wouldn't that, know what to do against that. And, 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 and like there's Luke, new rules in Luke the A7FL, too, too, that just knew if your hair comes down to below your nameplate and it's not tucked in, you can be tackled by your hair now. Right. There's... Well, Liberty in the offseason was growing that Vidal Sassoon hair. <laughs> oh, that's that's change, a that's a dollar in the reference jar. After the rule change, you see that he did get the haircut just oh like CP3. Just look at that front four. 13 and change. They are looking to send the entire city of Trenton. The snap off the screen and Liberty just a bit outside and it will be third down. You see big angry number 99 set up on the line. The snap on third down. Ooh. Pressure and CP3 will run it. He'll use his legs. He'll get to the first down marker and cross the Rubicon and run out of play at the 44 and that's yard what's, line. That's what CP3 is known for. Shouts out to Big Angry with the great block on Verardi. This is what I'm watching. I'm watching to see who are, who are going to be the ones to line up against these guys and show other teams how to slow them down and stop them. Well, on third down, if you're the Renegades, you look at your roster, one of the best guys to go to is Dondre Haynes, six foot seven, 270-pound athletic tight end. And what they do is they almost double-team him. Two guys go with Dondre in the route, which the trips was at the top of the screen, gives CP3 the room to run for the first down at the bottom of your screen. And it'll bring up first down for the Renegades. We've They're got games, move. games all afternoon long here on A7FL.TV. <laughs> and uh, checking on the line to snap. Hand off to Green, and he oh will my. get to the 30, uh, pardon me, the 41 and brought down. It will be second down. You see what Dondre did to KWAC? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> did. Uh, this league is about matchups, guys. Just in case you didn't know, it's about matchups. BIC is, is the better team on paper. But when you're out there and only seven people can play, there's a lot of jerseys on that BIC sideline, but only seven can play at a time. Right. And that actually starts to, to show. And one of, the, one of the, those, those names on the sideline at this exact moment is Ferrari. So, yes, they have a lot of depth. They got a guy in Andrew Levine, number 44, that's got a lot of experience in this league, you know, playing at a high level. Playing with Psycho, that is – I didn't think I would see that. And they got Psycho in there, ex. Uh, John Columbia, I call him Master Chief. Second and 15. The snap. Price with time. Oh Throws my it goodness. in. Out of the. How do you miss? Oh, my goodness. How do you miss DeAndre what? Haynes, number 44, the captain of the team, the biggest tight end to this point in the A7? Oh, my. Corey, please, please give me an analysis because I'm annoyed. What Sometimes was that? Sometimes the hardest throw to make is the guy that's wide open because you don't <laughs> know where to throw it away. It brings up third and 15, and hopefully. All of the momentum from this great drive so far with the Renegades doesn't go out of their sails <coughs> seeing that their quarterback can't complete the pass downfield. And, guys, when it comes to offense for the Renegades, they were minus 56 points. They were Their plus-minus was minus 56 <laughs> in 2022. Well, they did play the U twice. That is true. In back-to-back -back weeks. On third down, and, and Price three. will cut through. Oh, the me. only way this offense can get life and gets taken down. That could affect them later on in this game, especially if the, if the Renegades can convert and somehow find a way to take the lead if they get one of the extra points. From the, so from the so let me two. hit you with this. The best parts about both of these teams hasn't really touched the field. BIC's offense and the Renegades' defense. And we have a game. And it's first and goal. Wow. Looks for a lane and bottled up immediately. Tackled by his his brother, his brother in arms, KWAC. Why you do that? 
And maybe CP asks him later why he did that, but it'll bring up second and goal from about the seven. See, when CP runs... It's a bad play call, though. A lot of the times he's running and gaining a lot of yards is when it's a designed pass because the, uh, the defense spreads out to cover the receivers. Right. When you do a designed run with CP, you better block it right because it's basically a running back play, and that's not necessarily been the position and the style of runs that he's been successful on. But on this second and goal... Just to remind the fans at home, there are no kicks. There is no kicking. So for the Renegades to score on this drive, even though it's been a great drive so far, they have to punch it in with a football play, and they'll have three more downs to do it. The snap. Great blocking. Great blocking. Price throws it. Wow. Tipped. Wow. And, and the birdie was there. That's going to hurt. The quarterback has time for the Renegades. Whoever it is. The quarterback has time. It's just it. It now we have to find out who's going to deliver the ball on those pass plays, because Liberty was there. Yes, he could have caught that. Maybe he should have caught that. That's twelve points, Corey. But that's points left on the no, board. That's twelve points left on the board, Corey. But he also converted the third and long. Cool, but that's twelve points against a team like BIC, who's do, who's slow starting. Slow starting. Their offense hasn't even touched the field Slow yet. starting. They Slow scored, starting. They scored a touchdown before a the second. Defense, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the clock still read 15. They had a touchdown. They spotted him with six. Oh, man. It'll be third and goal from the seven. Oh, I don't like this defense. Takes off. I told you. Touchdown, I told Renegade. You. I don't like this defense. You can't put a guy that and size in the middle. he up the fist. Ooh, he did? He threw up the oh. fist because this is his first game in a different jersey since leaving BIC. But, you know, he misses the pass just like he did on the last series of downs. And he makes the run. I mean, you got to take both. You have to. You can't, you can't have, you can't, you know, can't be upset that he misses the pass when he's able to make that play. And that's who CP3 has been. And that's the dangers with a guy like Corey Pratt. He's a two-time A7FL champion. Let's not overlook that. He helped this team last year get to that championship. Especially in moments like this. Exactly. And he w helped me win my championship in 2016. So I mean, let's not. did it. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Mostly. So, Let's, let's really not forget who that guy is and what he brings to a team like the Renegades to make him this competitive against the f the defending champs. Well, and, and now again, just to remind the fans at home, after a touchdown and a great touchdown run by CP3, you have to go for the extra point with a football play. They're going to go for the one point with a f from the five-yard line, and if they convert this, they'll take the early lead here with 152 left in the first quarter. I'm telling you. Dondre Haynes in motion. Flag. And we'll see what the call is there. False start offense. I'm not sure if it's going to be a legal procedure because of the motion was bad, but that will be a five-yard penalty. They'll still be going for the extra point, just the rare one-pointer from the from the 10. <laughs> from the 10. The old elusive one-pointer from the 10, guys. The one-pointer from the 10, and we want to thank everybody for joining us here on A7FL.TV and zone and apologize for... Technical difficulty. See, what had happened was <laughs> I had a lot of jam before the game, and I literally jammed up the works. I accidentally spilled an entire case of jam. A case a of case jam. A case of jam. A case of raspberry jam. The snap. Price throws over the middle. Wow, caught. what a catch. And the BIC. Woo! And CP has a lot to say to that BIC sideline. Oh, the BIC are now Woo! behind. <laughs> Seven to six, and Ooh! CP3 throws up the fist. Ladies, gentlemen, fellow humans, we've got ourselves a football game. <laughs> because John Columbia, he's pissed. Oh, my the, goodness. But, guys, guys, we haven't seen Sterry Codron. Not yet. yet. That's what I'm saying. The best parts of both teams have not touched the field. Well, the best part, well, well, Ashante Worthy. Uh, yeah. Well, but we don't, also, we don't count it him. took the Renegades. The full quarter. Almost 14, 13 minutes and wow. 8 seconds. To score. To score six, seven points. We have no monitor up here because oh. of the jam incident. Right. The j <laughs> and, and what type of jam? Was it, was it, oh, it was raspberry jam. It was raspberry jam. That's why the tang. Ooh. We were Look, in Tang Town. He lets it sail. And it gets to the 15. Ashante Worthy that's, with the ball now. He'll get to the 20-yard line. He'll cut around, and he will say, No, nah, son, you think you can wow. score on me? Bye, I'm scoring on you bye. twice. Offense ain't touching the field unless I say so. Wow. Touchdown, B-I-C. So, Rob, how'd that go? How'd that, that conversation the sideline go? Ashanti, we need to get the offense in. We need to get in a rhythm. No. Nope. <laughs> as soon as Dondre Haynes missed that first attempt, and he's one, of the, he's one of the elite 
to three on one players because he can throw it far enough and he can cover a lot of space. And in the last matchup in twenty twenty one, he was actually making tackles on those situations. And this <laughs> this <laughs> might but here's the here's different. the thing. This might actually be a problem. Scoring that fast and your defense isn't able to stop the op- opposing team's offense, that creates a problem, Corey. He's at the bottom of your screen on the right on the left hand side. The snap oh goodness, immediately the pressure, in trouble. The pressure, ball comes and the ball out. comes out. And that's a live ball, and the BIC still have it. There's a whistle. Markai with the recovery. His name is Markai, not Marky. <laughs> But the Renegades are chippy, and again, I'm trying to tell wow. you guys, after winning the chip, the very next game we played together as a team was one of the toughest games we played. Mm-hmm. It, I couldn't tell you why, but the urgency, like you said earlier, Corey, it just wasn't there. We did our job already. Now we're here defending, and these guys smell blood in the water. They want to deep throw. It, heavy, heavy is the head that wears the crown. Yep. And after the fumble... He makes sure he brings his the quarterback down, and that's a that's a dangerous type play that hypothetically could have been a situation where BIC has and, is and maybe someone call that a German a suplex. Right, I get that, but as in, in a fast paced game where you might not he might not even saw that the ball came out. Yeah, well, he was just trying to make the sack. I think most importantly, if the Renegades can consistently get that type of pressure, what in the this world? This is going to be an interesting game. That's a free return. Yeah, that'll be a free Khalil return. Green. That one will bounce. In, yeah, that one was thrown. That was a duck. And Trey Cohen always giving full effort, even though there was no chance on that play. Trey Cohen, who's probably one of the best kickoff defenders. We, we really don't talk about kickoff defenders that well because Ashante and, cooks them all. And but. an interesting point here from Mr. Dagger Status on A7FL.TV, no Courage Mosey. Not yet. Uh, well, you, you he's should got, He's going to be know. there at some point. He'll he's be there soon. And since, the, since the time's ticked down so quickly in this first quarter, we should probably expect the – ETA a little bit later on in the game than the regular <laughs> second quarter starts. I mean, He's going to show up at 4.05 and... What would they need Courage Mosey for right now? The offense hasn't touched the field. Exactly. They, <laughs> <laughs> he's probably in, in the... Hold from on. the dead Hold run, on. Khalil Green Slam. will cut to the sideline, mm. but Trey Cohen will follow him into the Listen. dark, into the 50-yard line. It'll be first and 10. Fair warning for any team that decides to kick return against BIC. Trey Cohen is not the one you want to run into yeah, like no. that. He's going to make the tackle. Don't test him. And we'll turn here. The snap. Price in trouble. Throws it to DeAndre Haynes. Big body. And we'll get the first down. We'll get to the 39. And that's the second or third uh, positive pass play we've seen from Corey Price. It's been nothing but positivity for CP3 today. Well, he's been running the ball. The the thing is he's been mistiming receivers. Mm -hmm. He's been out of sync with some of the guys. He missed DeAndre Haynes on a touchdown ball on that first drive. We can see that they're keeping up stride for stride, and mm-hmm. we're counting down here with 15 seconds left to go in the first. To, and to be fair, CP knows this defense. Yeah, he was on the championship team last year. But if you have the Bell, if you have the Bell brother, if you have the Bell brothers on your defensive line, mm. how do you not flex out Verardi and Columbia, send them off the edge? I'll tell you what's happening. If they score again on this drive, I will tell you what's happening. And it's 12 to 7 at the end of the first quarter. BIC with the lead. And, and at the bottom of your screen, it might look like a mismatch with that tight coverage, but when you see Matt Riddick, the king, out there on Abe, um, that's the one time I see a, a receiver get <laughs> pressed that I'm not trying to test yeah. that. Now. But look at the dysfunction on the line right there. Yeah, yeah BIC is not clicking it's right now. Renegade, the Renegades came into this game, and what they were going to do is move Dondre Haynes around because he's so impactful every play you gotta find out what to do with him and on the run to oh, Liberty wow. cut to the outside Bell tried to get him and Liberty so, will be forced out after a gain of about four and it will be second down slight theory slight theory BIC's defensive line is suffering from the same thing BIC's defensive line always suffered from they're small they're not a bunch of big guys and BIC is relying on speed and technique to outman these behemoths on the Renegades offensive line. These guys are getting that step. They're not scared of anybody in front of them. They're getting that step. They're getting that push. Ole and Verardi are taking themselves out of the play by going outside too far. Stacked on the line. Two wide receivers set. Haynes set up at the tight end. The snap. Block, block, block. Will roll to his right. Thrown, oh. and that one's in the dirt. CP has to get it there. Is it yeah. that in- We've heard about an injury to the hand. 
mm. for CP3. Well, I don't see any tape or anything on it. I, I know that there's something going on. We actually had personal conversation with it, but I'm not going to report it if he's out there. He's playing. I, I know that he's limited with some of the things he's doing. And how, how disappointing is it for Corey Price after – Scoring on that first right. drive, going three, you know, ostensibly three and out here. Yeah, well, it, it's tough. It's going to be a tough pill to swallow because this can be the one that changes the game well, and, and puts Terry Cotton out there. And this is always going to be, even if the Renegades somehow were able to keep up with BIC, this is this was always going to be a sixty minute game. And Matt Riddick will get the alleged return here, but that will go out of play, and they'll mark it at the twenty yard line. For so the first it, time in how long? 21. If first time in eight months, <laughs> Sterry Codrington and the BIC offense will take the field, it's just not fair. The, and, and he's a former Offensive Player of the Year candidate, one of the most viral superstars in the history of the A7FL. Shante Worthy in motion. He'll feign out and he'll set up to the left. A handoff to the ice cream truck. Ice cream truck um, will... Oof. Immediately met by that ravenous defensive line. Yeah, Trey brought Baskerville, down. number 15. Malik the Predator is going to get yeah, in listen, there, number 34. Malik the Predator is not a joke. This is a guy who's been in the league for a very long time. He was kicking my behind when I was young, <laughs> and he's kicking these guys behind still. That's Malik uh, Brown on the tackle. Malik Brown. Oh, yeah, and, then, and, and it'll then be second down. The, can't make a mistake here, though. This is no. very, this is very critical. This drive is super critical because this is going to be well, the be one. They put eight up on the board. It's twenty to seven. And, and, exactly. And, and now how we're long did it take? How long did it long. take the Renegades to score their first touchdown? <laughs> Way they, too they, long. They, if, if it goes by that rate, they took a whole quarter to do it the first time. Three on the line. One tight end, two wide receivers. The snap, the screen. That's cut through. Oh, this is trouble. Uh -oh. And here comes an opportunity headed right down the sideline. That's Great a shot day worthy. Great and tackle by number inside. 11. We'll get inside the 15. That's D'Angelo Brown. That's D'Angelo Brown? Pretty sure. That's Haynes? Yeah, it's D'Angelo. Normally you could tell because he's, uh, he's got his long hair and those weird ponytails that make him look like Mickey Mouse. But that's a good play <laughs> to get him out of bounds because that looked like it could have been a touchdown. Oh, for sure. Codrington on first down, in motion. And there's a handoff uh, on the jet uh, sweep. Woo. Yeah, the Renegades came here to play. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And number 15. Oh, my goodness. That's Trey Baskerville, a.k.a. Mr. Do Everything with Listen. the tackle. And that's the guy that they've been telling us is going to be one of the impact rookies He's of the year. He's asking for someone on BIC's sideline to come in and block him then if he's, if he's so bad. He also, drives, he also drives a car with cheetah prints on it. It's an insane car. It's an insane <laughs> car. Why so let's wouldn't be honest. he, though? Let's <laughs> be Why honest. wouldn't he? I think his actual, like, day job is is escort. Like, for real. <laughs> like, Trey Baskerville is one of the most interesting personalities in the A7FL, and I think the Renegades continue to get He's a man of leisure. Year. They don't have to win it this year. They want to, and that's a big difference. Very big difference. Bell in motion. Play action. Codring. Trey Baskerville. Gets blocked oh my down goodness. by Baskerville. Oh, my goodness. Another play from number 15, Trey Baskerville, and it will be third down. Wow. Correction, fourth down. And he's calling him off. He's, he's saying he's still going for it. And I have a theory of respecting the game, and it will respect you. I'm, I'm a little nervous this for this call. And look at this. Both teams eating wow. up the clock. Other than, other than Ashanti Worthy, Right now, the Renegades are, have been better than BIC. 100%. It just so happens that Ashanti Worthy has accounted for 12 points. Is the best player in the, the league clock. right now. <laughs> yeah, As absolutely. of right now. First game of the year, right? And by the way, he's at the bottom of your screen with single coverage on third Oh, you can just run a post route and he's got it. You can he's... probably run a quick screen and he's got it. The snap. Codrington. Not a lot of time. There's that screen. The sh oh, Codrington! Hush, hush, hush. They got him. Through, they got but him. He will not get oh, there. My and goodness. a turnover on downs wow. for the, reta the retaining champions, the defending champions. Well, the stick said it was third, so that's going to oh, be. Oh, it was I definitely. It, is it, is, it was fourth. Four it was third and 14. Oh, it I'm will seeing. be fourth down now. Oof. The sticks got it wrong. So it'll be fourth down now. I want to get his name. They got to go for it here. I want to get that man's name, rank, and serial number. Wow. Yeah, let him got, later. You got to go from Ashanti Worthy to Matt Riddick at the bottom of your screen. The snap. Codrington. Oh, my goodness. He stays upright. Codrington will get the first down and, and get inside is. the wow. 10. And, and that's, what's, that's wow. what we haven't seen from so far. For we haven't Codrington. seen. It looks and, like he's been too comfortable, almost like he's not trying to compete in the running game. Yeah, no. He has there, to. Once he turns it on, he competes. He breaks contain. That's, why, that's, that's who what he's gonna, been. That's what's made him dangerous for two seasons straight. Why Why not continue that? And at halftime, we'll. We'll go through our some of our receipts in a new segment we uh, call Keeping Receipts. They and caught them lacking. 
Caught him live. Let's slide. That's three. one of the house of Shante Worthy making it a two that's score three. game. The clock will Yo, stop. Man. Rob, that's one of at those. At three, three, three point three. Wow. That's one of those Whoa. that everybody knew. It's <laughs> <laughs> getting spooky. At least, it's not, at least it's not double that. Then we get even spookier. But that's one of those that everybody knew that They'll someone needed to cover Ashanti Worthy, right? Everybody knew that someone needed to do it. It's just that when the Renegades were talking to themselves, they were assigning the other guy to be. Oh, yeah, no, 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 got him, got him, got him, got him, need him, got him, need him, want him, got him, need him. And then nobody lines up in front of him, and then Steri Kajan gets his first touchdown pass of the season. And just for a tally for those playing at home, How that is now Ashanti's third of the season, and, and we have not two yet of them. That hold on, two of them were without Steri Codrington. Yeah. Two, two of them Let's were just, out any time off yeah, the clock. Listen, <laughs> that, that kid came back and is better than he was in the last two seasons, if you can believe that. Shout out to some of these guys in all this gear that's really oh, the important snow tribe. to winning. The Snow Tribe oh, gear looks gear amazing. Is absolutely wow. important to winning. Fancy, that is, that is going to be why Rob can't, you guys can't something see it, later, buddy. Going for a two-point attempt here. Three wide receivers. Three on the line. One in the backfield. Behind the back. Behind the back. Behind the back. Behind the back, and how does that wow. happen? Why did you do that, K Wack? Why, Why did you do that? Do that? Light. Come on, baby. I'm pretty sure that's Kyle Ward back there because they thought he was still on you. They were like, uh, what are you doing back there? Number 18, Kyle Ward with the reception and the BIC offense. I think they might have figured it BIC out. BIC looks like they're having fun again, but again, it's, it's, it's really more of the Renegades' mistakes more than the, it's BIC yeah. doing something. In, Amazing. At any moment, Khalil Green is the type he, of guy and player the guy, that he's he, going to yeah. bust one. He can bust through a line and bust through defenders, no problem. On the three on oh, one, man. oh phrasing, he'll My run bad, from phrasing. a dead. <laughs> he'll run from a dead run. Um, phrasing. Uh, I'm a big archer guy. Yeah, I, for some reason I do my own drops. I don't know. Yeah. I'm, I'm a weird like that. And the snap, Green will run off the whistle. Oh, he'll got. get to the forty. Huss can he huss oh. it? Hits the B button and it, again, it's probably one of the better kickoff teams in the league. Did you see how they throw off teams in the league? Did you see how they corralled them and they cut off the cutback? Because it was like it was like cornering a loose steer. Right, and I know you guys might not recognize him because of all the muscle he put on, but that number seven is Jamie Melendez, another wow. guy who won a championship with. He was yeah, a lot and, thinner and, and, and a war veteran. By yeah, the way. and a war veteran. <laughs> Regardless of the outcome of today's game, I think we all probably oh, went yeah. into today's game saying that the most likely outcome, win or loss, was probably going to be BIC gets a win, Renegades will get the loss. Yeah. Now, how that game shakes out, you know, tells the story of who these teams are. But, again, you know, moving forward, if the Renegades were probably going to lose this one anyway, the fact that they come out here and if they give BIC a game, then it just changes the expectations for who they are, not only on our top ten, which is obviously important. Check out the three-on-one podcast every week. But most importantly, for their, their actual goals for this season. Going to bring a first and 15 after the penalty. Snap. Oh my. And here comes the pressure. Price gets oh, dropped. He, he has to catch that, bro. Especially oh. after the things that we've been saying. He but, has get, but they get a the gift ball. roughing the passer call incoming. Because they're using BIC's aggression against yeah. them. But he has to catch that. And Kyle Ward is a strong man. That guy spends a lot of time in the gym. But there's a chance that DeAndre catches that and then takes it. He's well, six foot seven, 270. It doesn't matter how much, how much time you spend in the gym. What I'm not liking, though, is what you just said. Kyle Ward on defense. Alex Verardi playing O-line. With the depth that BIC has, those things shouldn't happen. Like, I just want a nice oil painting of number 32 on the BIC. Is it wrong? <laughs> I don't know. Is it one of the most interesting Where would you and, hang and it, man? things that you've Over ever said? Over a fireplace. Yeah, like, sure. I would find a nice castle somewhere. Would you we, put it up especially on Christmas? Oh, with yeah. The Yule Tide yeah, that's log? one of the, yeah. So what Matt. you're angling for is a, a TBS <laughs> calendar Featuring the and best TBS <laughs> guys in the league. And you can get your TBS shirts at maybe for, Tiny Maybe URL. for just fans only, too. We have a fans only account. <laughs> oh Liberty in motion. Price with time throws it. Khalil Green. 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 Excuse me. Excuse Woo. me. Huss. Oh. Bye, bye, bye. Okay, oh. hold on. Excuse oh. me, Khalil sir. Khalil Green slip slides. Oh, and my goodness. And jostled out wow. play. First down, Renegades. Wow. And there's the potential oh. of that Renegades oh. offense, Rob. There it is. It looks good. It anybody, looks good. Anybody questioning if, if Corey Price can put the ball on the money, that's into the wind. Mm. And that was Dwan covering him pretty tight. So, it, look, it could have been maybe this or maybe that. Great throw, great catch, great run after the catch. First down, Renegades. And it will be first down, Matt Ryan. Big Rob Fabian. Wow. Corey Hammond. Rob Fabian, no avid gun, gum fan. <laughs> I feel like I just got in trouble. <laughs> 
what a play, though. I mean, that's what that's the potential of this Renegades team, and that's why we put them where we put them because we didn't see that. I, I said it. I said it on the on the grade. I said, listen, if they're here, then they're a threat. If these guys aren't healthy, then where would we put them? Why would we put them any higher than eleven? Looking healthy right now. Price with Khalil Green to his left, Liberty to his right. One wide receiver at the bottom of your screen. That's number seven, Garrett. Excuse me, Verardi. Snap. They got to get it. Verardi got to get it. And Verardi and Columbia. The same two. Yeah, that's, that's the, the same Bash two. brothers are back. That scissors counter didn't fool anybody there, and I'm not sure what the flag and is going to be, but it's a huge loss I, on the run. And guys, there isn't a penalty. With us being see. on the water, 20 mile per hour winds. Yeah. You like see the, the water moving. Yeah, early <laughs> season in Asbury Park, 2021's opening day was one of the most torrential days I've Oof. ever seen in four seasons in the A7FL. Yeah, that was bad. And we're having some polite conversation, <laughs> discussion about favorite jams, possibly uh, some gum-related conversation between <laughs> both sides. <laughs> at halftime, I want to talk about. I want to talk about at halftime. We're going to go through our receipts. Okay. And we're going to talk about one of the wilder rumors in the A7FL regarding a former NFL player, but it's first oh. and ten. Yeah, the, the, the wide receiver in motion. Are, are coming with and it. the handoff cuts up field. Great and blocking. how can you say, sir? I can't do anything. Kyle Smooth Lord yeah, Kyle. on the jet sweep and the first down. That was phenomenal blocking by BIC. I, I like seeing stuff like that. And one of the rule changes, if I'm not mistaken, is on passing plays, offensive linemen have five yards. Yeah. Actually, eat that up and use it to their advantage. I oh. think it works for the screen game if you can. You Three go. on the line, handoff. handoff to the ice cream truck. The ice cream truck tries to maneuver to inside, and take, I think take, that take. might be the problem. Is that with the jet sweep and those cuts to the outside, they're able to create that shift with the line mm -hmm. because the defensive linemen on the on the Renegades aren't quick off the ball. You see, Stereo but if you there funnel it, two tight end personnel. Trying to go hurry up, but like, he's still communicating with, you know, four, five, you, six You do understand with switch. five yards on a passing play, I'm going after that safety, right? Mm. Okay. 50 seconds left to go. Second down. The ice cream truck set behind Codrington. Play action. Codrington. Dang, ooh, he will ooh, keep it, and ooh. he'll drop. Oh, my goodness. The mouthpiece came out on the block. Number one covered ice cream truck so well. The ice cream truck didn't even see him. He got hit without the ball, and wow. that's what stuffed the play. Yeah, Samad Jenkins is not wow. one to mess with, so we'll see how that turns out at the end of the game. Shanti Worthy motion. The toss in there. That's trying to spin it out. What to do? Oh, oh my Loose. God! Loose ball, kind of. Wow. Shanti is down. Worthy wow. is down. The BIC keep the ball, and this is a bad situation for the BIC. Wow. Man. And it's it's these plays, fine. man. And again, when you have the Predator on the edge, Keeping up with you f f step to step and then backside, just he just wasn't looking, man. And it was one of those plays where it looked like BIC was running, you know, jet, pass. That's one of those plays you call when you really aren't taking the what? other team seriously. And that's you what I'm saying. Like, why aren't they? Aren't they? Throw it behind his back. But, hey, uh, oh, I hope, wow, I hope wow, the young wow, man's wow. going to be fine. He's obviously a huge part of this team, huge part of this league. And it just goes to show you, you got to respect the game. And even though yeah, Sarah Cotton is upset. really upset he with what happened upset. to his player there, if you're the quarterback and you're running a two minute drill with thirty seven with thirty six seconds left, why call maybe a play just like call that? a pass play. Yeah. Look, the best way to do these three on ones is to throw it out of bounds. They do have the wind. We'll see how they execute it. But what the renegades doing? are gonna get the ball back. Right now, guys, you sit Ashante worthy for the rest of this game. I don't think so. I think I would sit him. I would sit him. As a team with this high level, with all these athletes that we have, why would we have to rely on someone who might not be comfortable week getting one. it done? Like it's week one. week one. Two wide receivers set, four on the line. The snap. CP three met with trouble, and he is brought down Quincy at Davis. the nineteen. Wow. And that is number eighteen. Yeah, Quincy, aka Gloves, Quincy uh, Davis on the sack. This is not what I was looking for Quincy Davis to do, but. I'm still impressed, nonetheless. And that's the type of pressure we, we were expecting from BIC is that they would... But from, not from him, though. They would get the quick pressure from the edge, force the quarterback to step up in the pocket, and when CP3 decided to, hey, I'm going to take off, now they got a guy in, it, it seems like, whether it's Quincy or somebody else, but th that guy was able to spy CP3, step up, corral him in the pocket, and then with 15 seconds left, it'll bring up third and... 
And a about timeout from the BIC, it seems. The second charge timeout. Waiting for it here on 15 seconds. The snap from Price in trouble immediately, and he will try to spin his way out of disaster and, and once again brought down. He's met again by Quincy Davis. I'm, I'm and that was Quincy Ole Davis. Bell yeah, helping Quincy out Davis too on the tackle. First. Spin yeah. move gets past him. Ole Bell's Ole's there. Ole's right there. So, you know, we, we're starting wow. to feel the, the depth here of BIC as the, yeah. as the clock ticks down. And that'll bring us to halftime, gentlemen. And we'll see if the Renegades will be able to run it back. Zach Morgan, you'll be hearing his voice a lot more this season on the A7FL. Thank you, my friend. And where can people find you on Twitter? Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Captain underscore Z Morgan. And keep an eye out on the A7FL Twitter page. I will be posting there shortly. And here comes a Hoss Hoss opportunity and gets to the 40-yard line. That is number 27. Sean Moses. I have to clean up all this jam. 30 seconds gone by here in Raspberry. the first. First and 10. The handoff to Liberty. Liberty <laughs> making his way downtown. Uh -oh. Thinking fast that he's not home, but he'll get nine yards there. Oh, wow, that's the best run of the day. Nine tough yards from Liberty. The best run of the yeah, day. Yeah, that was easily the best running back play we've seen today. And that's the that's the potential of a Mike Liberty. That's the potential of Leo Green. We saw it on a catch from Green earlier. Already shaking up. Yeah, that's the second up. time today where we've seen it's, it's that hamstring. I think he's cramped. I think he's I, cramped up. Get that man some water. <laughs> Gentlemen, allow me a little bit of uh, personal time here as I got to go figure out my free agency situation. Not that anybody cares. <laughs> well, thank you, Corey Hammond. A birdie again. And there's the cut, Ooh. and the birdie is sent almost flying Olay, into the... Ole packs him right up. <laughs> right up. Packed him up, shipped him, signed, sealed, delivered. He's out of play, but he'll get the first down. Yeah. And... There's a lot of stairs to get up here. By yeah. The way. <laughs> it is a very, it's a oh, stair-laden situation. Oh, yeah. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian. And if you're interested in joining up with the A7FL... Info at a7fl.com if you're wanting to be a videographer, a photographer, tap dancer. <laughs> we do need a tap dancer in residence. I do have in my contract that there must be a tap dancer in residence. And talking with some of the BIC guys during the halftime, um, they seem to feel like they need to step up on defense, and they feel as though they are kind of taking the Renegades easy, and they, they're mm. taking it on the chin and taking full accountability for it. And do you think that they'll be able to respond here? For sure. There's a Real sense of emergency. Haynes moves from fullback, shifts to a tight end. The handoff to number four. Oh my. And a solid push there number by four. Jay, either Jay Savage Mo or Maurice, Maurice Francis. Francis. Mo Francis. <laughs> and his tagline is, I make music now. So just follow me on TikTok and Instagram. <laughs> she loves Javid. <laughs> Francis set up to the right. It'll be another handoff to Francis. Francis Ooh. met by Bell in number 18, but a flag will fly. Bell and Quincy. And it's holding on the offense. A7FL Championship this July, July 23rd, will be taking place in Nevada, and we'll have more information on that at A7FL.com over the next weeks and days to come. The snap from Price. Price throws it, tipped, almost intercepted. And Corey said it earlier, if Matt Riddick is on the field, number 22, meet me, I am not throwing the ball anywhere near him. Nope, because he because he's not only a great defender, mm -hmm. he's a great receiver, he's a great returner, he's called meet meet for, for a reason. reason. <laughs> and also, a quarterback. He it, There's a lot Listen, of five-tool players in the A7FL, a and a lot of them are on the BIC. <laughs> I was going to say most of them are on BIC, <laughs> because right now, they put Quincy Davis, who is 6'5", on Megatron, who is 6'6". That is an even matchup. They have now – they iced out their best player. They have iced him out. So now yeah, But that's been the story on the Renegades for the last few seasons. It has, it has. If you can shut down DeAndre Haynes, if you can isolate DeAndre Haynes – Then there's nothing going. And even with Price in a quarterback with new weapons in Liberty and Green, it's cons inconsistency has been the issue for the Renegades franchise – and it's a high ceiling, but a low floor for Corey Price. And he is brought down by number nine. Ole That's Bell. Ole Bell. Another sack for this BIC oh, defense. Man. And that BIC defense is starting to wake up. I think that I think that first quarter was the only shot the Renegades really had to really put a dent in things. Because, again, the matchups are showing. 
I thought Khalil Green was wide open, and you might have thought so too, but nope. Meet Meep was right over top, and he can cover that distance in a split second. They, they just inspired a great run there. I'm, I'm just expecting them to take over the rest of the game because, again, if the Renegades can't keep up for the full four quarters, that first quarter was just, you know, like, yeah, we can almost do it. And then, you know, they fade out. But Ball placed on the 36-yard line. Two, uh, two running backs, one wide receiver, three on the line. Codrington in the shotgun. Almost jumped there, and there's the handoff. Cuts through, tries to find a lane, does not, but he'll bounce to the outside, and that's Taheem Black, a.k.a. takeoff. Definitely trying to see what's so special about Taheem um, Black. They've been talking about him offseason uh, off for a while, just trying to figure out what it is that they feel is so special about him. Well, and a lot of times you get a new guy, right? He's coming in from a situation where the film that you've seen on him is, is 11 on 11 a lot of times. He's, he's a guy coming, I think, from high school in the flag game. So it'll be interesting to see how his skill set uh, translates to the A7. And it'll be a good, decent run there. He's second down. Once again in that two running back set, Black will set out into the slot. The handoff to the ice cream truck bounces into Big Angry and will dig dug his way. Ooh. Big Angry got walked down by the big <laughs> eight. <laughs> About six yards. It gets nasty in there's those a trenches. Lot of, there's, there's a lot of bigs in this league. Big Angry, Big Nate, Big Rob, Big Moe. Yeah, that Mo. was all after me, though. Yeah, I was the original uh, can, big guy. Can we find maybe a medium, maybe a schmedium, <laughs> like a schmedium Tim? Is there any lulls? Little <laughs> boat. A little boat. A little boat. There is a little boat. And we will see him in our second game at uh, 4 p.m. It'll be the Rahway Snow Tribe. Ooh. Corey's ex. <laughs> uh, going up against the Patterson U. Rob's X. Oh, man. And that, that's the game I'm calling upset alert. Oh, yeah. we'll, we'll get into that a little bit later on. How do, you, sure. how do you feel now that you know who the starting quarterback's likely going to be? I still don't know who the starting I, I have no be. idea who's going to be starting. That is true. And the handoff to the ice cream truck. No, play action. Throws it up. It and it's up. And oh, come on, buddy. You got to catch you that have one. To catch that. That's Sean Moses. I don't want to go too far Ooh. and be disrespectful, disrespectful. But uh, the Red Sea did wind. not part out he for him. He knocked the wind out of himself. That's an official timeout. No, eventually, but let's see how long it takes. <laughs> so Matt Riddick at the top of your very, screen. Very, very, very short. Worthy back in. He's at the bottom of your screen. The snap. And Sterry will just keep it, and he'll slide and get the first down. Very risk slide, though. Yeah, that was uh, weird. I, he kind of giddied up on that yeah, one. Was... That was more the that was more to like he's gonna flop onto his back as opposed to like the slide with your feet first, which is which is, I think is a, a little bit more dangerous. Very, I think so too. I, 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 I sometimes don't wanna... just put my left shoulder down in there, you know, just hit this hit this little buddy over here, and then I can fall. <laughs> I don't want to gently like, on my right. I don't want to take away from what might be happening from the Renegades, but Sterry is a very cerebral guy that might actually be purposely playing down. So no one sees what he actually has in store. Oh, with 425 left to go that's, in the third. That's, that's the old, he's so good that when he's not good, it's because it's on purpose. <laughs> it, might, it might be that. No, it's not. I'm, I'm telling you. Well, that throw that was up there in the air doing what it was doing had nothing to do with making it look like a different thing. What about First that run? Ten. It'll be with under 420 to play the BIC. Look to blaze into the end zone. The Renegades defense looking to stifle them here. A handoff to the ice cream truck, and the ice cream truck will not... Gain Ooh. yards, he'll lose about two, and he'll drive his shoulder in. And Trey Baskerville, I would not be throwing up muscle man poses when I'm down <laughs> two scores. Not really the greatest, but again, to hold BIC, the game's not over. No. But to hold three quarters in, you're holding BIC, a team that's usually scoring 35 to 40 points a game. And they're scoring. to hold them to 20? They're holding their offense to eight. Well, they were. They had a plus oh, 14. Wow. They're holding their wow. offense to eight points. Wow, you have a point. That is true. And, wow. and, and they almost had the turnover on the shot. And, and, let, and let's look at the, com the composition here. 
They were they had 50 touchdowns in 2023. Wow. A plus 14 turnover ratio and 376 points scored. The handoff, no play action. Codrington with Ooh. time will throw this one to Riddick. Uh, Riddick, Riddick does it. Riddick, Riddick does. And Sterry takes the hit like a champ and lets it fly. Touchdown, B-I-C. Matt Riddick allowing the Renegades to Wiley Coyote themselves. Oh, and they and are that, absolutely committing a penalty doing that. And the Silky Johnston level celebration. Hating since been hating since hey, been hey, hating. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> He goes, he goes up top on, a, on one of the most interesting jump balls I've ever seen, guys, because that ball, because of the wind, hung in yeah. the air so long that it, it was not wobbly. necessarily, let's say, a great throw. But when it's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, D'Angelo Brown and Matt Riddick, a two-time MVP in this league, unfortunately, that's the way it's going to go most of the time. D. Brown and had decent coverage. Though. It was I great coverage. I can't say it was bad coverage. Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond in motion is DeAndre Haynes. Will Corey Price be sitting on faux foes? Or will Khalil Green find a way to lead it to oh, Green? Oh, Take it to the oh, Slip side! Take it to the ocean, man! Oh. First, they have to fight through Oof. the tough task of tackling a shotty worthy here. He starts his three on one. Hush. Oh, and he oh. accelerates. Oh, out, my God. And it is turn over. No. And they cannot return they it. Cannot they are excited. It. Let them return it. That's not how the rules work. It's, it's three on one. So once you once it. you actually get the ball, wow. the ball is down. Let's not have 30 minutes of them arguing about this because the rule is clear. Yeah, the ball will be called. The call. The ball will be called at the spot where it's picked up. Wow. Now what we have to see is if CP3 can fight this. You know, Asbury Park Gale. And also fight the expectation. Right. I'm That's the problem is that we think the world of a lot of the players on this field, and we talk about how valuable they are, but we see them hit their ceiling way too much. And is Corey Price at his ceiling? We're going to figure that out in the next 14 minutes Nobody's and change. Nobody's covering Breezy. And that ball bounces incomplete. So quick, because their schedule is not going to let them. Price thrown oh, hit while he throws it intercepted by the BIC. That was a bad to ask. Can Corey Price in the pressure to record when he was caught? First and ten, three on the line, two wide receivers. And as always, we have to Correction, make sure three wide receivers. the man appearance is mentioned. Punt on the line. Three rushing for the <laughs> the Renegades. That toss over to number one. He'll cut off the sideline. Oh he won't get the first goodness. down. Samaz was trying to put yeah. him in. <laughs> where was, where, where, where was he That's doing? Umar Lewis with the reception. Jam be damned. <laughs> you see Khalil Green in motion. Three wide receivers. The snap. The throw to the tight end. Tipped up and out of the reach of DeAndre. Hill. Man, he still has to catch that, Matt. I still feel like he has to catch he that. He does, but when you're entering situations like that, Rob, where there's not a lot of time left, incomplete, and now we're going to head to the two-minute warning. Man. Two minutes remaining in this game. A limited chance for the Renegades to score. Here we go. Oh, okay. Fourth down. 11 yards to a first down. The throw. And cr oh, oh, my God. Party. You got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Well, we're running into the 19. Wow. They don't have a lot of time I'm, left. The clock will continue to run. Rob. I'm telling you, this Renegades team is not a joke. Should Liberty have run out of bounds? Yeah, he should have. I, I think he thought he could carry him to the end zone, which he kind of was. You almost Mark Brevard, I owe a dollar to the jar. <laughs> to the end zone. You definitely owe a dollar to the here jar. In Asbury Park. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. Wow. What a statement game for the Renegades. What a statement game for Corey Price. But they have to solve the problem of a running clock and a 13-point deficit. Price. Ooh! 
No. Wow. No flag on the field. Wow. No flag on the field. That is a flag if I ever seen one. I know. I know. But that's a flag if I ever seen one. DeAndre Haynes definitely hooked Ole Bell in in any normal circumstances. I guess the referees missed it. But if you're if you're Ole Bell, clock's still running. They haven't scored the toss. Khalil Green and there's a flag on the There's definitely a flag. Touch it. Wow, they waved it off. They waved off the flag. My so goodness. Then, Matt, what is the score? Please. 27 to 14 is your score. It's about to be 20 Pardon to me, 27. 27 to 20. This is not. Listen. When I say we could, I can't wait till Tuesday, man. Like That's it. 40, I can't wait till Tuesday. I know. Flag. I know. We're right on the Jersey Shore, and here comes on the dead runoff. Oh, they're they're eager for it. They're eager for it. They got him. They got him. Yeah, they they him. got him. They're oh, eager for it. Oh, nah. Don't Try do to get it. A second turnover on a return. They're definitely eager for it. Bic smart. They take the knee. Let these time. Let this time run out. Go. Leave here with the win. But gotta get back to the drawing board because this is nasty work. What's the one thing you'd fix right now about the Bic? Defensive understanding. The defense has no clue what they're doing out there. But is is it because you're inserting all these new component parts? It, it, it is because sometimes what people don't understand is if it isn't broke, don't fix it. And Bic, there was nothing wrong with their defense last year, but they went and added all these new faces, and people are just not gelling well. I get it. Week one, this week one, that. But this is the same thing that happened in 2017. And anybody who was there that that seen it, this is it. It's just history repeating itself, honestly. 27 to 20, the handoff to the ice cream truck. Oh, whistle. That play will be dead. <laughs> Why is he laying on a 50 like that? I think, I think my man... No, he, no, he's no, fine. No, he's, no, he's just fine. But he was laying on the field. I was legitimately concerned. <laughs> no, I wasn't because I just seen him like go huh, and look, just lean back. Look, after all the raspberry jam I've cleaned up today. <laughs> it makes me want a PB&J sandwich. We got those coming in, Matt? Oh, or did we run out of jam? We ran out of jam. We ran out of jam. BIC looking like they're running out of sauce. And that's worse than running out of jam, I'll tell you that. And I, I, I feel bad for everybody that's going to listen to the 301 today expecting like they knew what was going to happen. Once these scores come back by the end of the day, that top 10 is going to be shaketh. But the BIC still won. Yes, but once we start putting in points what for, points again? allowed, what happens if they, score again? They, they could possibly score again, but points for, points allowed, allowing think, 20 do points. Think, do you think any of the teams could jump over? Yes. And there's a handoff by the ice cream truck, and it looks like he'll get a first down. As of right now, there's only one team I feel like that can jump over BIC depending on the score in Baltimore. And until we know that, I can't really say for sure what's going on, but I just know things are going to change. Time out on the field, and that'll be... And at the end of this one, the BIC walk out with the win 27-20. to The defending champions are undefeated, but are they the ones who we thought were the ones to start this season. We're going to have a lot of conversations about that. But at the top of the hour, we'll return with our games of the week. We're going to take a brief timeout. And when we return, the Patterson U and the Rahway Snow Tribe will battle between two of the top 15 teams in the A7FL. Will the Snow Tribe shock the world, or will the Patterson U show that they still have something in the bag? We'll be back at the top of the hour here on A7FL.TV. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like, follow, and share on our Facebook page at A7FL.TV. As the undefeated Silk City Animals look to bring down the DC buzz, but before we get into what we're going to see today, let's take a look at what exactly is the A7FL. First and foremost, the A7FL is 7-on-7 seven seven football. No helmets, no pads, all action. And that's gonna, what you're going to be seeing all afternoon long. On top of that, there's no kicking or punting in the A7FL. Instead, we have the three-on-one -one throw off the most exciting play in all of football and one- and two-point conversions from the five and 10 yard line respectively. And we've got 26 teams across the United States. You'll be seeing two of them in just a moment, battling for a spot in this July's championship. 
in Bullhead City, Arizona, just outside of Laughlin, Nevada, in the greater Las Vegas area. We're excited to be bringing the championship game to the West Coast for the first time ever. We'll have details soon on how you can make your way out west this summer and celebrate with us in style. It's buck 100% because what Lenny does for two to three plays, you're getting that out of buck for a major in majority of his games. You're getting that from him most of the time. I will tell you that I was one of the people that everybody called crazy because I said, hey, guys, we went out to Delaware with 14 guys. We didn't have our real offensive firepower. And the fact that that game was even close for three quarters was literally on the detriment of Rare Breed. Even with Buck playing, what I did tell him at the time was one of his best, most accurate games. However, that game against the Nightcrawlers, he had the worst second half I've ever seen him play. And they got the spark from Lenny, granted, on Buck's play calling, right? So I give him the nod there. They do have the, the light green, so it's well, well 90s enough. Buzz will throw it off. It'll be returned by, seems to be number 22. He'll cut to the sideline and cut more towards the center of the field. Inside the hash marks now and will be dragged to the 25. Will battle away. And that's Isaac Gomez. He was the guy who had that, that catch last week on that wheel that Huff threw after the play action. Huff will have the ball. Quattro Huff in having an MVP caliber season. Three wide receivers set. Not only at quarterback, but in the secondary, walked into today with three interceptions caught on the season. In motion, a quick toss, a tumble oh, reverse, yeah. ball it's comes it's loose, it's and he'll fall on it at the 30 in the shotgun. They'll switch things up, the snap fakes it. Huff will throw this one oh, down my. towards the sideline, Third. caught one foot in, that's all you good. need. And that one caught by number 15. That's Bebo, I'm pretty sure. That's, that's oh, but they called it. They called it incomplete. But Huff goes with the hurry up anyway. And the snap. It. He'll run to the sideline. He'll get the first down. Huff going right down Broadway. Will toss it oh back. Slip slide goodness. and rumbling into the end zone. Touchdown. That's Silk the Greek freak. City <laughs> Leonid is the Greek freak. Uh, fans viewing us. Uh, this is going to be the one point conversion from the five after a touchdown. Quick handoff rolls out to his right. Throw off the hands. But the Silk City Animals strike first and strike hard. That one intended for Joker Kessler. And it's 6 nothing in this Silk City offense getting off the getting off of it quick. And here's we see here we see the play that was the touchdown. Huff just breaking the defense wide open here. Great block by oh, Gomez. Baby Joker. Quick block in there, and then that quick go, toss, buddy. the presence of mind for to toss it to the Greek beast, the Greek freak, whatever you want to call him. He bucked into that end zone like a proud steer and walked in, making it 6 nothing for the yeah, animals on top. Well, and when we look at the stats at the end of the year and, and maybe give him the MVP, that play won't even be on it as a, <laughs> as, as a stat for him. Oh, right. It looks like Von Butler will return it. He'll catch it inside the 20-yard line at the 19. So He'll plow through the defenders. And that was a yuck, yuck. That wasn't even a huff, huff or a hus, hus. He was just trying to goofy foot him like he was on a skateboard. <laughs> And now Diggs will be set with one running back to his right, two wide receivers to snap. He throws a dart off the hands, and that was incomplete to Brown, and it will be second down. And I'm watching. It was, very, it was a very accurate pass. That young man has to catch it. Pardon me. There that was uh, Keon Charles. There goes Keon talking that talk. But that young man has to catch it because Mark Diggs looks good. It, it looked good. Maybe I'm just fanning out real quick. But that looked like a decent pass. The ball me. was where it needed to be. Now, in my opinion, there could be a lingering effect to the injury because if you watch the replay, which we just saw, you know, because we're watching it uh, live, we got another feed. Uh, he's off of his back foot throwing at, but it's still the ball was there. It needs right. to be caught. Second and 10, 11.41 left to go in motion. Quick toss to the right side. Man, oh, wow. Well, and that's who made the tackle, man. <laughs> and that's Marcel Nelson, and he's – He's a punishing back. I think he's got the, what is it? The, the, to the, the, to the, the apartments. apartments. Yeah. Well, the, Mark Mark Diggs is their starter when originally. healthy, period. Yeah. The throw, and that one will be incomplete. It will be fourth down. And, maybe. and 
Huff again with one one back to the left, and now that'll shift over. Two backs now set to his left. The handoff. That one a quick toss back to Baby Joker. Joker oh. can't hold on to the ball. Tried to throw it back to oh Huff. Boy. Huff, and that one will be waved dead. They'll whistle the play dead. The, the 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 option pitch looked like it was forward, and when it hit the ground, the refs blew the whistle. So that's actually a, a lucky play there for Huff because it could have ended in, in a touchdown for the buzz. This is this interesting triple option formation that he's going with, which is interesting also that he's doing it inside the five with how sloppy that play looked. They'll add more protection to the line. The quick snap, Huff to the sideline, gets the ball off and gets Ooh. almost a first down and a desperation play on second down. That's Kenneth Stewart. It's it's all dialed up, which is what I appreciate about Huff. It it even if the play is sloppy, it's never sloppy on his account. It's it's a play that is well drawn up, and someone drops the pass or it's a miscue or something along those lines. And it, my question to both of you is. Huff is making this team play his style of offense. 100%. And you can tell youth. that it's stressful for them, but they are living up to the challenge. Exactly. Yeah, and the snap look at that. Great on block. third down. And yeah, Quattro Huffin will toss on, it Kenneth. over to Kenneth Stewart. Huff. Stewart oh. will lose the ball, and the D.C. Buzz will pick it up at the 42. Look at everybody. Just take a look. Pump fake. But oh, watch the look field at in front of him. Great pancake right there. And he just takes off. Now he has to watch, but he sees that He's got a seal up. here, a it's seal here. Up. This is an easy catch by Kenneth Stewart that he can easily take. Then he secures the ball, then loses it again. Uh, uh, my argument the, the there would be on a play like that, the yeah. smart thing to do, the electric thing to do is to go for the touchdown and, and pitch it to your guy, and it's unselfish. But the smart thing to do is take the first down and play another down because, as we saw, when you throw the ball to other people, even if it's perfect, sometimes guys drop it. Challenge is confirmed, and it's the nine-minute mark here. So the animals... And it looks like it's going to be a turnover, and the buzz will have the ball after the play. Oh, wow. So it was not a – it seemingly the animal – the buzz keep the ball. The throw caught, there and this is. one, bang, bang, ties there the game. Is. Putting six on the board, wearing six on his back. And Keon Charles beats him so badly off the line ah. of scrimmage that Mark can just throw it right away. doesn't matter how – you know, quick the rush gets in there. Good job by the rush. No rush. But when Mark when Mark one, digs one, two, three, two, lets it rip, it's a touchdown. Sweet. Well, I, I like here. Here's and the more here important from the thing. 35 yard line. Bebo cutting to the sideline. That young man oh used the right stick and got got that. He turned goodness. into Mike Allstott for a second. Wow. And it's first and ten. Ball placed at the 40-yard line. Great starting position Here's for that the formation that Huff's been doing, that triple option out of. He, he attacks with the dive and then goes option right. And Huff he pulls will it aim the pass here. Cut to the sideline. Still behind oh the line my. of scrimmage. Throws a rope to the end zone. Intercepted by the buzz. Uh, wait, what? Yeah. Wait, what they is called Ken the play down. Oh, okay. So it'll be a touchback. Like, why does Kenneth Stewart have it? It's not number two on our roster. It's just number two in our hearts. But you see here, initial pressure and gives his guys a chance. Now, Why let's say go this. for that play Because this on early? the U, the guys you're throwing down to are Pat Cobert. Right? That's, that's um, no, I and don't, this is I don't, not, don't this is not a slight one. You can say it. You can say it. You can go there. I won't. I'm not going to respond. But it'll be first down regardless, and that's two turnovers from Huff in the first quarter. We'll see this play again. It might be a review the of ball's what, right oh there. he was down he was before down. he completed it he caught second. it on his bottom ah, what wait what? he caught it on his tuchus he didn't have possession all the way down wait a second he hold landed. on but he what is when that? did he have when did the buzz player have we possession? are less than halfway through oh. the, pl the first quarter wait what? that was one of the most interesting plays i've ever seen let's go back to yeah. this reap first of all you're welcome for the the the, the great football already now they're going to call this an interception because yeah. I guess when he crossed the, the, the goal line, as soon as you cross the goal line in, the, in, in football, the play's over. But he, the ball but the ball was bobbled while he yeah, was who, trying to bring it down. You have to have possession. He didn't have it, Hey, though. second and three. Oh, Huff, oh, no, it'll be first and ten. The quick handoff from Diggs spins out, almost loses the ball, and Huff will be in on the tackle at the 28. Decent run there. But now that the offensive play is done, 
that play is now forever going to be known as an interception. And I'm right, still indeed, indeed. wrapping my head around what exactly happened. Credit this Kenneth Stewart for maybe coming been... down with it, but I guess it, it's he did, he an He didn't actually come out and come down with it. The, the guy, it fell on the guy's chest, and then he handed it to Kenneth Stewart, which is why I was but confused. But he, he, he didn't have possession coming down. Down, right. When he's on the ground and catches it, does that count? Yes, in so this okay, game it does. It. Yeah. Yeah. He had possession of it. Yeah. His bottom hit first, and then he so caught the ball. So third and one. Here's the handoff. The handoff. Looks like he's going to get the first down. Oh. And the animals are there to make sure it's just the first down. Duke was Spaz trying in on to the get tackle, that. and is that relish on the back of the jersey? And there's money making Mitch. We're in the middle of the animals playing four straight weeks against playoff teams. Right. This is the second week. Last week was the Snow Tribe. They played in the 2022 playoffs. The snap digs over the middle, Ooh. bobbled, and that one will land incomplete. Sire had an opportunity to take that young man's chest off, but he let up a little bit. Like it, it is tough to play in that environment if you don't, if you're not used to it. And in the A7FL, you're going to face adversity eventually. You got to respond for the sure. Snap. Diggs will throw to the sideline, caught by Oh, Keanu. my goodness. And he comes out with the ball, and that one, Kenneth Stewart, uh, okay. getting some redemption there, there getting on go. the ball. And wow, that ball came See, Huff was out. just giving him reps at practice for that oh play that was coming up. He's goodness. a genius. He's a Houdini. <laughs> and now he's a he's a. Suit Are you his seer. minister of propaganda? I was just saying that he had two turnovers in the first half. He Rob was, was feeling wearing a button that we said most Huff. Are you are you voting for for high school class president too? Like well, when we, on the three on one, you guys asked me who the MVP is. I immediately said Ashanti Worthy. First and ten for the animals, and there's Joker. Huff, four on the line. Another interesting formation. The quick toss and the yeah. ball will get bobbled, and they will be brought down on the wrong side of the fifty yard line. And now with the games getting more intense, they're playing better teams. You'll start to see the real problem with the animals is not Huff. It's no, it's not Huff. It's the players not being able to execute and his high-intensity yeah, plays. And that's the only potential negative in Huff's game right now is that mm. he's running on high octane and everybody else is on 87. Oye Marrero was the intended receiver. Throws this one. Huff does. Caught. Oh, by Joker? That was John a John Kessler Why? with the catch. So <laughs> serious. Looking like a Joker. young Joe Churavicious. And of course the Joker will get a catch against the team in purple and green, right? right? Of course. Right, right. Joker Give him a little said, breather after that Joker one. Joker said, ooh, my hip. I'm out of here. But guess guess who is a vet in this league and is able to understand what Huff is talking about when he's talking a mile a minute in that huddle? Joker. <laughs> and it's first and ten. They'll bunch it up again. They'll now utilize off, the option. Man. Lowers the shoulder and gets to the 20. And the way those plays are designed, it's it's like, okay, maybe you don't get a touchdown here, but that looks like a four or five-yard run. And how how great is a four or five-yard yard run consistently? Amazing. I'm telling you, my coach would have loved that. <laughs> four yards a pop. That's all we needed. Second down. Ball in the 20. Quick handoff. Money-making Mitch. Not money Mayweather, but money-making Mitch, the, the variant. Uh, getting close to the first down, but will be brought down at the 15. And it's good to see Mitch finally get a little bit of blocking. Yeah, That's indeed, a former indeed. Warriors teammate, and he always was like, why don't you hand me the ball? Because we can't block for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the snap and the quick one tossed to My the sideline. My goodness, line. here we go. And that's Oye Marrero and getting the first down, getting inside the 10. It'll be first and goal to That's seven. as close as we're going to see in, in a lot of offenses to an RPO. Everybody talks about RPO. Honestly, that's a run-pass option. That's, that's really how you run it, and that's just that spread wide, triple option type play. Huff is putting on a clinic. Do you think any of the morale and the buzz after that last turnover, this might be a great play? Oh. Passing it inside will gain about a yard or two. We'll get down to the three, and no, it will be just second a, down. That's yeah, Hulk just run, smashes. Man. Yeah, he man. just – you could tell he did his squats this week. That was that was amazing. That was nah, he's got Those the, are, he's he's got the curls. belly showing. He's got the curls. He got the belly jersey on. Yeah, well, Looking like how's, that Tony working for, how's that working for Zeke Elliott? Sure. <laughs> he's second in goal. Corey Hammond with live rounds here. Oh, the bounce slam. inside, and the Hulk trying to smash his Ooh. way to the end zone. And that is a great defensive stop from the D.C. Buzz, honestly. I mean, it just, you know, you delay the ine inevitable, but 
you never know what can happen in the next play. Well, that we ball see can fly how, right we out. We see how free and fancy Huff's offense can get. And even if he puts a perfect pitch there, sometimes these guys are dropping it. So True it, indeed. you got to yes. give them, you got to give your defense a chance on the third down. And if you stop them here, hey. the momentum might switch right back. And here's the play that set things up. That look throw at Joker. Look at Joker oh, extending that hip. My ball. hip. Oh, yeah, Joker. <laughs> that hurt me. The Big handoff. Big body. Boom. Well, that's the way you pound. You, you just get it right in there. Yeah, that's I was you about what? to fall. <laughs> that's the way you get it in there. Hulk with the touchdown. Hulk smash. Hulk smash. And Hulk smash again three times in a row. He's finally going to get it in there. 12-6. to six, The Animals now in the lead. The Hulk I mean, on two straight plays, Rob. This running game, I mean, impressive. We're seeing a little bit more of this Animals offense. And that, that touchdown sponsored by Hollywood Tans. <laughs> 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 I mean, honestly, this offense is impressive because – Huff is dialing it up. It's it's not, and they're 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 catching up to the pace. Right. It looked like they were they were a half step behind him. Now they're on pace with him. They're going for two. The quick screen oh, off that hand. I spoke too soon. But but again, you see how it's drawn up. Yeah. Huff understands this game on a different level. No one's playing like this. And this is not a sandwich. This is not me. You know. Oh wow. Oh no. Yeah, that's a good. That's a great run. This is not me being a Huff fanboy, but. The stuff that Huff's doing, we're not seeing anyone else do. Yeah. He definitely understands this game on a much different level than any other quarterback in this league, and he exploits things that you think aren't even there. On that motion, you see the guy dropping that far back. Huff immediately understands that he's open in, in right within now. that. Yeah, he's yeah. open right now. Delivers let's get the ball it to in him. .1 seconds, because and all this, you have to do is catch it. That's it. That's, that's the hardest part do. about the play, and let's be honest, the three of us making that catch at that 90 oh, I'm, mile I'm making an hour that catch. I'm making that catch. You get you getting out there on the wheel. Okay, yeah, yeah, yes, I am. I'm not doing Ryan, either. Ryan, Ryan, so please don't look up any I'm of getting, the catches. Please. You're getting the catch, Matt. I'm, I'm getting a Vespa and I'm catching it like I'm in Mario Kart. I'm, I'm making that catch. Vespa. Uh, I'm I got, I got hands for that's a, fat a Disney man. Plus I got hands. reference, see these, right? See these mitts? I'm making that catch. Yeah, you can How many make, yards I'm going to get after that? Yeah. I don't know. And speaking hey, I've, of I've catch, thrown, the three I've on one. Those hands. Yes, you have. At the 15, cuts through. And an interesting decision there. Needed a little spice, but he got ice. He got melted, and it will be first and ten. It looks like a buzz. Baltimore Trey Cohen, and I can't unsee <laughs> it. I can't unsee it. 30 seconds and counting here in the first. Handoff. That's Marty again. And again, that's like three, four yards. It's still a pretty good run. It's, it's a decent run. And now we see Lenny in. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what else I expect from Lenny. I, I, I want to see a complete game from Lenny to really be able to see. But... For who knows who knows Lenny better than maybe Why Buck? Make that and then Buck knows here. not to use him for the full game. Because Mark Diggs had an excellent run. You know, is he still hurt, man? That's yeah, fair. That's it might a fair be managing. One. It might be managing his. Because what we've seen from him is he's also just standing back there. He and doesn't it's have the to end move of much. The first quarter. We turn into the second. You score the animals twelve. The DC buzz six. That would be uh, the Patterson. Second and ten. <laughs> well, another big game. Yeah, another that, playoff. Game. Oh, Definitely Leonard. will play into the northeast. Sir State. Leonard. Leonard Pressure Lenny, in his Lenny face. throws it. This quick, this he not gets so it quick off. screen. They'll get it back to the line of scrimmage, Barely if not behind it. it. That's right. Momo, the tight end, and that's the old tight end, you know, turnstile screen um, that after is, isn't designed. The, yeah, after you missed the block, just look open. See, but, uh, relish. Relish. That's just, it is re it's yes. relish. It's relish. 3 1 1. It's really relish. Sure. And great, great defense by the animals. Again, um, it, it's it's like you said earlier, Matt. The animals team has to play catch up to Huff. Huff starts on ten. Yeah. The, any team usually starts off five, and you gradually get bigger. Huff is expecting you to be at eight or nine. Huff, after Huff the is first an electric two plays. car off the line, and and the animals are a seventies muscle car. They're finally revved they up and ready him. to they go. They gave it to him. They gave it, baby, baby Joker. Joker. An interesting no. choice, and ooh, Lenny ooh, Mansell ooh. holding on to him. Gets it to the. I can't wait till Baby Joker scores a touchdown. It'll be the 45-yard line for Quattro Huffin and the Animals. First and 10 in the second quarter. A lot of beef on the line. You took the words right out of my mouth. Huff will cut to the left side. He will get to the 40 and cut out a play there. And some people what struggle. What I just saw from the Huff, the quarterbacks Look. when they run to the sideline, they tiptoe out of bounds as far up as possible. No. Huff's mindset this year is that I don't want yards. I'm going to save yards for indeed. another. He went out before he could have. Right, indeed. Like he, He's trolling me right now. <laughs> no, his, 
<laughs> He's Corey, that good. He Corey, can you give can't up do yards. this. And Huff will go for it again. And, and he again, will get the same thing. This time throwing the shoulder he in there and saying, it into somebody. oh, my God, he gave it to RTU. <laughs> oh, Keith, no. Keith Not Salmon, Keith. Friend of the show, and, man. And shout outs for his interception last week. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. Keith got an in oh, man. In All right, toe. Keith. All right, Keith. And I wasn't First sure which quarterback ten. it was, Trey Lamont, Viga, or Gerald Llewellyn. First and ten. Huff with the quick toss to Kenneth Stewart. Stewart! Kenneth Whoa. Stewart trying to give RTU some sauce. Not this time, not this time, boy. He gave yeah. RTU the sauce, not but this Marty, time. Marty, yeah, he outweighs RTU by about 70 pounds of muscle. <laughs> <laughs> he took care of it after that. Second and eight. Looks like they're in the hurry up again. We can't have as much fun as we want. Huff, not come at on all. now. Huff, Huff doesn't allow it. Huff's like the father from... Uh, Quick screen to the left. Never yes, mind. sir. Quick throw, and we'll get And the they are down. picking on Keith Salmon. I mean... Take so let's a take a look at what happened. What that last play That's a was. quick screen wow. quarterback counter. Look at that. Trey it. counter Keep quarterback. Blocking. Wow. Great block by, ooh. Look, he's looking to pitch Kenneth here. Kenneth Stewart, great block. But I mean, first and goal. And that's what you want to see. Oh, wow. Lenny is legit on defense. Blueberry reserves here in the booth. <laughs> Every week I try something different, and every time it just jams into the works. We gotta go. We gotta go like lunch now. We have the yeah. bagels, and we all have our breakfast stuff. Breakfast has been doing us a little work. bit dirty. Brunch would work. Is brunch real? Is that a real thing? It's a real thing. Putting it's putting it's bacon. A way to, it's a way to get people to spend extra. Come on money now, on putting bacon breakfast. on a peanut Come butter on. and jelly sandwich is not doesn't mean it's brunch because I'm being weird about my food. Lunch and breakfast. Look at this formation. What do you even call that? What in the world am I looking at? I the have double, no idea. It's, the it's double, the flying V. Wow. The it's double, the flying V. I like the flying V better. The quick handoff inside. Oh, wow. Plows through. Tries to oh, get Oh, money that. making Mitch with the touch. Did they call it? What are they going to call it? We're calling it, Will. Santista Bond, you're a little biased here. Down at the one. Down at the one. I okay. had a touchdown call and everything. So hey, it's a good fight though. So for now I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. The way that formation is set up, it's very confusing if you're a defense looking at that. And it actually spreads them out a little bit wide to open up the inside. And if the if Mitch backs, is a little bit if the bigger, running backs are committed to diving down great, into the field. Great, yeah. That's a great block by Doodle, but Von Butler comes up to actually make that stop to get him at the one. That's but close. if not for him, oh, that's oh man, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if know. they want to challenge it because they're probably gonna. Nah, there's no here. point. Yeah, there's yeah. no point. Dudu in a backfield. Oh, that means. Within the context of football, it's a good thing. <laughs> yes, that is the person's name. Second I, down, I apologize. Well, yeah. through. And again, another easy walk through. Huff is. It's like you guys said. Huff is not here for crazy stats. Huff is really trying to win, and his play calling is really getting it done for the animals right now. Huff dials these up, though. The snap, Huff tosses this one, caught, Easy. and slides in there. Easy. I honestly think Huff is better from that 10-yard 10, 10 line than he is at the 5. I think it's always better 10 from the 5 because, A, you have the, the chance for more points, so if you if you score a lower percentage, you still can keep on pace or score a higher percentage. Because right now they're on. But you also have more space to run pass plays, and Indeed. most of the teams in this league are structured to get a pass play easier from 10 yards than they are to get a, a guaranteed five when the defense knows it's going to be a run. And on a dime, it looked like the buzz were, were, were keeping pace I mean, here. They still have the chance. It's still yeah, early to get they the ball put, at half. If they put Mark Diggs back in, because that's what it was. Yeah, and that's it's that whole two-quarterback system failure thing. Yeah. Because if it works, it works. But when it doesn't, now Mark Diggs is out of, out of rhythm. And he's also down extra points. Here's Marty on the return. Marty's looking for sauce. Sierra didn't look like he wanted it at first. Oh, but he makes the tackle. He almost, he almost hockey jerseyed him. So, yeah, so but you saw like Sierra Austin Hancock. Matthews. You saw Sierra Hancock, a rookie in this league, looking at the guy that was running at him, and he and he and he almost like shuffle stepped to go for the push out of bounds as opposed to the breakdown yeah, in the well, shoulder. What are you doing? Great play. Digs back under center. You've been in the booth. The handoff, the reverse. <laughs> okay. Oh. Keon Charles. Keon Charles finding the sideline, wow. finding the end zone. Bye, DC bye. buzzing. Put six on the board. And this one is close and contentious again. And again, who was the quarterback just now? Mark, Mark Diggs, Diggs oh, dials up a toss reverse, gets the blocks on the crack back, and Keon Charles shows that he is the type of dude that if he gets he the ball in his hands, he's going to break it. He has two just touchdowns on the day. One play can change the entire oh, fate sure. of a game. For sure. And he's already made two plays that could change the entire wave of the game because the momentum might back be back 
on that middle bar, and now the animals have to answer. Take a look at that. Took a play look right at, out look of Look at Mark right Diggs making a block. Yeah, right out of Huff's playbook. Took it right out of his playbook, and they just can't keep up with this young man. He's just too fast. And that might be the secret weapon here for them. Not oh. so secret weapon at this point. Not at this point. And his nickname is Lion, and right there, brought to you by Lenny Manziel coming in for the conversion on the championship point here from the 10. Two wide receivers, three on the line, one back set to the right, that's Nelson. Lenny in trouble, Lenny, Lenny getting brought down. And that's what I said pregame is, is that when Lenny sees the, the rush, he's not looking down the field, he starts to look for that juke, and, and then he just and gets then in trouble. And then it's odd because what's happening to Lenny is what you think should be happening to Mark Diggs, but however, the situation goes, Mark Diggs understands the play and the players more than Lenny does because it takes Lenny Mark, Mark way understands longer. the play clock right. that he has. Right. And he's on time. It takes Lenny way longer well, he looks at to the rush figure first. it out. Right. Wow. I'm, I mean, all this is really telling me, win or lose, the DC Buzz are a better team with Mark Diggs at the helm. All, all this is telling me is that we have the Silk City Animals, right? And we, we respect them. They are a top ranked team in this league. And the DC Buzz finally get their quarterback back. And even though they're 0-3, they're giving the animals a fight. That just goes to show you that not only in the A7FL, but specifically the Northeast Division, these teams are geared up and ready to play high-quality football week in and week out. And shout-outs to my Omegas for coming out here and doing the old Corey Hammond. I'll try. We'll Your see PIC later. He scores 20-12 to 12 here in the second quarter. This is an 0-3 quarter. Buzz team. Against the, what would we say, the third oh. best team? Yeah. The, the third the best team in the league? Yeah. In, in the Northeast, they're number one. And this one's a By wobbler, and Baby Joker will have to fade. Didn't make the 25. Nope. It's got to go 35 yards on the fly and reach past the 25. So now Lenny Manziel has opened the door for That's Baby Joker to real run. dangerous. Go on a dead run. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm waiting in, ten, in ten anticipation for what you guys got planned if he scores on this three-on-one. I'm, I'm definitely going to let Matt go first. Here he goes. Let's, Cuts through, oh stays upright, being held and back. Mar and Marty's not going to let it happen. No. That, that's yeah, a great Marty, tackle by Marty. You were talking he was about, chose on that one. You were talking about Hulk with thigh. That was, that was definitely light work in the gym for Marty right there once he got a good grip so, of it. Someone in the chat saying that RTU has to talk about getting ran over on his line. <laughs> Four wide receivers, two dudes on the line, the quick toss, <laughs> and gets it to the 40. It's like, how do you how do you prep your team for that? How do you prep your own team for that? For because, <laughs> because the Greek beast is lucky that he was ready because you have to be ready 100% of the I mean, time. The Greek be if you play with Huff, he can get you the ball instantly. He was always a bright spot on, what team was he on last season? Exactly. Play action. The quick throw. There's Go. Kenneth Stewart Woo! getting Stewart. busy. Gets to the 33-yard line. And I think if Kenneth Stewart gets back into his wide receiver ways, teams should be – they should be on the lookout for him. They might be in trouble having to deal with him. He, he just really has to get back into that bag. He is strong. He's got balance. He's got a decent hust. The only thing he doesn't have is, like, the Ashanti-worthy speed. In Hust. Cincinnati, a oh, quick play there. Um, Bebo will get the first down and get brought down at the 19. And Bebo's athleticism is is there. You really can see it. But I have never seen it. Behind the back crossover, spin move to avoid a tackle. He's the answer. First and 10. You're the answer. You're AI. From the 20. They'll fake the option there to throw to Baby oh Joker baby and Joker. in there. You don't even care. He's already chose. Touchdown, Silk City. I'm pretty sure when he walked into the camera, he said, no more locked doors. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for it. I didn't want to step on something. Underrated film. Underrated. Underrated trilogy. Underrated. And let's take a look at the replay look at here. He pulls you it. have to honor it. You and it's a to. block now. And look at, oh, he caught oh. Von Butler. Cheating. Oh, my goodness. Poor and, Von Butler's been. Ah, that's tough. Been abused. That's on tough. Film today. They'll go for two. He's a good player, I promise you. From the 10, he is, he is very talented, but he Von is. Von Butler's good. I'm not It's hard lie. playing against Huff. The Here's first the toss, they just the did. second Double toss. Reverse. Oh, Mother of God. goodness. And that okay, one almost to... hit our camera guy on the field. And he didn't flinch. No. And make your voice heard not only here on A7FL.TV, but also across social media. Lenny Manziel oh, no. will goodness. return the That's ball. That's not far enough. Is it Is not? It? Oh, no, 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 no. It was high enough. I don't think he cares if it's far enough if Lenny's returning. 
he could throw the ball 80 yards on the fly, but was he went he went 90 enough? he went yeah. 90 up in the air. Here's Lenny. Lenny will run from the 25. He'll get oh. to the 45. Oh my goodness! And Lenny will lose the ball, but it'll be whistled down. <laughs> it, it just looked bad. It didn't hurt. No, nobody, yeah, some, nothing someone happened. Someone got a still of that, and it's being sent. It, yeah, it just looks so bad. He looked like he got caught in the play place. <laughs> <laughs> and you're and you're and you want Huff to be the MVP this year. So if he gets a pick six, <laughs> oh my goodness! If he oh gets, my Huff, Huff, goodness! Huff, Huff's, Huff is not gonna run a pick six back. I yeah, he'll you. toss it to somebody he'll else. He'll definitely and toss get it. it. He'll even lose the interception. Here's the, here's the jet sweep. Oh my! Keon Charles again. Is that Sir Sahir? There we go, yep, and that's Sire that's what Hancock. we need. That's what we need from Sire Hancock. Plays like that. Yes, first down. Sire is very impressive in, for in a first the, year in the guy. Northeast division because a lot of the teams are new in, in is, Vegas is and other divisions. Of the other divisions. Yeah. In the Northeast. Let's, in the Northeast. Let's let's be honest because it's it's Darnell Richardson has like twenty five touchdowns in three yeah. weeks. Oh no, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So We're those new about, yeah. those new those new Vegas I teams. Mean, Scott. All of those guys are all new. those guys are new. Goose, Xavier Vinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, he, they're, they're, so, but in the Northeast, I would say right now, defensive rookie of the year. Sahir. Sahir Hancock's yeah, up there. He's definitely up there. And, T and Tameno on BIC as well. Yeah. A few guys. Uh, and then he, the names are definitely up there. But the DC Buzz driving after that first down. Play action. Dick Going up top again. One. Oh, that one might be receiver. a little bit too much. Had a little too much Mambo sauce on that one, so it will be second down. Again, I'm really enjoying how Mark Mark Diggs plays. I get it. I understand why people would come back from Baltimore after playing the D.C. Buzz, win or lose, and just be gushing about the guy. Like, oh, my God, he's this. Oh, my God, he's that. And there's Ooh. that play again, and Diggs being brought down. You could be honest, Rob. It's just it's just a thing of beauty to see a guy. It really that is. I'm not, about even, I'm not about to lie about it. A guy that big. The only thing he is makes I, us look good. I, yeah. I preferred when he had the number eight on his jersey because I have this this aesthetic you, you thing like that quarterbacks like quarterback above above nineteen are just disrespectful to me. Why? But it's a it's a clear homage Why? to the best TBS quarterback in the history of football, Jared Lorenzen. So, because he's <laughs> second and ten, the snap. Two, Diggs throws this one slant? on the slant. Oh my! Hey, hey, hey! Hold on to that, young man. Almost okay. got it ripped and robbed by number three, but it will be first and ten at the twenty-five. And then I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not the most accurate counter in the world, but once you're, when he says hike, I see one, two, and the ball goes. He doesn't, he doesn't care where the pressure's coming from, who's making the block or not. It's one, two, go. And the and slant is look. thrown in front of the receiver so he can make yards after the look. catch. One, two, go. And, and if that's, he breaks off that tackle there, oh yeah, he's got the side. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. That's six. That's six. And it'll be first and ten. I always say the 25. slant is almost always there. It's all, in this league, the slant's always there. Quick run to the side. Great, line. We'll cut inside. Great contained by money making Mitch to bring it back inside to give his his teammates an opportunity to actually catch this guy. He's way too but fast. But still, this DC buzz is driving every single time they've had the ball, except for one time. I don't know what was different that time specifically. Plenty. But every ten, every single time they've had the ball, except for the one Excuse three me. and out, I cough. they've been able to move the ball. It'll be second down. The buzz offense driving here. This has been a great half of football. Yes, especially this, has been a f this has exceeded my expectations, and I think many people's expectations for this. This is what I, we expected, expected the DC this. Buzz would I, be in the beginning of the yes. season when right, we preseason right, right. said the they were the seventh weeks. best team in the league. Be I don't think we were wrong about that. Mark no, Dix hasn't been healthy. Difference. Yeah. Watch Baby Joker. You can see him. He's his own spot shadow. Handoff cuts to the sideline. Almost gets lariated. Yeah, Duke is playing well this year. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. Um, <laughs> Mark Diggs with the snap. <laughs> quick hand First off. Goal. Ooh, cut to the outside. Marty. Oh, my goodness. Now that's how you run the ball. Marcel getting to the one. It'll be interesting if they mark him at the two. They will mark him down at the two-yard line. Marty's one of those running backs that's just on the verge of having, like, a huge season of, of getting the respect of everybody in this league as a top back. You know, he were, the way he plays football reminds me a little bit of what Bravado Wilkerson does out in the West because he's he's big and strong, and he attacks the hole. Now, he's facing the Northeast, and he's not as good as RTC, but that's what I see when I see a big physical back running it in there, second and goal from the two. We paused after the timeout from the Animals. The handoff inside. Marty, Marty Nelson taking it to the apartments and to the end zone, making it a one-score game again as the Buzz continue to battle back against the Animals in what has been the toughest challenge for the Animals so far Honestly, honestly, and that's why I really, 
I really want to double down on the ranking we gave them at the beginning of the season. Yeah. Mark Diggs makes this team better. I'm, I'm just starting to see certain players really enhance what the team looks like. Certain teams are made for certain players. Well, guess what? When you throw the ball on time on design plays, you give your players a chance. And it looks like it's going to be a two-point conversion here for the championship points and Mark Diggs. The snap to throw to the end zone, tipped out of play. Great defense. And with 2.13 left to go, it'll be a long road, but the buzz back in it. Leonard with the throw off. And that one will get past the 25 yard line. This is Bebo. Bebo, Bebo. trying to cut to the sideline, oh. spins through, uh -oh. changes hus, direction. Hus, hus. Unhand me, sir. Hum. And he will have a salad in the way of the turf of Asbury Park Stadium, but a big play there by Bebo. Because he got tossed? Down. Yeah. Okay. It's macho in motion. Another slick in motion. That was Kenneth Stewart, the screen Again, one more time. That's it, that's the grab you need. You got have to be able to catch the ball. And it looked like the defender, I think that was Keith Salmon Jr. RTU trying to knock the ball out of the receiver's hand. Either him or Von Bell. And it's Lou Scheist oh, no, okay, pocketing it right out of the air. But that's what you need. You need guys to catch the pass. Huff is gonna throw it. Well, quick screens are a great play when you play that far off and you got a blocker in front of them. Second, second and three. Baby Joker in motion. Excuse me, sir. Huff will run out to his right. Will he go? He'll Damn throw a sidearm, side and that's caught, Kick. but not complete. Good effort. Great effort. Great effort. Man. Which is his actual name, by the way. <laughs> oh, that's man. Number 21, man. The handoff. He'll get to the 15th. Oh. The 14, that would be a first down. Macho jumped on that ball fast. <laughs> <laughs> no. Indeed. John Dabbs, there's definitely a game after this. Pretty, a pretty big one at that. It'll be the Watchmen taking on the U. That's at 4 o'clock Eastern, and then at 7 o'clock Eastern, the Hunters look to keep their playoff spot. They face the Pit Bosses. That'll be at 7 p.m. We got games all after. They see Huff normally in a hurry up all game. Looks like a Now he's slowing it down because the Buzz get the ball at half. Oh, and uh, there's that. He kept it when he shouldn't have kept it. Yeah. Huff wanted to pull it for good reason because he got met at the line. Huff wanted to pull it. And Hulk is just so strong, his bicep crunched down on the ball and <laughs> kept it. Listen, when you when you curling up 70s in the gym, that's insane. The I bicep is in the way of that huff pull. So. A guy curling 70s you in can the gym, forgive I'm him. probably looking away from I'm you, exaggerating, but Something's still. Something's wrong with you, man. I'm leaving. I'm just I'm getting curling up. 70s. I'm getting out of here. Second and goal. I'm thinking about them big or somebody curling 70s. That's insane. <laughs> Huff will throw, roll to his left. Side. He throws and through the hands of the receiver and a belly bump by the defender. Again. The snap. Oh my goodness. Huff will toss this one. Oh, nah, there's, no there's no way. 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 Nah. And that's what? correct, Zach Morgan, in my ear. Yes way, somehow, <laughs> some way. Oh, my Houdi goodness. Houdini Huff is in the most literal straight jacket I've ever seen him in, and he still scores the touchdown as the, cl the clock ticks down. Look at this. So watch Sha Shaquem. I thought that's where it was going. And, and Hulk just shows that he definitely does box jumps in the gym because he really got up there. The formation is set up wow. because he didn't even have to have one of his blockers block once on that play. He plays football. He trolls me. A quick snap, the toss back, bouncing around. No, Huff, come on. No way. Throws across his no, body. No, nah, no. He's a walking highlight reel, man. I mean, if you're not going to throw it what behind your back, that? you might as well do a quadruple reverse flea flicker touchdown to Lou Shiesty. Do you know what that and does? And if I've ever seen a play that was Shiesty, it's capped off by a guy with Shiesty in his name. Animals 33, DC oh Buzz. Goodness. With a great 18 that's overshadowed by this ridiculous by the way great play. Oh my gosh. Take a look. One, One two, two, three. Three right here. Flea flicker. Then right back to Huff. Now everybody's just and like, then look oh, at man. look at him. Hey, bro, what, what are, are we you doing over do? there? I don't want you there. Wide open. They broke the server there. What? Yeah. DC and Buzz was reloading. You can't, circle I'm, screen. You know what Huff is doing? What just happened? Huff is is saying none of you guys are this smart. You cannot diagnose my offense in in half a second, in ten second. It takes a minute 
to even realize on what this man is doing. On that play and the previous wow, play on the man. touchdown, Huff was basically as close as he'll ever be to Adam Sandler in the movie Click. He has the remote, and he's just moving everybody else Everyone. like this is his simulation. Five wow, seconds left, man. three on one. Kenneth Stewart gets deep enough. Here's the guy who's made some plays. Oh. Keon oh. Charles. Keon Charles oh. finding the seam. Uh -oh. Keon Charles down the sideline. Keon Can't Charles. Bye, slips bye. on. Touchdown with no time taken off the board. Wow. Making it a close game again. Keon Charles keeping it moving. And it's another 6, 24 to 30. He says, I do this. Just relax. I'm not even hyped up after. What a great response. That's a great response. We're still gushing over how ridiculous it was that the animals have to manufacture you, points you by doing just, magic. You even just said it. It's this overshadowing is what these guys are doing. Take a look at this. Oh, my, oh goodness. my goodness. That's technically illegal, but I'm just going to allow it because oh. I'm too much of a narc already to Baltimore, guys. <laughs> They're calling me McNulty. And he's got speed, man. He Keon Charles. Speed. He's known as a lion, but he's running like a cheetah out there. Yeah, Shout Keon. out to my guy, Tyshawn Robinson from the Schnoe Tribe. That. Great game. Sire blows the coverage, and then <laughs> Kenneth Stewart just act, ah. he gets asked that famous question, what did the five fingers say to the face? Bye. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's what it. they said on that play. And Mark Diggs takes Le himself out to put Lenny on here for the championship point. Now, this is a huge one because look this at the score right now. It's nine. Very important. Very important. Ah. Nine is the worst. You have to score on this. You do. Because if you don't, then it's a two-score game. There is no kicking in the A7FL. And they will try for two here. And if they got the one, it would still be eight. But they have to score they one way or score. another. They, they decide that for two, they put in Lenny. And we've seen Lenny do magical things on these things, so I'm not going to hate. Manziel will roll out to his right. He'll throw. Woo! That was caught. Exactly why I don't hate. Head wow! tap. Shout out to my Jaffo. Head top tap. Shelf. Top shelf there. Ted top. Listen, he's, That is a magical play for Lenny. Not, they're not laying down, but th no. that's what... I think that's where Lenny shines, and that's where the misconception of Lenny can do this full time. He can't. Lenny is good for, uh, he's lightning in a bottle. It's just once, once or twice. He, he's the Maryland Bobby Newman. Oh my One big play. Look at this. Shots fired. Oh, my. Oh, he went up to go get that thing. That was in. Listen, Ooh. that's Lenny Mantel. Right, because I'm not seeing his name here. But I got to say that hey man, man's name before Listen, the game five over. seconds left. This is an untimed down. That means likely Huff is back on the field with a shot. Bebo on the return. Uh-oh. 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 He gets uh -oh. the uh -oh. corner uh -oh. on Momo. Uh -oh. Bebo gets out of That's play and then Beal to the sideline. Great return. The snap from Huff. Huff will roll out to his right. He'll point guard it. Flag oh, on the play. This one thrown to the end zone. Wolpen how. And, and they won't say out, he caught he it. But Kenneth there is Stewart a penalty on the play. I'm it's not sure if it's holding. on the defense. It's offensive holding for sure. Well, we'll take a brief timeout here at halftime. 33 to 26 is your score. The Silk City Animals with the lead, but the Buzz rallying back and get the ball at half. Will they be able to tie this one up? We'll find out on the other side. And also a quick check around the league. The Chaos continue to lead, and the Insomniacs are up 12 to nothing in the first quarter. We'll be back in just about four minutes' time. Stay right where you are. And a run, a run for six. So he's looking, to, he's looking very dangerous right now. They're about to throw it off to him. Kenneth Stewart will throw it off for the D, for the animals. The DC Buzz will see Keon Charles catch it at the 15. Uh -oh. He'll have to go 85 yards to the oh end zone. Oh my goodness! Oh, Kenneth Stewart oh just got posterized. Goodness. He cuts oh. through Baby Joker, and Kenneth Stewart will Ooh. catch him around the 45. But Keon Charles, there go that man. Sure. And let's see that run back again. Just finds a way to peel Ooh, Stewart off. Up. And then husses the life out of baby Joker. Just mm -mm. The body me. control there. We, we talk about so being aware of where you are spatially. Diggs will toss this one off. Von right Butler. side, Von, Von Butler. Butler. Great footwork. Runs into a defender and brought down at the 30. And they continue to matriculate the ball downfield here. And it'll be first down. Enough. That, that upsets, I think, the entire a Eastern lot. Conference. Well, it puts the bottom teams in the Eastern Conference on notice because, yes, the win against the Animals looks good, but they can't get to the top with three losses, but they can enter the bottom. The they handoff only... inside, pushing through the pile. Here, the reality of the situation is the buzz with a win or a loss here only needed one game out of their next three to be able to get into the playing games. Right. And with a win here... 
they really mess up the structure of that, not the top three person. Well, they do well, they, the top three. A win here drops the watch, wow. drops the U, pardon me, puts the U up to the top. I was trying to think through the oh, math of it. Yeah, in the Northeast, the animals would drop down to maybe four. They could drop as low as four. The U would go to one, and the BIC would be in the second spot. The throw to digs off the hands and it'll be incomplete in third down. They might have heard us talking the, too nicely about them, and they hit the reset button. Well, Kidding. Well, how it works, right, is is the Renegades are now 2-2. Two and two. So based on what we get in the 4 o'clock game, which is the Patterson U are going to take on the Baltimore Watchmen, if the U win that game, the Renegades are on par 2-2 two and two with, with the, the Watchmen, who they have to see second to last game of the season, which is nothing but playoff implication. They literally fighting for now, the spot. Now, what, what messes all of this up is, is that the one team that doesn't play all three teams, except for the teams involved, right. the Beast, BIC, U, and the Watchmen, is the Snap, animals, quick screen. the quick toss off the screen. That would be the Patterson. And then the game after that, I believe That'd be the Trenton BIC. So BIC. Then, then all of a sudden, we're talking about 3-0 start, and then they're, they're facing Three and three, heading into the last week against the Omegas. Which they'll get, so the end four and three. The snap, digs on fourth down. Caught! And that one brought down at the 16. Wow, that's great. That'll that's give him the Keon first Charles down. Again. Keon Charles is just, they got to figure something out for him. If they there's, actually it's not game. very often that a He's man. He's a hidden gem. There's not very often that a man can step, basically, as we're doing basketball reference, toe to toe, possession to possession, standing up tall to what Huff has been doing. Shout out to Keon Charles, who might even have caught that ball on her. Uh, I don't think no, so. that was on Bebo, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah, it was joke. It was I mean, was underneath in the safety time it's, it's very good to see that someone else can step up for the DC Buzz because I was looking for Mike going to make it. Yep. Haven't seen him. Didn't and make he, it. Right, didn't make it. And Keon Charles has actually it. been filling that spot. And it will be first down. Lenny at the top of your screen. Manziel in motion. Ooh, They'll jump nice. the line. And now off the handoff, he bounces right. off, to the cuts apartment. inside, Marcel bye, bye. Nelson, making this one a ball game, touchdown, DC that Buzz. Big, big touchdown. The Animals for the first time all season. Penalty declined, and it will be a touchdown. They might be in trouble. Well, right now it's a one-point game, so those championship points. Oh, we're talking about it. And you are, com you are completely correct to do so. With a spot in the Eastern Conference first and round, getting a bye right on the here. line. Beppo got to get his weight up. Look, smash! Come here, little boy. He bounced Excuse off me. of him. And he bumped him into two players, and he's out of here. That's he hit it. him with the Sonic Pinball. That's it. Okay. Quick throw. That'll be a screen Ready back to Manziel. Manziel. Manziel will throw this one into the pocket tie Bam. game. Oh, no. Oh. He bobbled it. No! I think we're going to have to look Whoa. at that again because, yes, he did bobble Whoa. it. But did he, main, did he maintain his feet in bounds when he finally did get back possession? Oh, wow. We got to rerun that one. Lenny. I don't I like this, this kryptonite name. Statue of Liberty's <coughs> formation. But shout outs to Baltimore, Maryland, who keeps getting the Baltimore special stolen from them. Going over to the Vegas and stealing it from them. Look at his throw. Right to where it needs to be. Let's see, let's see. Oh, he's no, he's out. He's, he's out. out. He's, he's out. out. He's good out. eye by Will he's Franklin. Out. Yeah, that was a good call by Will. Who that's returning it? No. That's been catching all the, the back end zone plays. Who got the interception and the touchdown. Yeah, Terrell. Yeah. Yeah, whoever Terrell is. Here come man. Get off the boy. Oh, my goodness. He, he pushed him five yards. I guess his name is man for a reason. And it'll be a four wide receiver set, three at the bottom of your screen. Baby Joker, number 22, in the slot. Lou Shiesty to his left. Beppo at the bottom of the screen. Huff with time will throw over the middle. That's caught by Beppo. He'll get to the 49. And all Beppo has to do is catch and hold on to that ball. And he'll be dragged out of play at the 48. And he's turning out to be a consistent target for Huff. Like I said earlier, he, you know, he's a former quarterback for this team a couple years ago. He's more of a he's more of a you know kind of utility player to play defense, offense, special teams. But Huff has used him as a security blanket, and, and on that crossing pattern, he makes sure he catches it. Great pass, great catch, and that's how you convert offense. And that's just way too much time in the pocket for Huff. You can't 
I get it. You want him to beat you, but you just can't give him that much time in the pocket. The snap, Huff will cut up field and he will slide to the 41. He takes what the defense gives him. Nobody trailing, so he has to unfortunately take it down and just play another down. And this is a smart reset for, for Huff. We'll check here on the replay on that last play, the play before last, where Beppo just completely dragged and manhandled himself yeah, to get an extra that few yards. That, fell from, <laughs> that plastic thing he that was, fell from that little uh, battle there. He but it was thrashed. That looked like his mouthpiece. He thrashed his mouthpiece out. Might have been talking smack. Second and four. Baby Joker set up to the left. He'll get the ball. He'll cut inside towards the sideline. Bounces. Oh my goodness. And spins Marty out. Tossing people. Marty, Bone. Marty does his push ups. I, I <laughs> Bone and Marty. My goodness. He's one put, of those dudes doing push ups with chains on them. They put Baby Joker literally in a blender. For real. With one hand. <laughs> Turned him into a beautiful oblivion. Huffle rendezvous with the ball here. We love the tackle, but most importantly, it was pretty this. good blocking. Got, a, got a guy man. out front, and he does get the first down. But. <laughs> he just lo and look how he stood over him. Yeah. Marty, That's a big there. brother, little brother thing. RPO the toss oh, to wow. Baby Joker. Baby Joker saying there are no <laughs> unlocked doors for him, and he'll get the first down and get brought down at the 23. Gracias. Listen, Baby Joker is definitely making a name for himself. Huff needs that guy who, can, who we can count on as another player that, to watch. It can't just be Huff. So if Baby Joker's deciding to dye his hair and actually be that standout player, I'm all for it. Well, we've seen Baby Joker make plays. We've seen Lou Scheiste make some plays. Kenneth Stewart's been making plays. Money Mitch's making plays. It's nice to play for Huff. Spread the ball around. <laughs> First 10. 33 to 32. Trey Robinson just added for the Insomniacs. Handoff cuts to the outside. Gets buggy whip. Will keep it and get brought out of play at the 19. Sentence I never thought I would say. The snap and Huff will just take it. He'll cut to the outside and get brought down on the sideline at the 12 yard line and a player is down. That's RTU. RTU is down. He was on the bottom of that pile there. Speaking of the animals. The quick toss to fake and that one tossed to Baby That's Joker. Pass. Touchdown. How? How did that happen? He bowled it to him. He bowled it to him. Touchdown animals. The snap on the one point attempt, the thrust. How did that happen? That's it. Because again, he understands who's open, who's not. And those conversions are so important. First and 10, Diggs will throw oh. this one deep out of reach of the receiver. Miss Mark, time that one, it'll be second down. Mark and I love that combination. You have the streak on the outside, the whip on the inside off of motion, but pretty good coverage there. He puts the ball out there. Just a little bit too far for his receiver. And that's but. the interesting part about Mark Diggs. I don't see him throwing an interception. He's either throwing it, he's always throwing it in a place that the defender can never catch. But he puts it somewhere that only his player can catch or can nobody can catch it at all. Right. And when you're when you have to throw with anticipation on, on a route, a deep route like that, you put it to a spot. So even the most minor Impedance to that route sometimes changes where the ball should have ended up. Toss Good on toss. second down. Ooh, Plows ooh. through, gets to the 29. What, what, did, what did he say? You gotta eat a little bit more McChickens, they only a dollar? Yeah. Yeah, that's that. He, yeah, these guys need a few more McChickens. Listen, we're if seeing. If you keep talking about chicken, I'm gonna want chicken. And speaking I, I of chicken, chicken, I said it earlier, and Rob, to be fair, it wasn't on camera, so it wasn't like a three on one where we could see it. <laughs> but you made a face when I made a. a a, a reference for a Vegas, a, a Baltimore guy is an Aldi's version of a Vegas guy, which is an Aldi's That's version of a Jersey guy. Oh but did you just see that run? Yeah. I, I'm not saying he's the exact same player, but when we watch it, RTC, we see that type of physicality. The and running what game has like. been maligned in this league, and here's the quick handoff again on third. Oh, just Keon cuts Charles inside. Keon Charles will get to the 31, That's to the game. 33 with extra effort. 313 in the third left to go. Diggs will throw this one deep down the sideline out of the reach of the receiver. Again, that half second delay, and it will be second down. The clock will run. The only time the clock will stop on an incompletion is under two minutes in the second or the fourth quarter. 
There's not really more kids with that kind of time Was it at McDonald's? Was that McDonald's? Yeah, receivers and offensive line. Yeah. How does he not win a championship with the way he runs across the right. 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 place? Well, we know you're a sucker for those accurate pocket right. quarterbacks right. that sure. give them offensive lines yeah. hypothetically. Yeah. Sure. Wide receivers have a better yeah. Yeah. I will say that not only does he have the, the, the tangibles and the, the, he has the intangibles of football. You see them in the huddle. Now, all of these players that are 0-3, they believe that they can beat the number three team in the nation, and they're playing like it today. It'll be second down, 2.22 left to go, 40-32 to 32 your score in the third quarter. That is not a busted graphic. Diggs in trouble, but busted offensive line play, and a big play chill out Duke doing being anything but chill. Diggs goes down for the first time today, and it will be third down, and it looks like Relish might get a little bit of ketchup on his face after that play. The six actually the fourth down. No, here's the, the oh, that, yeah, ball. So, so when you see the guy rushing, nah, I'm just gonna punt on that one. Yeah, punt. But it looks like so it'll it be looks third like down. Diggs will Ooh. throw that one swatted. Beautiful camera work on that one. Because the guy who raised his hand is the tight end, but there's someone outside of him as well. The handoff oh, inside. Yeah, stay inside. Hold that ball. And that's a that's Gets a to the jet action dive middle. And right now the DC buzz. When you play defense, right, Rob, or, or you're coaching a defense, because we know that you're firmly seated in this seat or at Quick least. Quick play, up. play action gets the cameras confused, but we get it loaded. Ooh, yeah, getting to the 45, and it will be first down for the... Dig it! And that'll be the end of the third quarter, and after 45 minutes of football, it has not been boring. If you like defense, go home. It's 40 to 32, the Animals with the lead on the DC buzz, but this has been... We've seen some great defensive play today. We have, it's just we're watching phenomenal offensive players yeah. outdo good defense. One man in the backfield, three on the line. Player in motion, the handoff will cut inside and continue Ooh, to plow run. to the 40, but will be denied from passing the 40. They might call him at the 39. Second and seven. Kessler set up to the left of Huff, the handoff again. To 23, and he will gain about a Is yard, maybe two. Ghost? I definitely saw Did that. He just I definitely saw that. And and for anybody wondering why all of a sudden Houdini Huff, who was doing all this magic, is starting to change his game plan to a run heavy one. It's fourth quarter. It's fourth They're quarter. Up you're by up by eight yeah. points. You got it. Your clock. The clock is your enemy. And they're trying to chew clock right now. And shout out to Halo Love donating five dollars to the super chat. Hey, that'll Not get us sure. closer. There we go. That's better than an email. <laughs> dot, 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 plus. We will, we, also, we will also accept uh, tankards of coffee. <laughs> uh, we might be doing the uh, Zach Morgan telethon, raising money to get a new hat. The quick toss cuts up. That's the Joker, the OG Joker. There's Big Joker and Baby Joker. Joker Sr. Joker Sr., Joker Jr., uh, El Hijo del Joker, Joker number three. Well, it's like it's a Viano uh, situation. It's like Joker is the Jack Nicholas, Nicholson, and then uh, Baby Joker, I guess, is fourth and one. Block. Huff will just say screw it and go on his Woo! own. Look for the and toss, gets up. it. Come on, Macho. Macho. Dum, 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 dum. Let's go, Macho. No pomp or no yeah. circumstance, but gets inside the 15. Does Macho great after the toss block. from Huff? First great. down. Shout outs to Huff from saving me from a bad joke, but he makes a great play. And that was and a great block again by Shaquem, man. That was a great point of attack block by Shaquem to get Huff that open to create that seam. That is insane. And listen, the most important thing Macho can do for this offense is block Look at that and block. make Sealed. make the play in his uh, original me. offense. Woo! 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 <laughs> He's still on the floor. That's 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 a good <laughs> oh player. Oh so my not even goodness! Woo! <laughs> but when you pitch it, you speak That's that mama say mama saw mama who's That's a huss if I ever seen one. Oh my goodness. Uh, Huff's mag magical moments are breaking the broadcast. There's that's, a handoff to That's the, the huss, huss of a middle. week. I don't know. I ain't seen a huss like that in a minute. That boy slid three yards sideways. Yikes. Yeah. Well, well what I was going to say is when <laughs> Huff is involving guys like Joker in the offense, it makes it easier for that guy to block all game because he knows that he's going right, to get gonna get He's going to get some love. And you got to love playing for a guy that is always sharing the ball. He threw me the ball in the championship. I just got love. <laughs> <laughs>
Second and Money ten. Money making Mitch with the bounce. Mitch will just cut the cut diagonally. And again, I hope that's his name. Isaiah Alexander is having a phenomenal game. I, I'm, I mean, if I didn't know him before today, I know him now. That guy's everywhere. He's everywhere, doing everything. There's some. There's some guys that are in this game popping off of the screen right. for the buzz. And a lot of times when you're 0-3, it's, it's hard it's to hard. even yeah, it give is, it, it that it that go. Right. It's hard to even get in the car sometimes and drive that distance. But these Shout guys out to the Omegas. Did. Do it every week. Third and 11. Ball at the 14-yard line. Have to get to the three. And they shift from evens to quads right. And there you see Kenneth Stewart. And just look at the defense. They're just, they don't even know what to do. Number seven. They're still talking. All right, no, you Beppo cover him. in the slot. Change place this time. It's four wide receivers set, pardon me. Huff will just shirk oh, the defender. He's skiing downhill. We'll get out of play at the two, and it'll be first down. He looks, at me. He looks like a villain. This is his villain arc right now. The quick screen to the big man. To Shaquem McCutcheon. And that's doo-doo in the end zone. That's it. That's it. Again, again, the nickname, guys, is for his daughter who's battling cancer. And shouts to him. I'm pretty sure she's watching this. She's proud of her dad right now. As she should wow, be. Puts man. it on the board. 46-32, your score. Matt, Shaquem is clearly over 300 pounds. Yes. What kind of touchdown was that? That would be a thick boy touchdown. Oh, okay. You know Just why? Because it's always thick boy season in there the A7 go. FL. There we go. Again, I He's giving everyone the ball. Why wouldn't you want to play for this guy? He's, why wouldn't you want to play for him? The only people that don't want to see Huff under center are the people that play defense against him. Shout outs to the tinyurl.com A7FL merch shirt on look at this, Matt look at this. Oh, oh, that's another one. Oy. But <laughs> look at this decision right here. I'm going to get due to a touchdown by going out of bounds. That's what right, that decision so was. They will go for one from the five-yard line. They're only up by one score. He's making decisions like that. A reverse the again. toss back. The toss back. And it works. Uh, don't the tell throw me caught. No way. This is not working Another this many times. I'm not going to lie to you. Relatively larger size. Point situation. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Wow. Breaking the BMI. Putting a point on the board. It's 47-32. Nah, Show up like Frank Ocean at Coachella. Exactly. And he gets the free run from the 25, takes it. This is Terrell again. And he will be brought oh, down brought and down by Shea. Woo! Number 88, Shea with oh, the tackle. Oh, wow. Haven't seen Shea much this year. That was, wow. AKA stretch on the tackle, Shea Norris. I want you, you guys to gave him. You guys gave him a nickname last year, but let's, let's just leave that last oh, year. Stop it. Oh, wait. Okay, I don't remember what it was. But I know what I was saying. We were Check saying about him. That's one of my favorite films of all time. It's okay. my only purple quarterback rating film. Listen, Money Man, you haven't been watching this game because clearly not. Snap. They're asking about Manzo. Diggs throws this one to the sideline. Intercepted. Oh man, that was a wobbler. That's man with the interception. Not me saying, oh man. And that will be the second turnover for the Buzz today, and a very costly that, one. Yeah, as that might put the game and a every time we start reach. talking good about Mark Diggs, we jinx him. But on the wheel route, you saw that there was an open window there, but with a, a, a knee injury that he's fighting through and pressure in his face, he throws off the back foot. And ball ball kind of flutters a little bit too much. And guys, in, in just about 40 minutes, we're going to see the U and the Watchman oh, play. Oh, that wasn't a wheel. That was an out and up. Yeah, you Watchman, you thought this was great football. Hopefully just they wait. can live up to it. Because oh, for sure. They're looking I want to know fair. who's starting for the, B, for the U. We know who's starting for the Watchman. It's going to be John Cause. We know. Brian Shamar was trying to play like he didn't give it up. He Brian was asking. Up, here, by the way. He was asking. He was in the chat too. He was asking if uh, Carlos Clausen goes seven and zero if he's the MVP. So that means that by default he has to be playing today. First and ten to toss to Baby, Baby Joker. Joker. Joker will get through the defender and get brought down at the 37 yard line. And they've run that play four or five times today. It every still works. single it's time they run time. it. But not only that, every single time they run it, it looks smoother. It looks like they're getting on the same page even more. Uh, and then that, wobbler. yeah, that was a wobbler. Someone See, might have picked that. He has the out and up, and if he's not I mean, throwing and I don't off think of he back thinks, foot, I don't think he, he thinks man there. is making that athletic of a play too. Man actually got up there to there. go get there. Quick, Quick screen. Big fella. That one um, will get the first down and bring him to the 30. Just to respond to Money Man, Lenny is not 
in my opinion. And, and let's add, let's say what his question was. He, he said that I don't understand why Manziel isn't starting. Is he not better than this lineman playing QB for DC? And honestly, Money Man, he's not. He's At certain honestly things, not. Lenny Manziel is no, better, and no, that would be no. his 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 ability to move in the pocket, yeah, maybe. Corey's probably even and joking. And clutch plays. No, no, there are a couple There's of no, things that Lenny Manziel no. does do well. Lenny Manziel would not put 32 points against no, this Admirals team not. whatsoever. Lenny Manziel is responsible for extra Time points. Timeout called by the buzz. Some funny, some funny trickery, you know, um, quarter wide receiver pass plays. Lenny Manziel is not a one, two, three, four down quarterback at all. And we can we can put a not we can no we can pack not that like Mark Diggs is no, no, for the not DC bus. at all because Mark he's Diggs not, he's Mark not. Diggs has been the leader and also the main play distributor for the Buzz and since their their time as the Vipers. Yeah, we can pack up the whole Lenny is a QB thing. He's not. He's no, not. He, he does what he does. He, we saw him do it in this game, but we also say, saw a, what he did with, with when he was on the watch against clearly, BIC, and no, it happens. Lenny is not a four-down quarterback. You cannot count on him for a full game. He is a, he's a spark. He's an itch on your leg that you smack because it's a mosquito. It happens. But Lenny's not the answer, no. First and 10 after the timeout, the throw. He can't caught. Play, he can't play corner either. Bye bye. And that's brought down. They'll call it down at the one. Oh, no. They won't Lou give Shiesty him the touchdown. Gets, gets a touchdown stolen. And he, and he can't play corner either. Lou Shiesty gets Shiesty, and it will be first and goal on the one yard line. And but the Animals do, trying to make this a three-score game. But we do appreciate you reaching out, the Money Man. I mean, it's it's not a it's it's a decent question, especially if you're new to the league, because even though it is TBS all the time, great great play action. This this offense has been had has had the DC Buzz on their heels all game. And and it's and it's a situation where the other players on the offense had to catch up with Huff's pace. And a lot of these players are either on. They're not at the peak. They're at the top or the bottom of their career and are brought down at the one-yard line. And, and he's given guys new opportunities that are young in this league and new life that are old in this league. And before you know it, Huff stays on the Animals for another season. He's going to bring more talent to that team. Do you think he retires after this year? Because he said he this said is his it, last run. He also said if he's having fun, he probably won't. So I think he's having fun. I want to ask him. I want to ask him. How much fun is he having? We'll Through find out weeks. next week. We'll find four out. weeks he's It'll been be, having fun. We'll find second out next down. week. down. On the one yard line, Huff will he keep just crossed it, it through his legs. And, no, he did. Please tell me and he skill a, challenges his way into the end zone, does the Heisman. He didn't cross it. It Touchdown, Corey. Silk. He did City. do it. Corey, there's no way. There's no way. <laughs> there's no way. He's, he's he just used to it. Shot, but for the first time in, in a very long time, I, for, it was only like two seconds. Yeah. But I was speechless. My mouth was. Um, I was speechless. Corey the word speechless flummoxed. is insane. That's insane. Yeah, that's yeah. shoulder replay. Yeah, indeed, because this is of your reactions. No, no not I'm, I'm, I'm not to see my face any more than they have to already. Remember who who fired me? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the chat firing me? Hey, you can fire me again, guy. We we love you too. Wow, this game is. Good All right, so no, we're gonna no. go for two from the ten, but I'm sure we're gonna get that. They don't have uh, the replay on that one, but I, I was about to promise it too. Thanks. Yeah, the good job. Reverse. The triple, triple reverse, cha cha, and real. Still Come on, Hancock Hancock. Zaire. Don't throw it. You're not allowed. Oh no! Loose okay. ball. It's still, it's still behind the line. Huff will throw no. it. Come no. on. No, I'm taking no. it. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. But it's nice. I'm taking it. It's fun. I, I, it's illegal. It's illegal. I'm a narc. I'm who, sorry. Who threw a forward pass? Call Huff me McNulty. What? That whole play was the forward. No, no, no. The, it led to the forward pass. There's the reverse, reverse, pitch back. Huff threw it forward to Hancock. Hancock, Hancock threw it backwards. He made it to the Huff line of scrimmage? No, no, no. You can't throw it forward twice. So here, here's the Tech, forward pass. But right is, here. is that forward? That's but, forward. But he's not at the if line of scrimmage. If that was even, then it's still legal. No, no, no. You, it's not whether you cross the line of scrimmage or not. You can't throw it forward twice. How do you throw it forward if you don't reach the line of scrimmage? Because you're, you're six it's from yards where back you and are. you throw it to it four doesn't, yards it, back. If you're yeah. It's a forward motion pass. Yeah, so... And Ryan Spadola, our head official. We gotta, we gotta take away some of the, the magic. They can't, they can't <laughs> they're gonna, literally. They're gonna redo. They're gonna go for a redo here. Oh, I love you, Big Tex. You, you can, yeah. Hey, listen, we had a whole episode that we, they were roasting me. So, Big Tex. Pardon roasting. me, no redo. It'll be a loss of down, and it will be a throw off here for the DC Buzz. We'll rely 
on some players like Marcel Nelson who have been carrying I mean, the weight for this team so far this afternoon. Indeed, money man, I don't, I don't think you're wrong whatsoever. Most of the quarterbacks in this league do not look like Mark Diggs, but there's a lot of quarterbacks that are smaller and can move faster than Mark Diggs that, that can't aren't throw. As effective. Yeah, they can't do what Mark Diggs can do. Mark Diggs is responsible for 32 points. Uh, he, they, his team hasn't even scored close to that before today because he hasn't played. There's Marty. And let's see if he can take it to the apartments. Excuse me. He cuts through, Excuse and now me. he's down to sideline. Barreling down like a bullet. Bell stays in bounds. Oh, wow. Pushes the like defender. Saeed Hancock. Right, right, right. And gets it. Hancock. Did you see that when it got around him? Yeah, like no, that looked crazy. He said he's too small. He's a baby. He's a baby. I just, what an impressive run back from Marcel Nelson. I've never seen somebody Debo a person like 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 G look at the, look at this it, got it to the, the 15 when they got around him he he almost squared up like he was gonna fight somebody he had a ball in his hand let's look at the replay here ball goes far enough Marty really wanted some smoke just take a look look at this and he gets the edge the, the on key him. on these three on ones is make the He's first man miss edge. and then you got a chance right, so here has to put the Jets on but once Sierra Hancock gets to start corralling him he gets there he says, hold up, young what man. What you trying to do, boy? <laughs> <laughs> He's, they're in a Muay Thai clinch for 15 yards. Hey, where did the other guy go? I know he got dusted but came back. Where did he go? 88? Yeah. Sahir, so oh, the turf oh, monster. Turf oh, turf monster, monster got him. Been, that Yikes. worm has been real effective this season. That turf monster. Lenny Manzell in. Leonard, Money Man gets what he wishes. He fishes his pushes wish. the pile and gets to the one yard line. <laughs> Shout outs on the, the zone and, and watching a7fl.tv <laughs> that don't get the YouTube chat. We are responding to some of our great fans here, and the Money Man was asking for Lenny Manziel, and he shall receive. And you can talk to us not only on a7fl.tv, but also on Instagram, Twitter. You can tweet at us at the A7FL. Jaquise Worley would rather have Big Rob at QB than a certain someone in the game at the moment. I'd we'll start crazy. on the offense. I'd go crazy at QB over that. And then I like Moms21, which is an insane name. Um, Lenny, I mean, you give any quarterback in this league a good line and receivers and, and they'll do something. I just, I, I don't know. I just don't really agree with that. Uh, Matt Ryan joined by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. We are live here from Asbury Park Stadium in Asbury Park, New Jersey. In just about 40 minutes time, we'll have the Watchmen battling the U. The Buzz are trying to come back here. Have two timeouts and a two minute warning. Down 53 to 32. Manziel hesitates, will roll out to his left. Tries to cross up the defender, he does. Throws it to the end zone, tipped in incomplete. And those are the things that Lenny can do that Mark can't, but that's not a, a way that you run offense consistently. Now, he had it there, and he made a lot of great play, ma talking, made that play look great. We're talking extending the play on a broken play clearly and trying to find an open man. I mean, that, that's, Kenny Stansberry used to say it all the time, that's backyard football. Right yeah, there, and, and like, sometimes you have, that's, that's the knock on me, at least. <laughs> that's sometimes and, you have to have that in your game, but right. and Rosetta off, the, Stone. off the beginning of this play, if we ever do get to receive the replay, which I don't think is worth it, but off the beginning of this play, it was a, basically a twins concept to the left. Both were running crossing routes, and the inside cross did have an opening that I saw. But he didn't hit it. Because he was looking at the rush, trying to make, a, make the move to avoid it, where that's the difference between Mark Diggs and Lenny. Mark Diggs isn't looking at the rush. He knows it's coming. He's not moving. He doesn't care. He's going to deliver the ball to the open man. And it will be third down. I don't like when we get into this referendum on is Lenny good or not. Lenny is Lenny. It, it's, right? No, but it's a lot of people asking because there's That's guys true. that are, asking, you know, this is the first time they're watching a Mark Diggs like me who are wondering, hey, why is a guy that overweight and that big at quarterback? And there was a time paused because of an equipment issue, an official timeout, the snap on third down. And that's a very Patrick fair will question. find the end zone and Manziel, the top row diamond, the bottom rose gold. And if he can get six on the board and make this a two score game, yeah. and the buzz the, are and bouncing then, back and there's a flag on the field. Yeah, but that's the thing. The yeah. thing is. They're waving the flag, touchdown yeah, buzz. The thing is, when, they'll, when they see me saying something about Lenny, they think it's hate. <laughs> it's not hate. Well, the it's proof, the direct the, comparison no, I'm, to Mark Diggs. I'm, the proof is in the pudding. Yes, he just scored a touchdown. Great. But. 
Lenny can't do it for four quarters straight. There's nothing I think I'm saying that's hate or He's bias He's a situational or player. He's a situational guy. So the conversation of, oh, can Lenny lead a team? The answer is no. They'll go for two here, 53 to 38. Trying to trap the queen of the animals here is Lenny Hedrick. He'll throw this one. Pushing oh, through and Bone getting into the end zone, putting two on the board, making it a two score game. The Buzz need to score twice and stop the animals here if, with 248 if I told left. You, Rob, seconds. that the DC Buzz were going to put up 40 today, you I would, would say never, that they I had a great believe. chance to win, right? Yeah, I would have definitely said that. I don't think that it would be unreasonable to assume that there's likely at least one more scoring drive, maybe even two, that Quattro Huffman might be putting on here because what we've seen. The, the game plan from the beginning is that the animals are going to play you football, which is attack relentlessly. Ooh. Who cares what Wait, the what? score is? Football? They're calling for a football. retry here. Which, Unsure like why. Like you, like Patterson you football in which we're not gonna play necessarily if it's, if it's the end of the game, we're gonna run the clock out. We're up here to make a statement that isn't we're that, one of the top. Isn't that really. Huff football? Because exactly. I really don't see. Maybe that's what I should be yeah, saying. Yeah, that's what you right? should be okay. saying. Yeah, I don't think the animals, I don't see anything that the animals are doing that the you are doing. I it's not even close. Five-yard penalty. The BIC plays next. Three no, they play last. For Manziel. He'll throw to the end zone, and that'll be out of reach. So that will make it 38 to 53. See a couple of renegades on the sideline enjoying the, the game after the 10 a.m. game. And I like moms. I understand you. You must be part of the Lenny fan club. A lot of people are. The truth of the matter is, I've played against Lenny. I've watched Lenny get a ton of chances on a ton of teams, and it's never yielded the results that you're asking for. It's always an amazing play here, an amazing play there. Last year with the um, with the rare breed. with the rare breed, Lenny won him the game. We're not saying that he, he's not good in certain spots, but he's very situational. He cannot do it for four downs and four quarters. He can't. And that's just the truth. No shade, no nothing. Mark Diggs, healthy, is a more dangerous quarterback than a lot of people think. I've heard defensive linemen who are peak in this league tell me how destructive Mark Diggs is when he's healthy. Isn't this Breezy's brother? I believe so. Okay, that's where the jokes were. Shout out to CJ. I see you in the chat. Are you doing that from the sideline, my guy? <laughs> <laughs> my guy, Chuck Johnson. <laughs> is insane. Chuck Johnson reporting live. He'll be posted up at the 20-yard line. Will the returner number 88? And I don't know if he's he's being prophetic and, and prophesizing what might happen later, or he's even commenting on my commentary. Yeah, I don't think it's the commentary. I think he's on my leading today. That one will go behind the head of the returner. He'll pick it up at the five. Oh he will lose the ball goodness. in the go. end zone. Here we go. Here we and go. he'll cut through the defender. He'll be bunched up. And Lenny Hedrick. I know the, the whistle will blow. The For sure the whistle is blown. Oh, he's home now. Chuck, Chuck Johnson is definitely at home. For those wondering about the Omega's BIC game, we will have that game for you. Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. Who? Mike Jones. <laughs> Three is good, yeah, let's stop. Yeah, it. I wasn't going to say, <laughs> yeah. me, and, me and Matt both were like, yeah, no more hoops. That's enough. That's enough. So I was going to say, right now, back then, they didn't want him. Now they act like they were all on him. And it will be first and ten. Money man, nobody agrees with you more than me. A running okay. QB in this league is deadly. The buzz looking to chop and screw the animals oh. undefeated season. And, well, slipping, sliding, oh finding my. his way. Hulking. Hulking. The, the gamma radiation is real for that one, and he oh, is eaten. Yeah, he must have been angry on that play, because that was a great run. Oh, wow. oh, but again, a player oh, down no. on the field. That's our guy oh, no, he's, 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 he's fine. But that's one of those situations, that quick dive, everybody's really prepared for what was happening on the back side of that play, because in the formation they're in, that's how they set up with that, that RPO look that we were looking at, and right, now they're right, going right. to go hurry up, like I said. So look, they're worried about what could happen on the yeah, back side. They're they not even ready honest. for the dive that's coming up. They have to play honest. You have to know your assignments. Oh, there it Quick is snap, now. and there it is. And there it is. To Baby Joker. Baby Joker plows to the sideline. Bro. Shoulder rolled he's off. He's showing the... up. Yeah. Baby Joker's showing up. 
he's a problem. He's a menace. And that's the sixth time they've run that play. And each time they get more and more and more yards. And look, the, the play to Hulk, the play before, right. meant that the backside of the defense had to honor Hulk coming Is in that Huff cross Is Hulk now more dangerous because he has younger co-stars? Uh, I think well, Huff if is you just... make the argument that Huff is more dangerous than when he has receivers like Kyle Ward and Pat Coburn, I don't know. Quick throw to the sideline. But he is having there, fun out there. There's an argument to be made there, and I'll actually entertain this one because with the team he has, you don't know who's good or who's bad or what these guys can actually do. Huff is just make a letting football players play football. And even Joker got love today. Not yeah. even, even Joker got love today. Macho had some catches. <laughs> Everyone's involved. The team feels Doodle like was in the end zone. Doodle scored a touchdown, so it's like we're we're talking a full team win here, where everyone feels like they were part Snap, of it. Oh and my Huff goodness! And will keep it off the spin. And he still the baby gives it Joker. To him. Yeah, not only did he on, fake Corey. it into the toss and not do it because they they <laughs> bit on it because Huff has made it think that he wasn't going to keep it. But Huff then when they react to Huff, he goes right back to it. He's exploiting people's overthinking, over You have to play solid seven-on-seven, seven, man-on-man, knowing your assignment football against Huff to win. Minute 23 left to go. My goodness. Huff. Trying to on third down. Oh. Hands it to the Hulk. Oh, my goodness. The Hulk God. has nothing but the end zone in front of him. Bye. Touchdown, animals. And they will join the 60 oh, club. This is broken. They, they just put up. Well, 59. 59, pardon me. Hold on. They're I mean, about Matt, to join the 60 club if they score here. Matt, Matt's a little presumptive here, but based on what we've seen. I went seen, to New I York think, Public School. I th no, no, listen, listen. I only knew it after I did the math in my head afterwards. Like Maybe. like CJ said, uh, you know. I'm, I mean, wow. CJ's trying to cancel our game tonight. <laughs> you could come. You literally, by the rules, could come play with us, my guy. Might as well. I know you're busy. They'll be going for one here. So I actually go for that 60 burger. So now, how many reverses do they run on this one? Six. Now that basically the game is over. Six. What if they do a reverse and then they fake the other reverse and then they do the throwback to the reverse? If that's what happens, I'm taking this headset off and walking out. And you're going to see me on camera going you to shake up. I'm going to go do out. it. I'm going to go shake up. Crazy or crazy? He, he keeps threatening. I'm going to th I'm threatening. If this, if Rashad Knight did the point play and then we saw this game. I almost left. You're hold welcome hold to zone. Hold on. Going for the one. On. Huff will stay behind the line of scrimmage. Oh He'll say God. nope and he will get his 60. 59 to 38 your score, or pardon me, 60 to 38 your score. The Animals having a insane and day. The here's the touchdown. And now as you see it roll by on the close up, what you saw in the beginning of the play is that the defensive end crashes down on Huff and Hulk's able to sneak right inside Marty who's been showing that he's ready to play some physical football. But he says he's focused on Huff. Hulk get, gets his opportunity and gets into the end zone. Gotta play honest. Huff is very dangerous right now. Yeah. Uh, I just, wow. But we have an untimed down here. The Buzz have two timeouts. And Marty's a dangerous guy too, and he's he hasn't had much quit in him. I, I really do like what I see from DC Buzz. It's very unfortunate that Mark Diggs wasn't able to start and help them in those three games in the beginning of the season. Things might look different. 38 points is nothing to scoff at, nope. but only the, it's you can only scoff at it when the other team scores 60. But the question is, if the Buzz can put up 38, what will the U be able to do next week? The U doesn't play the same way. The Buzz doesn't play does. the same way, but they I mean, know they know the style of offense they're playing against. True, but you still have to play honest in every facet of the game. Uh, we we will have to see. I'm yeah. excited. Uh, yeah, next week's gonna be bananas. That one will bounce inside the 25. Plus, plus Keon. Keon Charles will find the sideline. Keon He's Charles done. will break one defender. He'll Bye. break the other. He'll go to the other side of the sideline. Keon Charles Bye. looking to put Bye. six on the board. We be buzzing in D.C. Touchdown, Keon Charles and the D.C. Buzz. If it wasn't for an absolutely near perfect performance from the Animals offense, Honestly. other than that one, those, tur those, those two turnovers, one that technically did count as a turnover, the, the, right, the right, pitchback. Right. Yeah. The it, buzz would be, would, we would be talking about the upset of the of year. year. Yeah. It would be. Uh, and, uh, this is got, an 0-3 team that's putting up 40. Look at this hustle. Look at, look at, look at 
Nothing else right here. And this is what we talk about. Let's let's say this because I, we know I know that there's people watching from around the country. This is what we talk about when we actually have this top 10 conversation. Yeah. This DC buzz that we've seen here today mm -hmm. would not have trouble against a lot of teams in this league. I'm not going to be specific. Keon I'm not going to say the score. This DC buzz team, 0-3, they, they'd spank a lot of teams. 210 yards, two touchdowns returning, returning, returning. for Keon Charles today. Wow. If we and had a player got, of the week. And he's got the – uh, I mean, it would be hard to give it to him because yeah. of touchdown. Love, but – and the, and the fade for a yeah. touchdown. He ran one, scored a touchdown, two returns. That's four touchdowns on the day. Usually 44 points in this league is, is enough to win a game. Lenny Manziel for Snap two. Going for two. Manziel in trouble on his bicycle. Rolls to his right. He'll keep it. Cuts through and Lenny Manziel. One, two points on the board. Bottom row goes. It's 46 to 60. Four 14-point game now with a minute eight left to go. And Lenny and Baby Joker talking a little spicy, showing some respect with the handshake. It's a very polite argument. They are just, they both enjoy Applebee's and they're talking about their favorite appetizers. <laughs> oh, I can't stand They love the spinach dip. No, he was he was recommending the quesadilla burger. You'd think it wasn't even that good, but when you once you had it one time, oh, it's delicious. Also, At Applebee's? Quesadilla if, burger? Yeah, I'm definitely going to go grab one. Got bacon in it? <laughs> Which, why would bacon be in a quesadilla? But Lord sure. knows. I, I don't know. <laughs> the, New, the New York Knicks are up 3 1. Are up 3 1. Ooh, they won. I, I don't know what life is anymore. Let's go, Jalen. Oh, Minute what? eight left to go. You're a Knicks fan. I know. I'm okay. confused. Oh, They're yeah, winning. Mets are decent. Yeah, ma Mets Animals are it. undefeated, <laughs> scoring 60 points. What parallel universe did we wake up I don't in? know. We, we had proof positive that Mark Diggs at times is a better quarterback than Lenny Manziel, and then Lenny Manziel came back and just scored as many times as he could. This is this is Joker's tackle to make, honestly. He kind of whiffs it here. Has, has. He was anticipating him. And you can't anticipate Lenny Manziel. Not at all. That will bounce in Cousin at the Man. 15. Cousin Man will get it at the one-yard line. Not a lot of hust there, man. He might just mow somebody over. Bowls through. It's an untimed down. And not trying to get hurt here up two scores. He'll stop at the 16. It'll be first and 10 for Quatrell Huffman. We don't do that wager thing animals. over here, but if we did, this 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 over just got hammered. Yeah, the, yeah, it's, it's 106 it's, it's, combined points. Yeah, nah, that's wild. And for an all offense guy like myself, I've been smiling this entire game. I laughing. know you have, CJ. That's why I'm having such a tough time. I'm just enjoying watching this game. I, I don't realize really, at times I have to do really my job. One of the better games this this year for a for a full offensive yeah. play. You know, because we've seen the defenses make you know make the the teams like BIC. It might be and the highest the scoring game, game of this the regular year, season. I think it is. I think it is. We've had we've had 50-50 games. No, not this, this year. Not, no, not this season. Yeah, yeah, I'm no. But we in, in do have a final league. from Florida in overtime. What? The Orlando Ghosts defeat the Orange 26-20. to Huff bait. throws it, wow. and that one's in the dirt. Wow, one of the rare bad throws from Huff. He could have ran it, but why, right? You know yeah. what? That was good coverage, and he didn't want to put his receiver in a bad spot, so he just made it look like it was a bad throw. The, the, the Huff he has not done anything too. wrong, right? So he purposely he, made it look like it was his fault. Wrong. He made it purposely look like it, it was his fault to, to not put his, his, his player, his, his teammate in a bad position. I agree with you, crown me king. Bacon belongs in everything. And it will be second down. The more we talk about bacon, the more Quattro Huffin will bake. Oh goodness, he shakes, God. he bakes, he throws oh it no! back. That ball's out of play. To see Shaquem McCutcheon take that ball, hit a hus, and go for six would be something I would definitely leave the booth for. Yeah. Just to be like I'd leave with you. Okay, we'd just, like, we'll be we'd back. just go get a chicken sandwich and come back. Right. I, I'm I'll, doing I'll some hold chicken, it down. Chicken I'll Unfortunately, yeah. due, to, due to my endeavors over the offseason, I cannot – Celebrate the TBS as much as I used to once once upon a time. So silent, I'll take skinny it. man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look silence. at me. I care about my body. <laughs> I was just trying Top. to be mobile. The quick screen. To... Oh, Dude, my goodness. Dude, wants a special. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I was at. If he took it for six, I'm listen, leaving, bro. Listen, if it's if it's a Baltimore special with a big guy, can it just be a brisket special? A brisket or special. Like, or like a, can like we a... stop talking about delicious things? 
like we said about when we when they caught uh, Rob eating the bagel. I mean, we're, we're starving bagel, down here. That, bagel that was a good, good. bagel. That, a, shout out to Zach Morgan finding some good bagels. It's like a cream and cheese Huff, taco. Keeping the bagel in the win loss hum, record. Hum, 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 hum. Hum, hum. Like oh, a Mastodon, and that one, and I'll it's all over. Quattrell Huffin and the Silk City Animals are 4 and 0 oh for the wow. first time in the wow. modern era wow. of the A7FL. And stay on top. We're going to take a brief timeout. We're going to be back at the top of the hour. It's going to be the you and the Watchmen. But we, we're not going to keep you hanging. You know what we're going to do for the next 16 minutes? We're going to be playing highlights from this game. So if you missed a moment, you missed something cool, we're going to have a cookie. We're going to have some coffee. But we'll be back at the top of the hour. 60 to 44 was your score. One hell of a way to start the day. But it's BIC. Uh, pardon me. It's you and Watchmen at the top of the hour. The Battle of I-95 next here on the A7FL. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like. Follow and share on our Facebook page at A7FL TV. Stadium here in Asbury Park, New Jersey. The wind has died down, but the action and the heat's about to pick up as the Baltimore Watchmen look to prove they are number one in the A7FL as they battle the Trenton BIC in our second game of the week. Rob Fabian, Corey Hammond, we talked about in the break how game how week three is a pivotal rivalry week. But this game right here could be the Eastern Conference Championship. This could be the game of the year, and this could be indic indicative of who's going to Vegas on July 23rd battling for the A7FL championship. And it's time for the three-on-one throw-off. We will see what happens when it's Baltimore starting with the ball. An opportunity. Baltimore to get on the board first, but this BIC defense stifling at the 24-yard line. What a very strange formation. BIC in their blue home uniform, black numbers, snapped by Cheney. Cheney facing pressure, throws this one deep downfield and out of receiver's depth. And it'll be second down. Aggressive first play from the Watchmen. They go straight up top. First play on JJ. They miss it. It was intended well, he was for number 81. Up. It'll be second down. First drive for the Watchmen to toss. Cuts up the sideline. And a moderate game, looked like about five, and that one tackled by Psycho number X. So you'll notice John Columbia, that. that one picked up by Omari Thomas. Three wide right receivers, now. one in motion. That's David Dinkins, the snap by Buck. In trouble, and he will go down. He will eat the turf monster, and it'll be the fourth, it'll be fourth down. Ole Bell, Olajuwon Bell, ringing it and getting the sack on that play. A lot of pressure in that offensive line just could not hold them long enough for Buck to get the play going. Um, that defense actually looked very impressive, more impressive than they did last week. So, you know, congrats to Ole Bell for helping apply that pressure. Um, Mosey alongside Ashante Worthy, or, pardon me, Worthy in motion, three wide receivers. He'll fill into the slot, the snap, fake the Maryland special, and Sterry Codrington will run the ball. And he will get a light gain of about three. He'll run out of play at the 37, and it'll be second down. Two wide receivers set. The snap. Codrington with protection dumps it off to Courage. Courage Mosey. Mosey will switch sides. He'll cut down the near sideline. Mosey will keep it in bounds. He'll get the first down and will be knocked out inside the 40. And Courage hasn't missed a step. Courage has been inside this guy. Pardon me. Courage has been this guy since he's been in the league, and people didn't know about him. So now that he's this wily vet that every time he touches the ball, it's very dangerous for the guy tackling him, he just looks better and better every year. And thanks to everybody watching us on DAZN and A7FL.TV. BIC looking to score here on their first drive of the afternoon. Second down. The snap by Codrington. 
in trouble. We'll throw this one deep downfield. Caught! How did he catch that? that into the that, end zone! So Touchdown! Bell, that's B I C. Uh, that is Q Bell, and that's what Q Bell does. Q Bell has been doing that for centuries. He is a possession receiver with explosive ability and al always has the skill and the wherewithal of where the ball is and the best place to put it. And some people might wonder, like, why a receiver like, you know, from the NFL, Larry Fitzgerald is elite. He's not the fastest. He's not the strongest. He's not the quickest. But when you can locate the ball in the air, you have the best chance to catch it. And when you see the ball wow. hang in the air here. Great blocking by all It's the into the wind, which we've been blocking. talking about here in Asbury Park. But you see Cubell locates it, adjusts, and gets Perfect. in position. All he hands. puts his body in between himself and the defender, and he knows how to get to the end zone and, and kill the play with the touchdown. So why has he got OTF on his jersey, you may ask? Well, because he's going to score a touchdown. And, and it is his flag team, and we're all concerned about what that even means. But what it means is when you throw the ball to Q Bell, on, on that it's going to be a touchdown ball, for B that's what he B was. I C. On that bleep and fall. I think it's called, it stands for like only the family, something like that. Only the fast will survive in EA7 FL. It's an adapter die situation going on for top, the one. Fool. The play action. Codrington, well, pardon oh, me, that's no, worthy. We'll keep it. And that one, they won't give it to him, but it's 6 nothing. Not necessarily what we thought from this Watchman offense, but this BIC defense in more inspired than we've seen so far this season. I mean, it's one versus two. The Watchmen, I hope the Watchmen understand that the BIC are still the defending champs. And that one's thrown by Abby Mansaray. That will be caught inside the 15. An opportunity now for number 22. That's Damon McCombs and McCombs. And again, who was the down. first to make contact? Trey Cohen. This pressure defense that it looks like the Watchmen are going to do maybe to even copy some of the things that worked against BIC with the Renegades. But I think the difference so far in what I saw in that first drive is the Renegades can, can get pressure with their three down linemen and cover. The Watchmen were sending everybody and up, they get beat up top, even into the wind. So let's see what Buck can do here in his second offensive drive. It'll be first and 10. Had some openings on the first drive. They just couldn't, you know, put it together. Mansaray on the line. Drawn by number eight, that's John Burton. Mr. 973, he likes to call himself. And there's the handoff, cuts down the sideline, and will try to get to the first down, and will be taken out around the 35. That's number 81. Yep, they okie doke this. That's Jones. I believe that's Jeffrey Jones, a.k.a. Hefe. And that, or and Avon Jones. And they'll hand it off again. Play action, in trouble, and he Oof. will go down, and that BIC Oof. defense That's may ugly. have the number. Big Burt. Listen, A.O. Uh, Burton. Little, little Big Burt, he, he's here for it. Third down, 7.07 left to go. Matt Ryan joined by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Hammond. Taking a look at the field with our Mason cam, Jaquan Mason, A7FL legend, bringing the table to the field, the snap. In trouble, pressure. pressure, caught okay. off the screen, can get Change there. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Jones. Excuse me, sir. Pardon me while I burst into a flame and get a first down. My boy JJ, was, he lost his footing, and Dwan was put in a blender. It looked like Cinderella spinning on the dance floor. Hefe wow. just, Hefe caught off so off guard with all of those moves that Rob was not even prepared, I wasn't prepared for, the for the hus at all. And let's take a look at the replay I again. Caught a hus here. This was a, this was a Michael Jackson. Yee -hee -hee. Here it come, here it come. Almost tipped. There's the here mama the say. Hus, 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 excuse me. Hus, bye bye, Dwan. Mama Dwan. saw. Excuse me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hus. And there's the mama. Look, look at Dwan, look at Dwan. Where are you going? Where are you looking mama at? Saw, mama. <laughs> what was Dwan yeah, looking look at first that? Down. He, was looking, he was looking for a sandwich order at that point. Ooh, pressure. pressure. And that one will get to the 49 yard line. Another first down. Oh, they're picking on Hefe right now. Who's guarding Hefe? 53 anchor in that line. That's Daryl Redmond. I'm going to thank everybody joining us across A7FL.TV and internationally on the zone. You're in the U.S., you're watching us on A7.TV, A7FL.TV. The snap. Ooh, in trouble. Here uh -oh. comes the pressure. Sideline throw. Ooh. And almost intercepted. Swatted a away. Lot of pressure. Even KWAC looked like he was about to get in the mix. And that was Kaysan Campbell damage. with the stop. Kaysan on defense. Yeah, I heard they were going to do Last year they told me that well, they Well, in had the championship that. especially. Yeah. But yeah. How many times are guys going to fall for that, that, that 
swing up in the air, pump fake that, I mean, that it, Buck does. It, the, it the, worked. Matt Riddick will cover Tony Totap. A 22 cover and 11, the snap. Oh, wow. On third down, will not get the first and will be brought down at the 46, pardon me, the 49 yard line. And that's Big Mook and Ole on the tackle. Big Mook definitely read that well. He's probably one of the most underrated linebackers in this league. He read that, came in and closed it up with Ole very well. It looks like Buck is gonna maybe try to hurry up, but in this spot in the field, you know, you run the ball, you make it to fourth and short. I mean, look at fourth what they're and going four, against. they are pressing. Wow. It is six. This they is... are bringing five, pardon me, the oh, why? trouble oh, throw! Oh, oh. Come wow. on! Slip slide! Tony Toe Tap! Tapping his way into the end zone! Touchdown, Baltimore! Wow. Watch this as he throws! Oh, oh, oh. He throws the fist down. And that's a great play call because OG Buck went with the second play call. Oh. Offsides on the defense. Wow. And it penalties wow. decline. Penalties decline. Buck is on the sideline talking to Burton. The sideline talking spicy. But let's break it down. He goes into the hurry up. He goes into the run heavy formation and he makes it almost look like a Tebow quarterback sweep. And they this, leave the that's corner. What makes the cor Buck dangerous. And he absolutely fooled. Why is Tony Totap always so look, wide look open this, on these this. very important plays? Look, 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 look at it. He wasn't necessarily. Oh, was, that's Kaysan Campbell with oh, the let go. He should have stayed with him. Wow. wow. And a great job wow. on that crossing. Regardless of ball placement in the, the wind. Put him in there. They Let's know. be honest. Most of the quarterbacks today missed that wide open throw because of the wind. So Buck does what he has to do. He answers. It'll be a, five, a one yard attempt from the five. There are no free points in the A7 FL. The only way to score after a touchdown is by punching it in from the five or and the there 10 yard is. line. There's Lenny Manziel. The man the Runs lift. through. Yo, yeah. wow. exactly why you put and, the man in. And guys, this is what I always say. And somebody's about those, to go Super Saiyan. You just can't see his face. Those conversion points, I call them championship points. Because BIC scored, and so did they. But because of the conversion, it is now 7-6 instead of it being 6-6. Six, six. As we see, it, it adjusted to the 7-6. It uh -oh. was only five yards, so Lenny could get that. Mama. If you guys remember monster. last year when I was in the Hawks, I got that. So so you have to honor the quarterback rushing when he steps up, throws it down, and here's a shot he's worthy. It's him. It's him. And that one on the Mason cam cuts through. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. My. my goodness. And he will get to the 26. That, and guys, that is amazing coverage yes, it on is. a guy like him. Yeah. And because what he can do with that. Oh man, freight, freight train, train is talking. That's Terrell Burks. Oh man. And listen. I, I would not talk spicy to Ashante Worthy because he is going to make you pay for it. Yeah. It'll and I'm not talking about AI answer Matt Ryan over here. <laughs> Watch this on the back of his jersey. Well, let's see what they do. That's Quincy beefy. Day and Quincy Davis at tight end. Gloves. in behind center. The A7 FL MVP in 2022. Wow. There's names in this game, guys. M names. Three wide receiver set. Shante Worthy at the top of your screen. Off the screen. Kyle Ward. That's Kyle Ward, and a.k.a. He's, Smooth. He's corralled by But he Wolverine. gets to the 30-yard line. Ricardo Freeman on the tackle. Wow. And if you watched EA7 FL in 2022, you heard these names before. Wow. Ricardo Freeman. You've heard of Trey Cohen. You've heard of, you heard of Kyle Ward. Kyle Ward was a member of the Patterson U. Right. Yeah, we mentioned the Insomniacs, and we there just saw see. what they did out in oh, Vegas. Goodness. Are an all-star team. This is this Washington team. Baltimore. If Snag Sosa was on this defense, it would be a problem. Three wide receivers set three on the line. Codrington alone in the backfield. Flag, quick throw. That's to Quincy Davis, a.k.a. Gloves. He'll get to the And that's actually his first, first reception in A7FL. I'm looking for him to Welcome do amazing things. Welcome to the things. A7FL. I've, we've right. heard a lot about the new tight ends right. on this team, the new running backs, and we'll wait to see. Offsides on the defense. Okay. It'll be a first down for the BIC. Let's see again on the play. No one Definitely wanted anything outside. to do yeah, with covering my guy. Yeah, they, they were, they're just using, what BIC is doing is using their over-aggressiveness to yep. punish them, to exactly. force them to calm down slightly. And, and, it's the, and the tight ends in this league right now are starting to look a lot more mm -hmm. like the early 2000s tight ends, like a Jeremy oh, Shockey. Right, what, what it was basically back in the beginning of A7, where you had a guy like Big White, you had Dot, who's still here, Dot Boss, you had um, even Sullivano. And Nick Mays. Nick Mays. Those guys were great tight He's ends. He's on the Watchmen now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's Bone, number six. 
90 seconds left to go. First and 10. The BIC looking to drive. Codrington with time. He can read the times back there off oh, the hands of the receiver. Wow, that's Ashante Worthy with a very uncharacteristic and you can drop. See he is not happy with himself. And if you if you thought me, Matt, and Corey were joking about saying this is the number one team versus the number two team. I hope you take us a little more seriously now because this game right now in this first quarter is shaping out to be just that. If you are a fan of mixed martial arts, this is the Kamaru Usman Leon Edwards fight. Mm. The Watchmen mm. and Baltimore, the Baltimore teams for so long have not gotten the respect they think they Very deserve, the true. spotlight they think they deserve, and the BIC are the defending champions and have been dominant for the better part of two seasons. And there's tight coverage on Shanti Worthy at the bottom of your screen. 39 seconds, snap. Looked like he jumped oh, wow. a little oh, early. Wow. Codrington oh, will wow. throw. That one's caught. Okay, That's worthy. a Shante Worthy. Worthy will get to the 38. And that will be a first down tackle by Freeman. Did you see the route? I did see the route. So he gets an inside release. Almost looks like he's going to break it to the post. And on a dime, he stopped, breaks it out to the out. And he was so open that Sterry had to Sterry first had make to. He had to make the first men miss in front of him to get a chance to throw the ball, and Ashanti was still open 13 steps later. And I'll, first I'll give BIC that, but what I'm seeing from there's Ashanti yeah, where they open now, still open, still open, still open. Great, great still route, open. great pass from Sterry, even with the pressure in his face. Okay, Wag, wow, great job block. with the hold. I mean, the block, the block. Sorry, no, no, I was, no, no. I meant block. I meant block. Great block. Great job. Wow. You said great I'm hold. Tripping. You're just so used to. I'm you're just so, so used, used to him making fun of. That was actually a great block by KY. Oh, the first no quarter, shame. your score: yeah. the Watchmen with the one-point lead, seven to six. But hashtag watch this, because we've got three more quarters of football for you. Spring is coming. We are entering the depth of the A7FL season, and we're looking ahead. 2024. Do you want to bring your team to the A7FL? Do you want to rep Philly? Do you want to rep Brooklyn? Do you want to rep Texas? Miami, the 305, been begging and pleading for the A7FL to come to town. If you want to prove that your town is where football lives, go to a7fl.com slash owners. That's a7fl.com slash owners. Start of the second quarter. Let's take a look at the stats. These are, compo these are total stats, including returns. 92 pass yards. For the Trenton BIC, 232 total yards in the first quarter, 79 pass yards for the Baltimore Watchmen. Only six rushing yards and three rushing yards for the BIC. Not gaining a lot on the ground, but 190 to 232. No turnovers yet. It's been a it's been a close and contentious game. Very close. These teams are not traditional traditional running teams. Courage is going to get busy, but it doesn't mean he's going to get busy at running back. Riddick in motion. Play action. The handoff to Courage. Courage Mosey! Courage Mosey! The GOAT going to the 25! Baltimore kryptonite. Courage has done Baltimore bad. So bad. Mad bad. Courage is the only running back that I ever played with in the A7FL. And as everyone knows, I've played with every roster. I have pretty much. 300 gray hairs, and yeah. I've been cut from that many teams. 1244 left to go. The snap. Codrington oh. throws. Caught! Matt Riddick. Matt Riddick again getting to the 15-yard line. He's been eating up those timing routes with he and Sterry Codrington. It's like they worked on it over the offseason because you have to respect Matt Riddick's speed. <laughs> with a three-wide receiver set here, it looks like Codrington's very comfortable to snap. The throw oh. to the end zone! One-handed wow. catch! That man! Wow. You call him Meep Meep because he's a road <laughs> runner! Matt Riddick putting six on the board! Head top, head top, giving a fade like a barber, and it's 12 to 7. Ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a game. And Matt, Riddick, and Matt Riddick makes the highlight plays a lot with the behind the back passes, and rightfully so. But those are more trolls. <laughs> this is a one handed catch because it's just too easy out here for the king in his own mind and a two time MVP. Watch this throw. It's well placed, and honestly, he could catch it with two hands, That's but who needs to? That's a great pass from Sterry Codrington. Touchdown. And an even better catch from Matt Riddick. Mims this dropped, this is why I'm hot. And then uh, we got a City High reference in earlier, if you want to say what karaoke okay, this, on. as it will be Dinkins returning from the five. Trey Cohen is not on this the field. This is an untimed down. Cohen Which? not on the field, but stopped, stifled at the 20. Cohen is so good at the three on one that Cohen he is went. on the field. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, he made God. a tackle. Cohen hold is so on, good at the on. three on one. We just saw him we in here. We just saw him walk by. How fast is that man? OG Buck is the quarterback. To bring the entire city of Trenton. 
and Chris Christie. Gonna need a bigger U-Haul. Yeah. Lock the bridge, it's first and 10. Somebody's gotta change the, the battery on the fire alarm. And the throw, Swano, he keeps it! He makes these wow. There he is, no, there it is. That's the Super Saiyan. Antoine Matthews. Are we gonna see him again? Oh, he's gotta catch another slant. He has slant. to catch yeah. another one. He always does them on the slants too. It's like, always. it's like, it's it, it, not even on the touchdowns. He's not even excited for the touchdown. It's the slants. It'll be a two wide receiver set, three on the line. And as we make light of it though, that's still a great catch. Phenomenal. Fake on the oh, wow. screen. Pressure. Oh, wow. Throw deep. Caught. Wow. And he can't oh, get no. past it. And he's out of play. Wow. But he gets to the 48 yard line. Wow. Plus that, is 20 that, yards. Who was covering him? I believe that was, JJ. that was JJ Radcliffe. And that catch by number 81. Oh, my. DIC's corners. Mr. Jones out there making plays. And let's credit Buck because he was yeah, in a backpedal. Yeah. He was in almost in the Doug Flutie backpedal. Yeah, this is what so Buck off does, his back though. foot, foot throwing into the wind, dime. Should have been a touchdown. He was on a unicycle, not a bicycle. And he has to get on his throws and across his body. Wow, Caught. Wow. That's 81 again. And he will be pushed out of play emphatically by number 13. That's wow, Kyle Ward. Lord. Two he's wide receivers, he's one tight end. He's got a touchdown for you as a wide receiver. Why does he play the end? Snap, is a Swiss pressure Army immediately oh thrown. Well, they give it to him. No ball came out, but it was whether or not he great, got okay, Dwan incomplete. Okay, Dwan must have heard us and got, got to cover in something. They, they're, they're showing a fearlessness that I think if more teams adopted, they would do better overall, not just against BIC, but in general, playing the game with a sense of, hey, we know what we can do, let's just do it. And even though Snag says Buck runs a 5-9, He's got the mobility to at least extend the play long enough to find his receiver. Oh, that right. It's going to be second and ten. Oh, Snap, yeah. thrown, caught, wow. pass to the sideline. That line. cross route was Beefy. crazy. That cross route was crazy. Now, when you run a mesh like that, you almost want him to kind of like. He almost picked them off. Yes. He almost picked them. Not he threw it at the mesh point. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. But Buck is showing some. Now, hey, normally man. you're not supposed to throw it when they're that close. He now you see. Dual. Take a look at it's, this. It's a cross. Look at double it's zero cross, coming across. Right? He's wide open. All. Look at this. Ooh. Wow. That's a great read. Uh, guys, the BIC's defensive backs are not. I don't know what's going on back there, but they got to figure Where's something Ricky out soon. Where's Ricky Tate? Ricky Tate. I haven't seen Ricky Tate all season. Like, there's a lot of key players to the secondary from the championship team that are That's on this roster here, right. that are not here today. Wow, and they're moving. And, and again, Cohen's not out there. And, no. and, and and this question coming in from A7FL.tv from this. Michael Faith. How would Verardi? Oh, my God. Verardi would be the reason why. Come on now. You know I'm a big Verardi fan. Verardi would be the reason why. Bone at QB. The Watchmen are losing. Bone at QB. Bone at QB. Oh, Lord. First He's going to throw goal. it, too. He's going to throw it. Five. He's not throwing nothing. He's going to run. He's going to push the pile. Wow. He will not get the first down, but he will power through wow. to the two-yard line. It, it's going to be second down. It's actually going to show you what I was complaining about all last year when you guys were saying John Columbia, John Columbia. I didn't believe in John Columbia. I believed in Verardi. And it kind of shows without Verardi, they are human. Second and goal. It in. Pushes it in. Flag on He's the play. Not sure what this the flag one might be is brought back. Flag. Which is never a bad penalty when it's only an inch penalty, right? You might as well just be offsides. And Michael Faith made a great point. In the past, the cornerbacks haven't been tested because of that D-line. But Ooh. This is going to be shot. second and goal from the Mason shot. And pressing through. And it will be a touchdown. That's a thick Watch boy touchdown. Watch this touchdown. Thick boy tutty. Look at, look at him. By number six. Bone. That's Bone Harris. This Money is man. really where he shines. Looking to sit on some faux foes. Throws it. Swat Great in. swat by, I want to say, Kyle, Kyle Ward. Ward. Great swat. So the Baltimore Watchmen able to light the lamp a second time and keep a get back a one-point lead who scores 13-12. The Watchmen leading the BIC, but we got a lot of football left. Gentlemen. And we got a three-on-one coming up, guys. Yeah, with that guy. But the wide receiver. Look at the wide core, receivers. Though. Wow, this, this is, is nuts. This, you're like, welcome, fans at home. This is, yeah, this is if you're, you're welcome, watching the A7FL for the first time, wow. strap in. 
The throw Pressure. caught. Good catch. Oh, 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 cuts oh, oh. through the defender, and Campbell will get great. brought down at the 38. And that's a great catch by Kaysan Campbell. And of course, Sterry staying as poised and as calm as he usually is. I don't. I don't expect anything less. This is this is the Sterry Codrington we expected to for see in sure. Week One. For sure. Well, the interesting thing about Sterry this year is, is he seems like he wants to stay in the pocket more than he a has bit, in his yeah, career. Than before, and, yeah. and especially against the Renegades, with the way that they played defense, it might have been you know a function of them only sending three and still getting pressure. Right. But he's committed to throwing the ball and being a thrower of the football. I and have to respect that. It'll be second and two from the 39. Hey, when you're completing this many at this clip, keep chucking. Carnell Wachter, arguably one this of is the also best another, linemen in, you know, on BIC right now. And this is also another thing you see Sterry do a lot, is he's he's looking at the defense, making adjustments, making sure his team is in the right play. And that will be second down. Codrington, snap. He'll keep it. He will get the first down. He will cut to the 45. He'll get to the 50 and call out a play. It will be a first down, and there you see Will Franklin, our head official. And even though he likes to stay in the pocket this year and he likes to throw the ball, when he had to climb in the pocket, he saw the seam and he didn't hesitate. He didn't keep looking downfield. He saw the seam, took it, and that's effective quarterback play. Three wide receiver set. There's that Mason camera. Getting you that on the field look. Codrington throws, caught. Blocks. And there's Kaysan Campbell once again. Getting the first down, he'll be pulled out of play. And whether the, they'll mark it at the 35 or the 36. And the Watchmen DBs have their hands full because again, BIC's receiving cores are smorgasbord of elite athletes. These guys aren't bums by a long shot. I have yet to call one of these dudes my famous, you know what I'm saying, word, no. because these guys are actually very, very good. And you used to criticize last year's BIC wide receiving core, which was was Ashanti Worthy, Kaysan Campbell, Umar Buda Lewis, and, and, and go on. Now when you look at it, it's it's Matt Riddick every game. Every game, it's Q Bell. Q Bell already has a touchdown in this game and Deshaunty Worthy, Worthy yeah. so yeah, good luck. And it will be first and 10, 237. KWAG versus Freight Train, I'm watching. Three wide receivers set, that play, that offense, that matchup is right there on the line. You can see it there on the left, oh! tip ball! Almost caught by Ashante Worthy. And that's the aggressiveness of that front four that you thought they were all going in there looking stupid, but somebody tipped that pass and completely stopped the play dead. Three wide receiver set, Worthy in the slot. Oh Codrington thrown, but that's a shot day. Worthy getting the ball. And they're corralled. Worthy they're trying to will corral cross him. time they're zones. Trying. He will cut that's, again. That's, mama, a shot day. There go that man, mama. That man is there the most valuable man. player mama. in this sport. Touchdown BIC. He said, screw the clock. I'm going to put what I got on my jersey on the board. For, for young fans at home learning the game of football, do not do what Ashanti just worth where they just did. You're not him. Because you're not there yet. You now, maybe you can him. get there. It's going to take a lot of time in the gym, a lot of time in the track, and it's going to take great genetics. But what he does is he takes an easy completion from Sterry Codrington and turns it into a three-on-one situation where he's the guy that nobody wants to have to deal with one-on-one. -on -one. Look, yeah, look, look at this play. Huss. Look at this. Every look other at player Huss. in this Huss. league Huss. is tackled Huss. here. Huss. Huss. Nope. I'm going to go me. the exact entire Huss. side of the field. Excuse me, sir. That's Barry Sanders. Look, 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 and then I'm going to cut Barry it back Huss. again Huss. to the Huss. other side of the Excuse field. Me. Bye. Bye-bye. Unhand there, me, sir. There is no other football player I've seen in my Excuse lifetime except me, Barry man. Sanders who can change direction that quickly and matter that much to an offense. Right. The BIC will go for one here. And this is what's going to make BIC deadly in the long run, having Ashante Worthy playing offensively at that high of a clip, and then a guy like Matt Riddick taking the pressure off of him, and then a guy like Q Bell where you have to cover. This offensive wide receiver core is deadly. And speaking of the one of those wide receivers in at quarterback for the one-point conversion, Matt Riddick likely going to try to go behind the back to just rub it in the face of the watchman. Snap, Riddick, throw it, and that one will be swatted. He has, a high, he has a higher completion. The and there was a wide receiver wide open. Oh, that's Umar. Top. That's, that's Umar, Umar Lewis. Yeah, he's, and he's he's a great player in his own right at times, and he's sometimes the, the odd man out in this, this offense, but... We were expecting a firework show from the return so far today, but it's come from the offense. That one thrown up by Abby Mansaray, and that one will go off the hands and go back into the end zone, and now a chance for the BIC to make the Watchmen watch this! Again. And they are brought down at the 10, First and that is number 25. Touching. I mean, when it's time for us to get that, you know, you know, I would love to always put, 
you know, Trey Cohen as the guy that's guaranteed to touch the, the throw returner first. Yeah, it's it's and guaranteed. It's good money, they would say. Yes, it's great money. That's a and, and we talk at the total offense. Three thirty six, four seventy seven. These boys can't the get a play. half. Let's take a look at that. Three thirty six from the Watchman, four seventy seven from the BIC. This is the third drive of the afternoon for Baltimore, so they're going to look to try to make up that. 134, 131 yard difference. I mean, listen, a solid Buck offensive Williams. drive here from Buck and another conversion of those championship points. This score, you see the score. Guys yeah. up by five. Well, it's not even a touchdown. The only drawback to the Ashanti Worthy touchdowns this season is how quickly they are in, in, in right. what affects. Shot, and there's a, a band aid shot. right on the ear. Yeah, he's had that that whole time. I, you know, yeah. I think it's that Nelly, like, uh, it's 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 for aesthetics. He scratched himself shaking, guys. Come on. He's going down now, baby. Your street in a Range Rover. Ready to let it go. Um, shimmy, shimmy, Cocoa Puff. I was going to say that. Shimmy, pow. All right, so. <laughs> listen. A CBS also a win this week for 2000s rap songs. 18 to 13. They got three timeouts with 144, which is the important thing when it brings back to the game, as they got trips to the top of your screen with the tight end. And then a running back set to the right of Rokeem Chaney. OG Bucky does the quick toss, tries to find something. Oh he's stopped, he's smothered, and he's covered. Columbia will get him to the five. It'll be second down. Interesting how confident Buck was to throw the ball all half and then with 144 in the, 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 the shadow of your goalpost goes with the run. Yes. If I'm in the huddle right now for the Watchmen, I'm figuring out how to put Lanny Metzel in <laughs> because I'm Buck and I can't get it done. That's oh, what Corey man. says. No, that's, that's not what I would not say. Right now, but Corey has said that. I but, specifically what, no, but the, the thing that you get wrong is that that's what makes me upset is okay, that he that did that. Okay, that you believe that so you can get it done. So of course I would not have done that. Right. But what Buck is able to do is he uses the misdirection pre and post snap, so motions and the route combinations. Fresh to get guys wide open. And when guys are wide open, like we saw on the first touchdown to Tony Totap, it doesn't matter how many yards you need to get because if he's uncovered, he's gonna score. So you see, they he's got trips to, to the something. top of your screen. They got the motion. Let's see what he works with. Buck is up to something. Snap, but swatted, yeah, and that it's one, one, one of his the favorites. Round. It's one of his favorites. It's one of his favorites, and it's the rocket screen, and you see Dwan, the veteran, who plays at this level of his career with just as much savvy as he does athleticism, gets in the way at a rocket screen and brings up the third down. Yes, he still has two timeouts. Ball on the eight yard line, the snap. Cam will, pardon me, Plenty will keep Chaney, time. will keep it, and he will run out of bounds. He will stay until the 35. He'll and, count him out at the 35, and, 36. And that's the setup because you don't think Buck is gonna take it up on you. You're not gonna, you don't think Buck's a runner. Yeah, he runs a quote unquote five nine as a joke, right? But he'll take off on you in a heartbeat. Well, and, and you're not quick enough to catch him. And the formation says that when you have three receivers at the top of your screen, if you're going to go in man coverage, that means the bottom of the screen, the left side of the offense without the trips, there's nobody over there. Right. So he breaks contain with the rush coming around the the defense the, the defensive ends going wide around the tackles, and it looks like Lenny Manziel's in the huddle. What do oh we have goodness. here? And Listen. we have a final from oh, Tampa. Man. Final from Tampa. The Ghosts 18, the Nightcrawlers 40. That, that's that's still a decent that, performance. I mean, mm, we expect the Nightcrawlers. No, don't say decent performance. But the Nightcrawlers put up 80 on the QC Crush last year. Okay. So the Nightcrawlers are one like, of those the teams. the Ghosts are good. We're not and the Ghosts were They're good. They're not bad. They so, just, look, that's, that's a respectable performance and obviously a blowout now. loss. Hold on now. It'll be the attention. snap off the screen. They switch it out. Yeah. Top row, bottom, grows oh gold. Leonard my. Mansell tipped it, almost intercepted. How did that ball find space that was almost caught by Tony Toe? Oh, my. Yo, I was on the edge of my seat just now. Lenny bro. Manziel has no chill that. at all. Lenny Manziel's a gunslinger. Like, he has no let chill. It fly. He, also, he actually quoted Corey Hammond quoting, quoting Paul, Paul Wall. Wall. Yes. It's like that Michael. Oh, my, oh my God. Oh! Balthus. Balthus picked up by the BIC. Bye, Slip side. Bye, bye. Touchdown. And that is not the bell, brother, that I thought was going to be yes, scoring a touchdown. But if you, had, oh. if, you had, if you had that prop thing that we were talking about, that uh -huh. both bell brothers get in the end zone, yep. the you one, just hit a million to one odds, oh, buddy. Oh, yeah, for sure. And if much like British soccer fans, all they'd be shouting is ole, ole, ole. Touchdown, oh, BIC. That's it. And we again, said the worst case scenario in this half was that BIC 
drove, and scored, scores. and then got the ball back at half. Throw that fist. He this threw game, a fist up. <laughs> oh, he threw the fist up. And for those that don't know, that's wow. a that's a that's a career savage player that hates the fist. Hates Most the of his career is on the. It but look at this. Oh. One of the greatest players in our league's history having that boom. moment mm -hmm. and just boom. throwing the fist up. Okay, good job. Oh, oh. big mook. Big Mook, and hit that's, him, hit that's him with why that Charles dangerous. Woodson. Bye bye. No hus, no hus here. Nah, no straight hus strides, uh -huh. slip slides, takes it to the house. And Matt, please let us know. Uh, let, let us know in the chat, because I feel like everybody's gonna make the assumption that I'm gonna be Galifianakis king, 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 king. In. Okay, hold on. And here comes a return attempt. There's my boy Trey on it. And they're just trying to slide him to the outside. This is an untimed oh my, down. Oh so they I'm will trying. have 30 seconds no matter what. All they will get to the 27. Guys, All three they of those may guys. mark it at the 28. All Studs. 24 to 13 in motion. A loss of pack money. A big oh! one. Another slot on the run. Ole Bell. DPOY? Question mark? If, if, someone, if someone made the, the prop thing for Olay for two scores, that's a billion to one odds. Also, Somebody's is that Jeff the first Bezos. time two brothers have scored a touchdown in the, in the same, same game? game? I want to say mm. yes. The, the, At the, least the in Thomas the same brothers, half. Mike Thomas and Sean Thomas. They didn't always. I don't think they scored touchdowns. They've the definitely game. scored touchdowns in the same game, though. You think so? They, no, they've done the, that The before. cerebral bombers blow out teams all the time back then. Yeah, they did used to destroy it. They destroyed, <laughs> Mike, they Mikey destroyed me Mikey on my Shakes and King Thomas, jerseys. I'm sure that they scored. But in the A7FL era, maybe. Yeah, in the A7FL era, this might be the first time. And if you are watching <coughs> this for the first time, uh, $5. Hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Snap the handoff. Cuts up oh the sideline. And that one out of play. We're missing pack money. Those are where he excels and, and also right. stretches the defense horizontally so you can attack vertically. And the ball will be spotted at the 38. Snap. Third down, pardon me. The throw deep downfield. Can't get to it. And it will be incomplete. And we'll take a look again on the replay. That's a good question. Ooh, roughing the passer. Oh, oh that oh, is yeah, definitely what sure. it is. Yeah, Ole for and Casey sure. Fennessy uh, certainly shun hit him with the sunshine band on that one. Well, you know, if that was me, that would just be a normal everyday A7 fell play. That's how that's how the w life goes. That's how life goes. Say la vie. Uh, say, as the, say the old folks go. So I didn't know you, you spoke tell. French. Oui, oui. Robert. <laughs> oui, oui. Je suis met Ryan avec Bigrofibien et Corey Hammond. A7 FL. That's, that sounds A7FL. good. That sounds really good. Two Quattro. semesters of French, baby. Shout out Hofstra University. 21 seconds on the clock. Throw deep oh downfield, oh. and he cannot he get there. He went for it. To see Alex and David Soberman play against the, the Bell brothers. <laughs> They're my ride, so no. The snap on, on second down. And watch this. Watch this. Number one, two, seven, Taj Tomaino with the stack. 73 seconds or so. The snap in trouble. Buck, Nuck, uh, if you buck, he is dragged back across the neighborhood and Tomaino saying Toma with the sack <laughs> and that'll be the end of the first half. Yeah. Half hour down, another half hour of football left to go. If we judged it by 30 minutes, We'd be done. Wait, we, and that will be the end of the first half. 24 to 13 is your score, and the Trenton BIC. Buck wants to play, so we're, we're we got some adjudication here well, yeah, to discuss. We're, we're gonna have some lawyering go down. Yeah, Bu it. Buck is running a play, whether it matters about, or not. I mean, I don't know. Talk about your offensive line getting run through like a hot knife through butter. Unhand me, sir. Big man. Hello, Mr. Timino. Oh, huggies. <laughs> Oh, Ole is destroyed. He's taking butts to Pound Town. And I with, said what I said. Wow. <laughs> I said and with, what I said. Wow. One more time for Ike, because this is a Baltimore I game. Said wow. What I said. But this will wow. be the last play. That's four. That's four the, the rare breed called timeout after the play was done, so they have one more play. Wow. The Watchmen will have the time after the timeout. They use their second timeout. They this have last one left. Ike. I have an odd feeling they won't use it with the one second left on the clock. Wow. 
Go down to 0.5. I'm a very hungry Matt Ryan, joined by Big Rob Fabian and Corey Indeed. Hammond. Indeed. Let's see if Buck can really get some magic going. Well, you know what I'm having later, right, guys? Snow, snow tribe soup. Slushy. Oh, wow. That's slushy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Shout out oh, to Ike. Oh, oh. And that oh, one will be... We just End matched the all half. the wows in just that, that two-play series oh, wow. oh, just wow. now. Oh, wow. 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 Oh, just, just hitting our Owen Wilson bag. 7FL rewind, and we start with Jeremy Geary throwing this time to the sideline. That's Satir Edwards getting the first down. And the sick with it, showing the offensive side of the ball is what they're the best at. Geary throwing dimes on this first drive and making the Insomniac's defense look a little sleepy out there. Not able to get to the end zone on that one, but a quick throw across touchdown and the sick with it score their first A7FL touchdown. And then on second down, RTC stifled, will not be able to ride the bus that day. And Geary again on the second drive of the afternoon, tossing a thick boy Tutty to number two, making it 12 to nothing. And then the head top, head top, making it 14 nothing. And then the toss back slip slide into the end zone. The Insomniac score for the first time this season. Scooter Hamilton, the starting quarterback to the end zone. And that one in there to the Billy Hoyle, but Geary brought down by this Insomniac defense and the pace quickening here. And speaking of quickening, RTC Wilkerson driving down, getting the first down and then Scooter Hamilton. They call him the Scooter because he's quick, but he gets a quick six tossed back and a big opportunity for the sick with it, keeping the lead off the INT in the end zone. The new team in the A7FL looking to set the pace and Geary back to Edwards. Edwards with insane speed can change directions, gets the first down. Geary again throwing it to Edwards. Edwards having himself a day balling out in his A7FL spring debut. Geary in trouble brought down. And the, oh, pardon me, that's not Geary on the play. But here comes Trey Robinson. Trey Robinson, the MVP of the fall brawl, an A7FL veteran, a guy who's played on both coasts, knows how to change time zones, and he does it here. Won't get the six, but will set the Insomniacs up to try to get a comeback here, and then the push into the end zone by Scooter Hamilton. And the Insomniacs making this one a ball game, tying it up 14-14. Geary throws this one, caught, but knocked out of play. The Insomniacs defense waking up in the second half. Geary, though, finding the dime, dropping it into the end zone, giving him a 20-14 lead. But once again, the Insomniacs will not be denied. They will not be deterred to get their first win in A7FL history. Scooter Hamilton in the end zone, threading the needle to tie this one up. It is a barn burner here. Who needs defense? Defense when you've got tutties. Big push and driving is number eight. That's Darren Palmer with the reception, but it will remain 2020. Scooter Hamilton on his bicycle gets the throw off, gets the first down, and this one going down the sideline. Another great play there by the Insomniacs, and RTC can hold his jersey, but you can't hold him down. Big run there from the big man. And then Scooter Hamilton will scoot himself into the end zone to get the Insomniacs their first lead of the afternoon. And then on the extra point, he'll keep this one and get right into the end zone, making the lead for the Insomniacs seven. 20 to 27. An opportunity now for the sick with it to try to tie, and this man will not be stopped. And then a goal line situation, JG will walk this one into the end zone. Now the extra point attempt. Throws it, caught, brought down, and we got a tie game. This one has been one hell of a football contest heading into the fourth, but then Trey Robinson. Trey Robinson decides to put the game in his hands, and if you give the ball to Trey Robinson, he will score. He will put six on the board and give the Insomniacs another lead with not a lot of time left, and look at the backflip. Little risk there, high risk, high reward for Robinson. Hamilton throws it. All right, Hamilton, 35-33. A chance here for the sick with it, and the ball comes out on the extra point, and the sick with it are down bad as the Insomniacs. They won't get any points here on the extra point, but making a huge stop to walk out with the win. 
or walk out with the lead. Not a lot of time left in this game. 35-33. The Insomniacs with the ball. That's RTC. RTC driving and no stops. This is an express bus going all the way to the end zone. Cuts around the defender. And RTC thinking he should stop. He stays upright. He'll go into the end zone and increase the lead from 2-8. to 41-33, your score, the extra point opportunity. Bopped around, and look at the catch! The Insomniacs with the lead. Geary, not a lot of time left. The bird flying in, the catch being made. 42-39, but Hamilton in victory formation. Time for an A7FL rewind, and we start things off with a Shante Worthy. Starting off the 2023 season by taking the opening return. The first return of the 2023 season to the end zone. Six, putting up six. That's Ashante Hollywood worthy with the moon salt. Starting things off for the defending champions. But Corey Price, the new starting quarterback for the East Orange Renegades, would take his time and drive the Renegades downfield, taking up two-thirds of the first quarter, getting inside the end zone and tying it up 6-6. Six, six. Throwing up the fist as a sign of disrespect to his former team, but here on the extra point attempt, getting in there and making it a 7-6 game. And the oh, the Renegades talking a little smack, but on the next play, don't taunt Ashante Worthy because he's going to do this to you. He's going to make you miss, and then he's going to run straight down the sideline. Wave bye-bye like Rob Fabian would say and make it a 12-7 game. And then the BIC would get the ball back off defense. But Trey Baskerville having a day. You see him with the sack. You see him taking down the running back, doing a little dance. The Hound of Baskerville would not be enough, though, as the BIC would get inside, make it 18 to 7, and then Matt Riddick behind the back to get the extra point. 20 to 7 at this point. But here comes DeAndre Haynes, and here comes that Vendicates defense knocking the ball loose. And it was a rough road for Sterry Codrington in the second half. Getting it off here, a beautiful catch by Matt Riddick into the end zone, making it 27 to 7, but then the Renegades started driving, driving down the field. You can see him slip, slide, take this one to the house. Make it 27-14. And now CP3 trying to drive here under two minutes. Gets it over to Mike Liberti, and Liberti needs an entire nation to hold him down. And then they will get that one to Khalil Green. But your final, 27-20. The BIC get the win. Three on the line. The snap. Codrington oh. in trouble, rolls out of it. Codrington will get on his he bicycle and caught. brought wow. down for a loss of six, and it will be second and 16. Long time they were. prior to the start of the second half. Let's take a look at this again to see where this pressure came from. And there it is. And it, it came from right in the center. Right, yeah, it came from Mar Markai, a.k.a. Chum. He was and he wasn't block. able to he, once that block was broken. That's it, Big Dippy. You know, he, uh, you can't actually got to hold the block that long. Yeah. I can, yeah. And it will be second down. Ball marked at the 14 yard line. Codrington. Oh, wow. More throws pressure. this one off the back foot. Caught. And that one will be third down. But and who is it two but yards him again? As Shante usual. Worthy having a day. And this is what we expect from Ashanti, honestly. From Sterry as well. I, I really don't see anything that they're doing that I don't expect them to do. Re reading reading the play, seeing who's open, pressure, surprisingly, Courage usually gets a way better block than that, but I guess he slipped and right as now, we see on the replay. At the half, it is 21 to zip, sick with it. They should, the they should have been off the sticks. Bye-bye, <laughs> Las Vegas Force. It'll be third down. Tried to warn you. Matt Ryan joined by Big Rob Fabian. The handoff to the ice cream truck. Quarterback will keep it. He will oh, cut down the sideline. My and a Sterry Codrington Ste pulling Sterry. a huff trick out of the bag. Sterry just fooled me. I thought I thought ice cream truck had it. That was the best QP. Wow. Wait. Oh, he did have the ball. Did he? I'm lost. I'm very confused, but there's a handoff to the ice cream truck. He will bounce to the outside, and he will be stopped around the 39. And it's something about an in-shape ice cream truck where he doesn't look as explosive as he used to look when he was a little bit bigger. Yeah. And I've been hearing that a lot. of You know, it's like it's more of an inside joke, but when he was chubbier, when he was more of the ice cream truck, or he looked like he ate more ice cream, 
he ran a little faster, it seems. But I think people are just it's deceptive. Used, yeah, they're just more used to how he plays now, I think. See, seven felt dot TV in the zone and the play action. Oh, great Second pancake. Down throw, caught! Oof. And that's Riddick again to the sideline. He'll pancakes. get to the 49. He'll pancakes. get first down. Big Dippy with a pancake. Just add a little syrup on that boy right after. I no love jam. like that. No, no jam. jam. All syrup. All syrup. Heading into this week, the Watchmen saying hashtag watch this, but now are watching the BIC with a two-score lead. Oh Codring ten deep, looking for another flag. Is Bell, and he won't get it. It will be second down. Let's see here on second down, and he oh. does it. Well, deep ball and out of the reach of Riddick. I just mean, he's letting it fly, though. I mean, it, it, if that was just a half inch to the left, that one might have been. Seen. Really locked in. I have to give him that. I don't see anyone yelling at each other. I don't. I don't see anyone. No ego showing, saying this guy can do this or get this guy out of here. Everyone's still locked in, trying to figure out how they can. This is a playoff. Game. Yeah, this is. This is a playoff. It feels game. like one. If you walk outside, it feels like a playoff game. Look at the crowd. That energy, that community. Oh, yeah. Like this was the biggest week two. Felt like week one. It, this it, felt like opening. Week. Honestly, oh, maybe that's an idea. Give them big games <laughs> opening week. And it'll be third down. Snap. Oh. Not a lot of time. Audrey in with a little oh, wow, wipe. Wow. The throw off the pancake. He likes him with syrup, but he likes him with six. He is Hollywood. He wears six on his back because that's what he puts on the board. Touchdown. B. I. C. And again, who are you holding to what now? <laughs> This is the BIC I was expecting yeah. to see against the Renegades, guys. I mean, I was very harsh on BIC because I was disappointed. I was Jerry's very fourth touchdown on the day. And I'm not surprised. This is who I expect to see when I hear that I'm going to be broadcasting a BIC game. And watch this here is on a the great snap. block from Chum. Ooh, a little Ooh. bit of holding right there. Oh. Hey, man. We're not the refs. Us. Yeah, we're not the refs. Lefty. And just right into the pocket, catching it like a pop fly. That's great. Like Bernard Gilkey in '94 in right field of Shea Stadium, just getting that catch. Ooh, that oh. pancake is ridiculous. Call that man IHOP. That's what they wanted us to see again. A little, put some Ooh syrup on him, and a little hus hus after that. But they will be going for one from the five yard line. Matt Ryan drawn by Big Rob Fabian. Um, maybe that's the case here. But again, it's only the second game of the second yeah. week of the year. Honestly. They'll have five more chances to get right. Right. And here comes the reception. Trey Co oh! oh! And that one will get to the 29 off the return. What kind of Sonic the Hitchhog flip was <laughs> that? Skinner. You know, both of you could start an A7FL franchise with your children. I agree. I think I think we definitely can. We have the numbers. The ham fabs. The ham, ham fabs. The fam ham. The fab hams. And it's a lot throw. of space. A lot that of space. One, that was a great run there by Rokeem Chaney. Chaney at the half was 9 for 5, 143 yards. That'll get him over 30 yards rushing on the day. That's nice. On his second rush. He's only rushed twice so far this These game. guys are cerebral. They're not wasting any runs. Every run that they have is to at least get him the first down yeah. or they're really in trouble and need to get up out of there. And a congratulations to LSU who have won the NCAA Women's Championship. Why not the let ball it fly? thrown deep. Oh Swatted, my but God. he's got it. What? He's got it. Round 11. That is wow. Marlon Anderson. You call him Tony Toe Tap because he taps it in the end zone. We got a ball game. Touchdown, Baltimore. Matt. Watch that. Matt, didn't I just say anything can happen, Matt? Yes, sir. Anything can happen. These are two top teams. Look, he's, he's sunning everybody over. Why y'all let him come on the sideline and start sunning people? Because they're still up by 11. <laughs> like, it's still a two-score game, It's still Rob. a game, man. I, wow. Wow. Oh! Ooh. He threw up the fist? Don't, don't, get the, don't get too spicy. Never get too spicy. No, you don't want... It, it, you see what's happening to the four... Big Rob, I want to know why Matt Ryan says all the things he says. Is Go to a7fl.com slash owners, Brooklyn, Pittsburgh, Philly, all across the United States. You want to bring a team? You want the smoke? Bring the smoke. a7fl.com slash owners. Make sure that you're standing across that man, Ashante Worthy, next season, in the 10th season of the a7fl.
We're going to have an all-decade team and a Shante Worthy returning the ball. Ooh. Oh, boy. Yeah. And there's a return at the <sighs> 17. Oh, my God. He fell before the hus. A Shante Hus Worthy cuts down the sideline. Oh. A Shante oh. Worthy will get to the 50. Oh. And he'll get called out at the 49. Wolverine fell before the hus. I don't know. Ricardo Freeman was like, even the ref is smiling. <laughs> He's he got like, them oh. adamantium cleats on. He's like, Kiki. Wow. These and guys have the, combined for almost 1,100 yards. And that, of but that is Com per player yeah. combined. Yes, everything. That is every yard gained, passing, receiving, everything. Yeah. First and 10. Pardon me, second down. The snap. Oh, my goodness, that the rush. The pressure, but there's Courage Mosey. Courage Mosey gets to the 50. And how is that wow. man not the GOAT? Listen. I've blocked for that man. Sometimes I felt like he didn't need the team. <laughs> Courage does it all. He wore a goat mask in the championship last year for a reason. His balance, like, I, I know this is going to sound crazy, but just hear me out. His legs are the size of small tree trunks. Be, like, he, every step he takes, you see every muscle pop out. Then he does this little ritual before he gets the ball where he throws his hands up. I think he's praying to the panther goddess because of, there's no way. There's no way Courage is not from Wakanda. There's just no way. He, he, he'd be putting it on him. And with the ball inside of the 40. Let's see if the Watchmen can do something defensively to slow these guys down at least. It'll be first down, Codrington. Quick throw. Now it'll be a first down. Oh, wow. Ward. What a Someone catch. Someone did their push ups today. Kyle Ward. Not smooth on that one, but it was nah. effective and got the first down. Oof. Two wide receivers set, four on the line. The Watchmen looking to bring all the Charm City. Codrington throws this deep caught. Touchdown, BIC! That man, that combination. I don't care about Montana and Rice. I care about Codrington and Worthy. That's Touchdown, it. the defending champion. Codrington and Worthy, man, and again. Worthy is just showing why he is so worthy. That man is doing every and any and everything in his power to score, and it's looking so easy for him. And let's take a look at the replay. Great blocking by the entire line. Look at the protection. And just the throw, too, that cheater kind of just toss and throw. And the back shoulder. Come on now. You the guys back are shoulder. Come on. That's not fair. You're daring your corner. You're giving your corner. And they're going to yell at the corner and say he's bad. But he's not bad. He has to guard Ashanti. One-on-one. -on -one. Are you will. kidding? There's Tamino. Tamino, pardon me. Tamino. And a snap off the edge. Tamino came out of court. Ooh. Cut uh -oh. down. Come on, KK. Come on, uh-oh. Kaysan Campbell give it oh chase. And here comes the rest of the BIC defense, and he'll get out at the 28th. First down, Watchman. Quick question. Yes. How fast is Big Mook? Because <laughs> he just. That boy fast. He's too big to be that fast. Keep Listen, keep him away from me. That boy's too big to be that fast. But well, that was a phenomenal catch, and Yo, he's they, been having I, himself a game. I think Kenny game. and Carl have just been handing out Michael's secret stuff must to have, everybody. Must have been. And as a, as a proud graduate of the New York University, my, my phraseology comes from watching a lot catch. of television. A great catch. And the, watch that change of direction. But Kaysan Campbell able to keep stride with him, though. The snap, oh, the throw, six. caught a touchdown, wow. Baltimore! Oh, that's Super Saiyan with the touchdown. Baltimore is not laying down. Baltimore no. is here. They're not here they're to do going, the job. They're, they're, they're not they're here, here to, to do fight. the job. They're here to fight, and I, I have to respect that. And I'm, I'm hoping BIC realizes that because right now, this is just looking like a shootout. The last two teams that played that look like this, when Samiax, sick with it. This is what it looked like. Is this... Nightcrawler's rare breed territory. Oof. BIC won't do what rare breed did, but I understand the reference. In terms of just, this is a this slugfest. Is a game. Yeah, this is a game. Because BIC is allowing a lot of points. Yeah. This is the most points BIC has allowed in in, in a season. What well, happened this here? This is the most oh, points allowed. Oh, miscommunication. This is, this is the third most points given up by the BIC. Right, to a team that wasn't named the U. Yeah, well, no, no since the championship game. Right. They did. Oh yeah. They, they've scored more, but the thing is, the renegade, the renegades only scored twenty. And BIC right now are in the thirties. Right, they're matching it right now. But that's what ends when you have two great offenses playing against well, each other. Right. The defenses are there. 
because we've seen what the BIC can do defensively. Super Saiyan with the Kamehameha celebration. Thank you. He's over 9,000 looking to get on the board, make it a closer game, and they get Champion it leaking out the tight end. Points. How many points was that? I think that was from that was the 10. Two. That was two wow. points, so it's now 27. 27 to 36. The BIC will get the ball on a three on one throw off. It is turning from day into night here on April 2nd, 2023 on one of the biggest uh -oh. weeks of A7FL football in history. This one is caught inside the 10. Here's an opportunity for uh -oh. a day Worthy! Mama. A day Worthy! He cut two defenders. He'll get to the 46 and run and out again, of play. And again, great job. Great return by Ashanti. Great job by that defense that contained. to contain that him. It is the start of the fourth quarter. 36 to 27 is your score. Codrington under center, the snap. He will keep it. He will rush towards the sideline, and he will get out of play around the fifth, the 49. Will not get the first, but a solid run by Codrington. And it'll be second down. Yeah, I need to post that on DK Butcher's page for letting me know that um, he was going to hold Ashanti to nothing. I really questioned. I said, you sure, bro? You don't have to say these things. Wow. But again, you don't listen. A little known fact is Courage is a guy who carries the ball well. He does a lot, but he is known to fumble in certain situations. You don't want to put yourselves in a position where that's, you know, a fumble happens off of a play like this where it's a false start. We have to be disciplined here. And it will be second down after the penalty. Mosey set up on the right of the quarterback, two wide receivers at the top of your screen. Codrington in trouble, steps back, throws off his back. Great Caught. catch again, and who, wow. What a play. Hit. Who is that? I think uh, that was Ashanti who yeah, got the catch. I don't even know catch. why I'm asking who is that. It's definitely Ashanti. Hard hit. We saw Worthy go down last week. Right. And stay out for a long period of time in the first half. And, and Worthy again, will get to the sideline. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this, this is still a very physical sport. Yeah. And he, he looks like he got the wind knocked out of him on that play. And honestly, again, you just saw him crawling off on his own. This is not where yeah. a helmet made a contact with a helmet and the guy's not getting up. He's getting up. He crawled off on the side on his own. Let's see again on the replay. Oh, Chum, Chum, you have to do better than that. Great protection by KWAC, but Chum, you have to do better than that. And then he makes and the there's catch. there's the catch. He's in, and then... He was going out of bounds. I, I don't know if that's a... I think somebody might have landed on him. Is that an after-the-play thing, though? Is that... Uh, that's that's the confusing you, part you, of you it. Don't, you don't want to start doing that because then you'll have to do that every yeah. single time. And it's not... He's walking off on his own strength. It, it looks like he really might have just got the wind knocked out of him. You see it here on the replay. The throw by Codrington. Great throw. And just right... Worthy knew exactly where to be. And hopefully, you know, he could come back. They're going to do the protocol that yeah. we always do. Check check him on the sideline, and if he's good, he comes back. Nine-point lead, 36-27, your score. Matt Ryan drawn by Big Rob Fabian. Two wide receivers set. It looks like Campbell in now in the slot. The snap. Oh, pressure immediately. Pressure. Throw down to KWAC. Carnell ah. Wachter will get the ball. Didn't see if he will. raised his hand or not, and I see the flag down, so we don't know if he raised his well, hand. Well, right now, if you're the watchman, do you do you decline the penalty because it'll be fourth down? It'll be fourth and short. Do you want to give them another down to work? Do you want to give the BIC another chance with the ball, with the opportunity to let Sterry cook, or do you want them in that short yardage situation? Because he, we've seen it with the point conversions, five to ten yards is a tough it's road. A tough they, road they, for eat, they eat yardage in chunks. Big chunks. I think I'd let him have the fourth down, man. You, you, you decline it. Yeah, I decline. decline the penalty. I would decline. I'd let him have the fourth down. Thank you to the magicians who showed up here at the booth. <laughs> Right. But but the clock winding down here. Illegal touching and so it will be fifth it will be uh, on KWAC. On K oh. Legal touching of the ball. 
Right, because he didn't raise his hand as so an eligible tight end. So it will be fourth down. And if you're if you're just finding out about our rules, we run three two down linemen. If you are playing tight end, you are either the third or fourth man, and you must raise your hand, as you saw KWAC and Courage did right before the must, start. Yeah, you must indicate that you are an eligible receiver. One of the things about being a seven-on-seven seven league. The snap. Codrington. Pressure. Thrown and brought down. Wow. By the Ricardo Freeman. And this is where I didn't want BIC to be. In a situation where they're going three and out, four and out. This is the first time we've seen that today. And that's dangerous because guess who got the spark in, in, back in there? That touchdown by Tolta. Like, but that these, BIC hmm, defense, man. we've seen yeah, it today. Not, yeah, they no, got a pick. I, they've gotten two defensive touchdowns. Buck has well, to. Well, one defensive touchdown. Buck has to capitalize who, who comes off this. out for them, though? Let's see. Let's see. Them? The what happened here? Oh the my. offensive line. Too many guys. Chum, chumming the guys have, have to call that. Yeah, way too many guys. You have to have Sterry pick his poison. He's responsible for one, and it's looking like Ricardo Freeman was the guy he was responsible for. That ain't great. No, it's not. And when you have the when your own, when your option is Ricardo Freeman or anybody else, I'll probably take anybody else yeah. for Ricardo Freeman. So now that's turnover, four and out. Buck and company come back on the field, and let's see if he can make magic happen. He has in the last two scores. He has. It's been the offense that scored, right? Yeah. All the points. Well, except, no, except defense. That one no, I'm touchdown. talking about for um for the watchman. Yeah, yeah. no returns, no Nothing. no it's, picks. It's all their offense. It has been a almost spotless day, and there you see the ice cream truck off, and they're trying to play the screen, oh. and here comes the pressure, and down goes Buck at the 49, now, that's and a there's Ole Bell again. That's a great sack by Ole, and that's what you expect from a, such a vet. He might him him staring to Shante in a horse race right now for right. my player of the week. <laughs> Can I give it to all three of them? I mean, you It's an award might, I just made up. It's not real. You might be able to. You might be able to. But again, without that same, you can still feel Verardi's presence missing. Yeah. Ever so slightly. But Ole is making up for what is missing. Yeah. Because he, jeez, he's Ole, guys. I mean, and with come on. And and counting. We are under 10 minutes to play Oops. here. We are a third of the way through the fourth quarter. At the top of the hour, it will be the Hunters and the Kryptonite here on A7FL.TV. And the pressure thrown. He caught. has no fear. Throw he, to the 32-yard line. No fear. He is throwing that thing no matter what. He trusts his players so much. What a play. What? Rakeem Chaney, OG Buck, is slinging that thing. I said what I said. Yeah. Wow. And they called the flag on the play. I would love to see what it was. I think it might have been holding because there was a reason why he had that time. And there's a first time for everything, Rob. And that will be 10 yards from the previous spot. We'll see. Oh, yeah. I don't see it. He had him by the arm. I, oh, like, that's how KY blocks. I did, I, so I didn't think anything was wrong with it, personally. It will be second down. First down, pardon me. After the after the flag. First down. First and 29. But do you want to give them a first? I, I would have just, I don't know. If it's first and 29? He's just going to do throw. that again. Caught the ball to doesn't. The 40. Oh my. Us, 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 us. And Excuse Riddick. me. Oh wow. Riddick has to pay fair for that ride. But again, he's just going to do that again. That's number 81 on the catch. And he's been phenomenal today. What's yeah. his name? He's not on the, he's not on the roster, but I, I could have sworn. We, we Can had someone a, give me his name? I just feel like it was something with an H. And we've got a new audience joining us on A7FL.TV. It is 36-27. It is a nine-point game. The Watchmen need to get a score here and get the two-point conversion at minimum to get close. The BIC throw almost swatted away. There he was, I don't know if he was looking for the flag. He was looking for something. And 36-27. And, and in interesting news, it seems the UFC and the WWE are now co-workers, as Endeavor has bought the WWE. 
So this has been an interesting day. It is not April Fool's Day, but at the top of the hour, let us know who's going to be walking out. Will it be the Hunters? Will it be the Kryptonite? Or will oh. the Boston Omegas oh, wow. defeat the Snow Bone Trump? at quarterback. Bone in the quarterback. The handoff. The oh, big man my. pushes the pile wow. to the 21. I mean, I guess his name is Big Bone. The ice cream truck just got rolled down the street. Wow. And if it's just that easy to get a first down, if you're Bone, what's there left to do? <laughs> 7.57 left to go. Matt Ryan, Rob Fabian. And the Boston baby, Corey Hammond. I can't do a Boston accent because my New York accent Time is Timeout called by the BIC. They blink first. All right, listen. <sighs> Matt. Yes, Rob. BIC is up by nine. Do you let them score? Do you let the walk? Do you do a Belichick? That's kind of Do you do what? a Belichick? That's kind of where I was leaning. It's like, hey, we're BIC. We can. We know we can get first downs. We know we can score. It's, it's Avon. 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 If his last name is Barksdale, I'm fighting somebody. I'm Avon. His punches. name is Avon. Okay. Because I, I need to know his name because he's been cooking. That, can we get Avon stats? I know Avon stats are through the roof. He, <laughs> he might be challenging um, Ashanti for his. But it will be first down after the timeout. Ball in the 21. And Bones still at quarterback. I guess they're here for some rough and tough yards. They're looking to eat up the clock, I think. Either that or it's about to be a trick play, and Bone is going to take one step back and let it fly to a wide open Tony Toe Tap or, or Sand. And he'll cut to the wow. left. And that is some rambling from Grambling! Hey, K-Wack! Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that, K-Wack? Why'd you do that? Wow. And as the clock winds down here, let's take a look at the replay. Ice cream truck slows him down. Oh, no, they're going to go to quick. Maryland special! Nope, they called dead. the timeout, timeout before BIC, smart play. And who's the genius that called the timeout? I want a replay on who called the timeout. <laughs> That's the replay you want. The person with the wear and thaw to realize that all of this was a setup. Bunch up the line with Bone. Hit him with that Admiral Akbar. Oh it's my. a trap. It, it's a trap. Wow. Called in a trap. There's so ball. here comes Ice Cream Truck with the initial contact. Hey, hey you. Hey, jersey. stop it. Stop it. Bone coming out of I've, his jersey. Yeah, Bone, listen. I've never seen Bone's legs go in the air. Today I have. I think that's the first time we can say Bone's legs have gone akimbo for the first time in the nine years of the American Sevens Football wow, League. who called that timeout? I mean, it, it, very, very much so too obvious. At some point, we got to figure it out. Bone's jersey is torn to bits. And in Nevada, the force are with the ball. Score. Impressive run by the force, and you can watch that game on A7FL.TV by clicking the Nevada tab. Head over to Nevada in just about 40 minutes. Second and eight. The snap, the throw! Tip! Wow, he had it still! He lost it after the tip. You have to secure that. This is championship football. Bring it you in have here, to chat. You have to secure that. I'm sorry. Regardless of what's going on, you have to make that catch. was the one who called the timeout. Oh, wow. K-Wax a genius. K-Wax a genius. It'll I'm not going to lie. third down. Because in the heat of the game, it's hard to see yeah. that. I'm not going to lie. k well, great job. Ball in the 19. Third down to oh, throw he, to the end zone out of he stopped reach. Running, he stopped running. Sly stop running. Sly stop running. Sly Washington, the intended receiver. I've been wearing this headset for five hours. And he is I am getting up. <laughs> I am living for this right now. You can see it as the sun begins to set on the Jersey Shore on a blistering cold day, but it's football weather. And in the A7FL, it's always thick boy season, so we got that extra layer of protection <laughs> as the six minute mark will hit. Matt Ryan joined alongside big Rob Fabian. Shout out to everybody in the chat, making it a big day on A7FL.TV. I want to shout out the team again without the Silverman brothers, John Kurtzon and John, Pat, and Jared on the cameras. Ryan back home at HQ. Shout out to Howard, Schenner, and David in Sin City. Hopefully he's dropping by Bonanza High School. The snap 
Buck in trouble. Knock if you buck foot down. Danny oh, can't get the first down. He's called wow. out at the 12. Called out at the 12. Dwan. The clock was still run. Dwan Williams. That Might was a phenomenal tackle. Wow, Dwan. Much like the Ursay family 40 wow. years ago. The Trenton BIC may have broken the hearts of the city of Baltimore. Wow, that's going to be costly. Someone in the chat said they gave Bones a jersey from Shein. This is an amazing th Oh, wow. Beefy and Bone are right next to each other. Oh, and just Dwan not able to slip in to get that block. That block. If that block is set, there's a touchdown. He, I think but they both ran the same route. They were... They, they, I know they want to fight for the call. He didn't get in. Dwan, that was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> wow. And it is the golden hour. We are in wow. golden time for the BIC. And there's a review about the spot of the ball. He had to get to the 11. I'm looking right at that 11. Wow, Beefy's there. That's got to go to the 11 and a half it, yard line. No. No, no, he doesn't pass not the even stick. What about the ball? What about the ball? Did the ball get passed? I think he was out of bounds. The ball was He's on the line. To reach it over? The ball was on the yard line. Oh, on wow. the hash. This is the tough. ball's on the hash. He knows he didn't get it. If he fell inside, if only he fell inside. But it was the right here's the thing, it was the right throw. It was. Duan was covering Beefy. Take it, take a look at it. He Beefy leaked. double zero and they yeah. Ball. They're both right there. Duan's right there, but he comes down. And no, nope, he doesn't get it. get it. He doesn't get it. He does not get it. Wow. And this is where Dwan, who's a very sad, Dwan's not the fastest, not the strongest, not even the skilled, but he's so savvy in crunch time situations. Wow. Look at Dwan. We'll Look see. at Dwan. Let's Look at number two. Let's number see two. it from another Look angle. Two. He's got a pass. He would have picked off Beefy. He's got to hit the stick. He doesn't. Oh, and it's not and concluded. Oh, no, yeah. He doesn't get it. And that's a heartbreaking he, play. That is, that's but that's a, a that's a that's a championship level play from Dwan, from Dwan Williams. That's see, impressive, man. See the watchman. Beefy has to make that block. These are those are championship level plays. If the BIC walk out with the win, are the watchman still the number two team? No, they drop. Unfortunately for them, great throw. Being Beefy. able to do that with the ice cream truck on you. Yeah, Beefy has to. He had, yeah, he had to cross uh, the 11. He didn't cross the 11. He has to turn. The, the, his head wasn't on the swivel to see why he didn't get the ball. Beefy, listen, man. He doesn't. He's not looking. Yeah. And now that's a turnover. It'll be first and Yeah, he has the ball. Five and change left to go. And this is what happens, man. High level football. And in five and a half minutes. Big IQ plays. And in five and a half minutes, we may throw back to Vegas to let them finish up the uh, sick with it first game. And we'll be here with you top of the hour. Unless we have to stay with this game because something wild happens. The A7FL, you never know what will happen. Cotter Trust her. Brought down. Woo! That's not where you want to be with that kind of pressure on you. Nope. Now... Understand what we said. Matt has said numerous times this is a nine point game. A safety here Yo, allows them. I was them about to say the exact on, same thing. Talk, talk about it, Matt. If they get a safety here, the watchmen get the ball back. And they will, if they score. That nine watch point this. deficit, watch this. Indeed. They would be one point away from tying it, or two points away, and it would be second and 17. Yeah, Beefy has to make and that. This, he has to be aware of why. Is that the most costly play of the season? <sighs> is this going to be the thing in a few weeks and oh. there's an incomplete pass? Are they going to blame on, like, that one play? Is that the one? Is that the play no. that hinges on, mm. Baltimore, on, ba on Baltimore making it? To be very honest That's with you, it would be, it'll be Buck keeping Lenny in for that second attempt at whatever it is he was trying to do. That got the fumble and then the recovery, Ole Bell running in for six. That's where this shift happened. Everything else was punch for punch, haymaker for haymaker, jab for jab, until that. And it will be third down, 17 to go. Ball is on the five-yard line. 
I really do want to highlight um, number 81, Avon. From, Avon, yeah. yeah. Avon, I, we have to highlight him yeah, this week. That was it's a phenomenal performance, honestly. It, it, it might be a star-making turn for that guy. For real. Codrington with three wide receivers. You see Ashante Worthy back out there, giving Ashante a lot of space. One on one, the snap, but Codrington will yeah, run it, courage, and he so. will oh my. he will get checked out at the seven yard line. Courage is definitely Pardon open. The yard line. He was open, but I mean not for too long. Three sixteen, what left to go, and it'll be four twelve. Big coat number sixty one on the line, and they will go for it on fourth twelve. I don't like that. I don't like that. You have an opportunity to punt here. You, you do. Don't get me wrong. If if you're that guy and you can convert it, you do that. But my, I had a coach that used to always say the same thing. If you respect the game, it'll respect you. And I personally wouldn't go for it here. Courage is the tight end, not KY. Fourth and 12. 35. Flag on the play. Oh, yikes. It might have been. Looks like a false start on the offense. False. It oh, is. Offense is on the up. That's not good. So now they're we're going to punt. They're, they're going to throw it off here. I, they'll be throwing it from the end zone yeah, at that point. My, 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 my. And you don't want that to be the ticky tack. Not at all. I mean, at least right now, the only thing that really saves them, they have to punt here. Yeah, I think it was foolish not to punt there. And some, someone asking, Michael Faith asking on A7FL.TV, they'll be throwing from the five after the penalty. Is this BIC team, is it experience that keeps them in front of teams? It's talent as much it's as anything. It's talent. I, I have to say that, too. It, it, experience as well. And it's chemistry because these Baltimore guys, they've played each other, played with each other before, but right. this is something different, and that will bounce, and that's a live ball. That will be picked up at the 50, and his towel gets dropped off. His towel and went flying. <laughs> two and a half minutes left to go. 50 yards and down by nine. The Baltimore Watchman, Tomano, on the tack. On the tack. So there is a flag. Jenny Pujols, me and you both, sister. Me and you both. With 230 left to go. <laughs> well, Jazz, me and you both. <laughs> Not Jenny, because no, I don't do that. But Jazz, no problem. But with 230 left to go. What are we looking at here? There was a Wait. flag on the play. Yeah, we're looking to see what that flag was. We'll hopefully get some confirmation from the because for, officials in a second. For top team, for top tier teams in this league, two minutes and thirty seconds is plenty, plenty time for us to see two, three scores in that but time. They're they're back there. They they are they are, but we've seen no because they were set up at the fifty. Now they're lined up. They're they're huddling at like the. 35, 40. Rokeem Chaney hasn't been hesitating to throw that thing. He's throwing it. He's going to get it as far out as he wants to if he feels like it. He's not scared to do it. Bone is really rocking this she in Jersey. Something fierce. <laughs> they said Bone has on a wife. <laughs> An illegal substitution against uh, the Watchmen. Wow which will set them up at the 35-yard line. So with 2.30 left to go, a costly penalty will make it, instead of 50 yards, it'll be 65 yards to go. With the same score out here. And again, this is what I expect from a high-level team from Baltimore and BIC. It, it still looks like a close game. It's still a game. Let's see if Rakeem Chaney can, can get this going. Chaney. Some protection on the line. You see Beefy at the edge. They're snapped. The throw deep downfield. And that one's out of bounds. I told you he's definitely not afraid to throw it. And that one will more than likely bring us to our two-minute warning. Rob, if you are Baltimore, you are relying on Tony Totap. Tony Totap. Matt, can I ask you a question, Matt? Of course you can. Does the loss of Ant Mo for three games hurt them here? I feel like Ant Mo could have stretched the field. I feel he could have, but without without Pack Money today. Pack as well. Okay. That's the problem. Is Pack on returns? It felt like the the Watchmen 
were passive observers. They diff- yeah, they had a different. Thing. Yeah, it, it was a different look to them with Pack. Pack is. I mean, they're doing this well without Pack, without Ace. The team's good. There's no yeah. question. We're not watching a two bad teams no, here. No, we're watching the two best teams the, in the league. The presumptive nominees for the Eastern Conference champions. Honestly. BIC looking to sip from the cup of victory one more time. The snap, the throw, caught. No. Oh, the white like, gloves made oh, me yeah. think he one-handed it behind it, his head. Yeah, I, I was about to lose my mind. Minute 55, so under two minutes on the incompletion. The clock will stop. They're saying that Bone has a toga on. <laughs> this is insane. Well, he is trying to uh, turn this into an animal house. Trying to open up the gates and let the zoo run in. They have some beasts on that team. With a minute 55 left to go in a nine-point deficit. Watchman looking to do what no team has been able to do since the 2021 championship game, and that is defeat the BIC. There you see Kaysan Campbell, Matt Riddick, two men. Egg electrify on offense alongside number 13, Kyle Ward. Three of the best wide receivers. Yeah, they are all on defense here. Snap and pressure. Here comes the pressure. Pass, buckle, throw it. Interception. And if that, I'm not mistaken, that's K. Is that? That's that's, that's KK. That's Kaysan Campbell. Kaysan Campbell. Man, he went. Campbell. He went. That's it. Went viral. He went on Sports Center. What a minute 50 left to go. Looks like the BIC will take the field one more time and kneel this one out. And then there's no offense to the Watchmen. I think the Watchmen played a great game. Let it go. Let this game go. Victory formation, let it go. Fight, live to fight another day. And it'll be interesting what the Watchmen do two weeks when they when we return to action i do believe they face off uh we'll see what they, they face off uh, against but that'll be the interesting conversation rob is how do they bounce back if they walk out of here with oh, the loss today great interception that was great bone with the toga they gotta figure <laughs> something out oh shouts out to my guy yuck on the check-in appreciate you yuck he's his favorite player Yo, He's lying. But. <laughs> <laughs> You're my favorite retired player. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Well, when we're back on April 16th. The Watchmen have a must-win situation their next game, so I yeah. mean, it's another big game. That will be on April 16th. Every game, to me, in the A7 NFL is a must-win game. But that one will be a showdown. And it will be the snap to handoff. Bounces to the outside, and there is a Ooh. wow! That was a that was a block yeah, in the back. Yeah, you can't do that. It's, you can't do that. And, Armani and, and Skinner, and whoa, whoa! Buddy, buddy's gonna get tossed. Come on, He'll man! Get Come on now. Hey, you, this is. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. it it's yeah, it's tough to lose like this. I get it. it, it but come it, on, it's, man! It's a heartbreaking way to be do the classy. Job, but, be yeah. classy, man! Come on now. You're better than this, Armani. You don't, you don't want to do that. And You're better than this, Armani. Come on now. Not a lot of time left to make any other adjustments aside from where you're going to stop to get gas on the way home. But Thanks. we will see the Hotchman next week. Oof, I told you this top be, 10 list next week is going to look nasty. But the Watchmen play the Omegas on April 16th. Oh, I thought they played the U. No, they play the U on week four. Oh, okay. That will be on April Ooh, 23rd. And that is a four oh, o'clock hey. game. That'll be right here on A7FL.TV and the zone. That was a. Oh, late with the dance moves. Ashante Worthy grittying all the way to the end zone. That's nearly, for usual. nearly 200 receiving <sighs> yards on the game. Again. I, oh, man. And just taking a look here at our chat on a7fl.tv. It has been a day and a half, and we are two games in. We got one more game left to go. And it looks like we will wrap this one up here, or we will go to victory formation at the very least. 
All right, we're going to cut to Las Vegas. Let's head on over to Casey Cox, A-Dub, and Scott McCorkle as the sick win in the fourth. We'll be back to finish this one up in a moment. The call back. You that would have been the game-changing touchdown if the other two don't get called back. So they're going to snap it from the five. So 4-1 in backfield. Takes Daniel snap. Quinn coming. Throw. Got it. And James catches Patrick. the ball. Good for the His hands are good. And that is 21-14 with 3-0-1 left on the clock in the fourth quarter. And coming up, it. We are back with a minute four left to go. The clock will run. We'll kick back to Vegas in a second because it's 21-14. And the formation much like Johnny Drama all alone in the desert is a victory here this afternoon for the Trenton BIC. Um, if we should do one more year, I should lace it up with them. We should go home where home is being <laughs> BIC. Yeah, I will get back to you on that. I am not opposed thinking about it, but no, nah, it ain't this alone. year. No, you, I'll never leave you alone. Don't leave me alone Cor Corey's going to Corey's going to retire if I decide to play. He has to. 21 to 14 in Vegas. It's 36 27 here in Asbury Park. And that one will be the final play of this game. Very the Trent BIC a week ago. Barely defeated the Renegades, but today the score was a little wider. But the champions proved that they are, in fact, sure. the champions. For sure. And let's do a little spoiler for the three on one podcast while the number one team in the A7 NFL is BIC. Trent BIC. 1000%. There's no question. There's no question. It's it's now, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have to figure it out. You guys have seen enough film. They didn't even have their best defensive player on the field. Good luck. And we will go back. It's 21-14 in Vegas. KC Cox on the call. We'll be back at the top of the hour. It'll be the Hunters taking on the Kryptonite. We'll see you on the other side, babies. This has been a broadcast of the American Sevens Football League. Like, follow, and share on our Facebook page at A7FL TV. in place of punts. We also have one and two point conversions. The ball gets past the 25 yard line. It's a live ball. Robinson. He has a lot of speed. Hitting him with that husk, cuts it over. Gotta see some moves though, yeah. He has a lot of straightway speed. He's not a slow guy, but there's not a lot of husk husk going on yeah. in there. There's no cuts, there's no, and to be dangerous on the three on one, you have to be able to make at least the first guy miss. And we'll see the two running backs here loading up on the line. The handoff and plowing through. The, the running back losing a glove on that play. And that is a run by number 32, Seth Batts and Little Boat, a player you claim, Rob, is highly underrated in the A7. Little Boat is very underrated. Little Boat, has, he found himself on like some not so great teams prior to being with this team, and he didn't get a chance to shine. Then he got on BIC. You have to, it, being a running back behind Courage is never going to be no. easy. You can't sh outshine Courage. He's amazing. So he never got an opportunity to really showcase his true skills. But on a team like this, he can really show what he's worth. And it'll be Turner under center, three on the line, two wide receivers, avoiding the Snow Tribe setup. And Turner will cut out, spin Ooh. out some athleticism okay. there. Stays upright and loses the football will get to the first down. That turf monster grabbed his ankle so fast. Uh, the 
He wasn't going to going, going, getting caddyshacked in front of God and everybody, and, and that will be Kennedy with the first down. And, and it'll Turner's be not Turner a bad Parker. player. Turner's actually a pretty good he, – well, he used to be a little quicker. He's a former wide receiver. Turner has burned a few people in this league. So to see the turf monster get him here <laughs> kind of sucks because he might have been able to open something up for the Snow Tribe. And Darryl, Darryl Marshall, the wide receiver, unable to get the tackle on the play. And it will be – First down. And the snap rolls out to his right, looking for an option. Throws this one deep downfield, caught! Good job. Beautiful catch, beautiful throw, and a little bit of that energy there, trying to get the tackle. And that was Corin Klein, number 49, I am him, <laughs> with the reception. It'll be, once again, that Snow Tribe formation. Batson will kick out, two wide receivers set. The snap, Turner will cut Turner up field. Go. Turner trying to use that speed and cannot mixtape himself out of that one. But it will be second down and a solid game there. Yeah. And the snap, and Batson will take this one. Big Ooh, block! Big block by Lau, number four. And that's the, that's the fullback we were talking about. That was a great block, and I've heard Lau off the off like like a pulling guard or getting them from the fullback position will crack someone. Like f fighting George Foreman in the seventies, <laughs> a lot of power just grinding you, walking you down. Right, that's what I'm seeing right now. Pedro with the ball, cutting to the outside, okay. will not get the first down, but will get it to about the ten yard line which is exactly what you want. They are matriculating the ball downfield. The clock continues to run here. The only mm. time the clock stops running is under two minutes in the second and the fourth quarter. I, I saw yeah, you sure, buying yeah. all that merch at <laughs> a7fl.com. I, I got a I, oh, good stop. Does not get the first down, but. And there he is again, number 39. I'm he's telling a, you. He's a beast. I, I'm watching him because he, you know, he was one of those viral guys. I pay attention to the guys that get the most views. You know why? Because those, oh wow, he was just very so quick, quick off, off the, the line. Edge. Wow, that was impressive. That was impressive. Shout out number 23, deal. though, Kevin Brosar Jr. You saw that off that snap. Definitely. Watch him coming off the edge, 23. Just coming right in there, meeting the tackler and helping set up. All right, good job on his part. Quarterback by committee, the snow, the snow formation. Snow formation leading to snow yards getting stopped and stifled. <laughs> Maybe a gain of one, and we've and seen it this. might have been the one that they needed. And we have saw this last week with the QC Crush getting inside their own five and not able and to convert. Not able to convert. First and goal. But look at the pressure. That edge. Look at the pressure here. Did he just wave at us? Yes, he did. The snap. Turner cuts out to his right, thrown into the dirt. And could have been, should have been intercepted, he, he but made, a little he, too low for number zero, yeah, Jesse Draz. He made the he made the right throw there. Yeah. If he threw it any higher. Thirty nine gets that, and he's off to the races. I listen. Y'all gonna hear me call his number a lot, a lot today. And yeah, this you know, Rob, this reminds us the A seven is not a pass only league. It's fast, but you need to be able to defend the run. And we see, you know. A lot of the teams we've seen on the A7FL Game of the Week relying on the speed of their quarterbacks. Right. But Rahway, with might, what might be the deepest running back bench in out of the teams we've seen so far this season. I'm not going to lie. I think that is facts. Most most teams are not doing this. Most teams are not run heavy, run heavy. They pass, too. Yeah. It's just, I mean, we've seen them with one great completion, but this is a very run heavy offense. Here we go with the pass. The snap. Turner in trouble. Tries, he cuts up field, gets to the five, and will not get the touchdown. Are they going to give it to him? No, they call it about the one-yard line. Draws playing safety up top. The handoff, and they knew what was coming, but they Could couldn't stop, stop it. it. Yeah, it is, Seth. Getting snowed in. <laughs> Seth Batson with the touchdown. You touchdown, Rahway. Okay, Seth. Little Bolt with his touchdown. I, little I'm, boat again, docking in the Asbury Park Harbor. See it again here the on the confidence replay. Confidence on the run, the blocks, the it's it's a very new snow tribe. I'm I'm impressed. Yeah, it's a solid run there. Solid out line play. I'm very impressed. Do uh, you think that Covington now seeing it for a whole drive as we see my doppelganger set up on the line of scrimmage? <laughs> when you when you're setting up for that, after you see it one time, 
Do you, you can think make if Covington is a real football team, they can make the adjustments that they need to make and shut down everything that they see going on. It's not rocket science. These guys want to throw it and they want to run the ball and throw it when they can. But they're looking for a run. You know, there's ways you can stop that in this league. And they're going for the one point conversion, the snap. A lot of time, a lot of patience, and that one will be grounded into dirt. But Rahway getting the ball first and striking first. Can the Covington Heist find their way back and get into the end zone? Or will the, the Rahway defense shut them down? We'll find out in just a moment. This is the A7FL Games of the Week on Stadium. Welcome back to the A7FL Live here on Stadium, the Rahway Snow Tribe leading the Covington Heist 6-0, and the Heist look like they need to make a call for help. Well, they can get the help from Cricket Wireless Ohio, the official mobile phone carrier of the A7FL in the A7FL Cincinnati division. The A7FL gives you unlimited moves just like Cricket Wireless gives you unlimited data, plus a great selection of top brand phones and straightforward service plans. So whether you're in Cincinnati or anywhere else in Ohio, or maybe even in the rest of the United States, check out Cricket Wireless. Cricket Wireless, more free, more fun. Off of the violation, it will be Covington with the ball, cutting up field. Can he get, oh, and yeah. went a little too low there. A little too low, but that was, that was an impressive tackle, but he did make the first guy miss, and once again, in that three-on-one, the guy who can make the first guy miss is usually the better runner. Covington Heist, first time on the games of the week. Looking to clinch a playoff spot. The set uh, two wide receivers set. The toss, trying to cut up field, in trouble, pulls behind. Some great wherewithal, but losing himself yards and will not get back to the 50. And it looks like the ball might have come out on the, on the sideline. And Marshall will be set up at quarterback. The snap with time, cuts through and brought down. And it'll be third and about 14 now. After a loss of three, the tackle by number 11, Ruben Pierre. Heavy wake up call, heavy wake up call. You're not in Ohio anymore. And it will be fourth and 13. Ball be thrown off from around the 50 yard line, which is where it's set, but he'll throw it, launches it. To him? 45, and they will give it to Robinson, trusting their defenders, and Robinson greases past another, but stopped and stifled, the ball comes out. But they're checking they on him. It down? They will rule the ball down, they will rule play down. It was out of bounds. There's not enough hus hus in that. Nope. Ball. It's like, oh man, we're here, we might be tired. Maybe there's a little, I didn't, they didn't fly here, so maybe yeah. a little car lag, I, I don't know. They gotta. They, gotta wake they up. looked refreshed when they got on the field. They just might have got caught on their heels. But it's a long way to go, and it's only 6 and there nothing. It is. There it is. Like I said, watch that edge. Number 39 is not here to play. He's here. He's and, here to make a statement. And that set up the rest of that play. Tracks. Running backs, four, four on the line, and the quarterback, Turner, will take it up field. He will get a help on the block, but a flag on the play. And this one might be walked back. It could have been third and one, but it's probably gonna be second and a lot more. And you see again, Seth Chambers keeping an eye on the quarterback. He will run down field and he will get the ball knocked out, but it will get knocked out at the 30 yard line. And it'll be third down for Rahway. Rahway really impressive here so far. And again, player to watch for me on Covington right now, is Seth Chambers, number 39. And now he there, comes he, in like I, a beast. Listen, the listen, ball listen, comes loose. Listen, listen, am I Nostradamus? Or you you I called that one, bro. <laughs> I want to see on, that again. Don't look at the he, like that, young man. Who are you looking at? I, I, I gave you a shout out. He's the player to watch. He, He's the player to watch. He Naruto ran at him. He, really he hit him with the Naruto run. Please, Take a look at that. Just coming right. Bam! Yeah, that, he's too little. That's yeah. that man's too little back there to do anything with him. He's fast. Yeah, that was number three giving up that one. Yeah, that's Seth Chambers, man. I'm telling you, that's the player to watch. And that was a three and out. That is way better. Than, like, what did we say? Now they're more comfortable. Yep. Also, a really young team, Marshall. Yeah. Young guy, and he'll do a quarterback keeper. He'll try to set up the sideline, and he will get dragged a few yards. And it'll be third down. And Marshall 
making the most out of a bad situation. We've only seen them throw twice so far. And it will be set up to the right is Seth they Chambers. They need to convert this thing. And we'll throw it at Chambers. Going to. Look and going to. Oh, going slip to. slide. Oh, no. The, I can't, cannot stop. Won't stop. Me, sir. The high stealings. They will be rhyming and a stealing Ladies like the Beastie Boys. Touchdown, Covington. I'm telling you guys, Seth Chambers is that guy right now. Five tackles, a One sack, Listen, and a touchdown. And a touchdown. I hope he's on your fantasy team because he just scored your shit ton of points. And then you that's throw it great, here. That's great. And and how do you beat an overzealous defense? You can't. You can't. If if they jump the gun and they leave you one in space. That's it. They can't cover him. Yeah. So you have to start using him the best way you can. You can't just, you know, hold him in the back with tosses. Get him out there. Let him create plays. He looks like a great playmaker. And and bang bang two three play drive completely the opposite of Rawway. That's impressive. And going for one here, two wide receivers set, and that will be Chambers set up to the left. Three on the line. A little bit. Watch out for the pressure from the right hand side of your screen. He'll cut up field and he will get smothered. He will get covered. And Covington, the latest location of the Waffle House defense, is Rawway will put a stop <laughs> to it with 10.59 left to play, but the Rahway Snow Tribe not able to convert on their second drive of the afternoon, but Covington finding a way into the end zone as Seth Chambers showing up and showing out today. And we'll see here what happened on that play. Obviously and not if he lets if he lets Seth Chambers roll out still, he's open again for the same exact play. It's open. This is a very aggressive D-line for the Snow Tribe, and they will load up in the Snow Tribe formation. And that will be Batson cutting yeah. up the sideline. Pay attention. They're big targeting Chambers right now yeah. because Chambers is that guy. So they're sending any and everyone at him. Pedro just went at him. So now he's jarring, maybe trying to get him out the game. And it'll be second and five. Load up again in the Snow Tribe formation, a variation of a full house formation for you Madden fans. And Batson will cut up the near sideline. Go downfield, get the first down and more. Impressive run. If I am Snow Tribe, I am not running it anywhere Chambers is. Yeah, you are running opposite it opposite side of yeah, Chambers. Opposite side every time. Every time. Because either side, it, there's no weak side. No. It's the Chambers side or and the, the, and the side. weak side. And the weak like the weak side, side is the side Chambers isn't on. Yeah. Whichever and side Chambers isn't on is the weak side. As you can see, the other play when Chambers was blocked, they, they didn't get this. No. Chambers wasn't blocked. He wasn't on this side. We're talking 15-yard, 15, 16-yard 15, six, game. And do you think the issue would be on that run there from Batson? He wasn't able to turn in at any point. He might have saw the blocker coming to him from the right, right side. Right, right. But if he was able to turn in and cut up field. And we're talking a quicker touchdown. Yeah. But I, I think I don't think that's their game plan. I think they want to chip things down. First and, and this 10. is smart. This is smart from them with block. And look who makes the tackle. Oh, look who makes what the tackle. A tackle though. Look who makes the tackle, guys. I'm telling this is not listen, this isn't rocket science. Chambers is moving from that DN position to that hybrid linebacker, and he's going to meet them at each each cross. And and a little bit of the ish talking there between both sides. Yeah. And take, let's take, take a, look a look again on the replay. Take a look. Crossing the Rubicon. Sorry. Nobody blocked him. Nope. You can't block him off the run. He's Batson looked like he was running for the subway, and Chambers was the door, and he look, missed look his train. Look at Chambers. Perfect read. Great and then step. there it is. Bam! That's it. Great step. That kid's good. And it'll be second and five. Load up again in the Snow Tribe formation, a variation of a full house formation for you Madden fans. And Batson will cut up the near sideline, go downfield, get the first down, and more. Really impressive run. If I am Snow Tribe, I am not running it. Anywhere Chambers is. Yeah, you are running opposite it. Opposite side of yeah, Chambers. Opposite side every time. Every time. Because either side, there's no weak side. No. It's the Chambers side or and the, the, and the side. weak side. The like, weak the weak side, side is the side Chambers isn't on. Yeah. Whichever and side Chambers isn't on is the weak side. As you can see, the other play when Chambers was blocked, they they didn't get this. No. Chambers wasn't blocked. He wasn't on this side. We we're talking and a 15 he, yard, 15, six, 16 yard game. And do you think the issue would be on that run there from Batson? He wasn't able to turn in at any point. He might have saw the blocker coming to him from the right, right side. Right, right. But if he was able to turn in and cut up field. And we're talking a quicker touchdown. Yeah. But I, I think I don't think that's their game plan. I think they want to chip things down. 
first and, and this ten. Is smart. This is smart from them with block, and look who makes the tackle. Oh, look who makes the tackle. What a tackle, though. Look who makes the tackle, guys. I'm telling this is not, listen, this isn't rocket science. Chambers is moving from that DN position to that hybrid linebacker, and he's going to meet them at each each cross and and a little bit of the ish talking there between both sides yeah. and take, let's take, take a, look a look again on the replay take a look crossing the rubicon Sorry. nobody blocked him no. you can't block him off the run He's batson looked like he was running for the subway and chambers was the door and he look, missed look his at train look at chambers perfect read great and then step. there it is bam that's it great step that kid's good Stand he clear. He hit behind the D lineman and made the hit. He he set a screen. He got. He, <laughs> he they set a screen. They stocked and maloned it. And it will be second and six. Cutting up field, the big man. And a, what a block! Ooh, a block. <laughs> but there's Chambers again. <laughs> Chambers hitting his teammate and Pedro. And that was Draws helping on the tackle. And again, I am loving the snow formation. I'm not hating on it whatsoever. I I'm actually enjoying it. Can they keep this up? for four quarters. And we'll, let's see again on that, that block, block setting it up. Great block man. That was a great block. And just to talk about the difference in running here, I believe the wow. Snow Tribe have already exceeded the 36 yards rushing they had in total in the first half across the drive and a half. <laughs> that they did, man. And in that the first quarter, the heist only had two yards, and that came off of a rush. Right. I think both of these teams are finding a pocket. You saw number 39, Seth Chambers. Yeah. Star making performance here. If he's able to keep up that level of consistency, Alfaro will set up as a, a tight end. Oh, pardon me, that's Kessler. Uh, another tackle. I'm, I'm telling you, you won't see a tackle from Covington today that doesn't have Chambers involved. And that was Biggest Darius. problem is because Chambers is involved, that can also mean can Chambers keep up that level of play, saving his team's defense every play, then going on offense to score. Can he do that for four quarters without getting tired? And Without sitting on the sideline, you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and it will be Darius Hype Pearson who was on that run. He is under center. And they will run the Snow Tribe formation. Four in the box. And the snap. Cut up field. Stop, stifled. And that will be a first down at the 25 yard line. And we've got a rowdy bunch of fans here in Asbury Park <laughs> this afternoon. And they yeah, are. Impressive run by Darius. But. Darius is one of the most underrated running backs in this league. I, I've seen Darius do a lot of amazing things. Chambers is, is off of that play because he was more focused on the block, which he crushed, by yeah. the way. He was more focused on the block than the tackle. Chambers, whatever he decides to put his mind to today, he's going to do. The Covington heist have that passing play, and I think that's going to serve them well. And here's Hype Pearson again, and they, you, and they find it into the end zone. Darius slicing right through it. Get hype for that one. Touchdown, Rahway. Second Darius straight running touchdown right of the afternoon for the Snow Tribe. Again, very underrated running back. Darius is a tough one. I've seen him take big teams to big games and do this exact thing. And then just no need for the hus hus. No, no, just no found, hus. He's just found the lane right up like there. A freight train going through there. These guys don't have any hus hus, man. You might not get a hus hus from me today. <laughs> These guys looking very shh shh shh. They don't look too hus hus. Is that is that the non-union equivalent of yeah, the hus hus? Like, mm, I don't know. It gotta be one of those sounds. These guys look like bowling balls. I don't know. And it'll be a one-point attempt here. 12 to 6 your score. 541 left to go, but so we said the heist, they can break it off with one play. Off, yeah. And the heist may not be as one-dimensional as Rahway. We saw yeah. Rahway get stopped on their second drive. But what's going to be the big concern I mean, here? Are they not as one-dimensional? Well, they, they might be able to break it up with a run, and now a throw, and that one caught. caught, caught. 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 And they will give it to him, and yeah, now oh, <laughs> tucking in for a long summer's nap. Oh, and that man. will give them a seven-point lead. That reception by number 43, Adrian Lambrick. That's Koran. Koran, 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 sorry. Koran with the catch. But let's see here again on the replay, dropping it right in there. And it looks like he cradled it and kept it. <laughs> Who doesn't want to own a team in the A7FL? I know I do, I, Rob. I definitely do. Yeah, but you know what? You can. By becoming a division owner, learn how you can be the next Mark Cuban, the next Jerry Jones, the next owner of a division in the A7FL at a7fl.com slash owners.
Matt Ryan joined by Big Rob Fabian here. The Schnow Tribe off the back of Darius Height Pearson got into the end zone. This ball will be thrown up into the air by Shane Turner. And now an opportunity Huss. for oh, a little Huss. bit of Huss. Huss. Hussing again. <laughs> All right. We saw two Husses today. That's, that's over the line. That's two, the, two quick hustles. Take the over on the hustles, <laughs> and it will be first and ten. That one by Seth Chambers. Chambers will come off the field. So how how do you distribute your energy that effectively across you know, playing so many different roles you know on the team? crazy? The three on one is so important because it's an untimed down. Yeah. That you might as well give your all there, take a break, and come back. And it will be Marshall set up with Chambers to his left. Two wide receivers, three on the line. Let's see if Marshall has figured this out. I'm, I want to see him do well, but I haven't seen too much from him. The handoff. Okay, delay, a delay to run. And that'll be a gain okay, of about okay. two, and a sea of white looking like a blizzard. And it will be second down. Snow Tribe doing some solid defense there. The tackle yeah, by Ruben Pierre. very solid D line. You're not gonna, I mean, they put pressure on BIC. Look at how, that's a very solid D line. But, but do you think that when they open up the door like this, are they trying to okie doke the snow tribe to set up for that long pass play? I, I feel like that's a possibility because the snow tribe up front is very aggressive. If they continue with that aggression, look, they're excited about this. If they continue with that aggression, they're going to bite down on something that's not there. And, we, and, and the Snow six. Tribe have two wins on the season against right. the Silk City Animals. They're in the top four of their division, but this is a knockout game. This is a playoff team yeah, game for both of these teams. It's a play-in game ostensibly. The snap, not a lot of time. He's going to have to carry it. Solid stiff arm finds his way up field and will get it to about the decent, decent 44. So it'll be third and about five, maybe third and about four and join us and join the future of football. The snap oh, on third God. down, okay. he keeps it, goes right down Broadway, gets stopped at the 45. Fourth and, and one. I, I Go for it. I would go for it. And Matt, I'm gonna be honest with you, the play they just ran, I felt like Corey. I seen the play, they just gave the ball to the wrong person. Have that receiver crack down mm. on that edge and put your running back, Chambers, one-on-one -on -one with the corner? Are you kidding me? Do you know what that's going to look like? It could also be a situation where if it's set up a bang, bang play, they're thinking he might have enough, the quarterback might have enough time to cut inside, to cut inside. and find the edge because it's only four, three yards. They, uh, pardon me, four yards. They got three of it. It'll be fourth and one. And now they're bringing 24 down on the line. Set up. To block number 30. Check the edge here. Three coming off the edge. The quarterback will keep it. He will cut up field. He will get there. Flag, but it looks like there might be hands to the face. Accidental, if anything. That's right. Marshall's getting very comfortable. And that's what they that's what the Covington Heights need. You can't have your quarterback, your starting quarterback, scared or nervous or having the jitters throwing up on the field. Let's see here on the replay. Ooh. Cutting up field and just uh, and it's not necessarily what you want to see. Right. But I'm not sure what what, what was it it? might have been illegal hands to the face. We saw the been, flag. We accidental. Don't, yeah. uh, right, like you said, it was definitely accidental. Shout out to John Dudley, longtime friend, great vet. And a Ooh. solid throw. It will get to the 30, about the 28 yard line. Yeah, and the awesome. Sheena Robinson on the untimed down, setting up the Snow Tribe really well at the 49 yard line. And Robinson feeling himself. And it was a solid run back here, and it will be first and ten for the Snow Tribe. I don't think Covington knows that they can throw it out of bounds. Keep Chambers in the middle of the defense so he can move. They're not going to be able to throw the ball for real. Turner this looking to prove you wrong. Throws it caught. Still in bounds. They want to keep him in bounds, and there's a great tackle by number 39, Seth Chambers. So Chambers' only weakness is he's, he can't read coverage because that's a, a wide open run. The running back, if they show us a replay, the running back was open his entire route. I think so. Give, the, give that guys a little bit of rest. Again, running back is wide open. And they're staying Ooh. in bounds. Ball almost comes loose, and there again, all over the field is Seth Chambers, and he gets a little help from the big man, Josh Van Strine. And, and I think that's key, too. If they keep, if they can keep the ball in Turner's hands, you can, you know, there's a chance. There's always a chance. That's a dangerous game when you're running it as the quarterback and you kind of keep that pliability. Oh my Takes it goodness. to the house! Turner with the throw. I'm telling you right now, no one watching, including me, 
thought that he could make a throw like that. That, that was, was impressive. That was the best throw of the day, dropping it right into the pocket of the wide receiver. Impressive. What a play there, Very and get, making it a two-score lead now. The heist will get the ball back and get the ball at the half, so there's a lot of football left. But that's, a beautiful setup, a beautiful play. That one caught by number three. That's definitely communication from Turner to the re receiver directly. Hey, Turner, I can burn this kid. That's what was said, because Turner didn't even see the break yet and threw it up. And you see the defender, He's furious. So I have Gosh. not seen anybody that mad since, well, me, about <laughs> three hours ago when I realized I left my shirt at home and you I had look, to go to a Target. But you look great, man. Thank you, thank you. Sweetie Rob, and they're going to go for two here after making the one point conversion on their last drive, trying to make it 21 to 6. The snap rolls out to his right, in trouble, throws this one up, and some solid defense there by Draws. Right. They're, they're learning, they're learning, they're putting their better players around. I, I saw a lot of pointing and directing, they're doing the right things. And yeah, Ch Chambers sat there in the middle and set the defense up, and of course, nothing happened for the offense on this one. But if they can do that the second half, this is a very, very different game. And it'll be first and 10. Marshall under center. Not a lot of time. Ooh. Swatted at the line. And again, the Great. third straight drive, Rob. And that was the swat down by number 56, Hashan Fullwood. They've gone to that quick out to the left. The first, th uh, every Chambers, drive man. they've had has started off with that quick to the left. Look at it. Chambers goes out. He's covered, but... He's ready for it because he knows that's your star player. He knows that's where you're going. Didn't even give him a quick pump fit. Marshall has to show more QB chops in these situations. And, and it's one of those things to where like, he's converting to the position. Right. And we saw that Sterry Codrington was a natural quarterback in high school, right. transitioned in college, and then more. came right back home, and he gets it. But right now we have to see the same thing from this guy. Second and 10. Not a lot of time. Throws oh. a time deep. Caught. Oh my. Caught Rolls through. But cannot stay up. Trey Dixon. Marshall. It is Trey Day. Marshall, what a throw, my God. Listen, that was an impressive throw. That's the white suit Yakuza moment. You're just waiting for it, waiting <laughs> for it. I'm waiting for it. And when you least expect it, dropping a dime on him. Not out of bounds, but they probably called they probably the time, called a it, timeout yeah. called. Let's see this Take one again, Rob. Patient in the pocket, he's surveying the field. Maybe a little holding. Fly. 44 had, a, had his hands up in the jersey. He was doing an inspection, but take a look at this catch. And Great they were catch. practicing. The, the, during the, before the game, they were practicing for situations just like, like this. this to find that seam in between the defender and, and Dixon. Uh, mm. And they found it. They found that perfect spot. And he's an undersized receiver, Dixon. Very he's under six but feet. Marshall put it only just where he right could catch Right there. It. He found the home for it and was able to drive it right into the That's pocket. Impressive. And that will be Chambers set up to the right of the quarterback, Marshall. And Marshall there will go, go with Marshall. it. Marshall there will cut up Mills, get the first there down and go, on! Marshall. Gets it to the end zone! Darryl Mitchell! Wilk Marshall! Gritty, my boy. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. Marshall's confidence, along with the play of his running back, Chambers. This is a different game. We cannot sleep on Covington. They Hit came Hit him with that pie gal, set him up, knock, Listen, him knock him down. down. I love it, I love it. Gonna I keep him it. guessing, Daryl Marshall, welcome to the A7FL I touchdown, Covington. I love it, and like I said earlier, without your quarterback, Marshall came in here timid. Yeah. This is not how he looked first quarter. Let's break it down Check here. Check this out, great Just blocking, bye cut, bye. Cut right up field, found it, oh, what a block to the side! He got crushed! <laughs> He spin dashed into him. Ooh, Yo, Sam, our social media guy, Listen, get the, the Sonic, Sonic rings. Coins. Get the rings. Sonic rings Knock on that one, bro. Rings out of that guy. And we're going to go for two points here to try to make this one a five point <laughs> game to snap. The flay, oh, the rainbow. Caught he's, he's, he's here. Did he, did he get did it? He, did he, did get, he it? get it? They gave it to him. Ladies and gentlemen, Marshall has arrived. Wow. I was Dar waiting for him. Daryl Marshall. Wow. This is a must-win game. Look at, look at him. Just oh, goodness. pop fly rainbow, and they've been practicing catches like that all afternoon. And maybe in the huddle somebody screamed, hey, man, let's do what we practice. He said, <laughs> yes, let's do it. <laughs> like, and, and there is a man Marshall, who man. is 
And you can argue Oof. right now the most valuable players on the field are well, Daryl Marshall, Marshall and, and Seth, Seth Chambers. Chambers. And if that's what you need, your running back and your quarterback. Yeah. We're looking live here at Asbury Listen, Park Stadium. A beautiful okay. day. Okay. The Four clouds points. have lifted. The clouds have parted. Right. And the sun is shining on the Rahway sideline. beautiful day in Asbury. They, these guys better not sleep on Covington. Go off, here we go. Robinson will return this one again. From the he needs five, to hold on to the ball 15 here. 15 yard line. Hold on to the ball, Cheetah. He cuts through, uh -oh. the Cheetah is past. Uh -oh. The Cheetah sees the end zone. Chasing him down is Dixon. Oh, Dixon can't catch him. Dixon. Wave by by the on time down strikes again. Rahway with the sixer there touchdown. It is. They play again. Oh, Covington. they're bringing that one back. No way. They're bringing that one back. He went out of bounds at the 15. The celebration? He got caught on the silly. Oh, oh man. They're checking the celebration. What a knucklehead if that's the case. Let's Did he see here. Us? He hus he husses Hust inside. Oh, yeah, and let's just watch. Hash. It's the it's the it's, it's the hash line. It is the hash mark. If he gets it, oh, oh and he's out of bounds God, inside out of bounds. the 15. Right, Playing man. hash mark to hash mark. The snap, the throw, trying to get some redemption here. Tipped yeah. up, and that'll oh. be second down, a clean play. That was clean. And, oh, oh, we got an injury. Oh, we got, we got a injury. player down on the field. Might be a shoulder. And that was Karan Klein with the reception attempt. And this, that's all about you trust Turner's arm or leg. Okay, the snap inside, trying to make it happen. Ball almost taken out. Ball's almost stripped. We'll see who comes up with it. And it will remain okay. with the okay. Snow Tribe, but Seth okay. Chambers. Seth Chambers is a playmaker. He's trying to get the ball out of there because he knows how big a turnover here would be. And that was Darius Hype Pearson who scored a touchdown so far today. The clock. Check out even the careful watching of him just to see if you can grab it. You yep. see, he went straight for the ball. He let them set him up to go straight for the ball. And he'll be set up to the right of Turner. Turner snaps it, he'll take it, cuts inside, and is stopped again! Runs uh -huh. right into Seth Chambers! All right, listen, look how he looked at him. Stop playing with me, young man. Seth, too small. Seth Chambers with more tackles than I have ex-wives, so it'll be <laughs> third and goal with 15 seconds. Don't, Don't lean with it. Don't lean Rock with it. it. There it is. The snap, Turner, with do a lot of time. Do we believe in Turner? Do we believe in Turner? He might believe in him, but he's trying to get inside the end zone. Stop, draws, send up for the tackle. Oh, Four oh, seconds okay, left. Okay, okay. And that will be the end of the Let's first the half. The end of that. And the Rahway Show wow. Tribe denied at the door. Covington. Covington. I, I'm, I'm going to be honest, coming into this game, I kind of had Snow Tribe as a clear-cut winner with the throw-off. Um, Dre Dixon will get it off the okay. return. And Dixon cuts through one defender, but will get caught in the quicksand. I I had an idea of how this game was going to go. I said, hey, Heist is a new team. They don't know much. Snow Trap can come here and bully, impose their will. But I have to say this has been one of the better games I've watched in this yeah. league. And these two teams are really fighting to not be knocked out today. No. The, right. And oh, you Chambers see is all out of the, off the field. Yeah, they, and they will hand it off. Oh, the quarterback will keep it. He will cut Marshall. up field. Listen. Marshall will get to the 44 Marshall's before being taken out. Marshall's his confidence right now. He, he feels he's feeling the game out. He's understanding what he can and can't do. He's calling these quarterback runs. I don't think he's very fast, but he's getting it done completely different. I think he's acclimating himself, and there's a handoff, and there's a foul on the play. A flag will be dropped, and they will go back to the line. Was. Intended for Seth Chambers. I think he held the ball on too long on the on the you know the exchange. Yeah. I, he held it too long. And the flag will be on the defense, offsides on the defense. My so it'll be goodness. it'll be first How and many ten. Penalties have they incurred? Like this isn't cool. This is like the fifth penalty of the day for the Snow Tribe, and yeah. it has cost them. Fourth encroachment. And, and it was encroachment. Defense. A and five yard penalty on the defense, which again, this is their fourth penalty, and it gives it. Come on, guys, like, where's, yeah. where's the discipline at? And it'll be first and 10 after moving up the five yards. Now, what happens if Marshall decides to run that same play, but this time give a great handoff? It could break trouble. open the defense, and you start to see the defense of the Snow Trap looking a little tired. They've had a to play. Tired. Both teams have had to play some grindhouse defense. It'll be first and 10. Chambers back in there, two wide receivers set. Three on the line, the toss to Chambers. They love this toss. Chambers cuts up field, and ever since they stopped throwing those screens on first down, they've been able to convert some yards. Two wide receivers set, Dixon at the top of your field, he is in motion. 
He'll get the ball from the quarterback. He will cut up field on second down, and he will get a slight gain, get across the Rubicon, that is the 50-yard line, and it'll be third and about four. He, right. And here on third and four, Marshall with his best receiver probably, Chambers, and Dixon set up with him. Dixon in the slot, Chambers off the throw. He pops this one, and this is caught, that's that's and that's Dixon getting the first that's down. That's looking like a first down. And again, that's a great throw, great catch, great play to get those the necessary yards. You're not looking for a knockout, you're not looking for a strike, you're not looking for a score, you're looking for a first, and I'm, I'm fine with that. And a big opportunity for him, Marshall was the change was made on Friday night, and Marshall, Marshall getting through big no. press up field. Listen to me when I say, when you as a quarterback are running through defenders, look at his body language compared to the first quarter. Yeah. This is a different kid. This is not, look at the smile, look at the cocky walk. He didn't walk in like that. <laughs> and it will be second and five. The hand up, no, he'll keep Chambers, it again. Chambers, Chambers again. gets and to the five. Oh God, listen, Chambers is the anchor. He set the tone and everyone else follows. Now Marshall's up. If a third player wakes up, bye-bye Snow Tribe. You know how they call Jerome Bettis the bus? Marshall's a tank. Yeah, Marshall's a tank. What the heck is changing? Because that kid is different. He's an entire artillery. <laughs> Chambers is different. He's he's the kitchen sink. He, yeah, he's Chambers is different. I, I don't I don't look at look at the lead block. He's setting up an again. Easy lead block. And guess what? If Chambers felt like it, he could have went and blocked. It was a bit of a chip too. block too. It, it wasn't was. a big block. Just getting it under the shoulder. Look, look look at this. Look, full speed, full speed on everything. Bang! That's a great block. And if he was able to just time it a little earlier, he would. I think he was trying to go for the truck, because if he would have cut in, it would have been. The score. It would have been six. He wants. He wants the contact. And, and he that's cuts inside. Touch. That's a touchdown. He that's believes touchdown. he can fly. He gets over the goal line, and it looks like they'll give Covington the touchdown. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, and watching, look at the smile on this team's face. Watching Covington go from what we saw first quarter. To me, warning these guys, don't let these kids wake up. They're sleepy. They They're might. They're tired. They, they They're got, up They now. got that shot of adrenaline. They yeah. got in there. They, they felt the hits. They know that Herf Jones ring and that, that trophy's that on the line. This is a playoff game. And that trophy is beautiful. Don't don't lose that trophy. No. Man, like, these kids are not the same kids from first quarter. I don't. They've went from boys to men. And Instantly. The, the Snow Tribe now on bended knee saying so <laughs> long uh, to yesterday. <laughs> Yeah, their D-line has completely collapsed. The D-line of the Snow Tribe And it's is, because these are veteran players, not fresh legs, and they're getting ground oh down and a quick out to goodness. Aubrey Harris. The Snow Tribe's usually impressive D-line has disappeared. If you cannot and, it, play, and that's what happened against the BIC. That's exactly what happened. They, they found enough. Uh, they figured out uh, the timing. Man. That three to five seconds make all the difference. One, this, two, bang. And that's it. And, and this is basically Covington's Jada moment. They right, have right to now. go acapella. You know, hit me with the laugh. And, oh, there's oh. Chambers again. Oh, no, oh, not Chambers. No, not Chambers. That was Aubrey Harris. Before, the ha before this, this drive, I said if one more person, a third player, wakes up and gives half of what Chambers. I and think we've seen two others. We've seen it with Harris, and then we saw it with the returner, with Dre returner, Dixon. Right. Yeah, Dre Dixon, Dixon has been showing out here in the up. third. Covington heist. It is a battle of attrition as the Snow Tribe pressed downfield the little boat, looking to looking to go out into international waters, but he will get docked. They try to throw Seth Chambers in the garbage. They launched them. They're they're really just attacking him at this Can point. Can you? Is it legal to heat someone in the A7 FL? I mean, it is. Just pe pe just pay attention. The line is just walking these guys down. It's nothing but gritty, tough football. Right now. What's hurting the Snow Tribe the most is the undisciplined plays. The undi uh, guys, clear touchdown, but you're so worried about the celebration. And that changed the, the entire that changed pace the of this game. That changed the game. Then Joker drops an uh, easy touchdown. These are important things that when you look back and see why you're knocked out today, you can point to those situations specifically. And there's the run again Both by sides. Batson. He'll cut off the edge. He'll get up field, and they will get to He's around a, the 44. Or as a pseudo gunner coming off of the blitz, maybe acting as a, a middle linebacker. It might be a different story, but Batson cutting up field. Batson staying alive. Dixon trying to get the ball out, but another first down 
and Chambers is being iced out, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's a simple numbers game. Where's Chambers? Let's put two, three guys in the area that he could be or try to meet us, and he'll never touch anybody. Chambers is iced out. And also, are they are they going a little less hard? Because you got Marshall out there. You got Dixon out there. No, Marshall, you have. they've been out there. They've no, but that's the thing. It's like, oh, we know what's working now. Do we right. need to ease up? There it is right there. Lyle, number four, drops a defensive lineman, the nose guard. He He's puts him on his butt. And, and cleans cleans out the, the you know the plane. And you see it, the battle inside the trenches, and that's that's Pearson trying to hype it up. And again, Darius Pearson with the ball. Again, Hand off. Okay. Pearson, he keeps it, trying to stay alive. Draws trying to pull it out. Flags on the play. And we will see what the yellow hankies are for. And it will be either third down. Second down. I remember, those, are some big, those are some big boys running down the field like that. And, and it's on the to... offense. It's on the snow oh, drive. <laughs> a disciplined style of football in this league will yield you wins. Will it make you Very the true. most dominant team? No, Maybe but not, if... but you'll get the wins. And the snap. And now you're back to throwing it again. Pop fly, caught, brought in, touchdown. And Rawway will get the ball back. They get the touchdown, and they take the lead back here. And that's Karan Klein with the TD. But again, look how much energy time it took for them to actually bring the ball down. I'm not. And I wouldn't be celebrating. I wouldn't be celebrating. That's my thing. It's like you guys are not. Safe. This is yeah. Not this safe. you've you've scored. You've alternated touchdowns, and whoever gets the ball last is going to win, gonna in my win. opinion. Because of the bodies, the yeah. pure mass they're of just, the boys on the well, other side. And it caught. Oh, and they're okay. leaving the middle wide, wide open. open. Cham that, they're asking Chambers to do a lot. And that's Darius Pearson with the Darius Pearson converting here. So with a whoa, six whoa, point whoa, lead. Whoa, whoa. Okay, a little, little chippy, little, little chippy. chippy, but we'll see on the other side of this if Covington, Dre Dixon, will set for the return. And you see it here, beautiful shot. Oh, leaning and, and a little heavy with that one. And to be honest, it's Dixon in the way of Chambers yeah. making that hit. And this one, the co the cross confusion there right. might be the thing that cost Covington yeah. with a shot in the playoffs to the wild card line on the line. Will it be? The, uh, will it be the Covington heist? And that man right there, Daryl Marshall, getting into the end zone one more time and resetting things? Or will the Snow Tribe bring the blizzard? We'll find out in a moment. The A7FL is growing. This season, we added five new divisions. Are you the next Jerry Jones, Mark Cuban, or are you the first you to bring to your city the A7FL? Learn how you can become an A7FL division owner at a7fl.com forward slash owners. That's a7fl.com forward slash owners. It, it comes down to pure mass for Rahway. They are finding a way to just completely envelop the defense. And here comes an opportunity for the Covington High Sun, an untimed down, but oh. Dixon gets caught. And a big play and a big tackle there by number 18. And first and second and eight, two wide receiver, two wide receivers set the snap, the screen, intercepted! With the interception! The screen, touchdown, Rowling! Defensive play, good, Pedro, that is impressive. And we saw, and Pedro earlier on defense, and I'm sorry, that was Hulk, who got the swat, got but the swat. Pedro, Pedro on got this the interception. one. That could have changed the entire game just now. We don't know if Marshall, I, don't, I haven't seen Marshall down. Can he come back from a play like that? Well, we've seen him down by three Let's scores. See. Now Pedro they're only watching. down by two. Great footwork, great And he place. telegraphed it to he Marshall, too telegraphed much. it. Way too much. Chambers set up to the right of Boyko. Chambers gets the ball. He will push through the pile and gain tough about yards, four. Tough yards, but to me, those are unnecessary. Two wide receivers. 13.05 left to go. Clock is running here in the A7FL until the under two minute mark. There's the toss, and now Chambers will cut through, and he is just trying to get past the five, and he cannot go anywhere. He will lose a yard on that play. And it'll be third down, a gigantic faux pas. Was he on the line? No, he's set up. Yeah, he's he, set I believe up he's set up as a wide, as yep, a wide set receiver. Set up as a wide receiver. Two wide receivers set. The snap. Boyko will keep it. Boyko with the little time. Tipped up. Intercepted. And this one is going to be a house call. Slip and slide. Take it to the house. Take it to the house. Covington in trouble. Oh, they won't give him the touchdown. They'll get him at the one yard line. Guys, guys with the hanky-panky, like so much extra. 
Two wide receivers set first and ten, a fresh set of downs. Oh, Back in is Marshall, Marshall! Bye get the catch! Bye. That's Aubrey Harris! Bye Aubrey bye. Harris! Make yourself famous, bye young man! Bye. Slip, slide! That's a house call! And sir, welcome to Asbury Park! Show oh, you got the goodness. strength! Sli oh my goodness. Bring it out the big bats, 27-33, a lot of football left. Listen, that was impressive. <laughs> No flags. These guys have been playing discipline. Marshall sits in the pocket. Good blocks. Great catch. Makes the defenders bump into each other, and it's a house call. He he hit him with the three stooges. Listen, that's that's impressive. Check. Look at the poise. This is great catch right over the middle. And Excuse a good throw me, too. Bang. Excuse in a, me. In a part of the field, no receiver wants to go. No receiver. And middle he went of the there. field, double coverage. And these are designed routes because they ran their corners into each other this is not this is, listen this is what they've been and practicing this, and covington the, the level of coaching yeah they have yeah i'm seeing a different level here this is scary to think how it's gonna look in, in three four seasons and and you see flashes of brilliance from this raw way they have they have a really good understanding of how to diagnose this defense right. and robinson who gave up a chance at the at a shot of the end let's zone see, see. on a return? He gets through, draws, stops him, but keeps running. Andrew Wilson trying to get him. Andrew Wilson slips slide. He's not gonna make the mistake the this time. The cheetah going down the field, seeing nothing but spots That's on the Covington Heights touchdown. Rawley touchdown, and it's back to a 12-point lead on the untimed down. And that can be a problem. Did he? I think he might have accidentally he knocked the wind out of his team. Yep. Wow. <laughs> so they still find a way to make a they, mistake. They step on rakes like their name sideshow Bob, but a beautiful run oh here. Oh my goodness. And when that's you've great. seen Robinson the amount of times you've had so far, that's the most cutting we've seen him do and all it, day it today. It wasn't even a blip, blap, or a hus hus. He's just slightly moving. I think the return. He hit him with the shot A. Also, Chambers might just be trying to get his energy back because we've seen him on some big blocks on offense. Oops, he Ooh. swats that ball, but it's picked up. Pedro, Pedro excuse stays me, sir. up, and he will get the one-point conversion. Wow. Pedro Makes showing it. his vet skills. Pedro used to tell me all the time when we were on the same team that he was great. I used to tell him <laughs> he was trash. He's showing me that he's great, and I believe him. It's 40 to 27. The Railway Snow Tribe answering the call on the three-on-one throw-off. Is this an opportunity for Covington to make something happen? You see that barely catching that one. That one was a wobbler. It was. And Mar Marshall just doesn't have enough to stop. Look at the size of Pedro Joker and the other offensive linemen. What was little Marshall going to do? Right now, game is literally on the line. They need their best player with the ball. This my might goodness. turn into a battle of return. This is scary. He no. is running with oh purpose. My oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. That was, that was going to be violent. That was going to be violent. That was going to be violent. They tripped him. That was, that was the smartest thing he could have yeah. done. 13, 13 tackles, tackles today. One sack and a touchdown. Oh and he's staying on the field he's to play offense. He's not going anywhere. This, I remember when I was this young and I could play both sides of the ball. <laughs> and the older you get, you realize, oh, man, do I have to play offense and defense? Nah, one position. You go from three, four positions to one. Imagine how dangerous he is once he finds his true position. Uh, I, I just want to be up here watching. Yeah. <laughs> I don't we, are, be... we are firmly ensconced yeah. in the bunker yeah, here. Yeah, I'm, I'm good here watching. Very <laughs> impressive showing, though. Win, lose, or draw with this kid, he is amazing. Yeah, and he he's built like an old school fullback. Right. He's got that, and it's more presence than anything in terms of body. That Mike right. Allstott kind of I'm gonna run down your throat. He has the height, the the width, but the speed and the strength to match all of yeah. it. Now let's and see if Marshall and him can dial something up really quick. First and ten, three wide receivers set. With some time, throws a pop up caught. Now who did he throw it to? He threw it to Chambers That's and Chambers. Your best Case oh, close. Hush, hush. And he drives right into the there tackler, and he'll and get to the 20. He keeps going. Unhand me. How and much do you think he should pay for that ride? Oh, five stars. It's seven yards after the catch? Come on, man. Come on. Man. Who do you see? They could be a problem for a lot of teams. They can be a problem. Marshall under pressure. Marshall, Marshall. smothered, Warm. covered, and sacked. And that's the Snow Tribe D-line that was here first quarter that I've been looking for. They completely dominated that offensive line just now. Hishon Fullwood with the sack, but we are in four-down territory, Rob. Right. 
right. Look at the swarm. Look at the swarm. Excuse me, sir. Out of the way. Pardon me. Excuse me. Uh, hands up. Hey, it's a lot going on. Come in. <clears throat> Chambers. I'm going to. Protecting. Marshall. Marshall yeah, throws it towards the end zone. Oh, no. Yeah. It was it was Boyko out there and not Dixon, and that one will be a turnover. And, and if I'm being honest, ladies and gentlemen, that's the game. We we got to know. The teams that we're watching, Rawway. You say, you can say, take you say six that, but minutes. we've seen Rawway completely eat it on three straight they plays. Have, they and have, Covington have three timeouts. And there's Seth Batson, the snap, the handoff. Batson will keep it. Batson trying to run through the defender. That's Andrew Wilson. And they will get him out of play, but the clock will continue to run here because the clock doesn't stop in the A7FL when the play, when the defender, when the runner goes out of play. Under, until under two minutes in right. the game. So we, it's to be decided. So they probably are facing Florida or Vegas. The oh, and running oh up goodness. field, and they La, will go La, out of play. La, I was looking to paint someone. We're gonna have to, I need, I need a signed <laughs> BIC jersey. Someone get me a signed BIC jersey. Third and one, the snap, the little boom. Ooh, wait, who just filled like that? My that's in getting oh, that's his hat that's knocked. Uncle B. That's Uncle B. That's I'm Uncle sorry. B. That's that's Reggie Blocker running downfield. Oh my goodness! Somebody chose violence. Somebody filled in so nastily in there. Oh, we'll take a look at the, let's take a look at the replay again. Oh my God! Bong! He, met, he he whiffed, but he got him down. Okay. Yeah, and and just three three behind the line in motion. They cut to the right. That's it. Oh, pardon me. That's Uncle Blocker. B. Uncle B again. But, who but there you see them? Chambers. But at guys, what point do you call a timeout? Do you just wait till the two-minute mark? wait till the two-minute because at, at this point, the snow tribe is melting that clock like a snowman in the summer. It, it's it's bad. In this too, game. Too and many to even – they made way too many mistakes. The field is They're Blocker. Jumping, okay. Blocker again, getting tackled Seth, again. Seth Chambers with his 50,000 tackle on the day. Rahway have been time vampires here today. And there's the handoff swapping in here, chewing up the clock, trying to get him out of bounds. No, oh staying goodness. in bounds. Oh An goodness. emphatic tackle and a really oh a, a questionable call oh to keep him in bounds, trying to get him out of play. And I believe that was Kenyatta Johnson. What if they're not calling in the timeout? This is I just got a first down. This is victory formation. And they they will lightly run up field, cutting up, getting the first down, and finally going out of taking bounds. him out of play. That is number eight getting taken out. And it will be first and ten, just continuing to push the ball up field. And we've seen some elite level play here from Covington right. here today. They just have a lot of young talent who get pushed around. <laughs> oh. And and and, and there you bounds. see 39. Bulldogging it. Houston Hines get, oh, getting dropped there. 15 seconds, and we will see the end of this game as the Rahway Snow Tribe will punch their ticket to the National Elite Eight after being a team that, coming into today, got hung up on them. The biggest deficit in A7FL history, playing completely different football I mean, you here think this that afternoon. happened to them with the way they celebrate and trash talk. You wouldn't think, you know? So, again, congratulations to the Raw, Raw Way Snow Tribe for, for winning the Knockout Sunday game. Very impressed by the Covington Heist. I personally don't think they should hang their heads off of, off the knockout loss. I think they should regroup, add two, three more stud linemen, a few more players, and they have a team that can and will compete for a championship in future seasons, I promise you that. Yeah. I'm ready to play now. Put me in the game now. I came here to prove it, I'm ready to do it. I can't be afraid now. Put me on the stage now. I'm ready to rage now. I feel like an animal stuck in a cage and I'm ready to break out. My time, my time. None of you people can tell me to stop. This time, like the last time, you better get ready.
that Mo Williams. And, so, and Mo somewhere, Williams. L.J. Smith is warming up his singing voice because throwing it to Ashanti Worthy, this might be a highlight. And this one bounces in the end zone. It's a live ball. And from the end zone, Ashanti Worthy will start things off here in Asbury Park. We'll go towards the sideline and we'll get out of play. We'll crumple up on the 21 and getting up a little hard there. Codrington with Mosey set up to his left. Two wide receivers set off to the right. Worthy in the slot. The, the rollout, and here comes Codrington. Codrington will make it happen on the legs, and he gets past midfield. Staring Codrington, the rookie, showing out, showing off. First play from scrimmage, waves goodbye. Touchdown, BIC, and they come through with a big Anthony Joshua level uppercut as they get on the board and take the lead. Wow. Fakes it to Courage, and that's a good move. Great read as the defensive end crashes down there, just tucks it in, and nothing but smooth sailing. That's some speed right there from the quarterback position, and you see the look on Ashanti Worthy's face. If we get great play out of the quarterback position for the BIC, they have so much playmakers on both sides of the ball that it's going to be tough. Real Man, tough. They didn't even let us get into our Before analysis. <laughs> I swear Gators. I was going to say at some point in this first possession, watch them try and get Sterry going with the legs. That is how they open up the game for him. He might not be the best, most accurate passing quarterback in the league, but he will create wide open holes with his legs and throw off of that, and he is a dangerous dual threat. And Jack, quarterback isn't even his natural position. In college, he was a defensive back, so he understands what the tendencies of a secondary player are and that's the amazing thing that he's been able to go from a college a collegiate yep. defensive player to an elite rookie of the year quarterback in the a7fl stacked and he, backfield and he's got that d-back speed too you got mosey at number five and then Deion mcdaniel another outstanding running back and he got worthy split Coddington. out wide along with number one i believe that's umar lewis in the play action Codrington to Lewis, and that will get oh. in there, and they'll get the one-point conversion. That's a good ball. And you look at the Cobras' defenses. They're looking at each other to who's to blame on that. Someone had to switch there, but that's a great way to start. And let's take a look. At, there was a one-play, 80-yard drive for Codrington, and this ball picked up at the 10, and here comes an opportunity. That's number 11, bringing the ball downfield for Baltimore. And Gauze Jr., under center. Down seven and nothing, early going. R.I.P. Mon, number two, trying to jump the line. The throw from Gauss Jr. caught, and a big play to start things off. And that's Antoine Matthews, Super Saiyan, living up to the nickname, getting the first down and starting things off good. When for the he game. starts to heat up, he doesn't have hair now, but you'll see that gold glow actually above his head, and that's where he got the nickname. But Ace Boogie can do for the Gators. Three wide receiver set, three on the line. Here comes the pressure immediately for Gauze. Gauze throws this one, a dart to Matthews. Matthews gets it inside the 30. Gets it to around the 27 yard line and it will be first down. There's good pressure coming off the edge for BIC and what he does is he makes a real smart move and he doesn't allow Gauze to fake him with the fake. But then what he does is resets his feet, finds his man open in the middle of the field and Matthews has been like as advertised. Throwing the it? ball, he's open. Was it Chad Johnson that said, if I'm on the field, I'm open? It, it sounds like a Chad Johnson yeah, thing. That, that Chad Johnson also wore a Hall of Fame jersey for the only time in his life <laughs> on the sideline. Uh, let's see how, how quickly he gets to Canton, if ever. But it'll be first and 10 for the Gators. Great conversion by Gauze. 9.33 left to go, and we see Gauze with pressure mounting. Got Throws this ball deep to the end zone, intercepted! Big interception, and that is Abdul Shabazz with the INT. Kaysan Campbell in motion. The handoff to Courage Mosey. Mosey pushing up field, gets through one defender, gets through another, gets the first down, keeps running, and will get the first down near the 28. Play action on first and second down when they're running the ball is always easy for them. They got wide open guys. So one of the keys to stopping BIC is to stop the run. Two plays for BIC, almost over 100 yards of, of rushing offense. That's not going to do it as Deion McDaniel comes in number seven and you see in the backfield. At the top a Baltimore running back playing for a New Jersey team. Let's see what he has to offer this Gators team that it's didn't like give him a shot. It's Monarch using Capulets pretty much. And you see Kaysan Campbell at the top of your screen. And then there's the handoff to McDaniel. McDaniel will not get as much, but will get about three on the play. And here's the thing. I, I'll harken back to something we said about Patterson U. You look at the first play of the drive for BIC, and it was 
an option that they could have tossed it to Kaysan Campbell, we know he has the burners. We, we, an option for Codrington to keep it, we saw what he did on the first drive. Then you give the courage, he goes for 30 yards, and that's not even taking into account Deion McDaniels, who just had the carry. So a lot of guys that can burn you on this BIC offense. And if you're an if you're an A7 NFL team right now, you're looking at how to you're looking at the blueprint, two different ways of how to build this team. Play action. Codrington launches this one deep downfield. It's a horse race, and he catches it. Kaysan Campbell. How can you be that good in single coverage? Touchdown, Trenton. That was a jump ball. It was going to be one or the other that came down with it, and. This guy Campbell gets lost with all of the playmakers on this BIC time, time in and time out. But when you have him single coverage and you're Sterry Codrington with a great pocket to throw into, just try, throw it up. Oh no, it's not they were the under even center. dirtier is when they put him at quarterback because then it's going to be waxing. The only terrific. thing worse, the only thing worse is if he goes behind the back. Worthy was looking to go behind the back. We'll run it in and he'll get the one point. Ooh, you lower that shoulder. Usually see Worthy with the uh, with the jukes and the moves, but he was not afraid to lower the shoulder right there to get across the goal line. And another thing I think work, worth mentioning before the snap, he was wiping that ball off on his shorts. Just keep an eye on it. It's tough, tough for these quarterbacks to throw the ball. And caught this one on a dime, did number nine. That's David Dinkins, not the mayor, but slick. And much like David Dinkins, not getting much of a term on that one. And a big hole for John Gauls after he started out a pretty good drive last time, but it's and third first ten, quick screen to the left. On the screen, going over to Kyle Ocho, and the Ocho getting the first down there. None of these guys shying away from contact early on. When both of these teams, one team five years without a title, another four years, pardon me, three years without a title, they need to make up for it here, make and try to make some history. Fakes the screen, Gauls in oh, trouble, and hit. Gauls eating it there the ball came loose but maintained by baltimore and what a play there by number yeah. seven Lucky. everybody's wearing number seven for bic so let's just call him jalen Cruz, who's a lot skinnier who <laughs> gained a lot of weight in a couple of weeks with that father's day off but wow what a hit second and and big 13. man with the tackle on that one second and 13 and here comes that pressure again trying to go back to back caught by super saiyan and that one a gain of five they are abusing abdul Shabazz right now and it's 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 he's known as Abdul's Island but they're attacking him and I played against his BIC and, and that's not a bad move right but timing route from Gauze right on the money great catch by the Super Saiyan as he's starting to get angry and maybe he'll start to Kamehameha <laughs> to get back, back into this game and you yeah. see that on the field you know who's on defense right now Corey Price yep. in the secondary a guy who at we've the seen end a, P, a former PA Immortal, 2019 MVP and 2019 A7FL champion joining the BIC this season. A member of the 2016 team joining back. And you see number five, Nick Mays Jr. And in trouble, Gauss gets Ooh. brought down and nothing doing that one Ooh. again. Juicy. Now, you see the man right there that's congratulating him. That's Casey Fennessy. He's out in this game. And the man taking his spot, really, is, is this big, juicy fella here who's who's made an immediate impact they're they're not blocking him which is a very very poor decision i would say first and ten ball around the 20 yard line codrington in trouble codrington again on his bicycle Sterry codrington in a replay and getting the ball to the 49 yard line at 222 left to go and we got and it's spicy out on the field uh, not happy with that tackle it's like the Madden X Factor <laughs> turns on. First and ten, and there's the handoff to. You're gonna get a tackle courage with one on. And ladies and gentlemen, he needed some protection on that play, and that's why the A7FL has partnered with Zoom Bank. World-class protective gear brought to you by Beast Mode and the one and only Marshawn Lynch. Zoom Bang and its unique polymer technology not only protects athletes, but also military and medical professionals so they can do what they need to do with content, confidence. Zoom Bang protects you no matter where you are. For more information, head to ZoomBang.com. And I think Marshawn Lynch would have approved of that run there. Yeah, there isn't a better running back to, to advertise Zoom Bang than Courage Mosey in the A7 film. 
And here's the rush attempt coming through from McDaniel. McDaniel now the sideline and will get out of play and pick up another first down. And guys, so far, I never, I never sounded, I never sounded older. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to put you over. The handoff to McDaniel as we start things off on first and ten. McDaniel breaking through and uh, making something out of nothing there, guys. Jack, a great run there from McDaniel. Yeah, this rushing attack has been potent early on for BIC. It's just getting it done a bunch of different ways with a bunch of different players. And Crew in motion, and there's Campbell. Campbell high-stepping, getting the first down, pushing through the pile, staying in bounds, and going out of play in around that 18-yard line. And you know what? You get the opportunity like that to seize it and try to get the first down. We take a look again on the replay. This stutter move right here is elite. How does he get by him? Maybe Montclair That happens State. to me all the time with Sarah. And then shot to Worthy on the handoff. <laughs> and they'll hand off to Worthy. Worthy pushing the pile, keeping it in bounds and hitting the B button, going out of play around the 14-yard line. A, a question to both of you guys. You think on those fr the, the first two drives, just establish it, big plays, knock them out the box, try to get them on their back heel, and now slowing down the pace and make and burning time and burning up the clock. You think that's what they're doing? You think that's what this well, offense is doing? the play calling so doing? far has been run. It's just that there's been huge runs. And Worthy handing it off, and there's Courage Mosey. And Mosey eating and getting hamburgled there, but will get a slight run there, getting rabble-rabbled, and it will be second down. B-man flying in, taking out what looked like Sly Boogie. <laughs> And we take a look here. Matt Ryan joined by Corey Hammond and Jack Bartek live. And only one pass attempt for the BIC so far today. Will they get another seven on the board? We'll find out. Codrington with Worthy in motion. Play action. Codrington with time. Here comes the pressure. Looking for an option. Rolls out to his right. Guns it off. Tipped up. Caught by Worthy. Laterals back to the big man. Keeps it going. Touchdown. BIC. Joaquin Brooks. The Brookings Institute finding his way into the end zone. That is, that is in, in honor of the thick boy summer. Look, he has a shot to Worthy right now. But he yep. missed him. So he uses his legs, buys some ties, buys some ties, makes a terrible decision, honestly. Throws into coverage, but guess what? It's a shot to worthy. Good things are gonna happen, right? And yep. And then look at the size mismatch. He only needs two yards. Get it, big man, and a touchdown. BIC. Things in this league can change on a dime. And the one thing that I will say about BIC is I don't know if they'll be a start fast team, but today they certainly have. And here comes the three on one, just running right into the pile and just eating all of that. And a Nice slap on the Tukas, and a good run on that one, and it will be first and 10 with 10.30 left to go for the game. Yeah. Talking with the officials, making sure that they don't get penalized here, and number one, that Sly, that Sly, Sly Washington, Sly Boogie. He's got a lot to say. I don't know what he's talking about. He's but walking he's off the field. having a long conversation, maybe with just himself. And there's the handoff, pushing up field, breaking through, and a solid gain on first down, a gain of about six, maybe less than that. Gain of about four on the play. <laughs> it's a hot day here, and banana pudding can soothe even the most savage of souls. The handoff on second and three. Pushing through the pile, and the oh, ball comes out. loose. Loose ball. He tried to stomp on the ball. 70 will keep it, but it will remain with the Gators. It looked like the defender for the BIC. I've, I'm trying to get a number on him. I, what, JJ? The, the guy who ran in? Yeah, number yeah, 30. 20, oh, no, 26 was late. Number 30 was early, so I don't know what the ruling on this is going to be because he's kind of up, but he's kind of momentum Ball stopped. Out. Ball does the... come out late. No, so... that the, he's out. Yeah, he's, de he's, he's down. He's definitely but look, down. Watch this guy here. Number 25 almost stomps on yeah, the ball. Yeah, that's JJ was about to play soccer, bringing it back to his <laughs> days, you know, on vacation in Jamaica, you know, maybe trying to <laughs> go for a goal, it looked like. But it'll be third and short for the Gators. And Matthew they still have out. this big – Offensive line set, maybe we'll go to plug it back up in the middle. And they'll run it again in a big Snacks. play. Pushing through, getting the first down, eating a little bit of turf, but moving the ball, matriculating it downfield, and it will be first down. If you're a Baltimore fan and you did not bring us a sandwich, I will be very sad. On the play, there's Matthews, there's that screen, Woo! setting it up, running downfield, keeping it in bounds, and gets tossed and thrashed out. And oh, you see man. one of the Baltimore players going to the 32, making sure they know, hey, that's where the ball went out. And that's what the Gators need, is they Matthews. need a spark as, as Matthews tries to put his, his life into it with a nice little dance. I'm not sure that's exactly the gritty, but it's hey, not, the, the sideline's up now. It's not it's the not fusion the dance, but it works. 
Ball on the 34-yard line. The handoff going upfield, gets the first down and more, pushing ahead and pushed out of play. It'll be first down in the run by number 10. That's Tony Roberts. They were able to score with no t with zero, you know, at the start of the half. So if they're able to make this happen here, make the U press, make the pardon me, the BIC work. And there's another handoff going to the right side, and that's Roberts again. Ooh. And Roberts can't stay in bounds, but a great run. But Jack, if you are in this position right now, put you on the spot. Do you try to rush into the end zone, or do you use this time, continue to work, and make that BIC defense tired because they're going to walk to the second half and have to face this offense again? And then the handoff. The run up, and there it is, into the end zone. Tony Roberts getting it in there, putting the Gators on the board and making this one closer, 20-6. to six, And we still got a lot of football left to go in this half, and they get the ball at the start of the second half. Gentlemen, it's still anybody's ball game. They're going to have to be big on this next drive. Going for one here. Play action. Gauz rolling out to his right. He'll bring it in. And he will knock the pylon over. Let's see if the officials give it count? to him. And they give it to him. The line judges, the back judge will give it to him. And John Gauz Jr. with a quick five-yard run, bringing this game a little bit closer, making it a two-score game. John Gauz Jr. so far today, five of eight for 70 yards, an interception and a conversion. And that one, that one interception is the one play that he wishes he can get it back. And here, and it will bounce, and that Worthy, that will stay in bounds. He'll pick it up around the four-yard line, and Worthy will collapse like a cheap card table or any relationship I've ever had before he could get started, and it will be first and 10. There is a worm right now that deserves a lot of credit for that tackle. And then he'll he'll press that same B yeah, or yeah. circle button and, and take it 70 yards on a seven-yard seven throw. Codrington under center, hands it off. That's to Courage Ooh. Mosey. Mosey brings the ball down. Field, what a jump! And plants with authority at the 23. The man box jumped another human being. Ooh. And I want a Courage Mosey jersey. Take a look at this replay here. Cuts Starts off with the grown man stiff arm, but then, Matt, here you go, money shot. Go ahead, go low, brother. Whip nope. up. They're going to be in single coverage. And there's the handoff again to Courage. Gutting through, gutting through. Mosey looked for a lateral, but will be taken down at the 31, and it will be second down. 143, 142. Oh, so the down. clock is going to be the best defender the Cobras have. If I'm Sterry Codrington, I, I have a little bit more urgency here in this, this last drive, potentially the half. But a first and 10, BIC's on the move. Big play here for Courage Mosey. Shotgun again, same setup. Worthy at the top of your screen. Codrington under center. Tick, 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 tick. Minute 18, 17 now. And there's the play action. Tried to set it up. Codrington in trouble. Codrington will get on his bicycle and be brought down, but will save that with a gain of two. Yeah, it ends up not being too much of a gain. I don't know in the pocket if he felt that pressure coming from behind him, but either way, whether it was purposely or not, an impressive step up in the pocket he got out and turned yeah, but the, the loss problem he does is it, 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 if too. you look at the replay on that what he does is he switches the, his ball hand right he's a lefty quarterback and when he steps up in the pocket all of a sudden the ball's in his right hand how are you going to make a play down the field so he knows he's going for the run and sometimes he's most comfortable with the run we're, we're looking at a BIC team that is comfortable that is utilizing the run game we've been saying that uh, for the initial amount of this drive but the closer they get, if they burn that last time out, if they have to use that last time out, are they looking to set up for the big play here? Are well, they gonna are they gonna load the offensive line and just tip their hand and show that they're gonna throw the ball to Ashanti Worthy? Well, it's not a bad decision as they come out here. It <laughs> looks like what they're gonna have is is Sullivan will not Green in the backfield, Kasim Green. And Sullivan an eligible receiver, two wide receivers. Does that look like single coverage at the top? Yeah, it's single coverage. You got four at the front. One at the linebacker position, two wide receivers. No safety over the top, which good luck with that. Play action, Codrington, not a lot of time. Throws this one downfield, caught, and that's Kaysan Campbell. And it looks like he was out of bounds, so it'll be third down. What you want to see, and look, this is nitpicking at this point, but what you want to see from Codrington is more on schedule throws. What he looks to do is he looks to make that impromptu scramble almost too quickly. Just take your two-step, three-step drop, step up in the pocket and throw to a receiver as he's making his break. When he does that, this offense is unstoppable. So it'll be third and eight, and 
Guys, the difference between a good team and a great team a lot of times, if you ask Bill Belichick, is what they do on third down for both offense and defense and what they do in the last two minutes of a half. If you can score in those situations and or stop and convert on third downs, you're going to be a winning team. And, and what BIC has been able to do all year is take advantage of these opportunities because here's the difference, guys. If they go up with another touchdown, even if the Gators score in the first uh, drive of next half, they're up by two scores. So they're looking to get up three now. And Codrington, 57 seconds left to go. Throws this one, a wobbler meant for Ashanti Worthy, but that one will flop and flail and fall out of play, and it will be fourth and eight. And that gambit from the Gators paid off because with 53 seconds left, they are gonna get the ball back here on the three on one. And in motion, number zero, play action. Throws this one off the hands and nearly intercepted by number 26, Clavon Radcliffe. Yeah, JJ had the opportunity, but the reason he had an opportunity is because it's just a, the ball's too high. Wide open receiver downfield, pretty decent play action, but with the rush coming off the backside with Dwan Williams, number two, he had to get rid of the ball maybe a little bit too early, but throws off his back foot on the run, and way too high for his receiver. Lucky it's, he's still got the ball. Whew. That Baltimore fan's holding their breath there yeah. for a second. I think everybody holding their breath because we've seen some interesting interceptions thrown today. And for John Gauls and the rest of this team, they cannot allow for them and the rest of their offense to feel low. The morale heading into the locker room needs to be high. They need the energy and here. And what's funny is you don't see Matthews out there, the guy who's been dominating these corners. And it'll be second and 10, 47 seconds. Here comes the pressure. Gauze throws this one, wide open receiver. Big opportunity here. That's number seven, that's, ball's knocked loose. Loose ball on the fumble, who gets it? Who's coming up with the ball? It looks like the Gators will keep it. There's a flag on the play. Yeah, it could be an illegal block down field which will negate a lot of that yards for the Gators, but this is what John Gauze can do. CP3, real fast rusher, look at, it, look at that hair. But he makes a play happen because he keeps his eyes downfield and finds the open man. Still a little bit too high, but just low enough to make the catch. And will that penalty cost them? They have to burn a timeout here. Two timeouts left for the Gators. 32 seconds left to go. In trouble is Gauze. Intercepted! And there's a huge interception, and the momentum swings back to the BIC. Another major play, Abdul Shabazz with another interception, his second on the day. Now he's putting the two up, but the, the original interception, the first interception was just a bad throw. This is actually a great play. He reads what John Gauls is trying to do, undercuts the route, trying to throw to Manziel. And like I said, there's openings against this BIC defense. It's just for right now, John Gauls can't find him. First and 10, and there's the handoff to Courage Mosey. Mosey plowing through, but will lose a yard there with 22 seconds now and running left to go in the first half. I guess they're content with the lead where it's at. And I was thinking the same thing, but now they're hurrying back to the line as if they want to run another play. It doesn't make much sense at all. Well, I mean, if any time you give the ball to Courage, it's a potential for a big play. So maybe they're going to do that. But with Five and less, they could also just be trying to fake it. And there's a whistle on the play. And they're saying BIC has got to step closer to the line. Two seconds left, so Maybe a, a last second. They'll probably There's no look safety for a over the top. There's no safety over the top of Shanti Worthy. That's where you got to go. There's the throw, and that one will go out of play, and that is the end of the first half. And it looks like Dewan Williams will be throwing it off here for the BIC, and it will be number four. And it looks like V-Man Vinny will be getting this one, and he'll receive it on near the near sideline. And he'll get to the 20 and will be stifled around the 24, and it will be first and 10. And, and compared to the last game that we saw, these three on one, like the throw off teams, have been pretty much elite. Last game, it, it was there was there was very little special team defense, we'll say, right? In this game, both the Shanti Worthy and everyone the Gators have thrown out there have had a real tough time even getting back to the 30. So great job on the three on one. Three wide receivers set Matthews in the slot. There's the screen, and immediately smothered cover. Tried to make something more out of that, but That's that will JJ. be number zero. Kyle Ocho being brought down for a loss. JJ with the stop on the quick screen. Quick screens are an effective play in this league, and they can help your quarterback get into rhythm. But if you're a good defender and you and you read it, it's an easy one-on-one -on -one tackle, and if you make that tackle, you end up with a two-yard loss. So the Gators wanted to get a, a quick, easy game, go with the trips to the bottom of the screen. 
at first it looked like BIC wasn't even going to defend all three guys, but when, when they finally lined up, they're able to make the quick stop on the quick screen, bringing up second and 12. Second and 12, and Jack right here. If you're not looking at Matthews, I don't know what you're doing. Yeah, he's been the only guy in the passing game so far. For yeah, the no one's covering him right that. now. He's absolutely uncovered right now. Three rush, and there's Matthews, and there's that throw, and here comes an opportunity for Matthews, who breaks open in the open field. Gets 50, amazing block from this teammate. Going down the sideline at the 20, and will run out of bounds inside the 15, and what a play there from Matthews. Yeah, and, and I'll just say defensively, CP3 said, Sterry might be able to uh, run me, but I could still show off the wheels a little bit if you give me an opportunity to, so a nice chase down tackle, but I just don't understand for BIC, you know who the ball is going to, so how is he unmarked at the line of scrimmage? BIC's defense is led by their defensive line. In my opinion, as someone who speaks from experience throwing almost 400 yards against this team with my Renegade squad, there's openings in the pass game. So if you can get the ball out before the defensive line gets to you, you're going to have some opportunities. And when they went with the trips, this is one of the most, this, this guy here, he's one of the most animated, and his name is an anime name, so that's awesome. But he's one of the most animated players in the league. You saw him dance earlier. Kind of that Vegeta thing. It's not best for the team, it's what's best for him. The yeah. Saiyan Prince taking his walk off the sideline. It will be first and 10. 12.30 left to go. The crowd is livening up. Yep, this crowd is Whoa, on almost fire. Drops almost it. dropped that ball to 25. Finding a way to the end zone. Touchdown, Baltimore. And now it's a one-score game. Snag Sosa making a meal out of the defense. It's 20 to 13. He's got elite speed, and he's, he's playing possessed right now. He's still pissed off from that ball he dropped. Almost drops the pitch here. But once he plants and gets upfield, no one's going to stop him. Great blocking downfield by the wide receiver, Sly Boogie. To feel the tides turning. Yeah, you can feel that momentum shifting. It's in the air here with a lot of time left. First drive of the third quarter. Goss Jr. throws it to an open man and gets it in there. And now it is a six-point game. Gentlemen, did we expect this just about two minutes and 41 seconds ago. You asked me, what are, what, are, what are the Gators doing? What is the captain doing in the huddle? He's looking around, and he's going to look to the guy that's going to make the difference. Great rush here by KWAC, but even better maneuvering by John Gauze. Not a great dump off, but Nick Mays makes the catch. Now, I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Jack Bartek and Corey Hammond. The game is 20-4 to BIC with a waffer thin lead and the throw off here. And this is the time where Ashanti Worthy needs to be Hollywood. That ball will bounce at the 15. Worthy will pick it up. Cut to his right, gets Ooh. through one defender. That's a blip. That's a blast. Staying on his feet. Ashanti Worthy getting to the 40, to the 50. Tries to get past one defender. He does. Turns on the afterburners. Can he stay in bounds? Can he keep it going? He goes end to end. Ashanti Worthy. Hollywood swinging into the end zone. 26-14. Scorsese couldn't direct that. Does he have his phone in his hand? Does I don't know what he's something? doing. He's doing a nice little. He's not doing a nice little selfie because guess what? When you can make this, these elite athletes, that's Snag Sosa. We just saw him put the team on his back and score. We got a man just trying to play safety, trying to not be in the screen and get embarrassed, and he's just burnt because Ashanti Worthy has two things that none of these guys have: that elite level shiftiness and a will to get in the end zone, unlike anyone else in this league. I don't know what a gritty is, but he could do whatever he wants after that touchdown as he goes right to Facebook or Instagram or Snapface. And that was a deep return. That's like a 90-yard return. I he had 27 LJ. yards on return so far. Why you do that, Hollywood? Why you do that? <laughs> and now on the one-point attempt after losing five yards, oh. number 21 bringing it. Might as well be a habitant because that was a hip check and a half, and it will remain 26-14. And that was a big tackle there. But the Gators thought for sure that they were back in this game. And then seconds later, Ashanti Worthy deflates there. And that conference. ball will bounce inbounds at the 10. That will bounce into the end zone. It is a live ball. And he will kneel down and he will take the touchback. Uh, it'll be first and 10. And we see number five. That's Nick the Mean Machine calling himself an eligible receiver. Under 12 minutes now. Down 12. In motion, that's number 10, that's Tony Roberts who's got the first touchdown of the game. And now here's an opportunity for the Gators. The Gators, Ooh. big stiff arm, finding the open field. The Gators back in this one and get back into BIC territory. That's OP number three, bringing it in. 
let's let's give a quick shout out to CP3, zero, right? So great play by the Gators. They go with the fake jet quick screen. They love that quick screen, getting John Gauz back in rhythm. But let's just talk about the way that Ocho, Ocho runs after the catch because he should have been tackled at least three times. Give credit to CP3 for just jumping on his back to get him down. That's a quarterback out there playing D end and has elite speed. He's got two touchdown saving tackles so far in this this second uh, third quarter, excuse me. But the Gators find a way to get easy yardage on the quick screen again and line up first and 10 in BIC territory at the 46. You see Matthews at the bottom of your screen. And there's the handoff again, big push up field and that one will be a moderate gain of about 4 and it will be second down. Jack, are you surprised at how successful this running game has been for the Gators on this drive? Uh, yeah, because I think we, we've spoken early about how BIC's defense is predicated on that defensive line. You know, they're, they're, they're working inside to out on that defense. So for the Gators to have that much success running the ball, it's all the more impressive because you're going with the strongest unit of that BIC defense and really going right at it. Yeah, I'd like to see I'd like to see them open up the passing game a little bit more, obviously. I always say that. But all of the completion John Gauz has had have been little dump offs. Matthews at the bottom of your screen and they'll hand it off again and this Going defense backwards. ready for it. Ooh. Smothered, covered. Roberts take it to the Waffle House and not being able to get the pancakes he wanted. And that will be a loss and the big man, big gang. Big juicy <laughs> big over there. Big juicy. Made a lot of big Try, plays so far in this game. Trying to turn Big Juicy into Big Angry. <laughs> but all three defensive linemen on the on the left side of the defense for BIC walk through the offensive line of the Gators like they're just matadors letting them through. And Dewan Williams he, he missed it on the initial play, caught it on the replay, was trying to strip the ball out. Smart so, play. Yeah, smart play it, there. This game's getting really physical, especially yeah. here in the second half. Well, it's win or go home. The pressure yeah. is mounting here. It's a 12-point game with a lot of time left. So both of these teams know how much is on the line. Their shot at the $20,000 A7FL title on the line, and that shot to Matthews, a bullet. Matthews that, that has seriously impressed, and right now he's, he's gathering his chi to go Super Saiyan. <laughs> Somebody this is not a great a throw, beam. this is a very good throw, but it's an amazing move to get away from KWAC in the pocket. And just an on-time delivery. Now, it's not a first down, mm. but again, and that is It keeps the drive alive, to be honest with you. Fourth but and now five. fourth and five, you got to go. Spectacular yeah. field awareness, keeping those feet in. At this point, I think anything past the 45 is four down territory. Yeah, down down two scores. But let's... let's Against a high-powered offense like BIC? And, and you got burned on that last three on one. How are you gonna? How are you gonna let? How are you gonna let Ashanti Worthy decide <laughs> your fate? Good point. And it will be fourth and five. Eight twenty. There's some stereo. There's only on one wide receiver I'm touchdown. looking at if I'm yeah. if I'm goes. Goss throws it tipped in that one. Bad play design. They had a double slant and then both guys sit. So you have two wide receivers in the same area on fourth and five. It just isn't a good read. And, and not that there was much John Gauls can do on fourth down. You got to get rid of the ball. But the design there from the Gators offense is questionable at best. The Gators have had a great season and they've, they're, they're in Baltimore a lot like what the U is up here in New Jersey. They've pretty much dominated most of the games that they've been in. Their Baltimore division championship against the, against the Cobras was a blowout. So this is the first time they're really being put to the test. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do in the toughest position they've been in all season. And it'll be first and 10. Codrington with two men in the backfield, one of them Kaysan Campbell. The other one, Courage Mosey, was yeah, a good set guy. Up far behind, and there's that fake to toss, and there's a lateral to Campbell, who's got the sideline in front of him. We'll cut up, cut around the defender. We'll run to the far sideline, go sideline to sideline, stay up and get taken down at the 30. What's interesting is, is that pitch might have been forward, but he was behind the line of scrimmage, so they run the triple option. The first look is you fake it to Courage, and the defense reacts. Great play by Codrington to stay up and get the ball to the playmaker, Campbell who then cuts it backfield, and, and again, don't do this in real football, young kids, <laughs> but when you, have, when you have offensive linemen and running backs that are willing to run downfield and get that block, that's what separates the BIC and the U from these other teams is when, oh, as we see an injury.
And there you see the AccuStretch coming into play there. The AccuStretch being able to, the future of uh, basically utilizing for medical professionals and especially for athletic trainers helps stretch out. So it seems like it was a cramp. And a shout out to Vinny Houston. For more information on the AccuStretch, go to accu-stretch.com. That's accu-stretch.com. First and Kajitin's ten. Kajitin's drying his hand off, which is sometimes a an easy way to know if it's a pass or a run. You know, you see his hands, left hands touching that towel a lot. It might be a play action. It's also hot down there. Two wide receivers, two running back set, cable. And the Codrington will keep it. Keeps it upfield and will get inside the 25. So not necessarily a pass play, but he knew he was handling the ball. Yeah, yeah. wanted to make sure he, he had that ball tucked tightly. So well, how do you establish? How do you get rid of a tell like that, but need to? What I do your is hand? is I I make it more obvious on a run. Now people are gonna know. I make it more <laughs> obvious on a run play that I'm wiping my hand down, and I always do the I'll I'll do the Omaha Omaha Peyton Manning you know false call i'll look at the wide receiver and do some weird thing and the wide receiver looks back at me like what are you talking about but it's just a dummy call but on that one it 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 wasn't as much of a tell because i'm i'm up here in the booth i i could see it um i'm looking for things like that but let's talk about the game plan for bic the game plan that coming into this game is is that we're going to run the ball then we're going to run the ball and then we're going to run the ball because guess what they that's all they've needed to do and they had the one real deep pass to campbell but they're keeping the ball in the hands of their awesome playmakers is, is Courage. Courage no. Mosey spinning. Ooh. Oh, my God. He just shoulder tackled the soul out of that man and ran into the end zone. Courage Mosey, a human boulder running in for the touchdown on what could have been a broken play. Let's take a look again on the replay. Turns in, spins out, keeps his Good momentum, luck. shifts in, avoids oh. the tackler, oh. takes out number four. Number four, Vinny, being knocked out of his shoes, and there is another touchdown for the BIC, and Courage Mosley getting on the board. Three on one time. Gators need a play. Gotta make a play. And that will be Josh Baby DK trying to go Diddy Kong here. Gets the ball to the 37, and it will be first down. And a little close. Still, It's getting chippy out there. It is getting chippy. Jaheen Myers on the tackle. Still that's probably a, too close for their company. Oh, yeah, and that's out in California. And there's a throw on first down, and it caught! Oh, and it falls out of his hands in the Ooh. forward momentum! That might be the second best throw Gauss has made all day. Great play action. And and look at the timing on that pass. Let's a one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi throw. And that's the timing that you need. Mm. Has his man. He's just got to corral that. Uh, JJ would have hit him, but if he catches that, they're, they're gaining momentum back. They're back on the move. If I look at the sideline right now and I see a, a bald head, I'll be upset. Yep, Matthews is on the sideline. And if, if I'm Gauze right now, I don't know why number 24 is not in for the Gators. Especially after you just threw your second best ball of the day. Kyle Locho was the intended receiver. And also looking at that, talking about uh, talking about uh, Matthews, six catches for 126 yards today. For Matthews, who was on the sideline. Gauze play action, the throw, caught. And oh, staying up is Ocho, and he'll be taken down at the 45, one yard shy of the first down marker. So it will be third and one. And right now, guys, if you're the Gators, why are you not putting Matthews in? You, you He's saw in now. It. Yeah, you know, Matthew's coming in on third down. But he was on the sideline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, unless he's requesting to come out of the game, which I can almost guarantee you he wasn't. No. There's unless no he needed, he unless he needed to do a dance move, because this is the spark plug for their team. If he makes another big play here, they can maybe get back life. But now down 18, this is do or die time almost here for the Gators on third and one. They're definitely going to go for it if they don't make it. But and they got single coverage with Matthews and Abdul Shabazz. At the top of your screen, Do you take it on third I'm going down, deep. Though? I'm going on because we can go for it on fourth. True. And there's a throw on fourth, on third down, and they'll get the first down and more, utilizing Matthews as a decoy. That reception made by Easy, aka Mr. Underrated, and it will be first down. He takes the easy throw there, too easy, works out right, but maybe on third and third and one because I know I have the fourth and one, I might be taking that shot. I I. I seem a little disrespectful for these corners that have actually played a really good game shout out to bullet who's at the bottom of your screen they're really they were going after abdul shabazz earlier in this game and that's why he's got the two picks because of the opportunities 
but Gauze has got to make a play here. Me sounding a lot like LJ. In trouble, Gauze rolls out to his right. The big man going after him. A bullet thrown deep and swatted away, and there's a flag on the play. And Wide that... open man downfield. That was a broken coverage, but Bullet, the veteran, able to get back there. If Gauze puts the ball on the money, there's nothing that BIC can do, but since it fluttered up in the air a little bit, gives the opportunity, and we'll see what the call is here on, on the field. Yeah, Terrific uh, recovery in the secondary. Andre Jasper, the coverage there, a.k.a. Bullet, as Corey said. Yeah, great coverage here. Beautiful throw by Gauze. Some of his best throws of the day have come from plays that have not turned out well. And Bullet, slight swap there. And the wide receiver not really going for the ball. Looked well, it's like tough because he, he, he had so much room in front of him, he had to come back to the ball. So really the advantage is to the trailing Bullet on that play. Jasper able to get to the ball first, but it looks like it was a, a, a defensive penalty to be first and five. Yeah, five. Moving I'm up taking five a shot yards. to Matthews at the top of your screen. Matt Ryan, Corey Hammond, and Jack Bartek here with you. 2.13 left to go. First and five. Gauze Jr. with some time. Not a lot. Rolls out to his right. We'll get the first down and more. We'll go up the sideline and be pushed out of play at the 31-yard line. And another flag on the field. I wonder if this one will go back. And Matthews set to the top of your screen. Gauze Jr. fakes the toss. The throw over to the wide receiver. We'll get back to the original line of scrimmage in a little bit more, and we'll get the ball placed at the 46-yard line. All of the positive pass plays for the Gators pretty much have been these play action and then dump offs. So give credit to Gauze there for just getting it to his guys, but you kind of want to see them open up with like a timing route. He's looking up at, what, what? You want to get a tackle, man? I like the chain though. I don't know who he's looking for. I, I don't. Did we get his name wrong? I don't. I'm going <laughs> off of the thing in front of me. Kyle Ocho is the name on our roster sheet. If we're getting that one wrong, let it's us know. Second and five for the Gators. And 27 seconds left here. Second and five. There's the toss on the handoff. I think he was looking at Ryan to see if there's a penalty. They're keeping it up and keeping it moving. Number nine, Slick, living up to his nickname on that one. I'm Matt Ryan, joined by Corey Hammond and Jack Bartek. And we see number two in motion. Gauss Jr. throws it to number two. We'll get the first down. There's oh, a flag oh, and a fumble. It. The ball goes right into the hands of the BIC. This one may come back, but this one is going to be a long road to nowhere. Will they be able to spin it out, try to find the lateral, keeps it upright, and gets the ball to the 35. So it's a costly penalty for the BIC if they're the ones oh. called with it. Yeah, well, All Bullet ended side. up with it, but it was a great play again by Shabazz. Abdul Island is everywhere today, and I've been I've been calling him out because I torched him. But guess what? He's making <laughs> plays all over the field, snatches it out of his hands. No, that was number three with the snatch. Yeah, that Abdul. Was, Abdul Shabazz. Oh, yeah, Abdul, and then that was number 11, Jasper the Bullet. Pardon me. And it all comes back. Now, offside. yeah, that's the shame is that yeah. a great play is going to be negated. Walking that one back's got us. Got to suck Ugh. for this this Trenton team. That could have been the, arguably the final nail in the coffin. Especially if Jasper was and somehow found a way to either pitch it to, to, to a thick guy for a thick guy summer. Oh, just oh man. I think I would have combusted. I think I would have Who's exploded. the rapper that sings that song? <laughs> ODB? It's Matt. Fat Joe? Whatever, whatever Matt's uh, rap alias is. MC Reckless Abandonment. It's first and five after the offsides. Matt Ryan, by Jack Bartek, and Corey Hammond. Gauze Jr. under center, one man set up to his left. That's number 25. Give us to well, he keeps fakes it. it, quarterback keeper. Gauze Jr. Shoot. running down the side, running down the field and brought down inside the 10 yard line. Ball will be placed at the eight. They're not done yet. Still have life here. And after the fake, watch Snags. He runs down the field to get a block. He he is not ready and willing to concede this game to BIC. He's been talking all week on the boards. It's been ridiculous and hilarious. None of these teams want to go home, Corey. None of these teams want to take that trip back to Baltimore knowing that they got a, cha a trophy to win the Baltimore division, and that's all they got. Talk about a turn of events right there. Yeah, it went from it went from BIC ball in, in Gator territory to all of a sudden first and goal for the Gators trying to cut this to a two-score game. One man in the backfield, two wide receivers. There's the toss to Sosa. Sosa trying to find a way through. Nothing doing, and that one will be brought down, and it will be Miraculously, somehow he got three yards on that. I, I've never in my – if you look at the game film, I've, I've tried a, a couple of times in games 
to call that toss play. If you remember the Spank Town, Jack, when I tossed it in, and, and it was one of the worst play calls <laughs> of my career. If you could block that, if you could block that edge, it makes it look like a great play call. When you don't block that edge, it looks like a terrible play call. And but give Snag Sosa, and it could be huge. Yeah. You know, like like we saw with Spanktown and Renegades. But give Snags credit because there was nothing doing on that play. Still got three yards. Sosa set up to the right. There's the toss again from Goss Jr. Trying to push it through. Cannot denied and will only Shabazz go to the two-yard line. again, grown man, even though he stands at 5'6". Snags has given everything he's got as he fights for yardage on that play. That's a warrior down there. He, what, 160 soaking wet? He's out there putting his shoulder on the line because he's not he's not ready to concede this victory yet. And, you know, and the winner of this game, they go to the national final four. So this is what it's all about, moving on to that semifinal. Big personnel for the Gators. They're going to punch center. their ticket. Yeah, they're the first team to do so. And punching his ticket in into the end zone, the Baltimore Gators, number 10. Tony Roberts with his second touchdown on the day. Yeah, it's not Tony Robbins, but that is motivation right there. Great run, better blocking. Let's look at what the Gators offensive line just did there. They opened up the Red Sea for Tony, and he easily gets the touchdown. So cuts it to a 12-point game. And number 53, Daryl Richmond. Two Darryl scores. Redmond. And the Gators do now, which is probably the worst part of this touchdown, have to throw it to Ashanti Worthy. If you go percentage-wise, they've actually done a pretty good job, except for that one amazing touchdown from the second year player out of Rowan. But they go for two here from the 10. Look to cut it to a 10 score, 10 point game. Sosa set up to the right, two wide receivers, three men on the line, including 70, the big man, Reese. I'm assuming he's not gonna be eaten up like a peanut butter cup, ball thrown up and bouncing just short, looking for a call there with Sly Ti Boogie. Timing was there, but the ball was just underthrown. 11.54 left to go, 32 to 20, your score, I'm Matt Ryan. Joined by Corey Hammond and Jack Bartek, we are in the sweltering summer sun in Asbury Park, New Jersey. The throw, the bounce, and it will be Worthy picking this one up. It's in the end zone. Ball tickles out, and Worthy will have to dive on that one. And so 25% of the time, Ashanti Worthy has scored on these, and this other 75%, the Gators have dominated the three-on-one. This is dangerous territory. If it he is, puts the ball in the air, then this could be a game. And that shows how much of a warrior, war, uh, you know, uh, Shanti Worthy is. He's stepping right up there. And now you see Courage Mosey in the backfield. He'll take the ball, and he'll run right down Broadway. He'll get past the 10 and get inside the 14 and move the ball downfield. Pardon me, inside the 10. <laughs> About two yards into the end zone. Codrington with Courage Mosey lined up to his left. Mosey breaks to the outside. Will stay upright and get inside the 12 and keep this drive alive for the BIC with 10.03 left to go. It just can't happen. You, you cannot contact him behind the line of scrimmage and let him bounce free for a nice game like that. Uh, you gotta be able to shed that block and make a play. And that's great, def that's great offensive line yeah. work. That is the great, that BIC offensive line Courage Mosey needs to send them like an edible arrangement or something. Maybe hook them up with a cricket wireless plan. Those, those men do not want fruit. <laughs> send them Omaha steaks. <laughs> if you're going, you're going that route. And it will be third and two. Hollywood Worthy, four runs for, returns for 129 yards, one touchdown, one catch for 11 yards, one touchdown. You know, take outside of that one big They're run. They're giving Worthy, him the touchdown on that. Yeah. Worthy outside of those plays. Oh, and there's a flag. Yeah, it's, I, I think it was offsides on the defense because we've seen 